Ooh, oh, I can come. Ooh. I love the women. I love the ladies. I love the chicks. I love the tits, the ass, and the pussy. I don't do do. Do your fucking job. I just, I don't know. It's just, it's just, you know, we're putting something foreign into our bodies, and we just don't know what's gonna happen. Then again, I drink alcohol. If you got a dick, I'll follow you. I feel like I can eat my fucking grundle hole. I, I basically busted on her. I hate your fucking guts. I'll kick your ass, motherfucker. And fuck Bill Goldberg. I play games where you get fucked to death. Queefy sons of bitches. Colonizer. A lot of small ones. I had about motherfucking five, fifteen, uh, motherfucking eighty drinks tonight. I'm coming on your ass, boy. I'm coming for that ass. <sighs> ha, ha, ha. Oh, yeah. Everybody's kept putting it in there. Thank God, die. Ladies and gentlemen, it is Friday night, and I know that a lot of people are still watching Rampage right now. Ooh, what a turn. Spin kick. And now paying homage to Eddie Guerrero like every other man south of the border who's here illegally does. He's going to the top rope. Ray Phoenix, Eddie Guerrero off the top rope. Phoenix splash. One, two, and now! The dinosaur born from a whore kicks out! Unbelievable! I am here with, to start the show here as we ease into the night, the beginning of the night. You know there's a lot to go here still tonight. And you know the show's gonna kick in Oh, what a clothesline by Jungle Boy! And a poison runner that might have killed Ray Phoenix! God, I hope Jungle Boy wins this. He's killing it right now. Let me tell you something, guys. No. No. Double underhook powerbomb, which was all subterfuge for the STF submission. Oh, this looks like a choke. What's up, everybody? What's up? Get, Paul 3 gave away tickets the other night to somebody, and he's going to get that email. Oh, uh, he's got it locked in. He's got it locked in. He's got my, I got my thing locked in, to be honest. Uh, we got the we uh, we got the Rampage show watch along right now. We got the NXT logo changing. We got Jake DeMarco with the Out of Nowhere Championship, the new belt. Uh, he's still waiting on the monetize this championship. And, of course, Hurricane, Hurricane Ida is making its way up the coast we're going to talk about that i'm sure we'll get hit by something else again and is there a big surprise tonight will you there be the hurricane will maybe, there be maybe that hurricane could be the next katrina maybe biden doesn't care about black people. oh my god imagine that if people like imagine imagine if people just suffered under the biden no, i don't even i don't know, I don't know. Oh. i'm in a weird mood i'm in a strange mood tonight i'm ready to like this is one of those nights, man. I Can think. Can you at least do drugs tonight, Joe? I like, am. I'm gonna. Be, I swear to God. Well, I okay. think. I mean, I don't know. Yeah, I you at least need to do drugs, some form of drug before twelve. That's a good. I point. ate those edibles and I took that half gram of dabs before we started, so I'm ready to do this. Nice. <laughs> I, I just like keep it. making out with this belt. Sorry, I, I can't help it. It's so shiny. Oh my God, Mister! Somebody in the chat. I, the NX, the new NXT logo looks like Coco Beware's pants. You mean that monkey doll? It looks a gorilla doll. Oh, it also looks Jeez. like San Francisco's team mascot. 
It's kind of like Spaz that, too. Spaz lost it. He said he's now all elite. Oh, really? I showed he's... him the logo. He's like, uh, Spaz Phoenix is all elite. Well, it's their, it's their version of uh, AEW. It, it's a ripoff of AEW, and it's this social justice going forward, going to be all-inclusive thing. That's Even though they're getting rid of people and trying to make everyone of the same mold. They don't want any indie talent going forward. They said AEW can have that. They're going to go out and find talent and then turn them into wrestlers and we know how well oh that boy. tends to work out so yeah it tends to produce stars <laughs> sometimes i mean, I mean let, other times <clears throat> well let's look at it like the rock is sort of like a middle middle of the road like middle of the road right because he decided to get into the business with his father was in the business you know yeah, stone he, cold he had, i would never consider him an, a non-business guy yeah I mean, he went to football, but a lot of people, even if they went to football, they still were like, all right, wrestling was always important to me, and now that I can't do this, I can do that. I can do this, I can do that. What a sick Canadian destroyer. Holy hell, that was nasty. Well, you know. That was nasty. Sorry, that was incredible. I hope he's dead. <laughs> he might be there, and then Phoenix again, another Canadian destroyer. I mean, they're just killing each other, but. Guys, tonight, on, Steve chat? Kalan, dude. Steve Kalan's putting his crown on the line tonight. Oh, shit. I want to win that, too, Joe. Mm-hmm. Hell, yeah. Hell, oh, you want to win that, too? I want you everything. greedy piece of shit. He wants it all, by God. You are, without a doubt, a greedy son of a bitch, really. I mean, let's be honest. You know it. But he puts out results, though. Like, That's true. I mean. The new NXT shit. logo, ladies and gentlemen. Yeah. I cannot Yo, what believe What up, it. all nerdy? What up, dudes? What's oh, shit, Nerdy's back. What's all? What's all? We got I Nikki, Nerdy, my... Paul's here. I'm excited. Dude, all my motherfucking weed got And we here, might bro. have somebody else. We might have somebody else joining us tonight. Who, Joe? Joe, Who? Joe Cronin might have pulled a Who? little bit of a Tony Khan tonight. I might, I might be Tony really? Khan. Maybe. We'll see. That or somebody just ran away with $300. <laughs> <laughs> Look at this finish, Joe. <laughs> what? Look at the finish. The f what about them? I like the Swedish a little bit better. <laughs> finish of this match. I don't know. I was expecting Jurassic Express to get another shot, not the Lucha Bros, but hey, go for it. It'll be a good match regardless, but we've seen the Young Bucks beat all these teams. so Yeah, I really couldn't care about this. Uh, I hope the match was good. It was pretty it good, was a though. decent match. In fact, this, this match... This was good. It had a couple of cool spots. This was probably almost better other than maybe the opening match on Dynamite. This is probably the... This could have been on Dynamite would have helped Dynamite, probably. That would just happen. But that's my yeah, opinion. Instead, they had to get to this match, so... You know it, baby. What's up, Chad? How you guys doing tonight? We're spinning the wheel. The wheel is back tonight. Steve Ka Callen is the... Uh, I've been saying his name wrong for a long time. I just didn't. I was like, whatever. <laughs> and he's finally like, dude, you, can you say it right? Finally? Like, I'm like, all right, you're right. Uh, we're spinning the wheel tonight. Steve, if Steve uh, Callen can retain, we'll find out if he can. $5 to, uh, let's make the spins weak. Let's make them low. You know, we, Sith Negan funded the show forever. Three, yeah. $3 to uh, 19 uh, $3 to 15 is one spin. And so then we'll go uh, sixteen dollars to uh, fifty-one is times. We'll go times twenty, and then fifty-two to one fifty oh, is times one hundred. And anything over one fifty will be times three hundred. Some kind of insane number. Like, all right, there you go, guys. There's there you the go. Spins. And you see how they were they, they saw people complaining about the spoilers for Rampage. Yep. So they added a segment up next with CM Punk and Darby Allen. Hey, Jay, right. Do you think I they always totally planned that live, though? But do you think maybe they always had that plan though? Do you think maybe? Like, apparently right. they didn't from what I read. I mean, okay. that's alleged from what you know different sites, but that they added this in and had it filmed after the fact. So who, that's cool. Who just, who just won that match? I, I uh, totally the Lucha Bros. Phoenix. Oh, fuck, I knew they were gonna win, but damn it. I thought well, Jurassic Express Jurassic was going to win. Express to win, but God, whenever they get close to the title, just like no. Yeah, Jake, you said you were a fan of Big Brother. Uh, did you know that uh, Luchasaurus it, was on Big Brother Seventeen? Yep. Were watched, you a fan? Yeah. At he the was time? okay, but I much preferred uh, what was his name, McCray. I think it was that was on that season, the pizza guy and. He he always walked around talking about how he was going to be Judas the wrestler and right. Yes. 
he went on and on talking and i was just like i could never picture him a wrestler and then these years later i'm like that's luchasaurus no friggin' way yeah and he was on with um yeah he's he's a good guy he seems cool and uh uh, big pecker big pack huge he's very smart very very smart Mm -hmm. yeah jake is jake has seen his sats he knows i have he always speaks with a very you know eloquent vocabulary yes usually I mean, so don't some of the murderous British doctors. Hey, you know, I like, say he wasn't like, evil. I just said intelligent. No, I know. I'm just Dr. being a dick. Dr. Mangala? Dr. Mangala. even got to smash one of those, the Nolan twins. And you oh. got to be wicked smart to do that. So, I mean. Which I don't one? Know. You Does it matter? Wicked smart yeah, to do Good point. That. Yeah. They're, yeah. They're on. It's funny how they used to come down on all the e-girls. And now they're literally on uh, OnlyFans doing the same thing. So. It's, right. Yeah. Yeah, Joe, you got to check these girls out, man. Well, They're the, called the Nolan Twins, if you haven't already heard of them. Really? They're so hot. No, Nolan, Nolan looking like twins. twins, obviously. Identical twins. The, well, the, the, the plan with them when they were on the show is they entered as one girl, but they kept swapping them out and saw wait, how long they could go with it before anybody figured out that they were playing with They entered one girl? People. Yes. It was impressive. They actually fit a whole family of midgets inside of her vagina. I would mm-hmm. love to do that. They I've popped out that, so. Yeah, they popped out like shit on Two Girls, One Cup. It was great, the final finale. You should check even out. If you see it in person, they give you shit-repellent goggles and a splatter guard. Ugh. Yeah. What the it's f- a hell of a donkey show. Though, All right, so I don't want to see that. See I take that back. That's, <laughs> this is weird. I don't know what the fuck you guys... You asked. I'm just saying. No, no I didn't... They, had, they had the one... Uh, the twins enter the house, but they played as one person. I'm so they would take up. one out at a time without the house guests knowing that they were playing with twins. So that once somebody figured it out, I think they won a prize or something, you know, extra mm-hmm. in the game. Jesus but Christ. It was it was pretty funny, but the girls didn't execute it well because they, they had so much, like, to catch each other up on, and they can Ugh. only do it in half an hour. So And Luchasaurus got to fuck one of them, so credit to him, man. Probably they were really both. hot. Paul's already I- hitting the bong. I got to... I, I, couldn't get weed tonight, so I got just a ton of. You couldn't get weed. Wait a minute! You couldn't wait a second! You couldn't get weed tonight. What the hell are you saying? Oh yeah. No, I, had, I, I stuck with the dabs and the edibles. So. Oh my god! I would have driven. I well, I don't know if I would have drove it down to you. It would have been a three hour drive, maybe. But good lord, what do you guys think of the NXT logo? We got the vote up over a hundred votes already Which about the NXT. Fuck. I don't <laughs> like it. Yeah. Logo. Well, it looks it's like they're just, trying to be AW. LGBTQ four five. Three, I see. I don't think that. I literally think that they saw the because sport. you like rainbow. No, no, though. it's not that. that. No, no, thing, no, no. Joke. I think AW did that, and I honestly believe oh. that NXT is literally. No, think about it. A- NXT is just trying to copy AEW's rainbow splash that they do. Oh. Don't you see it? They're, like that's what they're like. Yo, yo, let's do that. They they got that that colorful rainbow splash in their opening, so they're gonna make their logo colorful rainbow splash. <sighs> it, it's like we're it's like a dick fight to see who's the more SJW. It's fucking. You know, though, yes. It's not blatantly rainbow though. I gotta give them credit for that. You're right. It's not like we're we're looking straight at a rainbow. I do kind of like it. I'm not gonna lie. I, yeah. I don't hate it. Worse. It's copying like old AEW more than the rainbow, though, so it's even worse. That's the thing. That's For that's sure. all I see about it. I don't even think it's bad, worse, or whatever. I just think they had a pretty good logo. You know, why not put the colors behind the logo that they have to copy AEW? Because that's kind of what they did. Right. Oh yeah. You know, because I just thought that the logo <laughs> should look a little bit darker. You know, like how NXT always feel. You know, like well, I think th- I think that's the problem. I think they want to brighten it up. I mean, we I agree that the like the inside the building thing is too dark. What's up, chat guys? We know that a lot of people are watching Rampage, so we're kind of hanging out, chilling into the show tonight. We're going to ease in to monetize this. And I'm sure around 11 o'clock, a lot more, maybe more people are going to be showing up that we're watching Rampage. So we're kind of, you know, easing into the show tonight as we get ready to see what happens. Um, we're, we're tailgating. We're yeah, tailgating. we're tailgating right now a little bit. So, and, and, you know, I may not, I think next week potentially, I think I've decided that. I think I'm going to start this show maybe around 10.40, 10.30 from now on. I think that's the good time to start. Maybe. Yeah, why not? You know, that's because no one's really ready at 10, and people are still watching Rampage. Um, but what's up, chap? Feel free to vote. We got the wheel tonight. Steve Kalan is the king of the wheel, and he's putting his crown on the, on the line tonight, as you know. And so I have the amounts up. I lowered it since, you know, D. Wells, Sith Negan, and people have been just destroying Shell with the 100 bomb last night. So you see the amounts oh. listed up below there, up up top. And we'll get the wheel going in a few minutes here, and we'll get this thing spinning. What is this? Oh, Miro's... Jesus, Joe. 
I'm sorry, I didn't what? mean to interrupt you, What's but we that? got some action going on. Holy fuck. What's that? Was someone having sex outside your apartment? No, we got the TNT champion coming down with oh. the uh, belt, making a bitch out of this other wrestler. Let's see who it is here. Oh. Well, that looks like Neil Mascaris' oh, uh, deadbeat is. kid. We got Ru Oh, my God. That's Neil Mascaris' deadbeat. I'm watching on my tablet, so I'm like 20 seconds behind. Yeah, I'm watching oh. on the phone, too. I'm behind a little bit, too. I did I'm sorry, guys. No, no, I saw it about no, when dude, you dude, said dude, it. Dude, dude, dude. No, you're fine because that actually helps me know what to like look for. Yeah, I did the All same right. thing. I looked over, and then as I looked, I saw him get thrown out of the tunnel. So I was like, oh, okay. I would have missed that otherwise. So yeah, no. it's cool to see the pyro go off as he's still kicking his ass down the ramp. Miro's saying that he doesn't deserve the contract because he's a loser. <laughs> he said this last week on Dynamite, so... Yeah, I'll, he's still going after him for the same Let's play spot. a little game, and this may be a little you know, oh. queer to some people, oh. but... <laughs> How big do you think Miro's? How big do you think Miro's dick is? Probably really thick. Huge. I think, I think I it's mean, thick. I don't know. I, I, don't, I don't think it. I don't know. Like you, it can't be like a baseball bat, right? I mean, yeah, we would it's see it. Be like a uh, oh. thick sausage, and oh, that is not good. That's gonna piss some people off. It would be. I think it would be like wait. Like we'd be able to see it through his pants. I'm betting it's wide though. I'm betting he's got like six, seven inches, but oh, it's real thick. It oh, I don't think it's long. I think it's just super thick. Yeah, it's like a can. That's what I'm saying. Super thick. Six, seven inches. Maybe six or five even, but it's like really thick. Yeah, like a big sausage thing. Yeah, that's that's exactly. I'm on the same page as you guys. Oh, Eddie Kingston. Now, Eddie Kingston, I think, is not circumcised. That's a sick... No, I just... Yo, he's wearing a bootleg DMX shirt. What the hell is he doing? Dude, <laughs> he's selling oh, those out of his shit. Trunk. God, oh. he looks fucking 2001. Yeah, Eddie Kingston looks like he dresses he like, looks like, like me. A, he looks like he's out of a Nelly fucking... Uh, music video. Dude, Eddie Kingston dresses like me, dude. He thinks it's oh, 1999. Going in there, kick some fucking ass. He's like, listen, they I are going at it. I, I dress like I dressed when I was a backyard wrestler. That's it. Like, that, I I respect that about Eddie Kingston. The fallaway slam. Hell of an exploder. Is he wearing Timberlands? Yeah. <laughs> Oh my god! I right. couldn't even see it. It was an exploder. <laughs> like I saw our fucking I, my screen's oh. too far away. And I got good vision, too. Miro's shoes are ballsy. I will say that. Miro's got ballsy shoes. Who's got the hurricane hitting them tonight? I want to know how many people are, you know, in trouble. <laughs> a lot of hurricane Let's shit see. going on. We're, we're getting our stuff Why ready. Why do they have that... Dan oh, sorry. No, no, go ahead. Why do they have that Danielle chick out there trying to break up two men fighting? Yeah, I was just going to no say. Fuck. Well, because she can probably beat up that Japanese she wrestler. Oh, Aubrey? No, got yeah. It. Brittany, oh, Aubrey. yeah, yeah, Aubrey. Um, do you guys, does she ever annoy you guys? Oh yeah, I ranted about she her. She just is so yeah, flamboyant with what yep. she does. Like, She's almost as so bad she, as that other, the re, the ref who dives up in the air on a swan Remsburg. count. Yeah, Remsburg. Right. And he, the like, one who was just pleading with Eddie, rubbing his face and caressing him. How about, yeah. when, how about when Remsburg rings, r rings the bell and he just goes... It just does this wind up thing, like to tell. The, it's just so fucking weird, dude. I see Cornette probably like punching his head and his eyes out. Oh, oh, you're right. Good Sith Negan. I'm sorry. You're right. The bankrupt. There's no bankrupt on the wheel. Oh my god, bankrupt. That's a good point. Bankrupt number one. Yeah, you do need a bankrupt. And the one, the only Sith Negan with one E himself has let us know that he wants all co-hosts on the show right now to still receive their times one thousand one spin. So everybody gets one spin times 1,000 right. in honor of yeah. Sith Negan breaking the all-time donation record. Oh, last yes, night. that's right. I almost forgot about that. Everybody and here he gets one. Us. So all of us here. So right now, Nikki, myself, Nerdy, All right, let's Paul, start. We'll go with Nikki goes Hunter. first. Let's fucking go. Let's fucking you, go. Sir. Come on. Let's fucking do it. You got my nips hard, Sith. Look at that. Ooh. Oh, no. <laughs> <laughs> That's right. It landed on bankrupt. <laughs> I was going to say, let me get times 1,000 for bankrupt. For Nikki. Oh, Nikki. Uh -oh. <laughs> that's fine. And he's like a hundred dollar patron too, so that's just really that's shitty. Fine. Hey, that's fine. I, I, that was a practice. Yeah. But we've heard we've heard before he doesn't want anything. Uh one thousand to nerdy. Yeah, Look at I'm that. Not here for that. Wait, does that mean he gets a thousand points, nerdy? Or is it times oh. something? It's times one thousand. Oh wow, he just got Wait, one thousand times one thousand. Woo! Oh my god. Yes, boy. Oh my God! Oh, I mean, my nits, my nits weren't hard before. They're hard, fucking rock hard I mean, now. How are you gonna catch? That's a million. Who's gonna catch up to what, that shit? A thousand times a thousand. Yeah, it's a million. He's got a million points there. Mm -hmm. 
I better change my shirt. They're about to cut right through. That's how excited I am. <laughs> oh my god, nerdy's happy. That's They're a about million. To cut right Wake through. up your girl and rape. I mean, and have try to. Oh. No, I, I no, it's, it's not oh. what I meant to say. Ra- wake her, I, I wake would, her up. But Cody already stole her from me again. He stole oh, my no. spot. He stole my girl. <laughs> All right, here's here's the out of nowhere champion. Monetize this champion, Jake DeMarco. Spin right now. Coming up as we watch Rampage and we watch some movie about white people being bad. Um, and 1,000 points for Jake DeMarco. It lands on 1,000 again. DeMarco's tied with Nerdy. Oh, my oh. God. Hell, yeah, I'll take it. This is ridiculous. I'm screwed. I mean, you know who's <laughs> really screwed is Steve Steve, Steve Callan. Oh. Or Callan, douchebag. Yeah, it's Callan, asshole. I know. God. Callan. Like Tommy Callahan. Callanan. I never get that right. Callan. Back when he was a co-host. Um, all right, so this is crazy. Let's spin now for who else we got here considered a co-host right now. Paul, Paul, and Paul oh, definitely here. deserves a spin. Nerdy, and then yourself. Come on, give me a spin. No, he did nerdy. He's got a million. Mm-hmm. Oh, that's right. That's right. He's tied with you for a million points. I'm high. Let's see <laughs> if it's gonna be five hundred times a thousand. Holy shit! Fifty, five hundred thousand. Mm-hmm. Five hundred thousand. So, Paul three, and he just gave tickets away to somebody too. So that was really cool, of Paul. So everybody's getting loaded. Self gaming. Can I self gaming Farouk? We need his email address. How about that does. guy the other day? I got it. I'll get it for you. We're um, not allowed to give points anymore, right? That was the thing. Right. Okay, so I I nominate that we we have to give Sith Negan a wheel spin as well. That's a great idea. Yeah, we do. We really do have to give him a, a spin. I think we Absolutely. should give him three spins to be honest. No, I, that that would be incredible. But yeah, he definitely needs to be spun for. He needs to spin, yeah. Sith. Because that's he dropped seventy five hundred dollars. I mean, that's insane. Chat, what's up? Hit that like button, baby. Nip fest time. Uh, okay, so this is me. My spin's coming up. I got to go clip that guy. I, I don't know what I did with the clip. I thought I had a sound clip. By the way, if anybody knows how to fix XSplit with this new fucking grid system, it's pissing me off. Um, feel free to DM me on Twitter. And I will tell you my Verizon story because I'm ready to burn that place up. Like, I'm I'm going to really flub out tonight. Yeah, I was confused by your rant as to what exactly happened. Oh, I'll explain it tonight. I know they screwed you over again with the phone. I'm coming for Verizon, bro. I'm looking on LinkedIn for the managers, the people. I'm going to make this personal. Um, all right, here we go. Spinning for Joe, for me. Yeah. Here we go. And Sith Negan says he does not want any wheel spins. Are you fucking serious? Bankrupt, you fucking piece of shit wheel asshole fuck. Fuck off. Oh, no. Damn, Joe. Wow. Figures. Good. You cunt. <laughs> Last the other night on Out of Damn Nowhere, I, I I I flipped out and I went on a rant and said I will pay JB three hundred dollars to be on monetize this tonight and I threw out this big threat of everything, um, and I flipped out and today uh, we uh, we got a little response and so I then as you know kind of said well somebody help fund his contract and well guess what somebody did so. Shy God funded the contract that I signed with potentially uh, the one and only JB. That or he's laughing somewhere. It is somewhere. official. We'll see. He might just be running away with the money, but hopefully he shows. Joe, yeah. did you click all the way up top where it says, you know, whatever resolution at whatever frame per second? No. What? On XSplit. Click on that down downward arrow. Okay. And then it says snap to grid. Click yeah. on that, and you should be able to turn that off now. With the update. Oh, I see. I thought you had to choose. Okay, that's... Oh, my God, Jake. It says scale or snap to grid, and I thought you had to choose yep. one or the other. But you can unselect both of them. Oh, my God, I love you. Yes. Oh, I love you. I just went into it and figured it out. There we oh, go. Oh, thank you, God. Let's see how much smarter people are. Than, I, I I think two-dimensionally, you know, except for when it comes to booking a show like this. I thought it was one of the other two until I clicked on both, and it was like, oh, hey, there we go. Oh, my that's God. That's with the update. Oh, wait, so, Sith Negan's giving me his wheel spin. He says I can have his wheel spin. I mean, uh, I feel like oh, that's wrong. I feel like I get too much. Going to him. I feel like I'm a spoiled Everyone kid. You. I just feel like a spoiled kid, though. I can't take it. I can't accept that. I'll you have you, to. He said it. He, he. Are you sure? I mean, this, yes, I feel like a spoiled it. kid. I get all this stuff. I, I just feel like I don't deserve it. Like, it's just so nice. You do indeed. He he said it. I guess I should do what he... I will do what he says. Spin. 
the spoiled little bitch, Joe. Go ahead. I'm, I am a spoiled no. little bitch. I am an only child uh, who was raised uh, by a woman. Um, yeah, you so got you got two sets of parents, Joe. You should feel lucky. Well, not really, because I didn't know the <laughs> you know the adopted ones. I didn't know them, and one of them's in a psych ward, so I never met her. True, yeah. and that explains so like, me. You really got three quarters of one parent, basically. Yeah, yeah. Hey, hey, let's see how Joe turns out. Let's kill his father when he's eight. Uh, give him a drunken, psycho, abusive boyfriend for his mother, <laughs> and then find out his mother has schizophrenia when he's fucking twenty something. Like, <laughs> like, I, 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 like oh. hey. At least they weren't Jehovah's Witnesses, let's be honest. That is I would have just I would have just walked away. One hundred <laughs> times one thousand. Which is ten thousand, oh. right? I think that's ten thousand. Um, I believe. Somebody no math, one hundred times one thousand, that's No, 10, Joe. That's oh. one hundred thousand. Oh, thank you. It is one hundred thousand. Oh. You're right. Thanks, okay. Luis Antonio Alejandro, for that. I thought, much, I thought what, you were sorry, Rojas. I didn't hear you what the number was. One hundred times what a thousand? We got it, we got it. It's one hundred thousand. Oh, hundred thousand, yeah. yeah. Yeah, we got um that you sounded kind of like Rojas doing that impression. It was weird. <laughs> well, they sound the same. What can be, you know? <laughs> One also hates his life. I mean, no doubt about it. So that's pretty close. They both they both take dick in the ass. Let's be honest about that. Too. <laughs> I, I like Rojas's misery, though. I kind of enjoy it. Like, I expect him to hate everything. So I'm not, like, surprised. That's what it is. Because he's like, I don't hate everything. But then he literally complains and he hates really about everything. So it's great. He hates exactly. everything except, except this show. Exactly. Yeah. And that's what excites me. Exactly. His enthusiasm for hatred gets me going. Absolutely. Look at the poll. We're going to tweet it out. We got one, 200 votes. You guys do poll. not like... Ty Cunty's ass. Ty Cunty? Oh. Cunty? Ooh. Oh, my God, dude. Somebody, please, somebody make a gif of what Nerdy just did. Did you guys see that? Somebody rewind the stream and please make a gif of what Nerdy just I didn't did. Think you got that. What the hell? You become Comes a donation. A shit bomb. Oh my god. Spin the damn was... wheel. Oh my god. Red Comet Man, the first to spin the wheel tonight. It's monetized this. We're watching Rampage. It's a big Let's night. Go. We might have JB in the house, unless he just ran away with $300. I don't know. But uh, <laughs> spin the damn wheel, Red Comet Man says. Let's spin it for Comet Man, which, by the way, this is going to be. Oh man, Comet Man, you should have done oh. one more dollar. Jesus. The blade's out there. Oh great! I hope the blade. I hope she shoves her tampon in the blade's head. Yeah. This is a complicated situation, man. Ty Conti. Oh shit! Here we go. Oh, the brass she's out. knuckles. See you later. She's out. Conti's what a out. Show. Yeah. Look at Aubrey's ass. Her weird. Look at it or her lick it. No, she looks Bro. like this girl. Oh my God, Red Comet man! I'm sorry, bankrupt. Oh my oh. God. All right, Goldberg. Here, this is the AEW show, asshole. I'm gonna kill you. Yeah. All right, relax. Um, I, you know, she looks like this girl Lupo that I went to school with, Aubrey Lupo? Edwards. Yeah, this really? girl Lupo. Uh, she had a big Gonzo nose, kind of, and she blew everybody. Um, it was crazy. That Goldberg clip really is just so strange to me. Why is he screaming? I'm gonna kill Jews. Isn't he Jewish? Oh my God. I'm gonna I'm kill you! Like I don't get why he's screaming that. He says Especially I'm gonna kill you, Jake. Summer he slam. says I'm gonna kill you. I'm gonna Dang. kill you! Oh, I thought he was yelling about the Jews again. No, he I is. A, he he is Jewish. No, no, Goldberg is Jewish. Wait, wait, he was. He was I'm about the Jews. He was making you. his son take a shirt off and open mouth kiss him. It was weird. Listen, it, it was a weird stream on Instagram. If there's another Pirates of the Caribbean movie, they need to put a patch over Goldberg's eye. And make him like the bad guy at the beginning of the movie who like gets trumped or beaten by Captain Jack. And then at the very end, after Captain Jack defeats the real evil guy, he shows up at the end again to as a swerve. And then he and then he gets killed. But the whole thing, he's like got the sword and the pi patch. He goes, I'm going to kill you. Listen to this. He sounds like a pirate. I'm going to kill you. Oh, my See, God. I'm still here. I'm going to kill Jews. No, oh. I please. No, don't. Please don't, don't oh, say God. that. Jeez. At the end, Captain Jack Sparrow oh throws God. his son overboard, too. Goldberg is just fill it, filled with hate. What? He's filled with hate? Goldberg is just filled with hate. Oh, my God. Look at you that. Know, stuff like that. Oh. If you have hate in your heart, let it out. Though that's why JB's back, because he saw the money coming in. That's exactly what it is, John. Yes, you might be right in the chat. I don't know. I don't think so, though. I, think, I he, think Joe took it to heart my roast when I said he doesn't pay his co-host, and now he's making up for it. 
Um, no, because no, JB no. got paid for every corrupt that he did. That's not true. I mean, it wasn't for, for sure. a while. Uh, JB was the most paid person ever. To be yeah. honest, uh, he really is. He really was. Yeah, that stingy was. asshole. Now I don't have any. Now I don't have the money at all to pay anybody because all the stuff's gone down. For so he come back. It's fr but this is the biggest contract in a long time that we've offered. So and and by the way, it's sponsored by Shy God. So JB's Let me ask return this, sponsored Joe? by Shy God. Yes. How many viewers would it take for JB to bring in for you to be like that was worth it? Well, I. Oh, I mean, viewers. I mean. Or content, I, I, I guess. I don't think he's gonna. Yeah, I think um, it's. I think I'm sort of like Netflix at this point. It's more about okay. the con. It's more about content. I need to produce content, so like it's valuable to have somebody who can do a different show with me that's different than my other shows and things like that. So I'm like Netflix right now, or even you. Like even if it was like Nerdy's rants and you did like a 30 minute podcast, you know, I may not have a lot of money, but I'd. You know, I could throw you twenty bucks or something. You know what I mean? Like or fifty or twenty or whatever whatever if the numbers go up. You know, it's all about the numbers going up. So like at this right. point, I'm like Netflix. You know, who who you know basically you, needs to What was that? Let me ask you this. Would you be willing to maybe um break bread with people that you have burnt or have burnt you in the past, uh, to get that content like Netflix would? He's not bringing back Tony, dude. Um, no, I, well, that's ugh. what I'm saying. Oh, that's why. Well, I mean, that's why. Uh, I. That's why I called. I mean, honestly, I called out. I was joking around when I said, "Hey, come on, JB. You know, we'll see you." You know, I was kind of kidding. Like, I'm like, "Yeah, this is not gonna, you know, show up or whatever." But then he responded on Twitter and was like, "Yeah, <laughs> three hundred bucks. All right, where is it?" And I said, "Oh, oh yeah. shit, okay. he called my bluff." I mean, it was kind of a bluff, but it was sort of serious at the same time. So yeah, I mean, I'm excited. We're going to have some good content, some good fun tonight. He's yeah. going to roast me, I think, but uh, I'm excited. Let's he's going to roast it. you? Yeah, he's got some beef with me, I think. Oh, so because, I think oh, because, oh, because I you think told me. Because you told me about yeah. him hating on me. Yeah, something like that. So we'll see. I this never, I honestly, I think me and him, I never know what's in his, in his head. And I don't think he knows what's in my head. I think we, we both have a problem with that. Me and him have right. a very, me and JB are very sort of like weirdly... Like I don't know, like ego y like douchey or something, and like when so like <laughs> if I say anything, it hurts him. He gets angry. If he says something, I get weird, and we both have a different vision of how things are going or whatever. And it's just we're both. I think we're both kind of soft a little bit about stuff. Like I think it. But I love you both. I That's know. Why, you know. I, you I can't take it personal. I really, yeah, I really, I love, listen, I love him. I mean, there's no doubt about it. I'm gay for him. I don't care when it is, whenever. Whoa, 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 oh, uh, whoa, this, whoa, whoa. Oh, Joe. Okay, oh. I'm sorry. Maybe I'm going whoa. a little too far here. I, I, oh, oh, I got to tame might, these down. Yeah. You got three kids and a wife, bro. Come on. Yeah, and I'm getting tired of it. So maybe I want a dick. No, I'm just, no. What? Uh, That's fucked up. I'm joking. But, you know, in all seriousness, uh, you ever smelt a guy's Nikki, cologne? Nikki, and, he's not joking. I, I, man, he said it awful fast. Like he, he's driven to my house a few times, drunk. Uh -huh. Surprised he made it here in one piece. Ooh. Yeah, but, uh, yeah. When Joe's craving dick, there's no stopping him. Oh god. Oh yeah. There. I mean, do anything. Yeah. There's been times where I've literally, like, Jake was trying to do a podcast with me one time, and I was just so horny for dick that he was like, "I can't even be around this," you know. And I'm like, Ooh. "Well, you know, I was listen, like, this is ridiculous." Five a.m. Oh, you said dick. Knocking at my door. There's Joe Cronin. I hear him outside. Dick! Oh, for Dick. All right. Well, Crazy. The, the polls ended. You guys do not like the NXT logo. Um, so because of that, I'm going to go ahead and start a new poll. Um, and we're going to find out what that poll is. It's coming up right now. Um, yeah. I'm wondering if the audience knows uh, what, what do they think, you know? Do they think JB is going to show? Ooh, that's a good question. That's a very good question. Oh! I think he's he's man enough to accept the money, so I think he'll show up. Um, oh, I think so. I think he just thinks like, oh, I'm going to show up later. He's going to show. It's a, he's a man of his word. No, usually. yeah, no. Listen, he monetize this usually starts at eleven. He's pro, he's a later guy usually, dude. I'm telling you, he's planning this out that you know make a grand entrance later on. I mean, we're still watching Rampage right now. He knows what's up. Trust me, he knows what's up. Um, well, yeah, a lot of people think Daniel Bryan is set to appear at All Out. A lot of people, we thought it was the New York show. I mean, I still thought it was the New York show, but, um, you know. I still think he's going to appear at All Out, and then he'll wrestle at the New York show. Ah, I get it. Okay. 
I like I that. I think that's going to be the plan. I, I like that because I think I think seeing Punk back, it's like you realize how like man, just we, you know, come on, get out there and wrestle. You know, like we almost just want because the Jade waiting. Said the, the rampage spoilers we read were wrong because there's no comedy at all. Wait till you watch the last match; it's filled with comedy. We haven't gotten there yet. You got one more match to go, and it's uh, all comedy. Oh, really? Cringy comedy. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Just yeah. you wait. You just wait. You just fucking wait. Just wait like Goldberg. Oh, wait. Come, you fucking crazy fuck. <laughs> Stop. I'm coming for Stop. you. <laughs> oh, I forgot to message him back, but Tommy messaged me today, randomly, for the first time in what? Damn near a year? He messages me on Instagram, like, either every other day or weekly, just to tell me weird things. And I'm like, cool, okay. I offered Tommy a contract, too. We'll see. Yeah, bringing that, Tommy back, man, that would be that would be interesting. Well, That'd I don't, I don't, I don't know if that would happen, but I mean, I you know, I offered him a place on the pod, on a pod on a podcast. Mm -hmm. I offer, I reach out to a lot of people and offer. You know, he talks to me, so I'm like, hey, man, if you ever want to do something, let me know. That's all I said. You know, take otherwise, uh, you know, I may, I may have to. Uh, otherwise, I'll be doing it with somebody else. But like, you know, I figured, mm -hmm. I still offer people, you know, things. To work with them if i like you know everything's okay um we're speaking of offering things what's up casey's raw hit me up by the way i, I messaged casey after he messaged me i know he's missed casey's messages and so i messaged him and now he's missing my messages like god what yeah. the hell is going on with that we just keep and by the way red comment man i can't believe you drew nothing <laughs> on the board there oh shit yeah. colonel santos what's up man this has got to be bad that it blanked it out. Kama Sutra Poppy, it's my night to win the wheel and become king. Not some Ooh. puss bag like Steve Callen from Canada. You cross-eyed, bimbo-looking, chromosome-lacking <laughs> piece of dog turd spying on everyone's shows and DMing everyone about your own agenda. You scumbag, I hope you end up on dialysis. Jesus Christ, Colonel Stutters. Oh <laughs> what the wow. fuck, man? Oh, my God. Oh. What the hell did Steve do to you? Original. That was pretty good, but let's go ahead and spin the wheel for uh, Colonel Santos. Colonel Santos is going to land on 3,000. Uh, wow. Wow. Cheap, cheapest spin you could have. Courtesy of Sith Negan shit and bomb. Shy God, you become a shit bomb. Yeah, so now you're going to deal with Brandon Cutler and glory, glory, Kenny Omega Manchester doing all this stupid United. comedy stuff. Ronaldo has come home, glory, glory, Manchester. You could basically tune out right now. Do not come. <laughs> what if it's good though? What if Kenny Omega, you know, takes a dump in his pants in the ring? What if oh. that happens? Darby Allen did that earlier today. Yeah. Well, here comes Evanescence, which is hilarious because I made this funny song of a pop song the other earlier this morning, and somebody said, I think it was Ed's view. He goes, "This sounds like a bad Evanescence song or something like that," and I'm like, "Yeah, it does." <laughs> Damn, Colonel Santos is crazy. Yo, DJ Scandalous. What's up, Scandalous? Why is Mark using them if they will get injured to try to injure each other? That's a good point. Why are we going to a commercial? That's another point. No, um, here's another thing. Um, what the hell on SmackDown? I, I, I got disinterested in SmackDown immediately because... The fucking women started, you know, they did the whole... It was a disaster. Yeah, good, good. Yeah. Oh, you're good, I'm good. We'll just cop out and have a tag thing with Becky and Bianca. It's like, no, fuck you. We want to well, see they did these... the Fatal 4-Way that, you know, basically... Oh, I thought they went... I match, thought. Oh, my but... God, I thought they went tag match, so I just walked out of the no, room. No, they went a Fatal 4-Way. I was surprised. Oh. I thought it was going to go faces against heels. Oh, my God. So I, I turned it off. So was out first, then Carmella, and then Bianca Belair and Liv Morgan had a pretty damn good match. And it made me say, why did they not do that match at SummerSlam, then have Becky come out and just challenge? She doesn't need to be the champion right now. Becky saying no, and her... What, why are they turning her heel? So all of this was okay, but it, it could have been so much better if it was just Liv and Bianca having a match, seeing who the new number one contender could be. But it, it's just most of the women's division feels like it's, it's just stuff with losers right now. Zelina's worthless. Carmella's worthless. Liv, they beat tonight. They could have done something a little bit more because she's got fan intrigue and support. Mm. It's all bullshit. It's right. all bullshit. 
when you flip and flop these girls heel and then face and then heel and then face, you just stop caring because it's like you check back in and they're suddenly the bad guys. You're like, fuck, man, Becky Lynch, she was one of the biggest pops of of women in our generation. And yeah. now she, now you're making her a joke? Like, ugh. I know what you're saying, Jake. You're you're right on. Yeah, you're right on. It's you're the truth, right though. On. And then right I, I freaking called it, Joe. It's not like it's a crazy prediction or anything, but they're going to use Balor as the middleman until they get the, to round Survivor Series yeah. for Brock. Yeah, he, or F- Crown Jewel. Finn fillin Is Finn Balor fillin uh, You know, and it's like, He's one that still, the more they beat him down, the crowd is still with him. Why? I don't know anymore. And I like the guy, but. Oh, I found that so annoying. And they're going to have Edge be in there in between and then Seth Rollins as well. So. I butchered DJ Scandalous's comment apparently earlier. I couldn't tell what he was saying really, (laughs) but he said, I meant Mark Henry asked Kenny if he is afraid that Christian will injure him. It was such a bad question. Oh, okay. I missed it. Did he say that? He said. Mark Henry asked Kenny, are you afraid Christian will injure you? <laughs> Did he really say that? <laughs> Why? Have. What a he weird is. question. That That's like a question you ask if you're like a five foot five wrestler is going in against Brock Lesnar. Like, right. are you afraid of per, like some kind of permanent injury or, you know, something like that? And it's like, that makes sense. That doesn't make sense. You're right, DJ. That's weird. That's a weird thing yeah. to say. It's something Taz would have asked Darby Allen the match when he fought like uh when he fought um the the no holds bar match and he jumped off that ladder and ended up really fucking himself up. Uh, it was uh, the former Shield member. I can't remember his fucking name in AEW. Dildo. Dildo asshole. That's it. Uh, penetration. Yeah. Nah, man. Darby Allen, crazy. Love Darby's tackle. I think him and Ray Phoenix, the only two people in AEW that should do the suicide dive. Right. Only they two. Have the bodies for it. <clears throat> One wheel spin. Oh, yeah. Thank you, Seth. I see that. All right. We got that. Um. Oh, I, I get it. La- yeah. Last night we did put Bullfrog on display and we did. Fi- I fired him live on the show. Mm. Oh, my God. After he quit, <laughs> we made sure to fire him. <laughs> Wait, what did you say? What did you say? I said after he quit, we made sure to fire him. (laughs) All right. (laughs) I quit. No, you're fired. No, I quit. No, you're fired. (laughs) (laughs) I mean, the guy can't control his diet, so he's got to have some control over something. So I guess you just Uh, let him quit. What's going on, Jesse? God, I couldn't imagine thinking about that much pop in one day, though. Holy fuck. That's insane. He's a small guy, though. He's only five foot four. He's like really tiny, actually. Really fat. Really I know. Fat. That was the yeah, surprising but, uh, part. Like he, That's why I was shocked he, by his total weight because I, I honestly <laughs> pictured him to be so much heavier, but he's so small. I, I heard there's a video of him being uh, assaulted or going around. Oh, I, are you talking about the one where he tries to stick his dick in the turtle and it bites his balls? Yep. Damn. How do you oh, know yeah, about I, this? Yeah. I believe Peter it was when pissed. I, I yeah, believe Peter Jake it was when the wind blew and he lost his balance and fell over, got injured that time. Uh Darby Allen, man. Nah. He's uh I don't know. Did you Joe, did you hear about this Fortnite um MLK uh, update? No. What oh you can my God. You I can saw that shoot him on Twitter, but I didn't get to I wasn't home. I was at the hospital forever, so what happened? You get to go back to Washington D.C. in the '60s with segregated bathrooms and uh, march and dance in uh, front of MLK as he gives a speech, and um, you you get to dress as John Wick and fart and dance in front of it. I mean, it's really changing. I don't, I don't really. Do you? Does people really want to see segregated bathrooms in a video game? Uh, like who? Which That's white? That's bizarre. You know, friggin' Justice Warrior thought this was a good idea. Well, listen, yeah. I'm down with going back to the Martin Luther King speech and being able to see that and, like, party and, like, whatever. How about, yeah, relive how about, it with a bunch of people. Even that's kind of, like, questionable but, in a way, but, but depending like, on how they do it. Yeah, but that's fine. But, like... The Fortnite's a great tool. You to actually can go into segregated kind of bathrooms? Because there's so many kids involved in the Fortnite. But they but, put but segregated bathrooms in the game? <laughs> yeah, they'll, yeah, they'll be in the game. 
Really? Like there's in, segregated I'm bathrooms? I'm reading it right here. Literally. It's, spot on. It's, it's, it's all in the game. It's that's playable. weird. You think I'm kidding because it's such a farce and oh, it's yeah. such a – you would call me a conspiracy theorist for even mentioning that. No, I, be- no, I, I believe it. I just, I just still can't – like what the hell are they <laughs> – so They're, they're going to let is, you relive the I have a dream speech. Mm-hmm. And he's going to be remembered as kids by kids as the Fort guy now, Fortnite guy now. That's what people yeah. are worried about. Yeah, on a game that was popular, and not an activist. It was popularized by the idea to kill everyone until there's only one man left. They created an MLK Jr. game with segregated bathrooms and dancing John Wicks, so that kids in the South will now not be racist anymore because they saw it on Fortnite. It's basically Jesus. like a, a point and click adventure with a museum, Joe. It's got educational resources, pop up galleries. Mm. The museum inspired points of interest along with this historical imagery are intended to give context to King's historic speech. And the activities featured the in hell? game will progress players through the experience while bringing to life important themes of the speech. I don't know if they're going to have skins and stuff, but they are going to have different points. And then you're going to relive the I Have a Dream speech on the March on Washington back in 1963. It's going to teleport players back to a reimagined Washington, D.C. That's kind of cool. Like, that's not like, I don't have a problem with that. Because we have, think about all the things. We have, like, you know, War of 1812 and reliving those things and... All these things in Washington and Abraham Lincoln and all these things. In vi- We've seen stuff like that in games and things before. So, like, seeing the I Have a Dream speech in a video game, that's not bad to me. But I, it's just weird that they went to the detail of the, the bathrooms are segregated. Like, I mean, I know they were, and I know that's, like, crazy. And, I mean, you know, no need to hide the truth. But it just seems, like you said, a weird virtue thing. But Yeah, um, it, it, and I see it now, and people are I Have a Dream! And- they disabled certain emotes, so you can't bring out like protest signs and things like that while there. They um they, they disabled uh, all emotes during the march through time experience. They're gonna oh. um do the next Fortnite update, an evening in Auschwitz where music comes out of the shower heads instead of hydrogen cyanide. <laughs> Ooh, there we go. Oh yeah, that's gonna be real fun when they release the German game. That'll be good. You can sweep yeah. up the ashes and see how many people you can get to fit into an ashtray. You know what? I I'm waiting yeah. for the video game called Operation Paperclip, where you have to we the goal. It's like a it's only a it's like a one hour long game where it's almost like battle royale mode, but instead, it's like Sea of Thieves meets. Fortnite. You have to take all this stuff, and whoever can rescue the most German Nazi scientists uh, wins. So it's America versus Russia, and you get put on a separate team, and you got to work together to smuggle in the Nazi German uh, scientists. It's, uh, it's I'm liking it. That's going to be the funnest game. That. And whoever wins, whoever wins, then the Nazi German uh, scientists build a giant missile that blows up all Asian people. It's one oh, of the funnest. You know what games. we can add? A kill Kennedy mini game in there. Kill well, you yeah. can be on the grassy knoll, and, and you have to figure out how to calibrate the sniper rifle to the perfect shot so that this way you fire twice and able right. to make it look like one bullet. Well, why not a game oh. where you go back and save these guys? You save Martin Luther King, and then you save Kennedy, and then you save, like, save these figures. Save Abe, Lin- Abe Lincoln. Imagine having a battle royale while trying to save MLK. Yeah, that'd be yeah. sick. That's hilarious. You get you know, it's like it's like Jason or, or those those Dead by Dawn games. There's six teams and only one team is in charge of protecting MLK and the five other teams <laughs> have to end him. And yeah, and everyone's always angry to be the one that protects uh, MLK. That what a great and then also but then sometimes it's Abraham Lincoln that you're protecting. So that the Abraham Joe. Lincoln one, it's like a yeah. siege on the theater. Forget Lincoln. They just emailed oh, yeah. me back. Epic said we have an exclusive for the Joe Conan Show audience. The winter update. Oh, after this is gonna be SEAL Team Six experience. That's right. You yes. are gonna get to play the SEAL Team Six and hunt Osama yes. bin Laden. I was a Navy <laughs> SEAL. One percent of all funds goes towards giving a fuck you to Afghanistan. I don't know why it said that, but yes! from oh, Epic. I, oh, my God, Jake. You just made my night. I can't wait to that. kill those those sand heads, whatever they're <laughs> Oh, that. my God. I can't wait to do it. <laughs> oh, oh, my God. God. Oh, nerdy's happy. What, what's the, the Fortnite f- term for it? What do they call them? I, I don't know. <laughs> what, what, what do we call them? What's okay in Fortnite? Building blocks? Speaking of sand, know, we'll you, of you look like you are a... You look, whatever that means, you look like you are a <laughs> sand head with that white... <laughs> Fucking shit that's growing on your head. You look like Abe Lincoln. Like you're starting to look like Bill Nye, the fucking science Did you say guy. Abe Lincoln or Hey Lincoln? No, I'm saying his like his hair is like. I mean, you look like JB's little thing happened all over your head. Yeah. Hey, like, look, girls will tell me that 
I look uh, wise with my white hair. You do. I, I can't, just, but I just this is crazy. You're like ha you're like what twenty eight? Yeah, I just tell them it's my cum, and then that shuts them up. Like this is. I mean, it looks. Oh. You look good. It's just like what the fuck, dude? How did this happen to your hair? I mean, I'm yeah. I'm, I'm balding, so I mean, I I would take I would take your hair over mine because you can, <laughs> you know, if you don't like the white hair, you can dye it. I I you, there's no fixing exactly. Bald. Yeah, we're 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 screwed. Yeah, me and Jake. Kenny Omega lost it. is now out. So let's finish off the oh, joke. Shit. Brandon Cutler. Oh God! Look at Brandon uh, Cutler. Left a little cutlet all by himself. Poor Cutlet's baby. dressed like a fucking 1982 sofa. <laughs> what is going on with him and the zebra? Yeah, <laughs> Bring it back, zoomies, Joe. Oh, what's with the rampway being red? Is that always like that? No, it's like, it's like red velvet. Yeah, it's maroon looking. Oh, good night. Kill switch. What on a his shitty head. match. Wow. That was not a good rampage. I didn't even see the CM Punk. I told thing. you. The CM Punk thing was just a video really quick highlighting both participants, him and Darby. Oof. It was like forty oh. seconds yeah, long. It's the same audio or it's the same clip. Yeah, it was just it was just audio clips. That's it. Yeah. The audio hurricanes highlights. are coming, brother. I've got gray now myself coming through. I almost thought Facebook. I saw something on my chin the other day, but it's nope, it's still just shitty and patchy. I'm on biotin now because of all my lack of vitamins and nutrients. My hair was thinning, but now it's starting to thicken up a bit, thankfully. So, did you say does that help your nails too? Yes, I, I believe so. I, is it biotin or is it biotin? I don't know. Oh, yeah. Biotin. I, oh, okay. I've heard a hundred ways. No, I just didn't know if it was a different thing than I always said. No, I I've heard it all three ways actually. Biotin, oh, okay. Biotin and biotin. Okay, I thought so, but yeah. Well, lackluster, I, you know, all yeah. right, you know, nice little rampage, I guess, you know, whatever, little rampage. It's like a five out of ten, six out of ten. If That's the, what I think, like a five or, or yeah, yeah, I think yeah it's five. A five. There really wasn't anything stand out. The opening match was kind of bland, and then we only had the ending match. The, the uh, Miro segment was just to set up him and Eddie, but uh, I, all right, I want to see the match, but. Right. What did you guys think of the Baron Corbin stuff on SmackDown? Did anybody else see that? Oh yeah, that Happy was Corbin. Cool. <laughs> Happy that Corbin. Was cool. It was kind of cool. I yeah. like how they're doing it. You know, like it's a little shtick. I, I yeah. like it. it. It's something different. And not how I thought they were going to end up doing things with him, but no. I, but you know, it works. I mean, they're keeping it going this long with him. I mean, yeah. It, it's they've, been they've, really entertaining. W, and, WWE has committed to something. I know. Surprising <laughs> of all things, it's what with him. What is Baron Corbin? <laughs> I I like this type of you know entertainment. It, you know this sports entertainment stuff is fun. I like the biggies involved with it. He, you know he was playing with the crowd, pulling out the mm -hmm. Razorback and that, the sandwich. Him pulling out that annoyed me. I was like, this is lame. When he started pulling stuff out, I was like, ugh, what is he doing? See, I didn't mind that because that's uh you know your hometown nod. That's I didn't. I didn't even. Razorbacks. I didn't get it. I was like, "What is going on?" So that's uh, why because they have the Razorbacks there. So. Yeah, I, exactly. So I didn't get it. That's why I was that, like, "That's why the crowd popped." So that's why I didn't mind. No, it. that part I get. That wasn't. That was fine. It was just the sandwich. But I guess that was the build to revealing. The yeah, that and then he's always got food on him, and you know he stuffs. You always see him stuffing shit in his tights. It's it's part when, of the comedy. When did but we, I liked it. It worked. Did anybody timestamp when we gave that guy the tickets away last night when he was like? Just sounded like malaise that the Russian guy. We got to find that. That was really funny. Like I said, unless they're extremely drunk, Russians are that. That was excited for him. Yeah, I got to find it. I was though. like really excited, dude. That killed me. Oh, I think I found it. I think I think it's right here. Here it is. Oh, good. I'm gonna find out how many days in the meantime, or maybe someone in the chat. Of course. Let's let's clip it again from Russia. All right. Well, we love you, Russians. You make the best vodka in the world. We love you. I love you, brother. Here it comes. Oh. Uh, thank you. All right. I'll let you go, man. You have a good time, and I'll talk to you in email, okay? Yeah, thank you. All go. right. Before you go, one more thing, though. Say, fuck Debe's pussy. <laughs> fuck that ass pussy. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. yeah. All right. Oh, my God. Dude, that guy. Dude, he did sound like a wandy, though. Fuck Debe's pussy. <laughs> Fuck that ass pussy. Oh my god. Fuck that ass pussy. Fuck that ass pussy.
Fuck that ass pussy. <laughs> Oh my god, dude! I don't know. That's just that that cracks me up. I just gotta edit out the other part. I don't know yeah. why I lost it today, but I'm gonna be breaking out the drinks in a minute. I gotta go grab the rum, everybody. Uh, we're definitely, I'm oh. definitely taking shots for the 50 bombs or more, and we're getting and we could get into weed territory tonight. I do have it. Yeah, it's been promising it a while. Pussy. Pussy. Joe, have you been watching any of that new Marvel show by chance? The uh, hell, What If? Hell no. Hell no. That's whoa. Okay. I'm sorry. No, I, listen. I just I'm I'm like superheroed out. I can't do it anymore. I'm like I just can't do it. Yeah, I gave it a shot, and I was watched good? one episode. No. Oh, no, really? It was it wasn't as good? bad as you would expect. It's awful. Oh boy. It's. It's like rewatching the movie because they take the scenes cut for cut, but they f they fill in some other character or they they add one little niche about shit. In my opinion, that doesn't even make sense to the canon, so yeah. I wouldn't suggest it. Yeah, That's like, why I asked. I'm staying away. I saw it kind of and went no, like uh, I, and even with the Marvel movie stuff coming out, I'm like no. Fuck that ass pussy. <laughs> exactly. Fuck that ass pussy. <laughs> All right, relax. Uh, you know, we'll take it easy. Speaking of crazy people, what's up, chat? What'd you think of Rampage tonight? What'd you think of Rampage? Did JB take the money and run? That is the poll right now. At almost 200 votes, uh, the poll, did JB take the $300 and run? We're going to find out. I have take no the idea. money and run. I've, been, I've actually been in no contact with him other than him saying um, that he was coming uh, or that he would come for the $300. Um, it would be the biggest coup. <laughs> Wouldn't it be the biggest coup ever to just be like, yeah, send me the money, and then I send it, and then he just, just ditch, like, <laughs> just leaves. Bro, would that be worse though, Joe? Would that be worse than him showing up for thirty seconds? All right, I showed up, and then leaving. Which is worse? I, I think just not showing is worse. Yeah, no, not you showing. Think is so? Worse. Yeah, because at least there's uh, shtick there. You're right. That's true. There's some. Mm. But because no one said how long. You know, he could. You know, he can do whatever. He, you know, whatever he thinks. You know, so like think about that that's that's up to him so that no but that'd be one of the biggest pull-offs ever and by the way i do gotta thank shy god because i made a little bit of a joke and said hope fund the J and he did shy god funded 150 dollars of jb's contract tonight i'm jumped right now on it dead serious like it's crazy so that is uh very appreciative of shy god i was kind of you know half joking about that too and but nope shy god was like i got i got this and he yeah. Will you change the chat to sub only, please? Yeah, I already got it. Aye, aye, Captain. Uh, Jim asks, "What's up, man? How you doing, brother?" Um, how does someone hit the brass knucks and they not lay out in conscious? Yeah, I don't, I don't know. I mean, she sold it well at first. Yeah, but she then did. Afterwards, she, don't you think she did? Yeah, I was. I'm glad you brought that up because she felt like flat back on her, like, like almost like she bopped her head. Yeah. You gotta sell it like you're unconscious if you get hit with the brass knucks. Like at least for a couple of seconds. You know she, what? she started wobbling around. I always like the idea of falling, just completely falling over, and yeah. like just but like hitting the ropes so they actually hold, like kind of protect you a little bit. Because she was in that spot where she could have fallen over and just bounced off the ropes or something like that. Mm -hmm. Yep. But yeah, I don't know who the fuck knows. I don't know. It's hard to. She did a good job, I thought. But you're. It, it's what happened after that you're complaining about, I guess. Right. That's what. Steve Kalan, man, it's monetized this. I'm going to break out the fucking rum tonight, brother. We're breaking out the <laughs> rum, and we're drinking it, and then we're gobbling each other's sphincters. Uh, it's going to be a big night for sphincters. That's what I hear. At least that's what I hear you guys uh, talking about. Here comes another dono. Put angina, most stream labs censoring my end bombs. Good I to know. see no illegal Mexican gargats and Rogers on the show. Oh. There's no talking over each other. AJ Adams, you need to uh, 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 oh. cover you with snow and dump you in volcano lava like you mongoloid. You know, Spin four. I wonder why. Yeah, Garguts was a mess last week. Everything was all right, but Garguts was. Well, yeah. What the fuck was wrong with him, dude? He would just like start a conversation about nothing in the middle of another one. Or if you talk to him, he would just ramble off into nowhere. Like, man, he was loaded. Like, that's what that's what it was. He was loaded. Which I, I feel bad for him at sometimes. I know because I like, like I like him a lot, but he was messed up. Right. Well, because some he's usually good. He's just but there are some weeks where he's just fucked. My man is living out of a storage unit. Like 
Uh, and he has cancer. What the fuck? Uh, yeah, Ugh. that's pretty crazy. And he oh, talks over man. people, that asshole. God damn it. I'm just kidding. Well, <laughs> Jesus. Somebody get him a job. Yeah. What the fuck? If he could formulate he a can, sentence. Right. If he can say, please donate to my link, he can say, welcome to McDonald's. Exactly. Yeah. I mean, listen. Not a job. He's, he just started. No, he doesn't, Jesse. Yeah, Jesse, go with the shtick. Go Come with on. the narrative. We're shitting on a man with cancer here. Back. Go with the oh. shtick that he's a bum. How are you doing, Jesse? Well, he is. That doesn't mean he... <laughs> Touche. <laughs> uh, we'll just skip the answer to that. Trust me. Well, I was listening last night, God. and God damn, Jesse, you were <laughs> trying to get his fucking old thing taken away. <laughs> like I was like, oh, my God. <laughs> that oh. was wild. How are you doing uh, today? I don't remember a damn thing about it. I don't even know I was on with them last night. Oh, <laughs> well, you wouldn't remember, I guess. With what you, <laughs> Jesus. You said about every racial slur in the book about 70 times. It was. Did he say Fortnite Sandhead or something? What did no, he say? Said, no, uh, he said, no. Uh, oh God, it was crazy. I was, I was, I, you know what though? I got to tell you, I was only listening for about thirty minutes, but I was playing something on the Xbox while I was waiting for something to render, and I was listening like, all right, I'm listening to whatever. And there was like, not, you know, it was like nine people watching or something, and I'm like, uh, you know, I'm playing video game and I'm, I'm waiting for something to render and I'm listening, and then I hear Jesse just, just, I don't know, huh. just go insane, and I fucking dude, I'm not kidding, Jesse. Nice. I spit coke. All over my wall, dude. I was sitting here fucking playing a game, and I'm like, motherfucker, like, oh, man. And that was like $200 worth of Coke that he wasted. Dude, too. no, I, I mean, like, Coca-Cola, you cunt. But I was like, and I'm like, fucking, oh, I go. Nice. <laughs> dude, if only That's I was hilarious. on video. If only I was on video, because I'm like. <laughs> oh, man, it was the way that it was the savagery. <laughs> I was impressed by the savagery of it. Oh my God, Jesse knows he doesn't play any games. He just right spits it out. Right on. That was great. I'm glad it wasn't on my show, but it was hilarious. Like it was gold. Like it was really funny. Like it was. I mean, it was not really. It was just cheap shit, but it was funny. Like I was. That's why it was funny because it was so fucked that the it was like. Pop. Yeah, we gotta spin Ooh, the wheel dude. for uh, who the fuck just donated. Um, Pretty much. Santos, who you have to spin for? Oh, Santos. Okay, Santos. Here you go. Fuck. Oh, Shout yeah. out to him. Shout out to Lorenzo in the chat. Eddie Lorenzo. Chaos. You guys are killing it. Yeah, Boom. Yeah. Want a little piece Eddie of this? Eddie Viper, baby. Eddie Viper, love you. Crazy fuck. <laughs> wow. <laughs> 3,000 points for Colonel Santos. He gets what he got last time. Come, you yeah. fucking crazy. <laughs> Leave the Rojas right there. Come, you fucking crazy fuck. Oh, oh my no. God, dude, Rojas. Oh, my God, Rojas is a riot. Nikki J, you want to call the sex line tonight? Man, I don't know. I could call it pretending to be a woman. With my yeah, high 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 Wandy calls being a woman. Hey, it's what do you mean pretending? Yeah, I actually, I mean, what am I kidding? Yeah, yeah, what, saying, what do you well, mean? Just talk normal. Oh, no. Yeah. You know what She's I watched? Like, right. Yeah. You know what I watched today? I watched the... I thought that was the fucking joke. Oh, <laughs> my butthole. Please. <laughs> I I watched nine kids reacting to '90s oh stuff, my. like like kids react to the internet back in the day and and stuff. Oh yeah, Dude. I see those on Facebook sometimes when they scroll through. Yeah, yeah. Listen, I watched a bunch of them, and there was a couple of them where I was like, man, these 15 year old teenagers are just as almost as smart, just as smart as us right now. They knew, like some of them were yeah. like, yeah, we'll say the same thing about our stuff, and it's like that's how it goes, and it doesn't even feel like the 90s are that long ago, really. You can see how it's, but then some of them were like, oh my god, these people are losers, and this is weird. And so some of the kids, I wanted to choke, <laughs> I, like I wanted to choke them. They were like, right. and one guy was like, one guy was like, oh, my generation will be known as this. Because we're so progressive about stuff, where back in the '90s, you know, it was just awful. Ugh. It's like, what are you talking about? Like, what the fuck? You said, what the fuck? Brainwashed I you? I saw a couple of the ones where they uh, were listening to music from back in that era, right? And a few of them said that they liked it, but a lot of them were like, "This is weird." Yeah, like, what is this? 
I can tell you one thing. There are there are a select few people that appreciate older music, and we always did too, man. In the '90s, we liked Pink Floyd and '70s music. Oh and, yeah, you know, and all kinds of shit. So like, I, you know, it's not that crazy. Kids still walk around with Metallica and Pink Floyd shirts, and they're 15. But um, we, we did that. Yeah, exactly. They, and they, and they said that about us, and now the kids still do it. That's how whatever. Right. But like. I can see what they're talking about, but it's some of them you just wanted to choke them. Like you're like, I just want to, like just like, oh my god, you fucking idiot. But some of them were really smart, and you were like, yeah, like they know what's up. They know what they're doing. It'll be this will be okay. But yeah, it was interesting watching it. But they also watched like one of the cheesiest things. They watched a commercial for the internet, and the commercial is just awful. And I'm like, listen. I wrote in the comments, like, I'm like, dude, listen, this commercial was cheesy then. Like, nobody, like, right. you know what I mean? Like, you were in school, they showed you that, you went, this is the worst shit. Like, oh, we really yeah. have to watch this? It's like, so, like, it's it's almost like they think that we were that cheesy. And it's like, no, we, right. we really weren't, but the production of video sometimes was. And I that mean, that's the thing. It's misrepresenting. Have you, exactly. Have you seen a progressive commercial today? Like, People don't buy that shit, like, because of the commercial. They're not, like, mind, you know. And for people to have that, for little kids to have that idea, oh, yeah, they actually believed that Domino's was crafted out of clay. <laughs> it's like, Ugh. Oh, my God, you know what would be great? Not to, not, I'm not taking any politic sides or anything like that on anything, but, like, because, I mean, right-wing is still the same kind of right-wing, I think, it's always kind of been. The right-wing conservative people are pretty much around the same as they've kind of always been to me. But I think the left wing people are so out there at this point. Some of them, you know, the extreme ones, not the regular ones, but the yeah. extreme left are so crazy. So I would like to take the, you know, that tick, the SJW TikTok videos or liberal TikTok or whatever, where they grab all the craziest people. I want to go back in time to like 1980. Like go back in time to like 19. Dude, imagine if you could do this. This would be the funnest TV show ever. You go back to 1940, 50, 60, 70, and 80, and 90. All those time periods, and you show the liberal TikTok videos, like the 100 craziest oh. ones, to yeah. a group of people from each of those time periods and get their commentary on it. Dude, can you imagine that? Like going to England in 1960 and being like, hey, want to see what they're talking about uh, pushing and doing in the in the year 2021? And then the guys and the girl's like, I... On a on a Friday, it, it, I I flip my pink bracelet this way, and that mean, means that I'm a I'm a compulsory uh, Vegemite. Like they just be like, <laughs> what the fuck is wrong with you fucking people? You fucking crap mad as shit. They not have mental institutions. Like I mean, it would be like, oh my god, dude, it'd be so fucking hilarious to show them because you can't show a conservative crazy person because they'll just be like. I love Jesus and like we well, gotta stop abortion. Like if you go back to the '60s. Someone will just be like, yeah, this goes on now. I don't know what. But if you show them the liberal one, it, that, that, I think, is the different one. They would be like, what the fuck is this? Oh, yeah. I, I, I register as a rhinoceros fucking zombie cunt. Like, I mean, yeah, that, don't you know that? Can't you tell what bracelet I'm wearing? Jeez. Like, or, or, or go back and show them a teacher. Do you guys want to see a teacher in the year 2021? Here's a teacher in the year 2021. What do you think about her? Okay, so during third period, we have announcements and they do the Pledge of Allegiance. I always tell my class, stand if you feel like it, don't stand if you feel like it, say the words if you want, don't have to say the words. So my class decided to stand but not say the words. Totally fine. Except for the fact that my room does not have a flag. It used to be there. But I took it down during COVID because oh, it made me uncomfortable. You un American and, piece um, of shit. I packed it away and I you may have missed that, but she said she took it down during. Listen, I'm not the most patriotic person, but she said I took it down during COVID because it makes me uncomfortable. All right. I took it down during COVID because it made me uncomfortable. And um, I packed it away and I don't know where and I haven't found it yet. <laughs> But my kid today goes, hey, um, it's kind of weird that we just stand and then, you know, we say it to nothing. And I'm like, oh, well, you know, I got to find it. Like, I'm working on it. I got you. So she lies to her students about dumping Dude, the American flag in a closet. Like fucking, like, taken out of school. Like. <laughs> in the meantime, I tell this kid, we do have a flag in the class that you can pledge your allegiance to and he like looks around and he goes oh that one <laughs> okay so during the period we have <laughs>
What a psycho fucking cunt. Like, I mean, what so is wrong with people? kids to pledge to the trans flag, and that's okay? Well, you know what's weird, too, is my neighbors who moved out, you know how they were multiracial? Like, there was a, you know, a black husband, white wife, and they had a kid, right. and my, my, my kids are still friends with them, and, and they moved out, unfortunately. They left us. It was so sad that they left. Um, they, they used to have an American flag out front. The new people that moved in are a single white couple, and they have the that flag out outside now <laughs> i'm like ah, they yeah. moved on. i don't care i don't get into symbols too much about either way if you if you're too obsessed with the american flag you're probably a little weird if you're too obsessed with the rainbow flag you're probably a little weird like anything but like listen why not just put the rainbow flag up in the classroom somewhere if you want to say like support that but why do you got to get rid of the mm-hmm. american flag and mm-hmm. hide it in a closet that's fucking weird you're hiding exactly. the american flag in the closet what do you like? What kind of Russian spy is this? How does it make you fucking feel uncomfortable? The gay flag doesn't make me feel uncomfortable. Yeah, kind of makes me mad, but it's not gonna ruin my day. But to actually take it down and to like put it like away and forget about it, like these people, they're freedom phobic. They're afraid right. of people being yep. free and having the right to do what they want and say what they want. Yeah. Um, and I'm sorry, but it's and that they get off party. on canceling people too. It's it's not even that. It's just that party, as soon as they said that gender has to be a hate speech if you misgender, and that is proven in the Canadian government, you can go to jail now for it. Yeah. That is their take. They have taken away your freedom of speech, and they want to do that in certain uh, – they want to do that in America now. This and is weird. So they, they're freedom phobic, and I hate to say that as a former Democrat, but that's what they've evolved into. This and is very sucks. weird. Like, I'm, I'm sorry, I mean, th- this is some strange shit. I don't care what, it doesn't matter. Nobody here, nobody listening to this show who's a real liberal or a real Republican thinks that this is okay. Nobody thinks this no, is normal. No. This is the result of no religion. Because so many people, which is fine, I'm not religious, I'm an agnostic person. But when you have no religion in your life and nothing to, to fight for or value, you look for it. It's just human nature. If you don't have it, you look for it somewhere. And... I don't really. I look for it in space and the idea that I'm still waiting to find out what's going on. But these people have committed to these weird things since they're not religious. And th- th- this is as crazy as us. I don't a, think it's religion, Joe. I think it's just human nature. No, well, it's it's people to need, want to aspire and, well, and but I just, search for a deeper meaning. Everybody wants a reason as to why the, what their purpose is. This is a weird thing. But religious it, it, or not. But. but it reminds me of religious control when people like. So when people in schools force the kids to do like religious stuff, that's why separation of church and state. You're not supposed to have church stuff in school. But this is the new. This is the new sort of church thing. Like you got rid of the flag to put up the rainbow flag, and then and now you're gonna make the kids do some kind of singing for. It's just a weird. This is weird, dude. Nobody agrees with this. That's normal. Nobody okay, on any true. side. That's true. I can't believe anybody believes this. Yeah, they're like religious nuts, but instead of like religion, they use social causes and shit. Oh, yes, like, that's what yeah. I'm saying. Like, they, they, it's just there's a lot of like mostly there's a lot of honest religious people who are just religious and it's good structure. They get into it, whatever. But man, there's a lot of dangerous ones too that like get carried away with this, like that they're above everyone else because of their divine beliefs and things like that. That's where it yeah, gets if you dangerous. Don't tithe, your, your, you know, your, your I mean, dreams won't come true. J- just like, just your like prayers can't be answered well, without just, money. Just like straight edge people, we've always said this. Straight. That's why some straight edge people develop this complex of like I'm stronger and faster and better, and it becomes like a sort of a narcissistic well, like I'm better than you. Like which it's it's good if you're clean and you're yeah. But why do why how, how do you know if someone's straight edge? They rant on you, yeah. They tell you. Just yeah. like vegans, wait three minutes. Yeah, you got, I got it. Yep. I got to add, these are some isolated incidents, but Joe, what the difference I think is that this has breached the government. For example, in the United States Embassy in Jamaica, they took down the Jamaican flag and put up an LGBT flag instead. So the people of Jamaica in their country were protesting it, and they were called homophobic uh, anti, you know, um, LGBT people. Wait a minute, the like, people. Well, why, the you p- just took down a flag and put up an LGBT <laughs> p- flag instead. It doesn't matter what flag you replace it with. It's the just Jamaican hard. people are put, trying to put the are getting mad at the flag, are putting a rainbow flag up, and they're all flipping out. 
because they take the Jamaican flag down in Jamaica at the U.S. Embassy in Jamaica. They took the Jamaican flag <laughs> down and put up an LGBT flag. That's, you that's better take it down. This you is better the get it down. Thing. You better take down the rainbow flag. <laughs> you better take the rainbow flag. You fag, you take the rainbow flag down. Don't be messing around. Don't take our flag down. I'm sorry. Yeah, but oh, can you yeah, imagine yeah, them? Yo. They're freaking out. Like, get that shit out of here. Like, they're just screaming. <laughs> oh, you can man. see the videos. It's funny. Shy it's God. Funny. You know anything about that? Shout out to Shy God, man. He was the real, yeah. the big funder. Uh, tonight, no doubt about it, man. Let's Maybe, go to the. Uh, Justin sailboat got lost in the hurricane. No, I think. Um, well, you know, wow, this could be the biggest coup ever pulled off to take three hundred <laughs> bucks. It's this is smart. I gotta be honest, like this is smart. Like, I mean, this is what what something in re this is like. This is like Baron Corbin taking the money in the bank. Yeah, by JB. <laughs> I mean, this could be the funniest coup of all time. Speaking Did of uh, hypocritical, we went Joe? ahead and found out that oh, I was kind of right with my Joe? guest last night. Thank and that you for mayor the donation. The and because you donated, I'm going to feast myself in the bunghole. <laughs> my sources from Epic Games say that the skins for MLK update are going to be MLK, James Earl Ray, Malcolm X. Jesse Jackson, Alabama Sharpton, JFK, a Ku Klux Grand Wizard, Huey Newton, and a seven-year-old Michael Jackson. <laughs> oh my God! Please, God, no! No black. Nebit the Jew. What's up, Nebit? That and is. And the glider should be a cross on fire. Oof. Oh, that could be devastating. Let's go ahead and spin the wheel for Nebit the Jew. What's up to Nebit? <laughs> Shout out to Sith Negan, seventy five hundred dollars this week, insane or this month, insane, and that badass out of nowhere championship, Jake, sexy. Look Sorry, at that belt. Keep making out with it. It's so good, it looks fake right there, but that's really the belt. Like that's how good it is. Nebit the Jew is gonna pick up uh, five hundred points. Thank you to Nebit. What's up, man? I'm gonna be going up to get my rum in a minute here, so I could go off the rails tonight. We'll see what happens. We'll see. This, yeah, this belt though, Joe. She's a whore. She puts out. Did you immediately feel the need to ejaculate on it, or did it come slowly? Yeah, I built up. I edged for a while. Smart, smart. That's a good yeah. call. Lucky, I wanted it lucky. to cover the, the the entire you know front part of the belt. How you doing, AJ Adams? Are you looking? Uh, is that mic working? Or let's find out. I put him in here. Find I out. gotta ask, Paul, are you filming from like inside a cardboard box or like what's with the dimensions of your room? Is it just yeah, me? I'm right next to Gargut's actually. The oh, <laughs> you got the storage <laughs> unit. I like it. He's I just like got it. this angle, so it has a fisheye look to it. It's crazy. Yeah. Right uh, next to Gargut. It's just such a low angle. Yeah. With the yeah. vacuum cleaner. I like yeah. it. I like it. Well, he's inspired by Monetize This 69 or Jesse's birthday or whatever that episode was. <laughs> Was that the one where I fucked the vacuum? That was your birthday. Uh, right? I thought that was eighty, a little bit later in the eighties, but maybe it was. No, it might be. It might have been eighties, but I think it was Jesse's birthday, if I remember. Oh. I think you're right, and no, Johnny Impact, I did not get to monetize this belt. This is the out of nowhere championship. It was. Uh, That's right. I don't it's know which exactly. Now. It might be which on. One? It could be on its way. Sorry. You don't know. Could be coming. It could be. Could be. Jesse looking fire. Gargots doesn't those... know where I lived, but maybe he just asked a few people. Dang, oh. he probably did. A lot of people, uh, you know, expecting. The police but... department will tell you. Oh no, a lot of people. Maybe JB could show up tonight. We don't know. Three hundred dollars on the table. Could he show up? We're not sure. Steve Kalan is the hurricane uh, tonight, and his belt's on the line, or his uh, belt is rather his crown's on the line. And right now, Nerdy and Jake are neck and neck with one million points, courtesy of the Beast. Sith Negan, as the hurricane continues to roar down south. Uh, I mean, listen, we're due for one up here. Dude, that last one fizzled out and did shit. And which, thank God, but it was close, man. We didn't get shit. The people down south, though, are in trouble. I mean, this. Yeah, I, I lost internet and that was it. That's oh, right. You got kind of yeah. hit a little bit. Yeah, we lost cable and stuff. And then the. Goddamn senior center that that's across the street. The alarm went off all night long because 
Jeez. And then the fire department had to come and shut off the power to fix that because when they lost internet, their alarm system just kept going off and off and off and off and oh. off. And it's blaring loud because it's a security thing that if somebody gets, you know, injured, hurt, whatever, they have to come running. And, Dude. Yeah. Look at this chart. Oh. Like, if you have anxiety, like, just don't watch the news at all anymore. Because look at this. Oh, God, yeah. Risk to lives and property. <laughs> Some <laughs> moderate, high, everyone's almost in high. And then <laughs> e and then extreme, a good amount is an extreme. And then catastrophic. <laughs> like, and the catastrophic, unfortunately, instead of being more narrow, it's completely wide in the center, just crashing into what looks to be Louisiana or no, that's New Orleans. Uh, New Orleans, yeah, yeah, New Orleans, New Orleans. You dickhead! It looks that way. No. <laughs> Is that not how you say? It? No, uh, no. Oh, I, listen, sorry. I got a, I got a story about that. You guys know how my mother's boyfriend was? I tell you about how he was kind of a dickhead. You know, drunken dickhead. Dude, he was the worst. Like, I'm pretty sure I hate Led Zeppelin because of him. Because, like, you know, he would fight with my mother. I would get anxiety because my parents are fighting. And I'd get, like, what's happening? Or my, not my parents, but my mother's boyfriend. And I'm like, is he going to beat her? Is he going to hit me? Is he going to break stuff? I don't know what's going to happen. And and then, like, he would almost kill us in a car accident. And then, like, while you're driving, like, a song would come on. And he would crank it all the way up and turn it on. And he'd be like, Yeah! And he'd be like, now this is Zeppelin, kid. This is Zeppelin, baby. And he'd be like, this is Stevie Ray Vaughan, son. And he would, like, put on a country accent when he said it. Like, now this is Van, this is ha Van Halen, son. And I'd be like, okay, I'm terrified of you. So This is Paul Walker, son. Yeah, like, like this is Family. Buffett. I can't believe I like Jimmy Buffett because he was a prick. But uh, he was, I mean, he was like always about Jimmy Buffett too. But for some reason, I like Buffett. But he'd be like, this is Buffett, son. And he'd like turn it way up. And as he's almost killing us in car accidents. Oh, no. And, but the, like I, cool I tell that, well, he was, he'd probably be cool he'd now. Cool to hang out with, not to have as a stepfather or a Prob father. Yes, he'd probably funny to hang out with, but you can leave at any time. So it's like, all right, let's get out of here before he fucking kills us or something. <laughs> all my friends were like, your dad's awesome. Like, that's because he's buying you liquor and feeding you drugs. Of course you like him. Exactly. He's not beating the shit out of you yet and throwing you down a flight of stairs. That's exactly right. Like, listen, my buddy's dad, though, was cool to me. I thought he was amazing. He was a drunk guy, too, but he was cool. He was like, you guys want to go fishing and do all these things? And he was drunk and crazy, too, but not like that. So he was better. But it was what? like, man, but I, I tell this story to say this. We're down in New Orleans, or as I said, New Orleans, too. I said New Orleans. And then I started saying New Orleans. But New Orleans wasn't enough for him. So as we're out at dinner at some little fancy place, he starts to get completely trashed. And halfway through oh. the meal, he's calling the waiter over for no reason. Calls the waiter over. Because I, I go, when are we leaving New Orleans? When are we leaving New Orleans? And he goes, he goes, <laughs> now what the fuck is that? I've said it a million times, son. That's not how you say it. It's Nolens. Nolens. That's how they say it, kid. Nolens. And he Nolens. Starts, now he fucking starts saying that louder and louder. The whole place is looking at us. He calls yeah, over the and waiter. The, and then the hurricane comes, and then they get all mad because of all the flooding, and then they <laughs> blame Biden because he doesn't care about black people. Oh, <laughs> no. No, that's 2004. But he calls the yeah, waiter over. Yeah, it's all reoccurring. Everything's reoccurring again, man. Well, let's, we can only hope. When's the terrorist attack? True. Legit, what, uh, oh, here, yeah. I, I mean, no, there's a false flag coming. happened, but the, the, yeah. No, the false flag is coming next. That's what's next. But, dude, Let's he go. calls this guy calls the fucking waiter over, and the waiter comes over. He goes, he goes, yes, yeah, sir, what's going on? He goes, you don't say it, New Orleans or New Orleans. You guys got to say it the right way. Teach the kid how to say it. And the waiter's like, the waiter's like smiling a little bit, like, yeah, haha, -ha, like, yeah, no, like, not like New Orleans. And he goes, yeah, no, Orleans. And now, now the waiter's doing it and like kind of smiling but uncomfortable. You can tell he's uncomfortable. And then he goes, no, Orleans, son. And he bangs the table and then gets another beer. And I'm like, oh, my God, bro, this guy's driving us home. And he drove us home and almost killed us. Oh, no. And so like when I, 
<laughs> so New Orleans, New Orleans to New Orleans, which I do say New Orleans now, but I don't know. That's my little thing on why when you said New Orleans, it triggered my uh, memories. <laughs> well, would let me ask you this, Joe. Would you ever wish that he actually did crash just to get it over with, just yes. to end it because it was, you know, that little pain for a little long, you know, 30 seconds? Yeah, it's one of those things. It's weird. You almost, you know, that thing where you feel like you almost feel bad for your captor or whatever. Like, what is that thing? Like Stockholm's or whatever the hell it's called. Yep. Like, yeah. Like, awesome. I almost get that weird. Fe- I get that about a lot of people though. People that hurt me or people that really were dickheads to me. For some reason, I still find this need to reach out and say, "I'm cool." Like, aren't you cool? Like, you're a part of my life. Like, it's weird. Like, and I, I you know, so he came by one time when my son was three, and um. Oh. Yeah, and 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 he the kid was inside, Leah was inside. I couldn't believe he came by. And he was cool, but he was still out there. He looked like disheveled. He had a fucking mm. scooter with him. And oh, I, Gargut. I yo, what's up, Gargut? Speaking of drunks, I haven't seen him now. <laughs> I hadn't seen him in about uh you know, eight years. Eight years I hadn't seen him. Mm. And uh he goes, I got this scooter, check out this scooter, man. Get on the scooter and check it out. And it's it was it was like one of those like driving scooter bike things because he couldn't okay. dri- drive a car because he they took his license, and uh, <laughs> and so I did I drove it around the block and came back and he kept going keep driving it keep driving it tell me you like that I'm like I don't want to fucking drive this thing he's already right. annoying me so I'm like yeah man I was like great to see you and everything like holy shit and then he left and that was it and that was the last time I saw him but I was like oh my god man this guy just Jeez. fucking will never change, I guess. I don't know. But it would be fun to be at a bar and, you know, even though he was a, whore, you know, really bad, man. He wasn't really good. You know, he was did some shit to my mom. He cheated on my mom. He was weird and whatever else. Uh, you know, terrorized me, obviously. But, you know, there's a part of me that's like, hey, you know, listen, nobody's perfect and it's not worth it. If I, you know, I'd sit with him for 20 minutes and have a little chat about, this is all that happened since you left. And what have you been doing besides getting arrested? All right, good to see you and I'll see you in maybe in 10 more years or whatever, yeah. you know, that doesn't, bo- that doesn't, you know, bother me. But also there's a part of me that's like, Hey, if he acts like a psycho, it'd be good to kick him down some stairs too. So yeah, that'd be fun. I'm sure. I'm surprised that- he didn't try to sell you the bike after you read it a couple times. Yeah, well, yeah, it. yeah, No, that thing was probably his lifeline. Are you kidding me? That bike yeah. was his fucking lifeline. He had no, no he idea. tells you to get on the bike and then he's like, well, no gives these back so that'll be five grand. Yeah, I know. I, I fall off it, break it, he sues me. <laughs> kind of like Billy Bob Thornton, Fuck yeah. JB, he is a piece of shit. He left the show over and over and then took Leo away from you on Friday and Saturday nights to play video games and tomb Leo away from Joe. He left for too long and doesn't deserve to come back. I hope JB gets the Delta variant. Oh my god. Oh, oh no. <laughs> Debe's Debe's on wait a minute. Dab on Debe's mom. <laughs> <laughs> oh no. Oh my god. Actually, I, when I spoke with him earlier today, he uh he actually said I'm not friends with Leah anymore because of you. And I said it's not I don't think it's because of me, really. And then Leah said that's not true, that they got, they got some kind of disagreement about something else. Leah still plays games with the other two, but I guess he left or something. I don't know. They had some kind of beef. I don't know. But I didn't do it. God damn it. But I do know we paid JB $300 tonight. I do know that. We paid him $300. $150 was from Shy God, who helped fund it. And I don't know where he is. <laughs> <laughs> At this point, it is getting kind of later. We'll see. Will he be here? It's the biggest mystery of monetize this in a long time, man. In a long time. But I got news, man. I got big news. I got big news. And it's it's coming in later. Um, listen, big news. But uh we can't we can't disclose the big news right now. Not yet. Not yet. But it's coming. It's coming eventually. Listen, you gotta oh, you gotta stretch it out. Uh, are you I, uh, are you coming right now? I mean, what what is that? No, I actually uh, had to head out. Um, I have something planned in the morning. I gotta pick up some stuff. Oh no, you're not killing someone again, are you? Shit, so, are you gonna hurt somebody again? No, no, no. I just I gotta go pick up some lumber and shit. 
Oh, you're picking up lumber. lumber. What do you? What do you? Okay. Yeah. What are you building? Something? Uh, kind of just doing some stuff out here on the farm. Really sketchy, but okay. Yeah, that means <laughs> no, no, no. Bad. It's not that sketchy. It's just adding on some stuff. No, it's cool. All right, brother. But anyway, you guys have a great night. I'll be listening, passing out, but I'll be definitely listening to this shit tomorrow. So. Okay. Well, you got it, baby. All right. See we'll be sure to talk shit about you after you leave. All right. Later. I right, hope we'll you, you do. Please yeah. do. Have a good time. Make me famous. Listen, I we will. will, baby. Boo. I will. I'll make you fully famous. I can't wait. See ya. All right. Goodbye. <laughs> Unbelievable. Um, you'll just have to wait and see. Um. Now I did. I did. Uh, yeah, I did have a good talk. But apparently, listen, I, I, I under at least JB figured out what I figured out, which is that Leah just sucks. I mean, he was like, listen, right. I'm out of this. Like, I'll go play games with someone better because, you know, playing World of Warcraft with Leah is like playing fucking Russian roulette with a stripper's pussy that has AIDS, like, and it's dripping in your mouth. Like, it's very or whatever. It's just the worst. Like, playing with her, right. a video game with her, her nagging you, like... We got to go in and oh, you should be a paladin. I'll be a fucking rogue and you be a paladin. You'll be a... And it's just like after a while, you're like, listen, I'm not playing with this bitch. All right. Yeah. Like, uh, this is bullshit. She may Next be... Next thing you know, she's holding the picket sign saying Black Elves Lives Matter or something. You just, you can't get, get through a game with it. Exactly. Yeah. It's like, you know, playing, playing video games with Leah is... It's... It's like living. I mean, like living with me sucks, but like playing games with her, she just starts commanding people and shit like that. It's fucking oh. annoying. It's oh spicy, shit! Though. Oh G Welsh. We plan the spot all day. Oh my G Welsh bomb! I'm getting some of my JB money back that he stole. Evening crew. I haven't been in the chat yet. I've been waiting in the rafters. Let's bomb away Welsh style. Wow. In throwing my name in for the monetize this championship. I see you, DeMarco. Wow, D Welsh announcing he's coming for that belt. Can you hold can coming for that ass? He's coming for that ass, DeMarco. You think you can hold on to it? I don't know. <laughs> D Welsh bomb. I don't know. I hope so. But D. Welsh bombing the show. He wants that and the Out of Nowhere title, I think. And he wants to be uh, D. Welsh two belts or something. My God. Imagine that. But, I, you know, Garguts is working on getting that belt back. Apparently, he went ahead and the belt wasn't lost. He donated it to a children's hospital drunk as a skunk by mistake. Oh. So Garguts sends me a picture of this small, emaciated, Little girl that has cancer. She's bald, Joe. Bald. Completely bald. She's wearing the belt, and she's smiling, and she's so happy. And Garguts kicks her and takes the belt back. So at least he's got the belt back, but Damn. that poor little girl with Jesus. cancer. Oh, my God. Just, I'm just chopping down the fucking challengers. You know what I'm saying? Little by little. <laughs> I Jesus. was really That's concerned. So I was so concerned about what you were going to say there. Uh, Garguts is... <laughs> Great to see you. Let's go ahead and spin the wheel from uh, for D. Welsh here. As I go get my rum, guys, I'm going to get my drink so I can get weird. Uh, tonight, uh, Drunken Joe advertised. Um, we got Drunken Shell in Joe the house. Indeed. And Coot the Loot is here. What's up, Coot the Loot? It's early, dude. It's only 1140 on Monetize. This is an early fucking night. It started early. D. Welsh, this is $200, which is times 300. Don't bankrupt, you son of a bitch. 100. Oh, that was so close. Damn, wow. you almost got bankrupt. That would have been go far, go far. That would have been des that would have been just awful for him to get Oh my god. Um so was that 200 or oh, 100 times uh, is that 300,000? 100 times 300 is no, 30,000, right? Or am I crazy? 100 times 300. That's really Actually, that's probably the worst thing you could have landed on. <laughs> that was the least amount, but it's better than bankrupt. 
It is better than bankrupt, but Jesus, that sucks. 30,000 points, that does put that him up That doesn't suck at all because he's still on the board. No, I know, but it's just Jesus. $200, he fucking stupid wheel. So what do you... So I don't know. I'm looking you, glass half full because that, that could have been bankrupt. You got bankrupt on your times 1,000 spin, so... That's true. <clears throat> yeah, you get it next. So, um... God damn, man. I'm going to have to drink this sunscreen tonight. <laughs> Shit. I'm going to kill you! Go get your rum. What kind of rum? Um, Stiltskin. Yeah, it's going to be this. It's the plain kind, so it's like the sunscreen kind, basically. Ooh. Ooh. That's good. Drink some Listerine while you do it, while, you do, while you're at it. Well, that's that's what, why we couldn't have mouthwash, because of my father. I had some Listerine this morning, actually. You drank Listerine? Well, I didn't drink it. I mean, I you know, I cleaned my teeth out with it. Yeah. Oh my God. No, I didn't drink it. I mean, yeah. If I got desperate, I guess I could. You know, I might. <laughs> if I got like, I wanted to die, I'll drink Listerine. It'll do the trick. I'll tell yeah. you that much. Stops the disease. All right, let me get my Malibu. You go for it. Yo, Gargus, what's up, brother? My nipples. How's your girl doing? Uh, have you? What's the most effed up thing you've seen at a party ever? Uh, probably me getting caught fucking at a party. <laughs> what? Tell us about that. I there's not much to tell. <laughs> I got caught fucking at a party. Where well, were you doing it doggy style? I mean, there's a lot to tell. Yeah, was he I, doing or... I, I propped her down missionary on top of an air conditioner unit. Oh her. Oh, out back. Oh. <clears throat> yeah. Oh and, yeah. Uh, when, we're, when we were done, uh, we had like a crowd watching, they started clapping. Oh nice. Yeah, that would be embarrassing. Yeah. <laughs> That was was there any of- phones out? Uh, you, you know what? If there was, I haven't seen the video. And this was Damn. right around right, right now. I want to fucking see that goddamn footage. Yeah, now you just gotta check uh, porn tube. You know, it'll be on there somewhere. But, but funny enough, the same fucking girl that I was fucking, she, I ended up fucking her at her apartment. But we left the party. And I came back to like my friends just bloody on the floor. So that was pretty fucked up too. Like they were getting their ass beat, and uh, I called the cops, and uh, that's brutal. Yeah, I couldn't do anything about it. They went to the, they hospitalized one of the guys. Jesus, and uh, yeah, he fucked. They kicked his face in. All he said was nice shoes. (laughs) No, he he, apparently he said he was gonna steal a bike, but I was like, why would he steal a bike if he's got a fucking truck? I was like, I think he was playing around, and they took it. Somebody took it wrong and got pissed, and egos got in the way. Yeah. Yeah, no but, OMG. Garguts has multiple sex tapes. He's just talking about with that one, but Yeah. You know, oh, yeah. I I remember my grandmother showed up one day at college. She was younger too, you know, not that old. So uh she you know, everybody liked her. She's kind of the cool grandma and she came in and our room was destroyed. We had a party the night before and we were kind of like embarrassed, like, oh, don't. And she's like, oh, everybody get the hell out of here. And she starts picking shit up and cleaning. It, and, I'm, you know, we're all kind of just laughing. We come back. And as soon as we walk out of the room, my grandmother is yelling at my roommate, Austin. And I'm like, what the hell is going on? Apparently, she reached behind his bed to pick up all the trash. And she picked up the condom that he didn't throw away. So she had oh. his used condom in her hand. And she literally, oh. like, to torture him, brought it down the hallway, like, room to room, being like, was this your... Like, she she was so mortified, but yet embarrassed <laughs> the hell out of him at the same time. Like, she she just turned it on him, and oh, my God, he That's was so disgusting. embarrassed. Dude, your grandma was a trooper. Oh, she was great. She was, good at, <laughs> she was great at torturing <laughs> people like that, because he was just so fucking embarrassed. What had happened was the night before, he had his girlfriend up there for the first time. He, we were on the second floor, and... His bed was against our only window in the room. So when him and his girlfriend were starting to go at it, he kicked the fan and it went out the window. Who <laughs> came down and broke. So we had no fan for a while. And uh, yeah, a bit of a disaster. So that's how the condom ended up behind the bed because people were coming into the room to see what the hell happened. So yeah. Oh, yeah. Crazy shit. So did, you, did y'all record that? <laughs> I wish. Phones <laughs> then. Christ. 2005? Six, oh, somewhere around there. Fucking Sony Ericus, Ericsson's and shit like yeah, that. Yeah, we actually had a camera you could <laughs> pop into the bottom. Yeah, those are terrible. What were you saying, I'm nerdy though? Do you guys have a weight limit? What What do you mean? Like, I'm fucking? Like, I mean, like, you know, like, everybody's got a weight limit. Everybody's got, yeah. like, a height limit. 
it has to be which, skinny enough to fuck on an air conditioning unit. Right, without breaking uh, it, at least. I, at least. Uh, and if, I don't know, man, NFC. I've been like that for a long, long time. What's NFC? Oh, fat chicks. Oh. It's fucking old, good old Simpsons. Homer Simpson. Yep. NFC, yeah. oh, fat chicks. You know, uh, like, but, as, as uh, triggered as some people will get, you know, women have, like, height uh, limits. They'll say, oh, I won't date a guy under 5'5". Five, five. So I, I'm just wondering if you guys have weight limits. Uh, and that goes around call? real often, too, nerdy. True, true, true. Yeah, it's no, like, I, I didn't find my grandma's Nuva ring, but I am proud of her. She was she was crazy. My grandmother was bad. Nuva ring? <laughs> Nuva ring? <laughs> she was a freak that, back in the day. I remember one of my earlier memories is we went to go see Chubby Checker, right? The guy that sings yeah. Twist. Come oh, on, yeah. baby, let's do the twist. You know that. And my grandmother's on stage grinding against Chubby Checker. Mm. Like literally up against Chubby <clears throat> Checker grinding because she loved 50s music. You know that that's that's that was my grandma. She was crazy, but she was Ooh, she was great. Like that. Condom, I'm sure. She takes <laughs> yeah, condom, right? Like oh, there's, there's there's a reason they call it the twist. Oh, oh shit. Would yeah. you date a girl that's taller than you? Or fuck. I would I, I would mean, absolutely yeah. date a girl that's taller than me and everybody would was always skinnier than me, so I don't know about that, but I did it. It's uh, funny because girls never really had a problem with the weight. So long as and, and especially if you're a big guy, you know you're putting in the extra effort. So true, true. I, it's more cuddle. A lot of girls like that actually. I I didn't have time for cuddling. Oh <laughs> I came later, but uh, said nut and run. That's right. Yeah. I remember the, uh, the only time I had ever been with somebody and they regretted it <laughs> was in college. And uh, I I got with this girl. She was beautiful, like out of my league, beautiful, totally, absolutely, you know, disgustingly out of my league, beautiful. But she was drunk as could be when she came back. And it was a night, two nights after my birthday. And we had gotten back from the bars. Everybody was drunk. And she brought me back to her room. Her roommates were there. She kicked them out. And then we woke up the next morning and she just looked at me and she was like, oh. I was like, <laughs> look what you, <laughs> you regret this? I don't, this is a story. I man. was inside you last night. That's right. And right and now. And again. And still. <laughs> can you shift to the left? These beds are really small. <laughs> right. You bring yeah, me some breakfast here. Yeah, her roommates came in the next morning and they're like, still? And I'm like, oh, God. You know, it's just, she was mortified, but it was hilarious. Excellent night, though. I yeah, For those virgins out there if you ever need to practice or wonder what it's like to you know embrace a woman down below with your lips just take a take a good old-fashioned hot sauce packet okay and rip it like i did you see from the top you fold it and you rip it like this and then what you can do is you can just fold it open and close de Ooh. depending on how tight the female is you see and then what you do is you just take your tongue and you go like this <laughs> oh. in it. Uh, fucking puke you might, if she's a Latin girl, you can use the super fire sauce. Exactly. If it's really, if she's Hispanic, it might be spicy. Um, if she's British, it might be cheesy. Uh, and, you know, if she's Japanese, it might be a little sushi like. But nevertheless, you take it like this and you go, oh. Has a, Can't wait uh, till somebody know, kind of photoshops a, a dick. There. Please do Yeah, it. Ner then, Nerdy made a fuck slit out of his pouch. But. And then <laughs> the way you, do is you, you take the sauce and then, you know, it's not going to be hot sauce. It's going to be, you know, woman sauce. And you just rub it all over your face oh, like the hot sauce. Get it you just oh. get it. But, it was... but it's actually the girl's stuff, you know. And then you just kind of shower in it, you know. You just pour it on your face like this. And then you just <laughs> dribble it in. And then you oh. kind of pick your nose with it. You're you get getting good my thing. all turned on. The good thing Mikhail, is Taco Bell. Well, he's... <laughs> Using that in, in lieu of you know what it usually is, he, right, he loves menses, you know. We don't want to break terms of service here, exactly. So, what you, you get into that slit, you see, and the sauce is, of course, the female juices. And then, you, if you can, do you use your Our nose nerd. and you rub the butt with and it? And see what you might rub think is a little gross, but what it. he's doing is transferring the, the liquids on his face to her asshole so you can have slippery anal afterwards. What? Like how he goes slowly ass burning. mouth, and then <laughs> it's yes. slowly making him breathe. If this might impair your ability to to breathe, and it might be spicy if you use an actual hot sauce. So I suggest, that's what she said. Uh, yeah, yeah. You suggest you use ketchup because it does get a little spicy. But um, what the goal is to get all the smegma in and around everywhere. Mm, smegma. Because when she exactly when she goes in for that kiss right after you come, 
you make sure that she, she makes- feels what you she tastes what you taste. Yeah. You think or- outside the bun, you know. Or they could just, uh, or they could just fuck a can of beans, and you know, put a little bubble wrap I in there. Corned beef hash. If if I'm gonna get down and dirty with a can, it's gonna be hash all the way. And then when I'm done, I don't even have to crack an egg in it. I just get a piece of toast, and it's already fried. Yeah. <laughs> Last week, the other day, I saw uh, Susan Johansson. Remember that old fuck that fucking would tell you how to masturbate the right way at the end of yeah. the day? Uh, which he basically brought out a can of peas put bubble wrap in it and said you could fuck this as a, you can make this as a sex toy and she was like inserting mm-hmm. shit in it and the big show is Ooh. next to her and tom go <laughs> like they just move away from her <laughs> probably the best much like O'Brien. page oh mm-hmm. shit much like page you can practice with any packet any type with ketchup mustard whatever um Try this at home. You'll impress your lady like anybody else. Uh, Jake, wouldn't you agree? Maybe. Absolutely. This is my hues. You know, my wife made a comment the other day. I, I'm going to ask the day is how you guys feel about this, but we were kind of talking is? about raising our daughter and go back and forth. And I, you know, mentioned she, she was just talking about different things and future talk came up and she was like oh I, I would be so devastated if danny was to ever smoke marijuana and i was like yeah I, I you know eventually at some age i'm sure she will but not at this young you know 14 still right. i'd prefer not to i said but you know i my fear is her getting pregnant she's like oh that's not a worry she could we could just raise the baby i'm like so you'd be more against her smoking a joint than getting pregnant <laughs> And she's like, yeah. I'm like, what fucking sense do you make? But she thought I was crazy. So I don't know. What do you guys think? Don't. Oh, that's I'm a good dragging point. you into my fight. I, it's, it's I would say I, I agree with you. Yeah, I'm, okay. I'm a man. I agree with you. Yeah. Picturing anyone near my daughter, I, I already loaded the shotgun. But honestly, even, <laughs> even if it wasn't my child, I wouldn't want to see anybody, no matter what, if you're, if you're going to raise the child or not. No. Especially, yeah, especially in today's you know, world, I wouldn't want to have a kid at all and bring a world or a kid into this fucked up like world. It's only getting worse. Yeah, Jesus Christ, dude. When we had Danny, it was getting bad, and then even then, you're like, oh, a little weary. Nowadays, I agree, it's risky. Fuck me, <laughs> got my forty. <laughs> oh shit, beer down, alcohol. Oh abuse. fuck, now that's gonna spray all over my face, just like uh, good lord intended yeah. it to. Pumpkinhead said it is absurd, uh, but I know people like that. Hell of a username, but yeah, honestly, I, face off. <laughs> I've known a few myself, and it's just baffling. But yeah, I uh, I thought it was right. I would say weed is is far better to deal with than any type of child. So first time I ever saw weed, I was probably like eight years old in elementary, and sort of smoking it outside. Like I'm talking about a kid. Yeah, I mean. You're going from my parenting where my father used to physically force me to snort heroin so that I wouldn't bust him for shooting heroin because his thought process was, hey, if you're being forced to do it, you can't tell on me kind of idea. So you know, it's you're dealing with that shit, but she's worried about one joint. I was like, oh, no, I just wouldn't want her to be pregnant and, you know, the, the stigma you got to live with and getting trying to get through school and all that. I figured it would be so much worse. Oh, isn't it legal over there? Uh, yeah, recreationally, it's legal now. But if you don't have a medical license, you can't purchase it anywhere yet. For like another year and a half or a year, you still can't purchase it anywhere. So what the fuck? Even with rec- you can you can have it, but you can't purchase it. So how are you supposed to get it? I don't know. But at yeah, fourteen, fifteen, you really start getting curious. Maybe she maybe she is curious about like smoking or something. It's not really a big deal. I'm a sh- it's not. And I've I've spoken to her before. I said, please, you know, if you if you do ever have any issues and, and need someone i said that that's always a deal you call me and then i pick you up you come home you know no if ands or buts about it but don't ever get in a car with friends and anybody inebriated stuff you know stuff like that <laughs> be prepared to say, you know i said but i'll never punish you if you call and say hey i need help i'm in a bad situation i'll never uh you know g- give you any type of lecture i will just go ahead and you know say that's my you know kind of thought process with it Dude, within that rant right now, Michael's cat attacked him. He goes, "Ow!" <laughs> it's like me with the freak guy. I, I was. That's why I started to laugh halfway through. He's like, "Ah, yeah, I'm fucking pissing." <laughs> Michael's got a, getting attacked over there, but Get it is a cute cat. What did you say? What's the about cat's name? Schmegma? dude. I heard Schmegma come out of nerdy. Go ahead. I'm sorry. Yes, yes, you did. 
already went crazy. Uh, and Shell, I'll have you know, I washed my face because my upper lip is on fire. Like it's got <laughs> syphilis, not because you told me to, okay? I'll have you know. I was like, oh, he's going to lick a fire packet. This is not going Damn, well. that's what your girlfriend gave you? Shit. Imagine if Mikel thought he was off the show and then just started eating out his mother on the sh- like. Uh-huh. He was raping his cat. Oh. Um. <laughs> oh no, that's worse. I feel like I feel like you could get away with the mother because the you know the algorithm doesn't know that, but it sees you eating out a cat and we we got problems. You know that's a problem. Mikel, put the pussy down. Come you fucking crazy fuck. <laughs> Mikel, what's no! the cat's name? E. What's E? The cat's name e. is E. Like e. You, you named it after your favorite drug? No, his favorite word. Oh, yeah. E. 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 Erection. His favorite e. color. His favorite number. Favorite song. <laughs> My favorite number is blue. E. Love you too, Mikel. We love you, Mikel, man. I shit on you, but I love you, man. He was telling me what number one in his heart. Go happy ahead. birthday, by the way. Throw the cat yes, out the window. Birthday. Throw a cat happy out the birthday. window. Throw it right out. Fuck that ass pussy. Oh. Fuck that ass pussy. Pussy. He sounds like a, the great Ali saying poopy. Get the poopy. I thought the same thing, yeah. And then Awandi was like, he really does sound like me. I'm like, see, that's why I thought he was from... I'm, whoa. <laughs> whoa! <laughs> oh, it's my God. Time, man. It's, it's like me with that woodchuck the other day. Jesus. I mean, I didn't see it, but I heard it. The oh, cat... I saw that one. I, I I, don't think the stream saw it. The cat attacked Mikel. He just, the cat literally <laughs> tried to bite him. He just jumps up. The cat remembers. <laughs> he tried. <laughs> oh, it remembers. He's the opposite of Shane Dawson. He did come on that cat. He's going to throw oh, Mikel out the window. His camera for me is all, is just jacked up. I don't know. Yeah, how... it's that's high quality there. Oh, my God, dude. That fucking It's sound... retard HD, Joe. Wow. Oh. <laughs> the the dude. fucking hostage camera. Holy shit. Jesus is that the Christ. clip? <laughs> I, yeah, no. he's, he's been taken by the Taliban. Oh, no. <laughs> Mikel's in a cave. <laughs> yeah. That's why his camera's even better this week. Send him to Afghanistan. Yeah, he's got an upgrade. Take bets on. Do you think they're asking for vaccine cards over there, the Taliban? No, no, (laughs) no. I bet to see a card. (laughs) You don't have TikTokers over there telling them to get vaccinated. Are you kidding me? (laughs) Get the vex. No girls in the street dancing with text in front of it. Then getting shot by the Taliban in the middle of the road. Get the vex or it's your ass. It'll be the best TikTok ever. <laughs> just yeah. a girl dancing in the street in Texas get vaccinated and the guy just comes up with an AK and Oh no. Oops. Be and a taco. Yeah. <laughs> Taliban talk. <laughs> Taliban taco. <laughs> no, it's in a TikTok, it's Taliban talk. <laughs> it's all just mm. propaganda. Seven. Oh, I forgot to tell you guys. I got a DM from somebody who said they were working with Triple H management team and that they want me to jump on Hangouts, Google Hangouts with them so Triple H could get information from his fans. Oh, my God. And okay. I, well, so, well, he I'm, already watches, so. No, but I'm like, come on. You like, follow the link, and next thing you know, they yeah. got all your credit cards. <laughs> right. <laughs> Dude, it was so weird. And then I go, yeah, I, be- I, I, I was like, I know all these guys. I, I, I've ta- I have Triple H's email, his other email that isn't this. And the guy goes, oh, well, then never mind. It's for fans only. I'm like, yeah, sure it is. Oh. Okay. Sure it is. Uh-huh. Yeah, it's not from WWE directly or anything, some random douche. Yeah. So if you, get uh- a, if you get a DM from someone claiming that he works for Triple H's management team, like, <laughs> I got the DMs. It's the funniest thing. That's why you make people prove it. I mean, WWE has their own badges and stuff you know this it's not hard i was like dude you would dm he goes in is easy <laughs> i go so is it a video chat with triple h or an audio chat with triple h and they go it's just a chat to protect triple h and i'm like yeah okay okay does he have diabetes one or two no 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 just diabetes just diabetes it was really dumb like, oh my god bro i was like what kind of scam is this yeah. And did you have to pay it's a for scam it? as gay as the NXT logo. No, I never. And when I say gay, I don't mean homosexual. I mean gay like how we said it back in the 90s. Yeah. <laughs> that thing is about as 
uncool as it possibly can get. Now they emailed you on your email, right? Not through like Twitter and shit. Um, yeah, they no, yeah, that's the thing is no, they they DM me on Twitter under some weird name, and I was like, okay, oh, and I'm like, you know, it's like Joe five nine two, and they're like, I work for Triple H's team or whatever, and it's like, yeah, okay, sure you do. Oh, see, I've gotten emails of things pertaining to such, oh, and it ends up being BS too. Yeah, I mean, come on. I'm not retarded. I well, well, yeah, well, I, I am. Yeah. Yeah, I mean, we are, but I'm not that type of retarded. I'm close yeah. though. I thought about it, so that maybe there's a little something to me, like, huh? Okay, man. we're not that dyslexic. You know what? Maybe JB's like Beetlejuice, where if I steal a shtick of his and I use it three times, so it'll appear or something. So, oh, maybe so we're like you, no, 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 JB. Gonna... I guarantee you, he is laughing right now, listening to this. He's like. What? He's like, I'm gonna watch Cronin sweat. Like he released this video. Like, like hey, I know it. He's sitting there laughing his fucking ass off, dude. He's a genius. He's laughing right now. He's probably playing some fucking game or something. Like listening. Like, <laughs> like you fucking watch. I know. I said when I die, I'm not gonna get a video like that from oh, Joe. My, Jesus, and I, he's still not showing up. I guarantee you. Like that was great. He is dying right now. This is the best milking. You made him CM Punk. I I'm telling tell you, you, he's he is. Listen. Regardless of what he's, whatever he, whenever he decides to come on, whether it's in three hours, four hours, one hour, thirty minutes, whatever it is, he is hilarious. Like this is the greatest thing. Yeah. What was that, Jake? I'm sorry. No, that was it. I'm just saying. You no. know, that was that was a hell of a video. You turned him into CM Punk. <laughs> I did. I turned him in. I fucking because that's someone said that that he's this of the community, and I went, mm -hmm. oh, that gives me an idea, and I made the video. If you haven't seen the Twitter video, it's pretty good. It took me a fucking hour and a half to make that motion shit thing follow his head there's a lot of production in that by the way took me like 60 seconds yeah. to do the what's in the box one but you got me beat you know what i was thinking I about like doing i was thinking about having like arnold come out of nowhere and then i was thinking about tracing arnold from a movie and a gift that's a png and where like where he like you know does something weird i can make it look sexual but then i was like all right i don't have two more hours so i was like i'm not gonna do that but you know they have yeah. an auto trucking plug-in for that right now Right. They have a what? Just they have an auto tracking plugin, so you don't have to do it frame by frame. Yeah, you can just literally click right? it on the I, head I, and it'll on, do it. I, on Cyber Director, it's terrible. The the I don't know what it is, but it's horrible. It doesn't. That's because Cyber Director is a piece of shit. It is. A, <laughs> it is a piece of shit. How did you edit yours? Because this sucked. Yeah. Wait. What are you guys using? I use Final All Cut Pro. Legally purchased programs. Right. Okay, Final Cut uh, Pro is definitely better. I mean, I have it for a Mac, okay. but but for for Windows, I would say Adobe, man. Just yeah, but or okay. or um, uh, DaVinci Resolve. I, it's yeah. Davinci. I have Sony. It, I have Sony Vegas Pro too, but I just didn't know how to do it in Sony Vegas, mm -hmm. and I'm like, all right. Mm -hmm. And listen, I always use Final Cut as well. So like, but I don't even. I haven't used it in a while. And XSplit has their own editing program now too that is actually pretty good too. But not for motion capture stuff, right? No, no, no. But I'm just saying you can you can do a lot of different stuff too if you this, need to. This, this I would say get DaVinci Resolve. Adobe would be it's best, free. Yeah, and it's oh, the really? it's probably best best free thing in the world. It I has use that too. Does it have motion tracking? Yeah, it's got. Oh, you can. Uh, it's it comes awesome. with defaults, and then uh, you can also download. Whatever you, you want plugins. to that shit. Yeah, I mean, like, plugins. Cyber Director's decent enough that I'm like, cool. And it has Motion Tracker, and I'm like, all right. And, and I, I use it, and I'm like, man, it is really not that good. Like, it is yeah. bad. Like, it's like, it's like, it's a feature, but it's a fucking a horrific feature. Like, I mean, after, yeah. like, it loses the track, like, almost immediately. I made oh. a 30 second clip of Kylo Ren. He, w he smashes his helmet in one of the movies, but I tried to track it that it was an actual uh dvd of the movie the last jedi itself so he was breaking <laughs> the it tried to track it with his helmet and it lasted maybe four frames and then it was off of it and i was like fuck and i just quit you know but <laughs> uh, <laughs> tracking is one by one though it's that's fucking yeah next thing you that's know old school shit dude. it's on his face and it's up in the corner yeah. and... well ladies and gentlemen Thanks. It's time to take a shot of rum for that two hundred dollars. Yeah, the D Welsh draw. Go, let's go. I don't have any. Schmegma I wish I had Pepsi. Oh, oh. I wish I had Pepsi or oh, dude, Leah dropped the phone, her phone on her foot earlier. Oh god! And like she like Leah never 
complains about being hurt ever. She like fell on the ground and was like, I can't move my foot. Something's wrong. I'm like, yeah, it's because the phone dropped from way up on the bookshelf. The point of it hit her foot. And I'm like, no. so I'm like, so that phone just hit your nerves, tendon, muscle, and bone. I'm like, it hit all those spots directly. Like, so you're you I, and eventually she was able to wiggle her toes. I'm like, all right, you're able to wiggle your toes. You're all right. It's gonna be, take it's gonna be like cramp fucked for like hours and probably in a day it'll be much better and then two days you won't even know it happened. But I'm like, she's like couldn't move her foot and she, I'm like, this is hilarious to watch her like in pain she never is normally in pain ever the only time i ever saw her in pain where she was like where she like winced and like made a weird sort of thing was uh childbirth before I was about the, to say yeah. birth yeah. yeah they were late on the epidural or whatever and they were like oh yeah you we need to get this in now or it can't happen and it almost didn't happen but you know but babies just fall out of her now like at this point right yeah Aww. hot dog yeah. down a hallway scenario yeah, yeah dude it's real Aww. weird well i always said that i said to her i said Cause she's always like, "Oh, I'm not. I'm all fucked up from having kids." I'm like, "No, you're not. You feel great. I don't know what you're talking about." And she was like, "All upset about what?" I'm like, "No, I don't. I don't know what it is. But when she has babies, they fall right out of her. But yet, the tunnel steals back up again. I don't know." <laughs> That's how you guys were able to have Thanksgiving that many years in a row. Because she would go to the store and take the turkey. She would just wear a skirt. Oh, what the hell? Wait a minute. It's, no, 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 no. I mean, oh, wait a minute. Puts a new meaning to if turkeys ate us. Or... Yeah. <laughs> This is weird. Like that ass. Turkey's anus. Turkey's anus. Uh -huh. Let's go to the donations. Liberace's corpse called. Uh -huh. He loves the NXT logo. Rampage sucked except for take on his ass. Better storyline was Corbin stole briefcase again and got rich selling it, but wouldn't say to who. Payoff is it was Lesnar. Instead, we have smacked. Ooh. Yeah, I'm I'm surprised not to go into too much wrestling, Mr. Pico, poo pussy taste, or whatever that is. Um, but you know, uh, SmackDown was a bit lackluster for what they should have been able to deliver. With, I mean, I thought, I'm just shocked. I mean, this is what we got. Yeah. What the hell is going on? It was pretty on? pretty boring, and there was crap for matches tonight too. Cesaro yeah. and Chad Gable was two minutes because of the DQ, and Bianca's whole fatal four way elimination thing. You know, basically was 12 minutes. It could have been so much better and longer. It was still good, but it could have been so much more for all of it. So. Just disappointing. Are, are you guys... Uh, Garguts. Is that, was bullshit. that was bullshit. Yes, I agree, Mikel. That was bullshit. Yeah. It was a bullshit show. Hey, speaking of bullshit, are, do you guys find it bullshit that they released the goddamn Matrix movie, like teaser trailer at that comic show or whatever, and we still can't see it? Yeah, they haven't put it online. They did that with quite what? a few things, though, originally. They did, they did that, that with, with the original Suicide Squad and Batman versus Superman, and it's the generate buzz and make people that wait 30 hours for one convention hour at a you know big thing to to feel special okay. it stinks i'm dying to see it but i'm we'll see it soon enough I mean, they, they made everybody either put the, their phones in those bags oh. or they take them away from you we now, need to leak so. this thing somewhere if someone doesn't have the google glasses on or something come that's on that's what happened man. to the spider-man trailer they they hacked into somebody got it and then they put it up and <coughs> that's why they rushed it up that was it. It was it was a journalist that leaked it to Superhero Theory, which is a was a, uh, was a big YouTuber, and it has his name yeah. on it, Edward whatever. I was like, oh my god, all this shit. Oh, his 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 channel got taken down in like six hours, and his oh, I'm Twitter sure, and his life. Yeah, because they're gonna sue the hell out of him for that. Wow, I'm sure. Wow. Yeah, but the Becky Lynch stuff was cringy in the beginning, and you know that that too. I agree in in the chat. But yeah, I would love to see some of these things. But I, I get they have to make it like exclusive. You're going to Comic Con or these big panels, and you're sitting thirty, forty hours in line to get into the Hall H panel and stuff. So that you got to have some type of payoff True. for the fans. Hey, so get getting a, a a teaser, I get it, you know. But yeah, you sit in a big ass crowd, and then you leave, and then two weeks later, you get COVID and die. It oh. just Joe is was so right, and I, I I get the cocksucker comments out now, but really I he always says you know you go woke get broke, but there was originally I don't remember his name I'll find it in a second, but that uh, uh, he was a sports athlete and he was going on and on basically, and you know he's got to preach everything about BLM and then oh look Colin at that Kaepernick. now he well, no not Kaepernick funny enough, but I'll find it out who it was I'm I'm looking it up now, but oh, this guy goes ahead and. 
he ends up getting charged with rape now, you know, and it's like oh. every single time those that preach just it's 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 the true virtue signalers that go right. ahead and always manage to, well, to make this I'll happen. tell you oh, why. Benjamin Mendy. That's who it is. The soccer mm. player. Benjamin. Mendy. I have the answer oh, as to why nobody virtuous needs to virtue signal. Right. There you go. That that's a great point. So they, it's just funny how he went on and on and preached and, and spoke about Black Lives Matter and all these things and how white people are terrible. You got to have all these different. Uh, oh, look at that. He's been charged with rape. There you go. Uh, Mo- you know, Money Don't Nitro. That's a great point, Money uh, Nitro. Did anybody else find Becky Lynch doing the Connor stuff even super cringe or did you like yeah, it? Yeah, especially with her being like kind of heel. That's why I said it was just very lackluster. Louder. Oh my god, dude! I was like, you see, I mean, she's already like that. We already know that's sort of the thing. Because oh, I'm I, I'm Irish. She's Irish. Like we get the whole thing. But like Jesus Christ, man! Now you're just whipping out his lines. Like, and then they have Bianca come out happy, skipping. I lost my title. Yay! Why did Why did Bianca Belair smile down to the ring? Like I'm still the champion. I'm on. She didn't just smile, Joe. She skipped, hopped, and twirled her hair. She should have been no hair in the world. She should have been like. I have to be colored. She should have been. Oh. What the <laughs> fuck, Gargutz? What the hell is wrong with you? What does that mean? <laughs> That's what Vince does. Look at all the motherfuckers over there. No, I know. Every, I'm just yeah. Kidding. Look at Biggie. Still got a gyrate and Kofi and, and still uh, got a dance. Why couldn't the- Bianca Belair should have been mean mugging her, staring a hole in her? Like I'm coming down there and I'm gonna. Rip your goddamn hair out of your head, but instead her husband and you know they, with the Street Profits, they've got a great face team there. You know, going up against the Usos. Had they added Naomi to, they said to the Bloodline. I mean, they could have had this big trio thing going. There, there's so many interesting stories if you don't want her in the title picture. But if you do, then treat her like a serious contender because that's the only right. thing Bianca has going for. Her. If she's the fastest, the, the strongest, the greatest, all this stuff, you can't say it if she's getting beat in six seconds. Yeah. It ruins her character. She loses the fastest. I mean, come on. Yeah, she's not the strongest. Certainly cool. not the yeah. greatest. She's the fa- yeah the fastest at losing, fastest at getting pinned, the greatest at blowing it at SummerSlam. You know all these kind of things. That's where you end up going with it. So it, it it's just a far cry for the women's division of being decent at all. The tag team division is even more in disarray because now they have tag teams going single instead. So that's odd. And then they have Rick Boogs and Nakamura, the IC champion, now becoming basically a full-time tag team. So, okay. But then they split up Dominic Mysterio and Ray now. Like we said, they should have done months ago. But they split them up. But then they turn Boogs and Nakamura into a tag team, even though he's the IC champ. It just doesn't make sense for what they're doing. Finn Balor's an afterthought just to fill in. They needed him when Cena wasn't there. Now they have him when Cena's not there again. And when Brock's not there, and as soon as Brock comes back, it'll just continue. So I feel like there's so much micromanaging. They're just kind of like, when they go yeah. out there, they don't even know what the fuck is going on. Yeah, there's there's a thousand little things, and then they contradict themselves constantly because there's no one there for any foresight or ability to tech, you know, check any type of contingency. <laughs> and the, you know, yeah. oh, let's make sure we've got this planned out if this doesn't work through, and oh, let's have a contingency plan in place because now if, if someone does get sick, we should have a backup because COVID is a problem, and you know, we but they don't they don't think of anything ahead. Never mind, have a backup plan for their their lack of planning. So whatever. Yeah. They don't plan it out, and this is just pathetic tonight. I mean, but that's fine. Listen, hey, it is what it is, and you know, I'm about, I'm taking shots of rum, and you're taking shots of uh, jizz. I mean, let's be honest. What do you What are you yeah. taking a shot of tonight? I'm about to roll up a bleezy. Uh, oh, everybody's God. smoking, so you guys will all be high, like laughing, and I'll be like, yeah, well, <clears throat> and I'll stare. that joint? I'll, I'll get belligerent. No, I got well before I. Before I do that, I'm gonna get. Look, I'm only smoking. Up, I, I think I, I I I think I might smoke. If if I see Leah is drinking upstairs, I think I might smoke. That's so it's gonna. Damn. So it's up to her. It's gonna be up to her. If I see her, I'm gonna be like, all right, I'm gonna get high. Cause then I'll so random. And then I'm gonna film my anxiety attack I when it. I harass her. So when I start harassing mm-hmm. her with my anxiety attack, it will be funny. I'll be like, oh my god. Oh my god. Oh my Should god. Last drunk? weekend, <laughs> I got Courtney inadvertently high unplanned and really? she becomes a, a horny devil when she's high that's and oh yeah damn it, that's what leah, leah does too 
you know, it, it's hilarious because she she turns super silly and funny, but then uh-huh. she's also extremely horny. So it's yes. the best of both worlds. That's yeah. what just, happens to Leah, and she won't. She tells me, "No, I get paranoid." I'm like, "No, you don't. You get horny." Yeah, that's why I was so exhausted partially last week. I made the joke. I monetize this. I don't think you were here though. I was like, "Oh, I, I was afraid I broke her ribs on the washing machine." Yeah. So the lid came. Oh. That was that was that night. So yeah. that was funny. Oh shit! Yeah, but that was the truth, you know. But it, seriously, you know, and it's like you put the so lid down. You got to get not intentionally. <laughs> shit happens, but it turned it into a spin cycle, Gargots. But you got to get Leah to smoke. That's the key. No, yeah, and unfortunately, I, other than the last, so she hasn't smoked since that she did it about four or five times one summer about four years ago around monetize this 160 or 150 (coughs) she did it like four times with me and what's weird is i don't know one night she just said yes to it and it was strange and i was like what really okay let's cool and then she smoked and she got so hyper like happy and like mm, and then got just it was why i was like this is it was a crazier night than had she been drinking. Yeah. And I'm like, what? Oh, yeah. It brings out the... It, well, it takes away inhibitions in a different way because, you know, if you are paranoid or stressed, usually it brings that away. It can increase anxiety, but it depends on what, what strain, yeah. how your body absorbs it, all that different stuff. So Yeah, a couple of times she did get a little, like, weird with it, but after that passed is when she got wild. and I, And so, like, I've been, like begging her unfortunately probably why she won't do it but it's been three years or four years since she's sm- three years since she smoked probably four well, that's why you gotta get you know two glasses of wine into her and then just be like hey i'm going outside quick and then you know make her just she don't do shots quick. right she don't do shots at all uh leah yeah she, not she, really right she never she, cared for I drinking mean, alcohol straight she she does she has she's done shots on monetize this multiple times on camera but and, wasn't that like a, a big thing to get her to do yeah. $300, yeah. I remember that Yeah, one. at yeah. home, I mean, she doesn't any... Ever since she discovered wine, about four about four or five years ago, Leah discovered wine. And when she discovered wine, that's when she sort of, like, went into this mode of, no, I just drink a bottle of wine when I want to drink. But, I mean, she would... If she was in a good mood and having fun, she would. Like, for instance, if we were out with friends or something like that, she would definitely... Like if like she would do anything like if her friends are like, we're going to do these shots, want to do it. Chances are she might say yes to it. But if I'm around the house and I'm just like, hey, Leah, want to have a shot of vodka? She's going to be like, no, you know, I don't want Hmm. it. It would have to be something. She tried whiskey on the show a couple of months back. If you remember that, Um, that was because, you know, Moon and Guz, Moon and Guz were they were talking to her about whiskey. And then she was like, all right, I'll try it. And so that was what led her to try that. Yeah, because yeah, that's the thing, because Courtney's not much of a drinker either, ever been, but every now and again, you know, if I catch her in the right mood or something, they'll be like, here, you know, the other day I wasn't feeling well, and she happened to smoke with me, and it was just, you know, not much, and but you get that good reaction, so, especially, yeah. I, I always stick to uh, sativas usually, but this is an Indica one, it was like Hauntrica, uh-huh. and it was this super high THC one, so I was like, yeah, just hit that once, and that was all she needed, so. Damn. I would, I dude, I it was, w- it was, this stuff is like 87% THC. I usually I, don't vape anymore. I quit the actual vape like before Christmas. I haven't vaped since then and I usually stay away from it, but I couldn't get the flower tonight. So I was like, oh, I'll pick up something. And, right. I, uh, wax these, is always these good. Things worse, I but, do yeah, think, I mean, they're strong as hell, but I think one of the four or five times I do remember one time Leah did get fucked up to where she basically was like, I'm going like she went to bed like she kind of went to sleep because she was so freaked uh. out. So there was one out of five times where it was like, oh, that ruined the night. But the Courtney four- had one of those. She went out back and she thought like there was the, the, like the trees were moving and it was freaking her out. And she was like, oh, something's going to chase me. And I was like, no, you're fine. So right. That ruined that. <laughs> <laughs> hey, let's uh, welcome in. Uh, gravy is on the phone. Oh, my God, oh, bro. Shit. Our buddy Gravy. What's gravy. up, Gravy? <clears throat> what up, folks? How Damn, you doing, Gravy's brother? here. Joe, What's going Jay, on? Rest Crazy. 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 Shelby. Hey, how did that but hurricane that hurricane beat you up? No, we didn't even get hit by it, which oh. I was surprised about, to be honest. We had a little bit of rain. No uh, heavy winds. I don't know about you, Jake. We had one tree limb come down, one tree limb, and it took out our, our whole cable and internet for like really? Yeah, like ten hours. Uh, it went out uh, right before takeover and then it came back probably halfway through the night. They had to take out the power here for an hour to reset everything. 
and we have that senior living complex across the street. So the alarm went off most of the night because of the lack of internet. It was awful. Well, hopefully the ventilators it. lost power too. You know? Well, a couple of them must have because uh, that after a while, some of those alarms must have been real. We'll still label it. <laughs> oh so shit! Anyway, so. yeah, yeah, we didn't get hit by it at all. I was surprised. Oh, yeah, I mean, you got, it looked like gravy's here. Looked like it was gonna directly fuck you guys. And yeah, no, I was fucking. There was like talking about three weeks without power, bro. I was like, "There's no way, bro." Yeah. Like so the past. Someone's dying in a week. <laughs> like, yeah. I can't do three weeks. Well, bro. dude, and then no. the heat wave. We knew the heat wave was coming, so we're like, dude, if we lose power, that's. Can you imagine no this AC? week? Oh, gravy. What year was it during Halloween? Where it was the night before Halloween, where we had that snowstorm, that freak storm that took out par- uh, power five, for like five years ago. Yeah, and and yeah, I had I a couple that. people stay with us because they lost power for twelve or fourteen days, and that was really bad for yeah, a lot I can't of do people. It. I can't do it. No. I can't even do it one day, bro. How many hurricanes have y'all hit? Got hit in the past like two weeks? Like three of them? No, no. no. We, one. Got, we only got hit by that one. But we, it really we haven't wasn't been hit. Hurricane. <laughs> Let me explain yeah, something. Henry, there being a depression. Because we haven't I had haven't, a hurricane in twenty five years. I we we haven't had a hurricane all fucking hurricane season. I don't know what the fuck's going on. Well, I mean, but I said twenty five years. I mean, yeah, of course. I mean, it's coming though, <laughs> Gargus. Don't worry, you're gonna get it. Trust me. I want it. Just like you're gonna get a welfare check. What I check. want. <laughs> what? But oh, what else is up, Gravy Man? How you doing? Oh, we killed him. I'm doing. I'm doing good, brother. Talking to Shelby. How's Shelby doing, man? It's Joe with Jake and everybody else. What's up, baby? Oh. Mm. What's what up? do you do, baby boo? I'm still waiting for the sm- the porn of you two. You know, I'm still waiting yeah, for right? that. Just a little gif of it, you know. Gravy with gravy. Well, I gotta... <laughs> Jesus you want Christ. some of my gravy, you bitch? Uh, imagine <laughs> ready for saying, another Jesus. wrestling show to come to Connecticut, man. Oh, I, I actually miss. I actually miss going. Yeah, wrestling? absolutely. I know SmackDown's coming in November, I believe. Really? Yeah, yeah. SmackDown's yeah. coming up. No wait, wait, the wait. last <laughs> SmackDown before uh-huh. Survivor Series. The Rock's rumored to be there. So, <laughs> where are they going to? Mohegan? Wait, in uh, Connecticut Excel Center. Oh, yeah, they Whoa. were teasing it for selling tickets. Risk Joe, getting you, better, snabbed. you better fucking be there, Joe. If you I think smell. Grady's girlfriend said she wanted to ha- make a porno. I think I heard that in the background. I hope well, so. You guys gotta pay for it. Put that on Patreon. Oh. Listen, <laughs> I, I think what I, if it was at Mohegan Sun, I would I think I would go. I would. And I in fact, you know what? I'd go early. Just to scare the wrestlers at the suite the night before, because remember Jake when I got there, they had just all gotten there, and I just missed like basically I was gonna stand there and just be like, yeah, an idiot. No. Well, there was a few that you know you were trying to meet up with too with playing. No, I hung out. I got to talk to Baron Corbin for about three minutes. We we sat there at the at the uh, poker table. Yeah, which is funny because like what he's doing right now. That was, remember yeah, that? Literally what he did. Yeah. Yeah, he Baron Corbin was playing in the casinos. He was dead serious playing at the poker table. I guarantee they got this idea because he loves casinos. How how much was he putting down? What a dollar. A dollar. Yeah. A dollar. <laughs> Yep. Oh yeah. Right, dollar a hand. No, he had he um twenty five. Him and okay, so he looked very quiet and he was he was wicked nice. Like Corbin is such a he was wicked cool. The one person like everybody was cool. Corey Graves was like you're like this guy's a, a Dickhead. gotta be a douche. <laughs> yeah, yeah, I basically. think he might be a douche. I don't know. He may be cool. I mean, I look like a douche myself. Corporate CM Punk. But yeah, he just seemed like a dingleberry. But Corbin was. <laughs> was cool corbin was nice i thought he was cool um, my uh my uncle back in the day when we had new haven coliseum you remember that right jake oh yeah i Fucking used to go there for a lot of shows yeah me Love too. that place uh my uh, uncle went to a bar right after the uh raw show and stone cold was there with uh triple h oh yeah he went up and asked stone cold for his autograph stone cold told the guy to fuck off bro whoa <laughs> like oh, are, yeah. you, are you really that much of a douchebag bro Fuck off! Like, oh, yeah. he, was, he was drunk. He probably <laughs> was, but like, damn, just fuck, yeah. savage. You never know. <laughs> like, that is savage. Dead for that night. Way to go! <laughs> yeah. Imagine China. Oh, oh shit! Imagine China. <laughs> think about drugs? think about China ramming Triple H, like being on top of him. 
Think about her climbing on Triple H and fucking him like China. She absolutely did that. Too, she was you know, singing. Like, oh, she yeah. was singing. It's my time. Okay, yeah. My time. She, yeah. She would actually bend him over and put her clit in his asshole. Okay. Oh. oh. She, she changed the word. She's like, it's guy time. <laughs> <laughs> That's where they got the song from. That's how he named the pedigree. That's a good point. <laughs> the pedigree. Mm. The pedigree. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Oh my God, Gar. I was gonna say because she's a unique yeah. breed, but you beat me there. Pedigree. Oh my God. Yeah, that works. Well, um, so let's go. Oh in. my God. <laughs> oh my God. <laughs> she was. Yep. I'm sorry. Spin for my brother. Oh. My cousin. My mate. My buddy. My friend. Paul three. No okay. Well, shoot turtle docks, so you will never ever win the belt. No chance. I like Ooh. Jake DeMarco's punishment. If the belt doesn't Ooh. return by a certain date, Gargi has to do duo show. Oh, duo show with Buffalo, and, and he's going to cut your arms off, he says. Uh, Randy mm -hmm. Viper. Fuck his Buffalo. Fuck his Buffalo. Andy. Um, <laughs> I don't know. Don't I think he meant <laughs> Bullfrog. Andy. But... Yeah, but we, I showed you the clip the other day of Bullfrog just trashing him. Randy Viper, that is. <laughs> <laughs> Whatever happened to that man? Oh, that I love you, Viper. Five hundred points to Randy Viper. What was that? Who said what? Whatever happened to uh, Bullfrog? Did you see uh, the show last night? Killed no, himself. Uh, what happened? He killed himself. <laughs> <laughs> he uh, he he quit. Got fired. Yeah. It's all time. I fired him last Christ. night. I fired him last night. Joe okay. finally fired him because he kept threatening to quit unless we were you know gonna gonna subject ourselves to his will. That's his one thing demand. about Joe, bro. You keep threatening shit, he's just going to make shit come through. Like, yeah, and he keep threatening. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. Just, just, weird. just keep threatening Joe. That's a smart idea. <laughs> yeah, like... Right. Yeah, yeah. Who knows? Next thing, you might be Danny NT and a co-host on a show next. Yeah, you never know. You could threaten... Listen, I brought... Most of my co-hosts I ever brought on my shows, they started it's with possible. threatening me. It's fucking crazy. <laughs> it's true. It's uh, true. possible. Speaking of that, Danny MT. What's up, Danny MT? Yeah. What's going on, man? How are you, brother? I'm Dude, I there's Danny. That was so organic. I had no idea you were even in the chat. I was gonna say Holy what shit. an introduction. <clears throat> he popped up on Dude. the call and now he's here. Shit, I mean Danny MT, you're a great host. I love everything about you. Hurry up, nerdy, save yourself. I always pictured you I always for Randy Viper. I picture I picture uh Paul, I rather Danny MT, more like a just a like kind of a personality who just says he's like directly what he is. So, you know, how how are you feeling right now? Because you had COVID. You would think so, but if you look at Live Leak when it was still up, he beat the shit out of some motherfuckers. So, oh, I mean. oh yeah, oh yeah. Dan, Dan, Danny was was beaten on some ass. You ever beat somebody up? No, I don't think he ever did any of this. But uh, you ever put you the ever... kitty down? Jesus, what are you doing, Michael? Sorry, oh my <laughs> God. Look at that. He's choke slamming the cat. Yeah. Uh, what are you, you should know it. Road, it. Nuts. Nuts. This guy should not be allowed to have an animal. Oh my fit. god, are you trying to RKO oh, that poor thing? I know I it bit you before, but now I see it. why. Cat whoa, he's grabbing it by the neck. Whoa, whoa, whoa. It's easy there. That what are you thing... doing to the cat, bro? Jeez. Pet the kitty. Give it an elbow drop. Like that is. <laughs> <laughs> drop an elbow on it. Oh, Sorry, no. I apologize. I was frightened for that cat. Like that ass pussy. <laughs> how you been, man? Uh, hmm? I'm just grabbing I my drink. Do that. Yes, you would. No. We know you would. You just did. No. Just what you when Joe didn't have the camera on, you were tonguing that cat's ass. Don't you lie. Oh Go ahead. God. Tongue it up. They steal your breath. Mi Ew. Miguel, Miguel, what would you, uh, Miguel, Miguel, what would you, can you Miguel. what do you think a cat, Miguel. Miguel, what do you think a cat coming sounds like? Can you make the noise of a, was that him? No, not your mom, the cat. <laughs> oh, yeah, I want to hear what, he, what does it sound oh, like geez. when a cat comes? This is where he's, yeah, this is where he's supposed to say no, but I know what a cat sounds like going and he kicks it, you know? <laughs> Yeah. Right? Michael, do oh, it. God. I know you will. Yeah. <laughs> Damn, is your mom coming again? Shit. Jesus Car Christ. Oh, Jesus. That's when your mom's in heat. <laughs> Presenting herself. That was the sound when Bullfrog was conceived. 
Jeez, oh my Waste god. The fucking wow. His mom didn't make that sound. Her, her vagina did. <laughs> what the oh, 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 the air came out. Every coyotes died for Bullfrog to be born. I don't know why, but... Well, once that rhinoceros <laughs> pulled his dick out of his mother, I mean, that's all the air coming out that, that oh, loud Jesus. squeak. It was just a waste of sperm. <laughs> oh. That's what my father no. said. It was on my birthday card. Hey, at least my cow <laughs> wouldn't lose the belt. Mikel, I wish you would. Your blowjob going wrong, it said. Oh, I see nerdy's nuts. Uh, <clears throat> it's like I scored it half on the fucking wall, and the rest was in your mother, and now you're here. So, uh, yo. ladies and gentlemen, no, no. <laughs> damn it! Oh my, my god, I was like, Fuck, I, I, he wasn't talking about you, Gargi. Well, whatever. Well, listen, that no. is making me. You make me. You know, on a on a certain nights. You make me want to throw up. Like, just your voice alone. Like, it's very, like, you're disturbing. You know that? Like, you're a sick person. Ladies and gentlemen, I got to welcome him in. It no. is Bullfrog. No, I'm, I'm, just, I'm kidding. I'm kidding. I'm kidding. It's not Bullfrog. I was it's, about to leave so fucking Oh, my, no, no, it's not Bullfrog. It's Jamie! Hey. Dun, dun. He's here! Get you the chopper! Get to the chopper now! Come on, get down! Fuck my face off! Scumbag, you're showing us some stuff. What do you see? Don't you miss JB TV? Don't you miss JB? Miss him! He'll miss his streams. You're complaining about it all the time to me. Yeah! Yeah! JB, what's up? Hey. <laughs> <laughs> what was that? Well, he's had a lot of. He's. To, I, I, okay, I'm sorry. I forgot to say this to everybody. All right. I, I do apologize for this. Let me preface this, uh, JB. And if, I haven't said this to anybody yet. Okay. JB's. Um, one of the reasons he hasn't been around is because of something that's gone on in his life. Um, and he did say that he was uh, reluctant to come on because he didn't want you guys to. You know, he wants you to be remembered the way he was and not the way he is now. Yeah. Um, he didn't want to make anybody sad. He yeah. wanted everybody to have a good time. So, yeah. I'm, and you, I know that, JB, and I'm sorry. But, uh, so just want to let you guys know, you know, it's not the, it's like the new Picard show. It's not the, maybe not the JB you used to know, but he's JB nonetheless. How are you, JB? Still the one you love. Still. I'm doing all right. Oh, so I had, and, and, uh, have you gotten back your the feeling on the right side of your body yet? Uh, uh. Well, I guess that's a no. I mean, listen, um, that's that's did, terrible. Did you tell hear. anybody about the stroke yet, or is this when people yeah. are finding out? Well, Wait, are you sure this isn't Mikel's like second account or something? Are we sure we have JB on? No, it's him. I just no, it's, it's, it's I wasn't I wasn't I wasn't going to use the word stroke. But since oh, he asked me right. not to say that, but if you're gonna fuck it up, I mean, I I didn't read the email. Sorry. Well, anyway, so I mean, so JB, how has it been? You know, stroke you're eating me, out of a stroke. Me. So, like, how is thing? How are things different now since you've left the internet? Really, for the most part, it's been pretty good. <laughs> okay, <laughs> I, don't, I still don't believe this, is JB. No, there's it's no fucking way. It's really him, just because he's different now. With the no, there's no way that my girl literally just started crying because of that, JB. Uh, of what the, yeah, it's so fucked up. Uh, <laughs> oh, you, well, oh, nerdy. If you need proof, it's me. We can always go over more of my text messages. Oh, oh all right, it is man. JB. Uh, he's gonna everyone go right say hello to JB. Uh, Michael's getting abducted by aliens. Let's just, JB's here. Let's what just get right night. to the. Let's just get right to that point of. Um, JB, how did you feel when, for some reason, out of nowhere, for no real reason at all, uh, Nerdy just threw you under the bus for no reason, like, the last week? Well, yeah, I mean, that was a strange thing to do, but it, it, what's more strange, him throwing... I don't even mind the part that he, like, threw me under the bus. What's more strange, that or out of the fucking blue, he's like, hey, I want to do, a, like, a newlywed show. Um, <laughs> do you want to be on it? And I'm like, what? what the fuck are you talking about? Oh, oh my god! Cornball. Didn't I just blaze over it? Because I kind of like pretended I didn't. I feel like I didn't hear it or something. I was like, who, who the fuck plays the newlyweds game? First of all, that's gay as fuck. And two, 
um you know he was all like i did say is joe gonna be a part of it and he was like yeah and i was like all right well then i want nothing to do with it right. i did say that which I, I, no okay. i believed it it's just i was like and it and it kind of did hurt a little bit but i thought but i also thought like jesus why would you say this on the air like but like, for oh, the record God. i never said you know i never said joe's a scumbag and i no. hate him and i know that's what you want to believe joe but that's not what happened well no i just it's not what I want to believe. It's just what I feel inside. It's not what I want to believe. But I thought what he, I still thought it was fucked up. I was like, wow, that was oh, nice. the like, fucking worst goddamn picture of me. Is that the <laughs> only fucking picture you have of me you in your computer? You gave me this. You were like, loved it. You were like, this is the one to use. And I, so I did. Until yesterday, JB, I was still 600 pounds on Joe's uh, thumbnail. So don't yeah, feel what's bad. With, what's <laughs> with you being stupid skinny now? I Like, it's it's annoying as fuck. Go this back to being damn, fat. I know. This neighbor put a hex on it's me called since then. I, welfare doesn't pay what it used to. gypsy said something about thinner. I don't know. You, you look like shit. I don't know. It just keeps going. You know, know. Gargots is the one with cancer, not Jake here. Uh, I, I do. Oh, uh, shut up, nerd. Christ. I do want to say that uh, <laughs> I'm, I'm here only for two reasons. Okay, money. Uh, for, first, the first reason <laughs> is money. Um, Damn straight. And the uh, second reason is, and I want to be very clear with everybody. This is kind of that moment where you need to turn your headphones up. Uh, the second reason is uh, money. <laughs> <laughs> So you what are, in fact, CM Punk. Money. Can we buy you? He's CM Punk. Like, what? Who's it took a bag like to get you back. No, but listen, yeah, but no, but I got to tell you that he's not always been about money because, like, I've offered money before, so there is some kind of right timing to it, but it was just a funny throwaway line that I was like, $300, I'll challenge you, come on, and then he kind of called the bluff, like, a little bit, and I'm like, okay, fucking, okay, let's, this is going to happen. Um, yeah, I caught wind of this, you know... Uh, you know, 300 bucks, I'm calling you out, JB. Let's see who wins this bet or some shit like that. It really wasn't that. And it was just me being like, I dare you to show up type of thing. That's all it was. Like, Yeah, well, once when I seen, you know, <laughs> what was it we said to uh, Jim? What was it? What did he say when you were like, hey, come on my show? Dollar signs. You remember Oh, that? yeah, exactly. <laughs> that's I, Yes, that's this is I'm still a scumbag. I did it with this, you though. This yeah, is him this is what it is Come right tell here. Your yeah. side of the story. Yeah. Don't, <laughs> and I, what, dollar signs. What's the matter, Jr. <laughs> Don't you want dollar signs? Like, oh. yeah, yeah. But the difference is, he felt like your show's nothing, and I can do this on my show. He thought with 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 um, Santino. So the, right. the only, but the only difference here is there's no like, there's no third person to get involved. It's. It's it's all about you, so it's a different thing. Like you might have said, "fuck you." And now the only thing the only thing I felt bad about about it is that I wish that we were like had been able, like you know, what I mean, like I wish that we had at some point talked and been like, "Hey, how's it going? Oh, we're cool, kind of again." Like, and let's we're talking, and then you decided to take the thing to come on, so that it does stink that it's on like. You know, me being a weirdo saying well, like I oh, thought we dollars. were on that path. Oh yeah, I maybe think we are sixty different times. Yeah. Uh this most recent time. And then one night I get messages from an anonymous person uh of course. saying that, you know, it was shitty and I was a real big piece of shit for putting an Among Us code in your Discord. What? Uh, no, JB, you gotta ignore that shit. No, on, sh nerdy, sh shut your face. Yeah, I get, I get Joe, messages every Joe day. Joe knows what things. I'm talking about. I can, I can agree okay. with that. All right, all right. Well, if it's somebody that, uh, all right, whatever. What do I know? Well, I, I and, and trust me, it's one of the weirdest things that that was what caused so much fucking issues. Like, I understand, yeah, it's strange. I put it in there. It was out of the blue, blah, blah, blah. You know, I had a few, a uh, couple of drinks that evening, and I wanted to, like, maybe reconnect with a few people by playing Among Us. That's all it was. It's as far as it went. I really and don't it, think there's a problem with you doing that, to, by the way. There really shouldn't have been. Like I, that's why well, you're not. Well, that that's wasn't why, the that wasn't the well, fucking the consensus that I got. No, I I think you're right, and I agree that I think the problem is is like say, like if someone make if a bunch of people make a comment about it, I'm sure a bunch of people made a comment about it because I saw a lot of people make a comment about it. Some people were positive about it. Some people had some like, what's up with this? And then I thought that too. But I'm like, I don't know. But in the end, that's what my Discord's for is for all of us to connect and hang out. It doesn't matter how it is. And right. you wouldn't, you know, you wouldn't have been blocked. And I was happy you, I actually was happy you wrote in there 
But then, of course, I made the cynical joke as well of like, oh, you know, like, yeah, maybe he's fucking recruiting to get out of it. Like, you know, but it's not. But you see, here's the problem with what you just said. What you just said is <laughs> that was a real <laughs> issue. I know. but And people brought that to me. That's why I heard that from people. But listen, I what really people? think. I, I think. You know, a couple of people said. Your, I think it came from your mouth. Well, it did come from my mouth, but I heard it from other people first said, like, what's up with that? And I'm so like, you, so you know. baby birded someone else's bullshit yes, and yes. that turned into a real fucking thing. Yes, that's exactly what happened. I'm that's not and, retarded. And no, and JD, I agree. You, done, you I did agree. that literally last weekend. You baby birded. Oh, did you call me or did you tell somebody that I said Joe was a scumbag? And I don't get mad at you, JB, because I know you're just, you know, parroting what somebody else told you. I can't get mad at you for that. You were just coming to me and clearing that up. That's true. Oh. I did come to you with no, it wasn't a what the fuck type, you, you asshole. It was like I needed true. to clear it up and come to the source rather than just go forward with well, nerdy's a fucking dipshit who shares I our text that. messages. I appreciate that. And I yeah. think that's what, yeah. I just want to say that I am sorry for that because if I had just left it alone or said, Oh fuck off, then it would have been dead. It would have never nothing would have ever happened if I had just said, Oh fuck off. Like JB could fucking you know, show Oprah Winfrey's pussy in the Discord, and nobody <laughs> should say anything about it. Um, yeah, but the so thing is, that is though, my if fault. You, if you go back and you check the paper trail, I put the same thing on my old JB Sports Radio Discord at the same exact time, and we were in that Discord doing the Among Us shit. I, I don't, don't even... want you to know that you did nothing wrong. Like, I don't want you did nothing wrong. You shouldn't even have to explain this or apologize for it because there's nothing wrong was done. All that happened is. I fed into other people's shit thinking it was kind of goofy and funny to say something. And in typical form of me, made people upset and made well, it worse, made it bad. Speaking of other people, let's let's talk about some other fucking people oh, no. real quick. How about uh -oh. that? Let's talk about... I'm just kidding. Uh, I'm, I'm, not kidding. <laughs> I'm like, Damn it, what, is, what is going on tonight? Does he know about my J, my uh, my Tommy NC fucking Instagram? Like that happened earlier. I mean, yeah. what's he talking about? Look, JB, my nipples are hard, man. Again, you got them hard again, man. Th dude, what is wrong with you? You're you got nipples. Your hair's turning gray. Your dick shrinking. You got a girl's <laughs> voice. Like, dude, is your girlfriend growing a dick? Like, what's going on over there? She might have had a dick the whole time. I don't know, man. It's kind of scaring me. Hey, uh, hey, I want to send something to Leah. Nerdy, kiss Leah. I'm putting her up on the screen to your right. Look to your right. Look to your right. Baby. Yeah, give her a kiss. Okay, I'm going to send here, that. Wait. There. Oh, there it is. Okay, I'm, all right, I'm going to send that to Leah. Thank you. I got what I wanted. Um, She's going to get mad at me for this. No, but Does Nerdy no, have, like, a monetize this uniform? Every fucking yes. time he's on the show, it's the same thing. It's to look like slob Eminem. I thought I had limited amount of clothing, but Jesus, nerdy. Right, right. I've either got this shirt or my interview shirt. So it's every like time I look at Jake, it looks like he's wearing a fucking sleeping bag for a shirt. That's right. <laughs> this call. It's better than sucks. having to sew a few together. Uh, that's okay. That's fair. <laughs> <laughs> You've lost so much goddamn weight every time I look over at you. You have like a tarp on. That's right. I, you know, now I can actually get JCS apparel. Before, you know, like when I contacted the distributor, they're like, "We can't kill that many moths." You don't understand cotton. Nah, it was a disaster. Yeah. I, I have a, I have a, a, f a few things to uh, talk about if you don't mind. All right, let's, let's bring it up. Ooh, I'd go. like to talk about some politics. No, I'm just kidding. So, <laughs> I want to talk about. Do you really have wrestling talk on fucking monetize this now? So the only reason is. There's a couple of reasons. Recently, we've had a little bit, only because Rampage and SmackDown are on Fridays. I moved, monetized this to Saturday, but then I didn't. I don't do that job that I had anymore, so I just moved it back. And the other thing was, tonight I started too early. So a lot of people were coming in for wrestling, and some of the wrestling shows are making better things than i don't know dude it's weird and tonight it just felt like yeah, we didn't. that's a that's a that's a given yeah we well, didn't have... I, I would have called in much earlier but i saw that dumb shit going on and i was like i don't know anything about AEW other than it sucks no so I, I, well, I i didn't oh, want to call you really don't like AEW, huh that shit is gay as fuck but don't you how can you watch but you, know, you think it's better than wwe at this point I don't know. I don't watch WWE. It's all gay. Yeah, dude. It really is. Well, it is though. That's the that's true. True. But if you if you look at like a, a great 
you know wrestling's gay people that talk about it for a living are gay i mean it's all <laughs> just gay yes <laughs> you commented on wrestling for a while nail on that. hey yeah, gargus is here uh, i've gotten uh i feel sorry for joe i, I do know that uh, a lot of people have come to me saying that joe's show is shit now because it's filled with a bunch of rejects how you doing gargus <laughs> oh, <laughs> well, no. well be glad you're not here then yeah you're right <laughs> this is spicy see what dude. i have to deal with i'm excited this is what's going on. Since this is why, uh, this is why uh, I had it's to get, I had to get money from that Shy God. Ceiling. It's called that glass ceiling where people like to fucking just. Oh, say, hey the, man! I hope the glass what, comes down and there. on top of you and kills. It's gonna you. shatter. <laughs> what it is is I'm gonna fucking come on it and then I'm gonna shatter it on oh. my fucking orifice. I don't care. Wow, Jesus, Joe, you matter. really conditioned him <laughs> to have comebacks like you. You know, really, if that's a comeback oh, like me, I mean, take take your <laughs> really. Young I'm going to come okay. on the glass. Yeah. That's the only pretty... way Gargut's glass ceiling is smashing <laughs> is if the FBI is coming through it to bring him to ice. That's it. Yeah. He does hey, live right the, on the hey, border. I fucking trot back and forth to the goddamn border. No, you missed it, JB. You should have been listening last week when Gargut started 700 sentences that went nowhere and interrupted people's stories to say a bunch of shit that didn't matter. It was unbelievably amazing. This is not. I feel like I feel like that's Gargut's in general. He just like he oh, just well. says things that no one really gives a shit about. <laughs> Well, because, I mean, nobody's going to give a shit about anything, so why not? At least he was trying to speak. I was sitting over here overdosing. So. Yeah. <laughs> uh, my no. eyes were rolled in the back of my head. I just kind of, I think at one point, you know. Just I, I just want to take a it, second so. to thank the sponsor, Shy God, uh, who uh, sponsored JB being here tonight. Um, h half of it, at least. Yeah, I do want to give a big shout out to Shy God. I saw his video on Twitter. Oh, yeah. and, uh, Which we will play. You know, I think it's funny that for years that I was on this show, I was considered this fucking racist, crazy, you know, homophobic asshole. And then the first guy that shouts me out on Twitter is a black dude. Well, I think that a lot of the audience... Oh, damn. I got to be honest. Uh -oh. I mean, I think that we always connected with a certain... Like, we did. We connected with everybody, but the minority especially. But there's a lot of my people that are non-white that specifically... You know who liked me and other people, but specifically like you. So that's kind of a dumb. Like they get it. Like people like, you know what it is. The white people have gotten so fucking up their own ass that they don't understand. There's blue collar people out there that understand the humor. That's what so many Hispanic and and people of that background, Latino and and African American, like they always fucking say that. They're like, I get the humor. Other people don't because they're fucking brainwashed into some weird shit at this point. I think. I mean, that's got to be it. What What the fuck else? We relate more to those type of people, maybe. I don't know. I don't think I do. I think I'm a fucking idiot. But, you know, I I relate to people who should have been put in a mental institution. But I on. just seen the poll in the chat, by the way. Uh-huh. You like that? And I really like that 75% of the viewers watching thought that I was just going to take the money and go. <laughs> oh, it wasn't just the viewers. 75% of the hosts thought you were going to take the money and run, too. No, I knew he was. I, I, I actually thought he was. Who, I, I who pictured the you. the fuck is, like, do you have a horse on the back, in the background? Like, what is that noise? I didn't hear it. Horse. What was it? Yeah, it's oh, like, it's fucking Mikkel. Oh, that's Mikkel's <laughs> mother. She's, uh, she's a whore. But, no, she's oh, not. Yeah. She came. <laughs> yeah, he's, um, she, he keeps his mother in the closet, and she has a broken hip. Yeah. Oh. So. Oh, my God. God. He agrees. Did you, is that the dude that I like? The infamous "This Call Sucks" guy? No, yes. no, no. That oh no, that no. that was, that was Michael. Guy. That was Michael. This is Mikel. Oh, Michael. Both. You had more than one of them on their show. Yeah, he's. A, um, the, the other. Um, <laughs> he asked the question weird though too with the poll. See, JB, it was kind of <laughs> skewed because originally I said, "Do we think JB will show?" And then Joe said, will JB take the money and run? So I even was first clicking yes, thinking, is JB going to show? I said he's laughing right. watching me. He's like, he's going to wait as long as possible so that I look more ridiculous. So it'll be funny. He'll be, I, that's what I'd do. He'd probably fucking, I'd be laughing my ass off, like, you know, make everybody think whatever. You know, he's not going to come and whatever else. Right. I, I knew the only reason why I thought you would not come in real life, like breaking kayfabe, whatever, would be if like you didn't get the second amount yet and you happened to fall asleep or had work or something was going on. And mm. the next day you were like, oh, shit, you actually, like I should get the money and like uh, I'll come tomorrow night or whatever. That's what I thought could possibly happen. I knew you wouldn't just fucking be like, fuck that. Like, I'm not doing that. Do you remember uh, years ago when you were like trying to buy a house? 
Yes. Yeah. I'm in the phase now. I thought you... Wait a minute. You have a house. You're getting we, an abortion, too? We're getting a bigger house. Oh, much shit. Bigger. Wow. Yeah, he didn't tell you, but I'm moving in, so he's getting me a room. Oh. Uh, two houses. Uh, I'm not going to write your name on a door, but I'm definitely going to give oh. a shout-out to you for giving us the money to help. But uh, I'm just going through the list of people right now that you have on this call. Are th Is this like your normal crew? Uh, no, like, so last week we had, like... Thank God. What, what did we do last week? We had Bullfrog. Oh, Jesus and, Christ. We had, he's gonna God, shit. Shut up, Gargoyle. <laughs> Dude, you stink. All right. Wow. Well, I mean, I haven't showered yet, so maybe. I was in a oh. fucking mat oh, doing shit tonight. You know, physical shit. Hey, Gargoyle. All right, Gargus, Gargus, Gargus. enough out of you. So, Michael, who is Paul? <laughs> I don't know Paul. He couldn't handle me, that's why. Paul is the one in the box. No one middle. can handle you, retard. Yeah, Paul exactly. is. Paul's the one who gives. <laughs> Paul's the one who gives AEW tickets to Russian terrorists. Hey, I signed oh, up yeah. for some exactly. tickets the other night, and you said I was a troll. Oh my god, it was Jamie. It was actually him. <laughs> no, I'm just kidding. It. No one me. Okay, <laughs> I'm like, well, they wrote. They, they wrote, I cheat on my so wife. We watch. They they wrote, I cheat on my wife. And I hate kids. Oh, no. And I'm like, this Jeez. is not him. I'm like, I don't know. <laughs> well, definitely how's he feeling today? You know, is he mad at the wife and his children? Maybe it was. Well, hello, yeah. Paul. How are you? You doing okay, sweetie? Nah, oh, dude. No. You know what? I don't hold you in high regard like all these other people. So you're just Ooh. another cocksucker to me, dude. Whoa. You know, like, <laughs> hey, he's always like, been a like cocksucker to us, okay? I like oh. Paul. Yeah, I don't hold you as a guy I, like all these other fucking losers. I regard. Hey, Why? Hey, How long have you been watching the show, Paul? About two years, no. Two years. years. So all right. So you you were never around really when no, I was here. You're nobody. So I don't right. care. Anything you say doesn't matter. Well, if I'm a nobody, I can't imagine shit. how you feel every day. <laughs> we are talking shit. I mean, Jesus <laughs> Christ. What do you do? What do I do? Nothing, JB Sports Radio. I've heard that. Sounds about as entertaining as fucking Gargut show. I was oh on there. God. Hold up. Oh. Hold up. I was on there. Hey, and JB had twice as many viewers, okay? First of all, before you start insulting so me, 12 can, you viewers. Take, can you take the cotton balls out of your mouth first? Like, why I do you speak that way? <laughs> Michael, pipe down over there. Jesus. Just, just lick God damn, he laughs faster than he talks. Right. That's Look, great. I feel like I have a laugh track with Michael. Hey, Michael. <laughs> all right. <laughs> There it is. See, it's like a butt. Oh my god! I gotta mute him. Well, that's you know? that's him licking. Yeah. He's licking his cat's asshole right now. He's it's a broken tickle me Elmo. So just so, Paul, so Paul's the angry guy who's trying to be cool through. I don't like anybody. So you're that guy. Cool. Nah, I don't. I don't play a role, dude. I just say it how it is. Yeah, you are. You're, you're the house shit. tool. You're a fucking he troll. Have you come any here talking shit. You think everybody thinks you're a god? So you can come here and talk shit on everybody. If I oh, thought I was a god, I would have stayed around, buddy. Yeah, you're not. If anybody thinks you're a god, it's Joe. I mean. Yeah, yeah, it might be. Honest. That is me. It's uh, I'm. I think I'm. <laughs> wow, he really never shuts up, does he? All right, so that guy sucks. Well, he's Rojas, right? You know what? I, I actually I kind of like Paul. I know he's insulting me, but he's got balls on him. I like. I like this kid. <laughs> yeah, yeah. I mean, Ooh, listen. Man. The thirteenth pendulum. Hello, Jesse. It's better than Gargut's Hello. runaway stories. Are you, are you still a midget? What? Absolutely. I like I mean, aren't that. Aren't you guys the same height? Oh. Hey, right, right. I've known Jesse for a long time. Well, I can say things to... like that. I think I even gained half an inch on one side. Yeah. Hey, yo. That's from jerking off. Danny MT. Wow. Well, that's where I lost a half inch, but hey, wait a minute. Wait, you Th did gain. Then it's a, it's a, you know, give or take. take Things or have leave. come quite some, uh, some way, Danny MT being on the call. Can you believe that Danny MT is here? The last oh, time yeah. you were around, he <laughs> wanted to kill me and come to my house. Now he's on the show. Dude, How about he's that? He's like the fucking homie, man. He, he's cool as shit. He never wanted to kill he me. Was around, it was bang, bang, Danny MT in the Third Reich has joined. <laughs> correct, sir. The fourth now. Yes, yeah, ask Danny. The fourth coming with Danny MT over here. How you doing there, Danny? Ask Danny I'm how his. Right. Ask Danny about his relationship with Tommy now. Is it still good? Oh, um, yeah. No, I'm not supposed to talk about Tommy. What? Or his. Wait, are you now. serious? <laughs> like, I thought you were like. Just, I thought you were like <laughs> oh my god. I, like someone says shit about him or whatever, I'm not supposed to fucking stick up for him. All this nonsense, yeah. He's you were his handler for years. What happened? Well, he's his just nurse. People fucking working the fuck out of his brain over there. So 
Well, I can but, see he's not going to stop being yeah. vague, so I'm just going to move but on. He's still, I mean, like, we still talk and shit every day. Whatever. It's just, it's oh, just, so the things there are the okay. You know, he's a lot, he yeah. talks to him, but he keeps it off the air, I guess, is what he's trying to say. Yeah. Like, okay. Nothing. Yeah, that's pretty much. Tom, yeah. That's smart. Yeah, I guess. Yeah. I said, oh, listen, he messages me. And every time I said something about anything, if I say anything about, like, why don't you pop on someday or want, want to do a. Come back and do honestly or whatever, and he'll he he literally responds back with something else that has nothing to do with what I said. Yeah, well, see, he's, he's tried to reach out to me <laughs> multiple times, like since I kind of stepped away, and uh -huh. I've just always ignored the shit out of him because the second I start acknowledging and I start getting like invitations to like clown ICP get-togethers <laughs> and shit, and it's like. You know, I don't want any part of it. Remember, he used to just like be like, "Hey, check out this clown dude." Yeah, it was just. Yeah. Yeah, I'd be like, it's, "Okay, yeah, the, I check the it out." It's just some Facebook. guy dressed as a fucking clown. I'm like, "Okay, this is stupid." What, he what sits is this? there and listens wow. to the music on Facebook. It's amazing. You clicked on it. God damn. You don't understand why it's amazing, and I'm like, "Why is it amazing?" Because he's got a big audience. I'm like, and he wears a clown mask. I'm like, he's a fucking retard, Tommy. And he's just like, hey, "You're a retard." Hey. Hey, yeah. Joe, did you hear about how you can save a penny on bacon if you go to McDonald's instead of buying it at Denny's? You can <laughs> save a whole penny. Imagine walking into Denny's with a pocket full of McDonald's bacon to put on your I burger. Just, I just realized <laughs> on, on, on his... Or fries. J JB, <laughs> on his banner, it says, as seen on Comedy Central and MTV. <laughs> Imagine just oh. walking around with a pocket full of bacon in general. Like, what a fucking fat <laughs> song. <laughs> Duncan has that snack oh. bacon now. Hey, what do you think about this, JB? Let, the other night, this guy won tickets to AEW next week, and uh, this is what he had to say: "Fuck that ass pussy." Fuck. <laughs> the, Wait, what did that say? Play it again. Fuck that ass pussy. <laughs> <laughs> Fuck that no. Ass pussy. Well, now this guy's Russian. Oh. Doesn't he sound like a Wandy though? It did kind of oh, sound yeah. like a wandy. Kind of sounds like a wandy. Like yeah. Well, a he oh, goes God. through these phases where he has a different accent on one day. You know, one day he's Irish, the other day he's whatever the fuck he is, and then you know he's that sometimes. Right. Yeah. And then he starts. All depends Always with what entertainment. Bomber. That well, never changes. Listen, I, you know, I'm just happy that you know, and I'm that's going to be cool when you get a house, man. I'm I, or a bigger house because yeah, you've got that smaller area, um, you know, and I, obviously I bought a too big a house, right? Like I bought a house that. We struggled to pay for because it, it was too big, but it was the only thing available. But um, you know, to this day, me and Leah still go, man, should have fucking gone to Indiana. <laughs> like, Did you posted there. on Twitter that your monthly bills are fifty seven hundred dollars. Like, do you have a whole army of Mexicans at your house? Like, how the yeah. fuck do you pay that much money? I'll tell you right now, the mortgage is twenty five hundred, my car is okay. five hundred, my insurance um, for the car is n not much. It's eighty. Mm. Um, you should but, fucking hit up Conrad and get you a fucking mortgage deal. I, I don't know. I don't, maybe. I, he, I mean, someone hit him up for fucking... <laughs> he, needs to hit up a, he, he needs to hit up a doctor. That guy's going to have a fucking coronary. Um, yeah, but so, I mean, and then there... and then, Okay, then there's the electric bill, the power shit, the gas. Then there's the internet. And then there's the, the IRS that I pay monthly payments to uh, and Massachusetts uh, taxes. So if you add it all up, it, you can do it. Write it down. The I mean, sex lines. God no, damn it. no, forget all that. This is no bills. No, no other <laughs> Just, extra. I'm kidding. Yeah, no, no. Seriously, you know, you're yeah, right. Yeah, it's, you it's, haven't gotten food I, yet. You haven't gotten. Mm -hmm. That's why it's fifty seven hundred. Yeah, dude. If it was, if if, wow. I, if it was like that's like, nuts. what if my bill? If my bills were, it, if my bills were two thousand a month, I would have a shitload of money probably. But I don't. I owe so much shit. It's crazy, man. I mean, it's. Has the, has yeah, the I just value bought two pairs of glasses. House. This shit was like seven hundred bucks. Has just it to gone get fucking because I can't yes. see. The value of my house has gone up, nerdy. It went my the value of my house. We bought the house at three thirty. It is now okay. worth four thirty. Would you sell it for equity? Would you sell it for equity and take that money and buy a smaller house? Because you could totally wait. How the fuck that. did you already get a hundred grand of that? What do you got coke stored in some of the closets? No, the property. Bro, everything. The, the market. I, I, the dude, market's my, insane. Yeah, the market. Went oh up yeah, I like guess that's property, a good point. I kind of forgot about that. My property yeah. taxes went up and everything, and they said that like the value of my property went up yeah. too. And I'm like, wow, that went up a lot for no reason. All, all I, they haven't even. I could they, sell they don't this. Even know about the shit I've done to it. I could sell. I could better. I could sell this. No houses are for sale in my city, in this town. Not one house right. right now. Not one. Really? If I sold wow. this right now, I could sell this house for probably four fifty, and then take one hundred and thirty, pay off the government, pay off all the bills, and have sixty thousand in the wow. bank. 
Joe, does it like take that rise like every year? Leah would kill me. Is it rise every year to kill me? It'd be cheaper than all these medical bills. I gotta say, like twenty years ago, was it Um, that expensive? (laughs) No. Um, JB, go ahead. Yeah, go ahead, JB. No, I was just laughing at Paul. Sorry, go ahead. Oh, you looked at his <laughs> face. Yeah, don't, don't just <laughs> don't look at his face. <laughs> Listen, look how mad he is. He's angry. Oh God! Why is Raquel wearing those Raquel's shorts? shorts? I knew it. Oh my God! What the fuck am I wait, looking at right dude, now? Dude, wait a minute. Paul looks like an emo you from like Shit. ten years ago or something. This he is weird. Of, he does. Why are you so angry? <laughs> Talk oh, to I'm me, angry. sweetie. I, I thought I thought Paul was a singer from. Go ahead, Paul. Paul. Mikkel looks like Paul's ex girlfriend if she hadn't killed herself. Go ahead, Paul. Talk to me, Paul. Let's let's talk, baby. Come on. <laughs> Kel looked like Joe's angry stepfather would beat the fuck out of him. Oh, oh, he never beat fuck. me up, really. He kind of slapped me uh-huh. and whacked me with some things. Did he ever he never touch really... you? Yeah, Not, no. My if he, no, I'll Whoa. tell you what. That, that, his... You can bash my head off of something, but I'll tell you what. You start trying to touch my dick, I would have fucking, I would have flipped out. I would have killed him. See, he wasn't that yeah, that's bad. that's what his friend's dad was for. That's why he was much cooler. Well, Shit. listen, and I, doing? I'm open to some gayness, you know? Well, I know now not to uh, segue to Paul. I mean, Jesus. <laughs> yeah, it gets depressing quick, huh? I, try, I tried to get him in on the conversation. He's like, huh, like, your stepdad beats you and touches your dick. Ever since he broke his G-string, <laughs> he hasn't been the same. Have well, you- I mean, if you would have been here earlier, but you're t- fucking too much of an elitist because you can't come why. around with wrestling talks. Oh. Yeah, I'm too much of an elitist because I didn't want to be part of wrestling talk. He's the main event. Exactly. Uh, hell? I paid $300. The fuck? Shut the fuck if up. that makes me an elitist, you little fucking turd, then yeah, I'm an elitist. You got paid $300, dude. You're a fucking loser. You're a piece of shit. Are you, you're just are taking you, the money. Are you upset he's spaghetti? Money, you're right. Right. Oh, my God. Paul's, Paul's dressed dude, like Paul. JB. Paul, are you upset he's spaghetti me. because I got paid money to be here? No, but you're doing a shit job. I'm doing a shit job of what? Entertaining? I mean, by the look of the chat, I mean, I don't know. Welcome to Monetize This. This show sucks now. There you go. (laughs) You're just a fucking piece of shit troll. You just come in here and saying shit. I don't hold you in any high regard like any of these other fucking cocks out there, so... I don't wow! Care. Have you seen uh, any of the stuff really that he was on, though? I mean, it's, it is pretty... Uh... You hear that, Gargots? He called you a cocksucker. Matter? It's just old now. It's just old. What am I going to go back and do? I'd be three fucking years Hey, Led Zeppelin's yeah, old, but it's classic. Who cares? Oh, who cares, dude? Why don't I'd you just more... kill yourself? Oh, oh, you're mad now, buddy. Oh, <laughs> no, I'm not mad, but you just sound so No, you're clearly pissed. No, you're clearly pissed. Why are you so angry? I'm not. I'm I mean, you know, to feel you like you guys are myself. related. This, this is, is weird. Yeah. This is like two half I, I, I mean, like, angry. why is Paul dressed like JB? That's what I'm trying and, to figure and out. I will say, why is Paul dressed like, Paul dressed dressed like always? He took all, my shirt and he took on. JB's With all due respect, I see now why Paul's on this show. No offense. I I, I get it. Now. Well, he really hasn't uh, been on the show he, in weeks. You're fucking hilarious. He's not normally on the show, to be honest, JB. He really is, though. And I'll be honest, last <laughs> week's show wasn't the best, but two weeks ago we had a really good show. Tonight is much better, obviously, because you're here. But Paul has been great. Um, well, don't uh, say that. Paul will get upset again. Paul sucked. <laughs> oh, Paul gosh. actually. Paul, tell him about your sausage trick. Ooh. Ooh. Yeah, yeah. The sausage yeah, what trick. The you know, hell? It involves Joe, his kids. Uh, uh, never mind. What? Sorry. What? No. What? All right, I, got full, I, went, I went full oh, bullfrog no. there. I'm sorry. Bullfrog's got, not oh, here. I had to oh do it. Oh, my God. Jeez. So. What the? No, That's you didn't sh- have to do it. That's not what the kind of show you run running now, it, it wouldn't be a, it wouldn't be Joe's show if there wasn't. How do you think I paid you tonight? Well, I have to pay oh, I have to pay shit. a pedophile to be here to do this, otherwise <laughs> That's it. That's yeah. yeah. That's pretty much where we're at. Now. Yeah, I mean what the fuck? Like that You're a strange cookie, cookie Paul. I like you. Come you fucking oh, crazy die. fuck. Look, die. so JB, are we doing the newlywed thing or what's going on here? No, wait, gotta, no, let oh, me Jesus let's back wait a minute. Let's you back up to that. With, let me back up to that. Game. Why does let me this is the third different time. Hey, that, for the this is She's the third time you joke. This is weird, though. He he always brings up Howard Stern. He goes, "Remember on Howard Stern, they did this, and he go, then he wants to do it here." This is the third thing he's wanted to do like that. JB, remember we can't, that? You can't be. Yeah, it's. Uh, what do you think? So go what ahead. What we're gonna do is shit on me for stealing shtick from another radio host. Yeah. Well, then no, you that's all better not leave because all of this. No, is it's not from that. Everybody. It's just your. It's your like. It's it's, it's your it's persistence kind of, it's like of a, it. I don't know. It's weird. Look, I don't mind so, it though. So. I think that it's entertaining. It shows, it shows a different side of us. Uh-huh. It's fun. We could get JB. 
we could get uh, in his girl and maybe you and your girl, me I, and my girl. I'm going to bet well, no. Well, first of all, I got to stop you. you. I got to stop you him are, right away. Because you are pretty ambitious on this. He's very ambitious. If you really think there's any chance <laughs> my chick comes on here, you're out of your mind. But if yeah. you sell yeah, it to her, it's, like it's, happened, a fun game. Really. it's a fun game. That's purpose. all we're doing. It's all, yeah. it's a fun game. I think she was on Monetize This One something. So And you remember sure. why she stopped coming around. Oh, well, same reason sure for well reason. because that, that asshole on Twitter released the video of him jerking off to her, and it was disgusting. I remember Ugh. that. Wow, yeah, it was very graphic. I, God damn, I'm glad Dude, I'm Dude, this not guy jerked off straight ever. up to her and put it on Twitter, and I think he got banned for it. Jesus Christ. Nerdy, can I, can I do that show but just have, like, a prostitute to my left at every time? I'm like, yeah, we're a couple. Look, I'd understand if JB, if JB sent him like 25 shit and pictures and he did that back, she I'd kind of get lost it. The yeah, that makes sense. 30 seconds. That makes sense, Jesse. Why doesn't she look serious about it? Can you explain why she's happy? NXT's new logo looks like Nicktoons. Well, no she, more I know why. <laughs> it, she's smiling because she's not white, Pacharo. Thanks for the $3. Oh. She's like, although if she was white, she would have came down angry, but... She came down smiling, like, I just lost my belt yesterday. This is okay. Who cares? Pacharo gets yeah. a spin. And Pacharo gets 100 points. And there's only a couple of spots Shame left. with that lady. Bianca? Yeah, it sucks, because I actually was looking forward to the match. And oh, it didn't yeah. happen. Well... Shame on you for giving a shit about wrestling shit in 2021. I don't. I don't. I watched for the first time in five bomb. months or something. Oh. But, you know. When you come in a woman on her rag, it looks like rice pudding mixes with ketchup by way. Hello from Canada. I'm trying to keep warm in my igloo. Ugh. Metalhead LaRoche. Um, Dude, that is the best right. last name, LaRoche. Like for a Canadian, LaRoche. It's mm -hmm. a good name. LaRoche scores. They probably say it gay over there, though. Yeah. Yeah, it's probably like La Rue. La Rue, yeah. <laughs> that's a good point. Yeah. That's that sucks. Holy that shit. just sucks. Imagine your name's La Rue. Like fuck off. Fucking La Rue. Listen here, La Rue. La Rue and Chew. La Rue and Chew. La Rue and Chew. La Rue. Matter of fact. Oh. La Roche. Well, you want to? Do you want to see Tommy's new friend? Have you met this guy yet? This is why he doesn't come oh, on the God. show. He doesn't come on the show anymore because he met this guy. Look at this. Look at this guy. Get on Mount Tommy and see 2010. Oh, look, he's going to play the violin. Where's this video playing? Oh, I'm sorry. Yeah, yeah you can't see it. Let me get it. There we go. <laughs> As he stares into the camera for some reason. What the fuck? Dude, he looks like... I'm sorry. I know this guy's playing an instrument, but when he plays the instrument, he looks like he's masturbating to a, a like to a playground. Oh god. Oh. Huh. See he's, that? Dude, he looks like Virgil or some shit with hair. What? Because he's black? Like what? No, because he... he looks like him. Look at the face he's making. He's doing the same thing that when. Remember when he <laughs> used to just the sit there and count the made... money one by one? What and the? Got that look on his face. Like, All black guys on crack book this. Is that weird? No, it uh, the face he's making is a Virgil face. That's not you even know, black. That's a that's a fucking. You know, what song is he playing? We actually haven't had that's Danny MT and a lot of these callers on for a long time. So this is like a lot of people that haven't been on in a while all at once. And JB shows up. So that's really what is this guy doing? He's that's the face I make when I'm coming. Like I don't get it. Oh yeah. Well, here he goes. Like, why is he wearing oh, a tie? <laughs> why is Tommy well, wearing is Tommy a, wear a why fucking... is he why is he wearing a mask like he gives a shit yeah about spreading COVID it's, it's, it's not covering his nose it's nose, not dude. covering his nose yeah <laughs> <laughs> it's too fucking small oh my god JB you remember that video where you drive by a Walmart or something you're like that's not six feet oh yeah oh yeah. my <laughs> god yeah that was funny as fuck that's not ten people that's more than ten people <laughs> oh yeah that's what it was the whole video and he says that. Um, like a mandate where there wasn't supposed to be a line. Mm -hmm. And oh, then I, sh I showed hilarious. up to get like milk and there was like, you saw the video. There's like a hundred fucking people out there. Oh, classic. Yeah, dude, that was. I just love it, dude. The, the oh. timing of it when you finally said it was so gold. <laughs> that video got like 20,000 views. <laughs> As it should have. That shit was fucking hilarious. That was really funny, man. Like, Between YouTube and Facebook, it racked up like 20, 30,000 views or something like that. Here's Shy God earlier. 
Yeah. JB, I've been waiting for your big head ass, your motherfucking buck too fast, your beaver looking ass. I've been hey. waiting on you forever. Yeah. Fucked around to have a damn child before you fucking came back into this goddamn place, man. I miss <laughs> you. Please bring your stinky ass over here. Please. <laughs> I mean, this girl right. laughs in the background like, <laughs> like what the fuck? Oh, before you fucking came back into this goddamn place, man. I miss you. Please bring your stinky ass over here. Please. <laughs> I miss you, bro. Streets been dead without Jeez, you, man. man. Your corner been having the same cast of fucking rejects forever. Ooh, ooh, it's been a fucking ooh. goddamn fucked up game of fucking Groundhog Day. Hey, you missed out of nowhere then. It was fire, man. We made fun of Bullfrog's family. I miss you, bro. Please come back. <laughs> well, it's good to see some things <laughs> haven't changed. Oh, that was great. Oh, he's muted for life now. Um, well, he, this he, yeah, you know, you know that fat ass like messages me, right? Oh yeah, I'm sure he does. Do you mess? He, what, oh, he dude, messages every within an hour. There is I'll a message him back. Within an hour, he'll say, "I'll never coming <laughs> on again." Then, he, then like ten minutes later, he'll message me. We got to start a new show. Call like, and then five more minutes later, he goes, "I'm going somewhere else, and I'm gonna fuck you over." And then five hey. minutes, it's like, what the fuck? Why don't Why don't you Why don't you let him on here tonight? Well, I don't think he's around. Because, Your recent firing oh, one's God, on his no. Why okay. ruin this? No, no, no. So listen. Dude, so I... Bullfrog messaged me oh. yesterday, and he said, "I officially quit on Joe's show last oh, night." Oh, he's done he that seven times. Yeah, he, that's nothing new. But here. now hold on. But now he wants tonight, an appointment tonight at one a.m. I got beef with you. <laughs> oh, <no. laughs> the only, the only beef he only. has is the ones clogging his arteries. I mean, he literally just said the same thing to me, Justin. He said, "I got beef with JB, so get me on." I yeah. think you should. I think you should let him on if it if it seems like processed or something. We'll just get rid of him. You know, right? He's just, Oh yeah, hell yeah! Because because you get him, him in here, if I want to know what his beef is. Because you know right away if he comes on and he's like, <laughs> "Let me fucking tell you," like, it's and you're like, diet. "Okay, it's real." It's, you know, but if he comes in and goes, you. "Joe, I don't know if you ever seen it, but I, I know Nerdy was there." But on um, one of the post shows I did, uh, it was one of the last shows we ever did. Bullfrog did a full MTV Cribs on the post. <laughs> yeah, yeah. It's his entire apartment. Oh, yeah, yeah, we did that yeah, on. Um, that fuck, we did that on Monetize This. Uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. We hopped over to his channel because he was live. We had him tour his. And, we to yeah, he that's... toured his whole apartment, and he fucking went out and showed us the handicap sign in front of his house, oh, and he rolled God. in the it, street. We had a fucking sign. We yeah. we made oh, we went we went into an in depth viewing of it. Oh, I know what it was. We yeah, we, no, the, oh, you God. did the big. Wasn't, yes. oh, wasn't Drew oh, there too? Yes. Wasn't Drew there too? Yes. Yes. Oh, Y'all went yes. with it, just fucking zooming in on fucking bullshit. On his toilet, his shit stains. It was shit oh my God. Yeah, I remember I know this that. is monetized this, hey, and it's kind of, it's kind of like part of the rules shit, to throw people under the bus, so I should probably do I don't know. I don't know if this will cause trouble between Joe and Drew, but Drew did offer me $500 to be on his show Sunday. Oh, wow. That's a lot of money. Nice. What is yeah, up with that? Why the hell did you come here? <laughs> See, Paul, Paul's eyes are on the back of his head. Because everybody's got a price. Well, my thing was kind of a joke that was like, it was really a joke. I was like, 300 bucks, show up. And, I, and I'm like, he's not going to because I've offered him money before. Like where I'm like, because I mean, we, yeah, I used to pay, we used to get paid for corrupted. So I'm like, all right, you know, but yeah. I, I, I'm like, no, he's not going to. I didn't even think like what I never thought you were going to say anything. I was shocked when I saw the tweet that said like, all right. And I'm like, what? And I'm like, all right. And then I spent an hour editing a video of you coming out at. Dynam uh, the fucking AEW, so yeah, that video stunk too. I can't believe you took that long on it. It took was... forever. I was using really bad software. The motion, <laughs> the motion capture. I had to keep stopping and putting the face back on, and like it just. Oh. oh my god, it was. I wish I didn't do it. It was like two hours. It almost was two hours. Right. The song well, was I mean, easy. There, there, there was there was a lot. There was a few things on uh, Drew's show last week that was kind of what I was quoting in some of those tweets when you, you said Drew was acting JB-ish because he wasn't, I don't, <laughs> right, right, right. because he would do shows with you. Well, I will say, you know this, the thing that made me the most, like, pissed off was when you said that we were never friends. That really fucking pissed me off. That would hurt my feelings, too. Shut well, up, Well, I wasn't saying it like, we were never friends, like, I'm not yes, your friend. But you did, you did say that. You said, we were never friends. Me and that guy were never friends. I meant, like, I guess we weren't really friends or whatever. I don't even know. Well, like, that's what Yeah, I that's... Oh, well, right. wait a minute. No, we were, right. we were friends. We were friends for, you know, three years. I don't agree with... 
Nah, yeah, Jesse dude, agrees. We like... were never friends. I'm definitely, and me and Jesse aren't no, friends. No, 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 no. <laughs> I didn't say that. Oh. The fuck? Okay, go back to what, go ahead, Jesse. I'm sorry. Uh, I don't want to get that deep with it. It's something that should happen off air anyway. Well, you know what? The last person that said that lost their wife, so you better, you know, think yeah, well, about I what you're saying. I got nothing left to lose, so I can say whatever the fuck I want. Did, hey, JB. No, I love you. I'm kidding, dude. It's okay. Hey, did you ever, um, I know. did you happen to see, uh, I don't know if you saw this, JB, because I tweeted it months ago, but, or somebody, all right, listen, I wouldn't do this, so I was kind of like ignoring it, but then I saw it, and I was like, oh my God, and I happened to... I think I might have like liked it to remember it, but normally I don't go this low at this point. I don't feel like, but somebody sent me a picture of of Midget Man with his new girl at a AEW event, and I I basically didn't ah, I didn't really bring wonderful. it up. Okay, first of all, I really don't know who you're talking about, Midget oh, Man, geez. Mustang Man. JB's taking it personal because he's really short too. He oh. means JD. Nerdy. Thank you. Back <laughs> off. Oh, hey, okay. look, we're, you're on monetized wow. this, JB. So we're not on your show. This is a fair playing field, bitch. Hey, I haven't. He doesn't have a show. I got to tell you, J, JD, he's uh, he's really blown up. <laughs> I mean, he's always not been. Not his thighs. He's always been I blown mean, up. He got verified uh, earlier. What, on, like, Twitter? Yeah, but he's going yeah. to fucking block half of them because they say he sucks, and then he's like, ah, and he blocks them. Yeah. How's Protecting that gonna his work? brand, bro. He's That's the <laughs> protecting his brand. He's going to have. <laughs> to protect his audience, keep it. Remember, I remember getting. I remember the worst thing when I when me and him worked together had nothing to do with him. It was the people that because every day. I mean, I'm telling you, man, he would block so many people mm. that all I would do. And don't it's tell this, me it wasn't him, dude. That shit was annoying as fuck. I know. I but was having you, to deal with that too. But I just My got block everybody. But I got <laughs> hundreds of messages all the time, every day. And I, oh, yeah. I'd be like, oh, who's trying to talk to me? Okay, let me see. I open the DM, and it would be like, he blocked me. And I'm like, I don't no, know. No, it was fucked up, like, dude. Well, was especially was out of nowhere, up. but then he I would come Discord to the streams blocked. that he wasn't on, and he would still block people. Right. He he, wow, people I didn't know about that. What a dick move, dude. Somebody oh, literally yeah. said, "What? What?" Uh, they literally asked, like, what's your choice in beer? And he bans them. Like, it, it was the I most love ridiculous that's, thing. Oh, I love it. Dude, I would be like, Jake, why don't you, you I'm sick of this. Jake, why don't you fucking wheelchair yourself to the fridge and get a slice of fruit, bro? Hey, he kicked <laughs> off the weight loss. We can we can credit him with that, too, right? Yeah. Dude, he needs just a slice part of his brain. What did I do? He put some weight back on. He scares me. I motivated I you, you fat fuck. Caused me to, <laughs> yeah. He drove me to lose the weight. <laughs> Could you imagine if he... Connecticut. Was... He would definitely take credit for it. I took it. a He's swing by your it. Facebook. Maybe I need to say something to your family, too. <laughs> imagine wow. him saying that. That, that. that video is so goddamn funny. I still... Yeah, I love I that video. I have to watch it once every couple months. You could use it. <laughs> Blow Dude, me. Do you know what that that was all over that was all over we were like actually worried or wondering about if he was gonna get in trouble because his, his shirt, shirt was a Call of Duty logo. Is right. We were like, is he gonna get we weren't saying like he oh, yeah, should you be were looking out for him. You yeah, be, yeah. All I said yeah. was JD's yeah. elite. The the elite Wait, logo I thought it, I thought is it was Call of Duty. Uh, no, no, I thought it was a Balor Club, not Balor Club, but a Bullet Club thing. Wasn't no, it? he he fucked it all up. He's like, oh, and you're talking about the Young Bucks are gonna sue JD. That, that was never <laughs> brought up. Young Bucks. Wow, you know, that's said, funny. That was. I have no idea what he's talking about. Literally, all I ever said to him was, "Is that your old artist got in trouble for taking artwork from people?" Mm -hmm. Remember the little sprites that he had of different, like Kane, and that was copied from somebody else's Patreon work. I said, so you don't want it to happen again, but I know for a fact the word elite and the JD part, all he wrote was JD. Everything else was a Call of Duty copyrighted image. Uh, you yeah. fucking oh, fat wow. slob. <laughs> so, so all I said was be careful and slob. he went off. You in Connecticut. Hey, Fuck. I hear you talking I, about me. I know you're talking about me. Remember what did, what did Rojas do? He was like, oh, oh, remember okay. the <laughs> You remember when he started the video? He goes, he really. Yeah, he's got like that oh, Jim Carrey oh, thing. God, going that, on. Was, that is one of the <laughs> all time classic. Let's pull it up. I got to hear it. Here it is. Buy a house. So, uh, JD, I told this joke like a thousand times with a Pepsi dealer, and no one laughed. Get the <laughs> fuck out of the bathtub, you fucking greasy cat. 
<laughs> I'm ready to go. And don't think I forgot about you, DeMarco. You fucking fat slob <laughs> from Connecticut. <laughs> I know you're talking about me, bro. <laughs> Pretty Kit? goddamn funny. Who is that? That's the guy who said he wants you to kill your family with a shotgun. <laughs> yeah. Oh, yeah. is that Luke Rojas? <laughs> it's Rojas, yeah. Oh, the one God. the one good contribution he has. You know? Rojas is amazing. He's either like insanely funny, and then the other times it's just like fuck. It's dark like, it's, yeah. No. Yeah, he's we, he's funny. He I mean flip a coin, man. If you heard him one night, you'd be like, That guy is the next guy. You gotta have him on. The next time you hear him, you could be like, What the but he's eighteen, so you're like He's pretty good for 18, and he did like JB. He did make a fucked up comment, though. I mean, like, I think if JB was on the show, well, of course it would have been. Did. No, I think if JB was on the show, it would have been all right, but I think it's because, he, you know, at the time, we were a little turmoil, and he fucking... He was, he's 18. He was oh, wasted yeah. as fuck. He drank that fucking bourbon. Yeah, he was 17 when he said it, 16 or oh, something. Oh, fuck. I didn't know. No, I thought dude, he was he older. He kind of does like my shtick too, in a way where he's gonna try and say that he's gonna try and walk the line and go mm -hmm. over it as much as he can without fucking everything up. Hopefully, well, he he's like, I grew up listening <laughs> to you and JB. I'm like, oh well, <laughs> sorry. He grew up listening yeah, to you us. Know, right? Right? It makes you feel old now. God damn. Can you imagine, J What if we went? In, imagine if you go back in time and you, we grew up listening to Opie and Anthony and Howard Stern stuff. We grew up listening to Opie and Anthony. Then one day you're hosting the show with Opie. And then you tell, and then you on the air go. Well, shit, we could probably do that at this point. Plug. Oh, you're right. Yeah, yeah, yeah Opie's actually know, yeah, Opie looking for help. Easy, He'll pay bro. you for. No, but then you tell, <laughs> then you say you want to kill Anthony's family. <laughs> like, yeah, Opie just needs somebody to walk him. <laughs> yeah, you, you don't have to threaten Anthony's family. Just say you're going to out him again for being a racist. Yeah, I'll you know? just tell you. Uh, He's got enough underage Asian girls in his house. Anthony anyways. Kumia can never do any wrong in my book. That oh, man is the I perfect man. Kumia. He is wild. Oh, he's great. I, I think love he's, that, man. He's I great. think he's really trying to get banned on Twitter again, though. He's really working that Yeah, he's compound. really going off on it. And, yeah. and so you guys know, Bullfrog is demanding that we kick someone because he can't get on. So Come on, Bullfrog. <laughs> oh, he was trying to join hey, in. Can, we, can we kick Paul? Let's kick Paul. Oh, fuck your mother. Fuck Bullfrog. Hey, we're, we're going to have to kick anybody. Oh, I, well, I believe listen, he can be brought in, but the, who I, wants him? There's a lot of people no, on this well, call. JB requested him. I'm just going by what was asked. Joe, I would like okay. asked. Joe, you, you said you pay me 300 bucks, and I could have a few demands, and one of my yes. demands is getting rid of Paul oh, right my. now. All right. You know why you suck? Because you're a legend in your own fucking mind and all these other fucking sycophants, too. You're a piece of shit. You're nobody. You're going to be on Take here for one night. Glasses. You got paid. That's it. You're trying Take to fucking pop some numbers. You're going to pop shit. You're nobody. Have a good night. See, I'm punk, just like a popcorn fart. Fuck you. Fuck your dad. All right. Um, <laughs> thank you, Paul. Three for giving away the tickets to AEW. I love how he tried to get out as many fucking things as he could. He did. That was amazing. I I, hey, I, would, I was going to let him go until Joe got rid of him. I wanted to see how long he could yeah, go for. I was, I, well, well he where's was Bullfrog? When he went, cause he's, I don't know what the fuck. He was halfway through it. Either you way, fuck you. Yeah, every time I would say something shitty, I'd be like, well, it's because of Paul. Did you see the pain you know, in his face? Yeah. Well, you know, you just got rid of a skinny guy to bring in a guy that's the size of all of us, especially since Jake is... You know, slim fasting. Apparently, fucking... I don't weigh less than Bullfrog, though. I don't know how that well, works. Well, here's another no, problem. No, I'm saying, how, is it, how are we going to squeeze him in with all this? We're not, oh, unless we all cover ourselves in butter. We have another problem, though, because not only has Bullfrog been banned, it. and Bullfrog is made muted, so we do have to make sure Sith Negan is okay, because Sith Negan donated $2,000 the uh, other night to get rid of Bullfrog. He does have, uh, he's, he does have I imagine... demands, JB. That is true. I imagine Sith will allow this for content's sake. You know, I, I don't know. That, it's up to uh, Sith because because okay. this is more of a punishment. Than I mean, this is, he's not coming back on the show on a regular basis. JB wants to. Well, probably... JB even said if he sucks, we'll get rid of him. Yeah, yeah. that's true. We are so, just gonna. Yeah. Well, I mean, well, if he's good, he's good. But I don't technically, think Sith will, uh, complain he's lucky. If he's, if he's, he's funny. He's lucky. You know JB I mean? is here to you know allow his <laughs> graciousness oh, to be here. Oh. I guess there it is. JB let there it is. JB is on the. All right, there's the moron. There, there we go. Guys. There we go. Let's do it. There you go, boys. All right. Oh, I was, I was, I was laughing. What do you at Paul. want? Hey, Pookie. <laughs> I was laughing. All right, Bullfrog, let's hear your beef. I'm the you golden can. goose. You okay. got to unmute, Bullfrog. You unmute the mute button is underneath your chin. Nothing has changed Every with time. him. Every time. Nothing has changed with this guy. Look at him. He's still on mute. It's like, kick someone off so I can get in there. That way I can wait for five minutes to say one fucking word. Well, I bet he's JB, he shit on me all night last night. Literally. He went off on me. 
And, uh, you know, I'm, you I'm besides officially quitting, <laughs> he's like, we could still be friends, though, afterwards. My destiny is elsewhere and have fun without me. You know, it's it's like, so I'm interested to hear what beef he has with you. He sent me a picture like three months ago of him crying. Oh, <laughs> I believe it. I, you, you don't want to know what I have in my DMs of him. But if you I saw it, oh, oh, it's bad. Gosh. He's like, they're, they're bullying me, broski. He said, they're bullying me. Kick someone. <laughs> kick I'm broski. the broski. Dude, broski, <laughs> God damn it, you got it. <laughs> oh, my God, dude. Kick Sith said he'll definitely allow Justin Bailey versus oh. Okay. How could you not have that? Well, you remember yeah, the last I, time? Oh, he no hit Justin Bailey versus a mute. Look at this. Apparently. I told him, you're here. Talk. Are you JB, are you aware he sends his brother's wife's pictures around to people saying, like, mm, I want to yeah. get froggy with her? Last time I was talking to Bailey, I, that was when I believed Bullfrog had a kid. Remember? I thought that yeah. his oh, that was his child. He used to talk to me about parenting and stuff. We kind of bonded it years ago over being parents because I thought that his brother's child, his <laughs> niece, was his kid. That's what he told me. Right. All oh. those times. Oh, my God. <laughs> and the mother is his brother's is wife. Bold. Bullfrog his, is such uh, fat man, trash. He is. I don't know what he's doing. People make fun of America because of people like Bullfrog. That's that's true. Oh, that's yeah. definitely true. Right. Yeah. And is he the, is he gonna fucking talk like or what? Me, but... Bullfrog, I don't know, yourself, you dumb fuck. <laughs> hey, hey, the one thing how you doing? Even Robot, a Wandy yeah. figures out. He's like halfway around the world. He can figure out what's going on. Sing it, a Wandy. Blow this fucking blow that fat fuck up. If Salam alaikum. Salam alaikum. Oh. I just love that JB calls him a Wandy. I always think uh, he's gonna say a one sauce or something shit. Yeah. <laughs> I know, and I, I, know, I know the donations. Like. I am going to play the donations in a couple minutes, guys. I know we're behind. Uh, we're just, you know, trying to figure out what's well, going on here. Got time. I mean, I don't think Bullfrog's going to yeah. be saying You know what? Let's do that. Let's anything. play a dono while Bullfrog figures out what's wrong with his retardism. There you go. You know why Bianca <laughs> was smiling? Oh, now she knows she is inferior to whites. There he goes. She must bow down and kiss Becky's feet. At least Bianca knows her place. Oh. Unlike Spooky AJ Adams, I swear oh. I will stick a roasted whole pig up your ass. Spin for Jake, that spy fucked you. <laughs> Colonel Santos. Is that, ro is that rotisserie? See, that's all. Yeah, like, better be. All you gotta do is more extra crispy. Move on to something else, and then Bullfrog's mic works. See, it's all you gotta do. <laughs> Bullfrog's already been Taliban. Dude, that's that's like some Tommy shit in it, but it's not Bullfrog, even. How are you doing, on brother? Level. Bullfrog, what's it. up? What's your beef with Bailey? Why do you have a problem Bailey. with him? Oh, your microphone stinks. Oh, my God. Yeah, I can't right. hear you. We, uh, oh, brother, this like I you know how to speak. He's using a hamburger yeah. for a microphone. Oh, my God. Niece-loving fascist is donating. <laughs> hey everyone, what is going on? I wanted to say that I really enjoyed having Jesse on the Summer Slam review with Joe and Jake last weekend. Yeah. Jesse should come on more of the WWE PPV reviews like he did in the old days. Also, I hope Isis Gay becomes a serial. Oh. Um, niece loving fascist, thank you. Yeah, I think that. It was fun. I think it's because Jesse doesn't watch all the wrestling shows. Well, yeah, that's why it was a good well, perspective no. to have because he had more of a casual viewer that has background <laughs> info, so it was cool. Oh, my God. Well, it was yeah, fun. Plus, I came, plus, I came the anniversary. It was the eight-year whatever. Yeah, it was the anniversary, but, like, honestly, yeah, nine year. legit. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to buy fucking the AEW pay-per-view. You know what's funny? Fifth. You I haven't want, bought a wrestling pay per view in ten years. You know why that name? You know why that name is funny because that guy tried to donate earlier and it got censored because the name was Bullfrog's niece, whore, niece loving whore family. And for some, oh, like, I did. oh wow, that's too oh. many things there. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. That's why I like the quadruple at least a hyphen. Or too something. real. Yeah, he said Bullfrog real. and loving can't have that. So all right, you listen. Take out something. Okay, uh, Bullfrog, uh, go ahead. Joke. Thank you, Santos. Bullfrog. <laughs> oh man, whoever made that name is genius. <sighs> and probably oh, probably related to Hitler. It's amazing how much air he weighs. What is he doing I mean, now? This is unbelievable. Oh, Why were you wait, you were lighting up a minute? Okay, so I hear myself echoing, so talk, motherfucker. He's on his I know phone. you're there. That's the issue, I think. Yeah, your last He's on this planet. That's the issue, Jake. <laughs> Bullfrog. Hello. Waste of sperm, like I said. Hey, hey, we're all a waste of sperms. We just got lucky. 
Bailey's oh, right well, about he that, got that air, though. Is he? I speaking? mean, this is uh, we're all. We, he begged to be on here. He yeah. said he's got beef. He this gets is, here. Okay, oh, he's Joe, unmuted. it's one of those things where he has to hop well, in on his own. You have to leave. Remember on his phone, well, yeah. he has oh, to leave God, and hop is he going in through on what his, I would, yeah, yeah, he has to actually right, hop in the room. You're so right. he has to leave and he has to hop in himself. Oh, we hear him. Wait a minute. Oh, okay. Yes, there Bullfrog, we can hear you. Yes. <laughs> oh, wow. He's fucked in the ass. Wow, we're in a retard. Like, uh, these have my like that. Uh, <laughs> Hello? <laughs> you need I'm having the same fucking issue still. Yeah, you are. You're okay? retarded. That's the issue. You are an issue. You're still yeah, there's something, something wrong with the internet. internet. Shut the fuck up. You're still retarded, oh, Bullfrog. Yes, bro. you're. It's never. Still I gotta break are, it to you. Look, everybody, hold on. Let, let me. Let, he's got Go beef ahead. with me. Go let, ahead, JB. Let's have a conversation first. Heard, heard, heard. What's wrong, sweetie? What happened? Breathing. Yeah, you know what my beef is with you for one, you Indiana faggot. <laughs> um, I don't know what you're talking about, you sweetie. Us? Well, uh, he exactly knows what I'm fucking talking about. What? No, I don't. Yeah, do. What is There's it? There's six other fucking people here that would love to know. He tells me, uh, go live on my channel, and then he leaves me fucking high and dry. Oh, yeah, I <laughs> forgot about that. Oh, oh <laughs> yeah. Right. You did do that, JB. You did that. That was that. hilarious. Uh, first of all. <laughs> How dare you get mad at that? I don't think no, he really did hold that. Hold on. Please. No, first of that all. That was fucking bullshit, dude. Okay, first off, can I talk, Bullfrog? <laughs> yeah, go ahead, princess. Oh. First of all, oh. as funny as that is, I can't take credit for it. It wasn't me. No, you told me to go live and uh, no, I was going to... didn't, Bullfrog. I, I tried never to tell said him. that. Then you leave me I it. never said that, silly. I tried to oh tell him that, God. JB. I told him. I told him. Yes, he did. <laughs> no, you I were did. talking I to a big JB screenshot. again, you dumbass? No. You, what screenshots? You, I asked you for the screenshots. You never sent them to me. You, you never sent me any... You fake piece of shit. What did I do? Say that again? Because I threatened you with Dave Reeves, and uh, the moment I threatened you, you started deleting all your messages. I saw you doing it as it happening. What is so Dave? Wait, 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 <laughs> Go ahead. And... <laughs> not gonna, I said Jamie's not going to embarrass me on my channel and leave me high and dry when he tells you me to go on that he's ready to come anyway. back. Oh, Shut the fuck God. up. Stop talking over me. <clears throat> Jesus Christ. Um, Don't be such a prima donna bullfrog. Do your fucking jobs. The, the track yeah. is dead advantage of my stupidity. Oh, you, hey, wait. The prima fucking music should be on you. You should be glad, lucky, happy you're speaking. Be grateful, fuckface. Yeah. Bullfrog, what well, proof do you have? Dude, that wasn't cool that you have to be fucking high and dry. That wasn't cool, JP. <laughs> First of all, shut the, the fuck too. up, bitch. I did not do that. That was not me. Turn your camera on so we can see that pretty face. First of all, and oh, second God, of all, because this is the one that you were. Uh, I showed uh, Joe the screenshot you were texting me on. On this, the where did you talk to him, Bullfrog? Where did you talk to him? Are you in pain? Why are? Why do you sound like you have a gun to your head? Can you just chill <laughs> out? The way he Can yells. we have a conversation? There he is. It's like yeah, he's where did yelling. You talk to him, Bullfrog. While he's where in shackles. Don't have an infarction again. <laughs> hey, buddy. Hi, Bullfrog. Is the, is the shooting pain in the <laughs> left arm or the he right arm like today? Joe. You're smiling, Bullfrog, you little shit. You're having a... You he's little not, he's you're not really angry. This, aren't you? You're not mad. He's not mad. He used you're me to not, get on here. You shouldn't let me fucking high and dry. That was well, I, I didn't do that. That wasn't me. Well, the, Did I have all the screen? No, you don't. It, okay, send him. Put him in the Discord right now. Put him in the Discord. He made you look stupid, though, and it wasn't even him. I sent him to the show. You sent him to the okay, Joe. We're, only, we're gonna, we're gonna get told Joe. about. Has your ego gotten, gotten so big this, now? People you know. call you the Joe. <laughs> Damn, he's not the a Joe. Bret Hart style. So. He's not. That was the, the highest viewership the you had, Bullfrog. But the Joe. You got Joe Rogan. You got Joe. There's the Wait a minute. Joe crew. Hold on. Let me. Let me. Bullfrog. Did you go live saying that I was going to be on the show? <laughs> Yes. Yes, because oh, yeah. you, uh, you text me on this, this board that you're on. It wasn't me. No, it wasn't this one that I'm on. 
Joe even confirmed it. It was you. Well, Joe's an idiot. No, it oh, would have been. The guy used the same <laughs> picture. High and dry. Why is he yelling? Yeah. Yeah, he just used the same picture, Bullfrog. Every He made a fake JB account. We figured that out, remember? Yeah, okay, well, whatever. Yes, well, you, I'm, I'm just a big fucker, retard, and likes to be taken advantage of. Well, obviously, dude. What if it wasn't JB? Yeah. Then you're mad at the wrong guy. Uh, uh, a sip of Pepsi, hey, sweetie. Hey, have, okay. a, have, a, have a sip of Pepsi, sweetie. I thought you weren't drinking soda anymore. What happened? <laughs> That's done. <laughs> They're trying to take advantage of your stupidity. What the hell am I looking at? A, a nerdy's dick? That is a big dick. What'd you say there, Bullfrog? Nerdy can't hear us either right now. Hold on. Say it again. He's got his headphones out. Look at that ass. No, I said, Alani, go bomb another airplane. Who bombs oh, airplanes? What? You Alani. use an airplane queen. as the bomb, asshole. Damn it. Yeah. I'm a Kazi. We told him you're go be a pilot. A plane, you're using it. That joke stunk, Bullfrog. Well, look at your eyebrows, you faggot. <laughs> 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 hey, oh my God, JB, that. tell me, please. Yeah. I know you watch sometimes. I got, I gotta believe because you know some things. Oh God! Please tell me you yeah, saw the show that. a couple weeks ago where he I tweeted out the Nazi <laughs> stuff. <on> Twitter. <laughs> Best Dude. idea I think I've ever come for. You know what that oh reminded God. me of when I saw that? It, yeah. I got to give A1D a shout out. He's the one that told me to go watch that. That reminded me of that time me and you tweeted Willie Nelson. Yeah. You remember that? Yeah, we called him a cunt or something. Oh, like, yeah. <laughs> we called oh him a, God damn. We called him a <laughs> cunt and a, <laughs> we called him a lazy faggot. And all this yeah. <laughs> I, think, I think we called him an, we called him a racist too. Didn't we say he hates he hate like he hates blacks? Yeah, like so well, wait, was, I, I remember this vaguely. Like, did he block you? Like, you were, it you were probably there for it, Jesse. It was like we did that to like no, Willie I know, Nelson, no, I remember it. and then we tweeted like just, Samuel Jackson. Or something. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I remember. Oh my God! You just... some... Yes, it... no. I think you're right. I just don't remember what the fucking like did. We just went. Like, well, I thought it was somebody else. Context of it was no. The context was I told Joe I was like Samuel L. Jackson. You know, he's all like I was like he's he's always racist in whatever role he's doing. Call him a racist, but for some reason he decided to tweet that to Willie Nelson instead <laughs> of Samuel oh, Jackson. <laughs> it was such a funny tweet, but not as funny as Bullfrogs. The I mean the Hitler. <laughs> Picture. Oh, the Hitler shit! Oh, oh hey, that God. was uh, that was punishment. I had to do that. It was you not. You were punishing it anything. wrong. You did. <laughs> you did do it but wrong. It was close. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You literally but all you had to do was change like, your Twitter profile picture, and you did it before it landed on the punishment. I told her to be bad. That's why you guys told me to do that. Then you I told you you would have to create video. a video. Create video. a video, like, and you went ahead and you posted that with the Hitler picture. Hey, bullfrog. Yeah. What'd you have for dinner tonight? Uh, I I had pizza. Microwave. Ah, oh, you should have. I would have guessed that. I knew it. I've been all I've been thinking pizza. about is pizza. What kind Microwave of pizza? In delivery or frozen? I frozen. had uh, Donatos. I ordered takeout tonight. Donatos? That is the Donato. white. Yeah, that is some serious pizza. white trash pizza. I've never had. What, that. what kind of pizza did you get? The hell? Uh, yeah, it's an Edge style pizza. Would you get that the ninety nine cent store pizza? What is it, no. anchovy? Well, Jesse, you're no, joking. The, the fact of the matter is, Donato's Little Caesars is pizza. the most white trash pizza you can buy. Yeah. It's the edge well, yeah. pizza. Little That's Caesars is disgusting. Out of oh, oh Little Caesars, fuck that shit. I've, I've never heard, heard of it. Little Caesars is cardboard. It's hot and ready. They throw that shit in the fucking. I'd rather eat pizza from Chuck E. Cheese than Little Caesars. <laughs> Chuck E. Cheese oh pizza God, is actually damn. really good. That shit got yeah, better. Our pizza is actually pretty good. those games though. You don't even get a fucking ring. I wanted the fucking BB gun. They wouldn't let me have it, motherfucker. Yeah, man. You used to get three tickets for the croquet. Now you get two. I don't know. Danny and I used Dude, to get out there. I'm more of a... Nowadays, you can probably hack the fucking thing. And just hey, Bullfrog, <laughs> I heard you're on the outs right now with Gallo. What happened with Gallo? Gallo is being a troll uh, on me lately. Oh, lately? I told you about him two years ago, but you don't lately. listen. You, Joe, you fun? flame that dude so much. You really think he is more of a troll than what he really is, man. He, man he's one of the biggest trolls in this fucking community. <laughs> You're one of the biggest trolls in this community. Yeah, exactly. Then why no, do you I'm listen? Just a, I'm Wait, just a fat as troll. What? Who? You're just a wet bullfrog? I'm just a fat as troll. 
Jesus Christ. He laughs man, about I, it. I, I, I want to apologize Bullfuck. to the audience for making him repeat that joke. Bullfuck. He just how, how admitted it. <laughs> Admit it. Uh, it felt like Morbid. Just Honestly, uh, like, uh, J JB's yeah, crew. JB's whole confession. crew. Biggest trolls, JB's crew. Yes, yes, thank you. That's Wait, the word. Who, who's the biggest? <laughs> what was that, Joe? Big, I said biggest trolls, JB's crew. <laughs> That's what I said. That's right. Yeah, I, I I have the army of trolls. I've been behind everything for years now. I've known that. But... I've been mind controlling all the trolls. Oh, yeah. So, uh, JB, uh, oh. let me ask you a question. So, does this mean that JB Sports? Go ahead and ask me a question. Back? Go ahead. You ask me a question. No, I said is the JB Sports. Whenever you're ready, radio, Bullfrog. Uh, go ahead and ask me. Okay. Go ahead now. Ask question, Bullfrog. Yeah. What's the question? All right, What's go your ahead. question? Go ahead, Bullfrog. Now it's time I to go. Is the JB Sports oh, radio yeah. question back? You think he's going to ask the question? Yeah, he said, I got a question that doesn't say anything. It drives me nuts. Go ahead, Bullfrog. No, you're he ready. said it three times. Why is no one else here? Well, they're trying to talk. <laughs> because we got a better question. <laughs> you got a question. Why is he here? You triggered Jesse. <laughs> okay, what's your question, Bullfrog? Okay, for the fifth time, are you bringing <laughs> back the JP Sports? <laughs> See, I can't even fucking talk. Are you. Ladies, uh, go hey, let God, me fucking talk. Let me ask you a question. Wait, wait, I think there's a... What? Oh, yes, sorry. he shut the fuck up! <laughs> let me well, talk when you will. How about that, <laughs> motherfucker? I'll take will when you will. Well, fuck, you know, your ego's gotten way worse. I haven't I've... asked him this, the, the fucking question right. yet. Both I'm being what's the answer, goose. though? What about the... Dude, the answer's the most important thing. Three anyway. inches. Fuck the question. I'm okay, for the eighth time. So, JB, you know, are you really stressed yeah, around here all the time? Uh, I'm going to do it a night time. Bunch of fucking retards. All right, see you, buddy. Okay, bye, Bullfrog. I can't ask a fucking question. Oh, I thought you said you were leaving. Oh, go ahead. Ask, no, ask you guys are playing this oh. fucking mute thing, mommy. Well, fucking he leaves. No, we're not muting you. Go ahead. Ask the blue. Ask me everybody. Just, just, before, just, you ask, before you ask your question, finally. No, I'm not going to holler and scream. I want to ask a decent fucking question without playing these fucking kid games. Joe. You're getting really red, dude. Really red. Moving on. I told you, watch your blood pressure. How much fault? <laughs> Joe, uh, his ego's Bullfrog. gotten a lot oh, worse me, since I've been gone. Oh, we wait for you to say anything. He asked you four times to ask a question, and you sit there I'm not saying anything. anything. You guys are over here making fun of me. Stop making it. Making fun of you? We can't read your mind. Wait, what? Oh, don't fucking kill yourself. Bullfrog's a poopy uh, face. Bullfrog. Poopy face. Nice poopy face. Oh, here he goes. Baby. Wait, I bet. He wants all of us to die. Watch, he's gonna go. Why are you wearing a polo? Doing... That's the moo moo, not a polo. Yeah, hey, that's a fucking. I'm, white white I'm only oh. trying to ask somebody a fucking question. You gotta keep fucking talking over me. All right, I muted Garguts. There you go. Now yeah. we can't talk over you anymore. I muted yeah, Garguts and Awandi. Obviously, it's those fuck two. I muted them both. You fucking pedophile, fuck! <laughs> what? Why don't you get out of that fucking? Hey, hey, don't, you the the jet. Jet. don't project your one. shit on him. Yeah, really? he's a fucking illegal. But he's well, wait a minute. wearing a polo with sweatpants does not mean you dress like you know. That's it doesn't work like that. And he's not a pedophile. He's a febophile. Why did you like call Wandy a pedophile, bro? I haven't even asked the question yet. What the fuck yet. does that mean, Jay? <laughs> <laughs> you just a bunch of fucking losers. Hey, Bullfrog. Oh, really? What Bullfrog. if I told you? What if I told you Gallo's been keeping every tab on you and everything you say to him and sending it to me under a different name? What if I told you that, Bullfrog? He's a fucking troll. Everything. Yeah. Well, uh, but why? Why, why, why did you? Why did you say to Gallo? Quote. Why did you say to Gallo? Quote. I'm done with Joe. I'm gonna bury him now in the wrestling community. You should come with me hmm. to Gallo. Why did no, you say I that? did not say that. <laughs> Joe yeah, you did. We have the screenshots. You, you, you said that. We, have, we the have the screenshots to prove it right here. Okay, go fuck Wait, you yourself. Know, you always say you're gonna go, but you never leave. Excuse me. <clears throat> Hold on, Bullfrog. I tell you what. Hold on, Bullfrog. We'll give you the screenshots of what we just said if you give up me the screenshots of when apparently I asked you to go live. Ooh, tit for tat. We'll trade. Oh, oh shit. Fucking kill himself. What? You heard him. He's a, dude, Bull Bullfrog is a fucking. He is a momentum Killer. smasher. Yeah, he really is. I'm gonna have Danny MT come get you, Bullfrog. If you keep this up, he's or Danny oh. MT's volunteered. Oh, stop lying on me, Joe. I told you I'm. Stop I'm lying. Lying. <laughs> With all these fake ass Bullfrog friends. Bullfrog, can I ask you a serious old. question? Danny, execute order seventy five dash five. I don't fucking do that shit. All right, Bullfrog, listen to me. You why is why is Sith shit, Negan right? a scumbag, but you're not? Then if what what makes Sith a scumbag? Well, I don't why is, understand yeah, that. Why is Sith a scumbag? Oh. 
I never said he wow. was a scumbag for one. You literally said to us that he was being sketchy and a scumbag. No, I didn't. You guys did. You guys are going put words into my mouth. Hey, Bullfrog, I just received some information. Is it true that you were... I'm going to put a were... fucking piece of broccoli in your mouth, you motherfucker. Eat a vegetable. You were flipping it... out saying that he was in other oh, chats. No? Is it true that you, 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 were, you were bragging about working with Sean's view? Yes, oh, I'm God. working with Sean now. Oh, shit. Here we go. But why would you brag about that? Are you going to show your dick to his audience? I'd say it's education. Hey, dude, that's how they connected. Joe. Education of purposes. He's like, yeah, I'd like to show this to my niece. So you actually think yeah. you and Sean's view are working together? I show my to my audience. You show it to your niece. We could do this. Sorry. No. Oh. I can't hear JB or Jesse bulldozing over the show. Do you want me to mute Jesse? You're bulldozing over everything. You're, bull life. you're bulldozing over your cholesterol. You know what I mean? <laughs> <laughs> Thank you. Now, now they say those head. Pepsi's are bulldozing his, his late fifties. So bull, bull, bulldog, uh, bulldog, uh, bullfrog. Let me, bulldog. Jesus, <laughs> I'm sorry. Bulldog, bulldog. Like I don't know why I was thinking about somebody's mother. Um, no, but bullfrog. Um, <laughs> what? My mom out of this. Well, let's get squared Wait, away. Wait, that's his mom's name, bullfrog and bulldog. What the fuck? I'm sure it is. She probably eats and carpets now. But bullfrog, I'm just trying to figure out <laughs> where, <carpet>. where. <laughs> Where are you uh, on the map? Going around town. Are you cool sister. with Sith Negan then? Since you say you didn't say any of that bad stuff. So what do you think yeah, about? I, dude, I've always been cool with Sith Negan. You guys were just trying to stir the pot and stir the shit. You I've were upset because cool he was it. in other chats. And I don't know why that was an issue. Right. Dude, well, I just, thought, oh I just thought it was weird that I thought he was a you know, pro Cronin guy. And I, uh, no, I just found you can't it was... watch other What people? kind of guy are a bullfrog, you have been somebody always that's gone to everybody's show. You're you're right. just bragging always, about working with Sean's view. You're fucking everybody, man. Oh, like, that's, that's a great that's point. But why? Yeah, not. listen, bullfrog. Why is it your business with he is what, the where ugliest somebody? Motherfucker I, just, I, I just found it curious. I thought he was a Joe guy, so I'm like, I'm saying somebody. Well, but he, he is a JD Joe guy. guy now. I just found it. He curious. is a Joe guy. Why so don't say you're putting words in your mouth insurance? when literally this is what you said. Why can't he support me and other people? Why? Why does he have to? Just be a I mean, I don't care well, if he's the part. It's none of my fucking business. Holy you shit. Made it your business. Hold on, man. There is way too many people on this call. I know. I can't hear anything. Hold on, man. Danny, go. Danny. Curious, like, okay, so what? Now he's a JD guy? I just thought that was curious. I, or I just thought it well, was weird. He's he's a he's a he supports the people shows he likes. That's all he is. That's what he is. He supports okay, people that's he likes. Fine. I have, I don't care who, who he likes, but okay. I appreciate something. I appreciate you still. What did you say? Well, that, well, that's, I, that's have no I have no beef with he you. He said he appreciates him. Okay. I thought he said the N word. Okay. Um, so, no, Joe, that's your twisted mind. Like the niece word? Niece oh, yeah, because you've, yeah, you've, you've never her. said the N word before. Have you you've been negging him? all of us all night. You just, you're just you a gigantic negger. All you because do is you neg us whoa. over and over. Oh, Excuse me? What's wrong with naggers? I'm. Uh, uh, he just he right, constantly Casey nags at us and has to just insult us. I so, let me let me ask you this. Goes over me. Let me ask you this. Let me, go, Danny. Go ahead and say what you want to say to Bullfrog. Okay. All I was trying to say is, Bullfrog, you're kind of making yourself sound like no, actually, not kind of. You are making yourself sound like a hypocrite when you get mad for somebody uh, going to other communities and shit. Yet dude, you he can't go sit here and be buddy that. buddy with him, and then you go do the same damn thing in the other place that you know I'm talking about with the people. Let me, let me, uh, let me tell you short there, Danny, it's because I can do that. I I'm allowed to do that. No. <laughs> Like, how are you going to call somebody out on going to another spot, bro? I see you everywhere. Because I can do that. Because he's a badass, bro. Yeah, that's right. Yeah. I'm a badass. Well, well, yeah, you know, right, not, to, not, to, right not to change now subjects. Can we talk about what JB's gaming chair about? Speaking of badass, fuck is that? I, I know. As soon as he turned his camera on, that looks great. I got this uh, during the pandemic last year. A bunch of people bought it for me. I mean, are you Captain Kirk? You like it? <laughs> yeah, I mean, that thing's fine. Are you afraid of it? <laughs> uh, kind of, yeah, a little bit. I just don't like, cool. not really, but I just don't like blue. I don't know. Maybe are you bringing back your uh, channel? Bullfrog, let me ask you a question. No, I just asked you the question. Are you bringing back your channel? Hmm. I want to put no. you on the spot. I want to put you on the spot. I, I feel so, like, sorry for Bullfrog, and I'm not even trying to make a joke. Like, Bullfrog Dude, does nothing man, but we, eat. Before we, before we left, talk? we used to be uh, bro You were bitching man. about Jesse bulldozing over you. Can I speak now? 
Go ahead. Yeah, Let him talk. Yeah, let's talk, Prince. This is your moment. Your life. (laughs) Your (laughs) life consists of eating frozen food and watching wrestling. And this show. But, like... Yeah, I'm a Ninja Turtle. It's great. It's, it's kind of sad. <laughs> yeah, you ever think... I mean, do you think that, Bullfrog? Do you think that at this point you wish you did more with your life? Or what do you think? Or do you think it's just fine? Yeah, I mean, I wish I could have done the stuff yeah. five years ago. Yeah. Like what? Yeah. Like, I don't know, be more proactive in my personal life. What, no. what, what would you and wish you could have been kids. employed as? What was your dream job, yeah. realistically? Uh, mopper. Well, I've always wanted to do what Joe does. I either uh, work backstage for be a GM for uh, wrestling. Oh, if you're yeah. a fucking Gemini, I'm going to fuck you up. Bullfrog would have been a real rat. My, my birthday's in the oh month of June. Oh my fucking god, I'm gonna fucking strangle you. You didn't know, you you are, just, you you didn't know my birthday was in June? Are you retarded? It doesn't matter, I just know. <laughs> Gemini's are the only reason podcasting Jesse, what, what are you smoking tonight? And what Jesse, do you mean Ninja Turtle? Are you fighting crime? Tonight? Is that why what? you're a Ninja Turtle? How are you fighting crime? What, what is, what's, what's that? I'm, like, I'm Raphael here, I got the attitude. I'm like Raphael. You got, you got so nothing just, on that. You're calling yourself a Ninja Turtle because like you eat pizza. Statue. So <laughs> that's it. Y- yeah, Cowabunga. I mean, that's his excuse for eating too much pizza. Well, I'm yep, a Ninja yeah. Turtle. <laughs> I'm a Ninja Turtle, Raphael. <laughs> look. Maybe you should. If he tried. Maybe you could sue I Nickelodeon. Just like, I just like pizza. And he, he smells like a sewer, Jesse. That's why. Uh, Bullfrog, in, t- I, in today's... Like in today's what's wrong with that? In today's America, Bullfrog, you could probably sue Nickelodeon for making you... Like grow up to be starving for pizza, right? Uh, did oh I God. grow up eating pizza? Do you remember the, the years <laughs> ago there was that uh, I grew up eating pizza? Years ago there was that there was that fat girl who sued McDonald's for making her fat. Do you remember that? Oh yeah, the, that's what I'm saying. Exactly right. That's a perfect. I think it was uh, actually documented in the Super Size well, Me document. All right, go ahead, Bullfrog. It's your Discord. <laughs> Jesus fucking Christ. Hey, Bull, go ahead, <laughs> No, Bullfrog. I'm just saying that she is probably depressed. What? Right, talk, she she depressed. Give that fatty excuse. Is that why you eat? No, he eats because he's hungry. Hey, me and you need to be broke, man. <laughs> be a fast man. On an <laughs> average, how much money would you say you spend on frozen food? Who, me? No, fucking jet. Yeah, you. <laughs> um, that's, actually, that's actually a good question. Yeah, how much do you get in food stamps? That's why I asked. It. Those are the only ones I have. I probably spend, or does the, I mean, I probably spend I, at least like I don't know seventy dollars on frozen pizza. Oh my a God. week? How often? How often? For a day? Uh, I shop almost every two weeks, like everybody else. All right, so one hundred forty dollars a month on frozen pizza. On <laughs> just frozen pizza. And then you about two hundred. Have you ever Pepsi. thought about maybe bumping into a fucking frozen vegetable? Oh. Well, I do Let's ask you that. You know, what's you his favorite? Frozen pizzas, maybe a frozen bag of like peas or something. Whatever fucking, it is. Yeah. yeah. Oh my god, peas are the worst one. But yes, eat yeah, that was not a good example. At least. Bullfrog, what's well, your favorite? Just sugary as fuck, but still, yeah. that would help. Let's find that out. Bullfrog, case. what's your favorite vegetable and fruit? What's your name? One of each. What's your favorite one? His favorite I fruit. Eat, I don't eat I don't eat. I, like I don't eat. Apple. I don't eat vegetables. Was his answer? In case you didn't hear him. <laughs> I don't. I don't eat them. <laughs> I know you I don't. don't. You never <laughs> see. There's not one thing growing in your apartment except mold and pasta sauce and on pizzas. About but, cool frog. Typically, when someone asks you what your favorite vegetable is, you would at least like try to look good and be like, "Well, I like corn, which is a shit vegetable, but at least you can like say that you eat it." But your uh, answer yeah, was yeah, butter and salt. Uh, Bailey, is tomato is tomato what? a vegetable? I was gonna say he's accidentally yes. he's accidentally eating tomato on pizza. That's his only fucking thing. Yeah, I'm uh, I'm sorry, but hey, you literally don't like any fucking ve- even the even carrots, motherfucker. You don't, like, you don't like asparagus Jeez. with like Parmesan cheese on it and shit like that? Oh, I See, love mommy never had his parents. Oh, she never yeah, forced him to good. eat anything, oh. so he only ate Happy Meals and frozen food. Pepperoni's not a vegetable bullfrog. They were trying to kill you. That's I what think they it's were a nitrate, actually. actually. I just it, it's it, I just can't imagine a world 
where uh, someone spends, well, Bullfrog, $140 on frozen pizza. Yeah. And it's cheap, too. It's like that $2 each pizza. So that's a lot of pizza. It's not a wonder he's a fat slob, man. Well, you know what I noticed about him, too? Bullfrog fucking buys all name brand. He don't, not one goddamn thing in his house isn't name brand. I'm like, dude. Well, that's because he has food stamps. Yep. Name. Well, yeah, but he could get he could get the store brand. Shit, yeah, but why would you do that when you can get Red Baron? You know what I mean? Red Baron tastes like crap. Go what? ahead, Danny. What? What? Tastes like crap. What? 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 Did you, you say Red Baron tastes like crap, Bullfrog? No, I said store brand tastes like crap. I love that's his hill to die on. <laughs> it's, not, it's not vegetables or fruits. It's yeah, great it's, value. What, it's great value brand fries. Me. Me, uh, high and dry, I'll forgive you. Great value chicken nuggets can go fuck themselves, GB. Yeah. Hey, Bullfrog, you know how they have like French fries, frozen French fries? If you look right next to them, they actually have like sweet potato fries. Have you ever thought about trying those? And then on the other oh side, they have God. actual potatoes that you can cut up and, and fry. Because you know, pota- you know French fries oh, are potatoes. God. You know that, right? Yes, I know that. Well, sweet potato fries are made with potatoes too. Imagine giving him a pizza with cauliflower crust. Oh, yeah, himself and die. oh, dude, no, I could make him a vegan pizza with fucking vegan cheese. He wouldn't know the difference. Bullshit. But it oh, he work. would. As soon as he put into no, his I, mouth, I the demon you. that possesses him would you. try you and get out. Vegan pizza that, is for I believe. the birds. My father-in-law is a vegan, dude, and his food tastes like it's shit. It's not that it's vegan. No, okay, the cheese, the cheese is fucking vegan, but it's like there's no... I've given it to the people. Yeah, you just put dude, styrofoam on fucking, top. Not one person has fucking said it. They all, nobody knows. The they meat tastes like, like aluminum it's foil. It's because no one has the heart to tell there's you the no truth. Meat on it. No, no, there's no meat. The only thing vegan on it really is, um, it's the cheese because it's not cheese. But like, it's all vegetable pizza basically, and the crust is is good for you and all that shit. And fucking like, dude, he should just do that. <laughs> Yeah, it's not Jesse, cheese, it's goat uh, you're, you're boring Bullfrog with all this vegan talk. Now, let me ask one more thing. Bullfrog, fruit. What's your favorite fruit? <laughs> That's a good question. Uh, I actually love fruit. Yeah, what's yeah. your favorite one? What's your yeah. favorite uh, fruit? Uh, what, you like oranges, oh, you're uh, gay. That's not the same thing. I like oranges, uh, strawberries. Okay. When you drill the hole in a watermelon now, to fuck it, so I know you like watermelon. You like, yeah. When yeah, and I like what? Watermelon. When okay, and so what? I like watermelon. When was the last time you had a fruit? When and what fruit did you have, and when was it? I bought Not some talking about the guy you blew James. with the grapefruit. I, I bought some oranges like a couple of weeks ago. A couple of weeks ago? Okay. What? I mean, that's... Yeah. Okay. You gotta get that because vitamin C, you right? Or or you have to eat them quick or they'll, they'll go bad. That's surprising. Did you just donate to Joe? Oh, shit. Did you just donate to Joe? Botch Club. Yeah. Thank you, you for the donation. Fruit, so you get diabetes. And because you donated. That's true. I'm I probably already have it. Myself. <laughs> you would know if you did. Bum hole. <laughs> I probably already have it. That was great. Like, <laughs> the the defeatist does. attitude. Acknowledge Botch Club. What's good, Joe and yes! Big Daddy Titus. Cool DeMarco? Let's show some recent Botch Club exclusive content. We're going to have JB rated. There is no father to my style. Also for the real news and rumors, acknowledge the Wrestle Daily. Play my most recent post. Acknowledge. You guys got to right. check out the Wrestle Daily on Instagram and Botch Club on Instagram. You know how good I they see, are. Uh, Dude, I see uh, the white that Stone Cold shirt. Holy shit, that was gold. We're going to show, mm-hmm. we're going to let JB uh, rate one of the Botch Club uh, videos in a few minutes. So that'll be a lot. Of, that'll be really exciting. But if JB doesn't like Botch Club, then we'll flag it down. I'm sh- oh, he, he, he's dealt with Bullfrog this long. I think Botch Club's going to be all right. Right. Shout out to Shy God for supporting JB being on the show tonight, the sponsor. I have an idea for a new Fortnite game. Place you at different points in U.S. history when a massive protest happened. Yeah. Fortney assigns you a team, police or protester, and it is a team battle. Examples, George Floyd 2020, Capitol Riot 2021, Rodney. Oh, my God. Rodney King 1991. <sighs> Imagine showing up at Rodney <clears throat> King. Oh, my God. Hell yeah, man. Fucking you got to start kicking him for bonus points. Ribs after you, you know, this is, this is for Bodge Club right now. They're going to get... Oh shit, Botch Club got 5000 times 20. That's cr- what wow. is is that? Wow. Is that 500,000? Okay. I don't even know. 
Yeah. What's no five? Monica, no. no Drunica, we're fucked. Yeah, we don't have anybody. I almost That's said something. That's a 100,000. Thank you, thank you. I'm retarded. Well, he's a lesbian, so they know math. JB, right, right, right. Uh, Jake, I like your belt, though. You know, I just told you to die. <laughs> <laughs> the fuck? <laughs> I like the yeah, little gonna... giggle afterwards. <laughs> oh my god! Oh, go put your teeth. No, in. I no, I like Jake's uh, new belt. There, you know, I told him to die. Yeah, 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 yeah just sexy. say it again. It'll be funny the second time. Dude, the way Jake <laughs> said idiot. that, I thought he had a foot in, in his mouth. It, like he sounded so disgusted. Like, oh, put your fucking teeth in. <laughs> like. Yeah. Bullfrog, you really want to discuss JB? Just show us what your feet look like, real fast. Give us a quick glance. What about Nerdy? what your fucking hair looks like? You're stealing JB's hair gimmick. No, Nerdy. JB stole my hair gimmick. He used to only have one spot. Mine now it's all over. He stole my. Gimmick. It's okay. I was sent a Wandy shit photos on shit all week. So <laughs> that's why I don't talk to him. That's oh yeah, is good. that why you don't talk that's to him? I you... think it's other reasons. Yeah, because he sends me fucking poop pictures. Are you sure? Like, what the <laughs> fuck? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, but if, if it was your niece's feet, you wouldn't mind. Oh my god! Oh my god! <laughs> <laughs> he sends me poop. I remember pictures. when I first met JB, he sent me a fucking. He was taking a shit, or he called me from the bathroom. Yep. Yeah, we would play it on the yeah, air right, for Christ's sake. Oh my god, JB, do you remember the guy? Where you were, you were fucking shitting or whatever, and some guy in the back oh, was like, shit. oh, like he like reacted oh. like, whoa, my God, like something like that. I don't know. I mean, I've got a lot of those out there. There's but... so many. No, I'm dude, sure. you went, you did something like, <laughs> and then some guy in a stall, like four stalls away or something was like, whoa, or something like that. It was just... oh. <laughs> Probably. Like oh, awesome my powers. God. You show that turd who's boss, buddy. I should find that. Those are probably in my Facebook, my Facebook Grab DM. a hold of something and give it hell. We're going to get through this. <laughs> yeah, yeah, give it hell. Yeah, we're going to get through this. <laughs> <laughs> so, uh, JB, you want to join the, the new uh, sports <laughs> entertainment crew with, with us? Yeah, I love how Bullfrog just <laughs> completely <laughs> just bulldozes everything. Yeah. <laughs> I'm just asking if he right wants to join the Tom's crew. Right out you of really Tommy's are the new Tommy in C2010. Like, if Tommy wasn't getting no, the, God, he'd do anything. Care. Disgrace Tommy no. like that. Well, Tommy's I mean, way better than this fucking that's guy. true. Tommy was way more entertaining, but <laughs> dude, I'll burn that fucker Tommy, again. He's dead. You're your own thing. <laughs> You're your own thing. It's fine. You have as many <laughs> necks as Unless he does. You aren't. Do Did your you fucking say, thing, Drew. That fucker again. <laughs> you do yeah. your fucking yeah, thing, Drew. I'll make him run away from bury Tommy. Both, Tommy. You, both you guys are gonna need like six graves to bury the two of you. Yeah. Either way. Jesus. Oh, oh, come on. Wow. <laughs> hey, uh, sorry, Daddy. I had it's to like, it's oh so hard God. now. Like, because I can't stick up from, I've let y'all say like a hundred things, and I'm just like, <laughs> dude, I love Tom. <laughs> you know, I do. We hey, talked about it. Hey, Bullfrog, so maybe I you know. can help Sean's view get his kid back. Oh. That... <laughs> hey, there you go. Or <laughs> maybe get not. his abortion back. <laughs> Oh, oh no! Nothing about that. Oh no! Well, he wow! Been that. He would really do that. Flex seal. I don't. I don't know the feeling. Cool. Like that's some good to patch you... hole in canoes. What the Nerdy? fuck? Did Helen Keller teach you how to eat pussy? Looks like you would need Google Maps to find a clitoris. I could oh. listen to Mikhail for seconds. Stay Mexican, gar guts. Mr. Pico hated <laughs> Celtic Pride. You hate Celtic Pride? You can fuck yourself. That movie's that's a great movie. movie. Thank you, sir. Celtic Pride is the shit. Yeah. Yeah, I have that movie. Everybody Shut likes Celtic Pride, Pride here. You, do. you have all movies. DVDs, Blu-rays, and... Yeah, you had it right Joe there. Luck. Yeah, look. Oh, my God. He's oh just... Christ. What oh the God. hell? Did like, you have that? What? Like, <laughs> what why do you have that, Bullfrog? Dude, he had that like 10 <laughs> seconds before was, you guys like, noticed like, it, too. Like, that was on like his end table. Oh, my God. No way. I mean, I, I, I don't know where my copy of it is, and I love the movie. Like... Right there, I have it. Yeah. That movie made no you, sense for the times, though, because it was like mid-90s and the Celtics weren't even in the playoffs. Right. Well, no, that's why. I, th I swear that's why they used them, because they were like the shit ver team, and they were like, yeah. maybe they were. Yeah. it was cheap to film with the well, Celtics because they sucked. I, mean, I guess also, what's yeah. his name? Daniel Stern and uh, uh, fucking 
Aqua, like they were hot though. Like regard, like they're of course oh, I like when the they Celtics. Like, them. They were hot, not the Celtics at the time, but it, that's why it worked, I think. <laughs> I like them when they uh, when they kidnapped them. <laughs> Bullfrog goes that's like that's when they the movie, kidnapped them. That's the plot. That's called the plot. <laughs> yeah, no, but, he just that's likes like do, saving Private Ryan. Ryan. You like the part when they shot the gun? No, he just likes that a black guy. He just likes that a black guy was kidnapped. Until you bring back your channel. I will put 150 bucks down a week. Get JB here. I'll go halfsies with you. I like no, that part. I, I want to kidnap him. I want to. I want to hold him against Get his will. I'm going to kidnap right. JB. Bring him on the show every week. Not you. You're gonna. I, you never come back on. You're gonna rot in hell. <laughs> <laughs> Look, I threatened to produce newlyweds to get JB back on the show. Are I'll we back on that again? That. Oh my God! You. you yeah. I'm telling you, this is not the first time he's done this. There was a couple other things no, from the third. And the roast last week, remember that? Like, that was good, though. I thought that was yeah, funny, that was by the horrible. way. That was horrible. I like good. Nerdy job. did a fantastic job on the, on the roast there. <laughs> He's the only one that knew about it, but still. Yeah. Okay, you know. <laughs> hey, Bullfrog, do you still do live yeah. shows? Yeah, uh, not at the, I've been taking a break for the last uh, week or so. I've been Why have you been taking a break? Because <laughs> I've been partying with the, the community uh, for more than a second. I've been partying with, with Sean. <laughs> party. <laughs> want to party? Want to party? You can't help him get his kid back? Want to pee pee? I don't know nothing you? about that. It's not my business. If you get his kid back, I heard that he would give you a place to live. Help him get his niece back. I bet you'll do it then, won't you? Jesus Christ, Tracy. Maybe. Oh, no. Maybe you could introduce your niece to him. Oh, fuck. Oh. They could have a fucking place. And then he could Jesus do something for Christ. her ed for educational purposes. Oh my god. <laughs> Joe, I want to use your wife as an educational purposes. <laughs> what the hell? She's, she's a lot smarter you, than you, so you wife probably wife get educated. The fuck? What, is she, what does she look like? A textbook? <laughs> I'm coming for you. All right, well, there she is. She, she's still crying over her broken up, breaking up with JB. Like, she's upset. Yeah, wait. Can we get her on the show? Let's make this a Brady Bunch oh. reunion. I wanted to troll Bullfrog. I, that would not, I, I that paid, not end well. I had to pay like JB that. all the money I would have paid her to be on. Oh. Wait, pay pay her. I'll help you. Like, we'll do this. Fuck JB, it. can you tell us? I mean, I listen, I'll JB, text her. If you want. Hang on, I got a question for JB. People? JB, if I paid you $200, would you bring back your channel? Yeah. Every month. Every month? <laughs> yeah, $200. Every month. So I got to yeah, pay $200. So, wait, so you're gonna pay me two hundred bucks a month to bring my channel yeah. back? So you yeah, have to cancel it and that. then bring it back every month. Right. Yeah, two hundred dollars. I'll say do you it. Give me your pizza fucking money. Yeah, I'll do it in one. That's true. I tell you what, you cut back <laughs> like sixty dollars worth of frozen pizza every month. You got yourself a deal, uh -huh. buddy. Oh wow, look at that. Stop yeah. drinking. Yeah. All right, I'll have to think about I that. See receipts. That could be nice. Yep. Do you really think hey, I would trust you not to bring that that. Me back? Oh, I'd look at receipts, dude. I want to see every goddamn receipt. I want to see the whole thing. Hey, JB. Yeah, I need, your, uh, I need your checking account number so I can check your uh, yes. purchases. Yes. You give it to you, bro. Go. JB, out of curiosity, oh. are, do you get my, Somebody get a pen. Did you get my text message today or am I, like, cell phone blocked? Say that again? <laughs> did you get out of curiosity in case so I don't ever waste my time again? Did you get my text message? No, I blocked you. You blocked me. Ago. Okay, that's so. all. Right, Jesus Christ! Uh -huh. You guys are fucking funny. I'm so. I'm. You know what? I'm shocked too. Is I'm shocked JD didn't block me because I talk with him once in a while about some things and. Well, he wants to see who to block in your chat. <laughs> no, but I mean. But, now, right? Yeah, but I don't talk about that really too much on the cell phone. But I'm just no, surprised. I know. I know. He even said that to me. He goes, "I'm surprised you haven't blocked me." I was like, "Why would I block you?" And I, I only block people there. Because he blocks everybody. He's projecting. Well, you have to, yeah, you're right. That's a great point. No, you got to be oh. above five foot nine for me to block. How him. many cans of soda are you going to drink? Bullshit, Bullfrog. you blocked me a couple of times. I'm fucking five one. Yeah, one for every chin he has. You're a psycho, though. So, I mean, that is true. Well, people so just want the reunion of Jesse, me, and, and Leah, and Jay. That's what it is. So that's why. Well, you, you drop that, and we'll see what happens. Shit! We get Lee on here, and you know, we'll make it a you party. Get on here, dude. Oh, you shit, get Lee man. here, Bullfrog, and I'll buy you some pizza. Hey, you. Let me in. Well, yeah, I want to play with you. Come party with us. Oh. Nope. You. I'm not coming to you. 
Yeah, that warmed it just up. fucked it up. <laughs> now, what about... Did you just shoot me? No, I swear to God, if you don't stop, I will shoot you, Joe Carlin. Oh. Now, this now is do you do you have a weapon, Bullfrog? Let me ask you that after that comment. Do no, you... I don't have a license for a gun. You don't I have a weapon. I use my fatness as a weapon. Okay, I just was checking. Um, now, yeah, you have to have a license. Bull, Bullfrog, if you donate a hundred dollars, I'll show you a picture of Leah when she was nineteen. No, I, I want the, the big, I want a naked picture. What? I want her when she was fourteen, did, Joe. Did he say? Uh, yeah. Oh, did he say he wants well, a naked, want naked picture? picture one. Oh. Wow. Bullfrog. Bullfrog. You get 10,000? Yo. How, how much do you no, weigh? No, what? How much do you weigh? <laughs> oh, no. How much do you weigh? I told you, 240. No chance. There is no... You're no, a liar. Well, JB, he's 5'3". Give him a break. No, okay, okay. I'm going to oh, give you God. some... Okay, look. Like, the biggest that I've ever been when I'm overweight is 140. All right, and I'm five foot one, five foot two. I, I wear I'm doing all right, that's 120. So that but, makes sense with him at five four. That's well, from your big. head, he uh, like no, pudgy, no, you know, he's kind nope. of closer to three hundred wear... though. I will say that. <laughs> nope, Bullfrog's Please. head alone is two hundred pounds. There's no chance. <laughs> right, you are only two hundred and forty. Well, I will say, you know, he's only two forty six now. Bullfrog, what do you think about this? All right, no, Bullfrog, I want going. you to put the camera down. I want you, we, we need to see a full body shot here. Yep, let's see this. Yeah, squeeze no, those titties and check damn. the arms. We really... Wait, children. You won't, look at feet. you won't look at feet, but you'll watch that, motherfucker. Look away, really? children. Yeah. No, I got to see this. Okay, children, we're... look away. Here's some encouragement, Bullfrog. Listen. No, keep going. <laughs> no, keep your... going. Oh. Go ahead, just keep going. If you Dildo make ass of this wine, I'm going to fucking... Mm. No, Drop can the phone you... up and take a step back, Bullfrog. Back up, fatty. Like we can't. All we can see is your forearm. Yo, yeah. Back up. Where is your? Bullfrog. Tell him to make noise, too. Bullfrog, scream and stuff, because the camera is not selecting you. Otherwise. <laughs> where Dude, does your hair begin hell? and your sidelines end? Or your si sideburns end? I can't tell. Seriously, Bullfrog, can you put your teeth oh. in? Put your tits away. Oh. <laughs> Joe, Wait, Leah's pussy still, needs a cleaning out. <laughs> Oh. I'll take my shirt off for you right now, JV. All right, let's see it. All right, I will right now. He does his teeth he'll fucking eat his teeth. Man, what are Cover you your nipples. JB, Cover what are you them. doing to my show, JB? Oh. What the oh, fuck oh, is that? Oh, 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 my God. No. Good God, no. Oh, my God. Good God, no. That's a man. It's okay. It's a man. JB's going to take a picture of this and jerk off to it later. Look at those things. Oh, oh, he's he's, he's, he's eating so much chest. pizza, he's got the hairy nipples. No, keep oh, going. Oh, Nerdy thought his face no, was burning before. Oh. Wow, this Dude, is... Dude, I hope you no, get breast cancer so they cut those motherfuckers off. I you told him to squeeze it. those God, things and check beat. for lumps. That's a beat cut? You're right, tank titties. You're right, tank titties. Oh, no. No. Hey, Bullfrog, you know what would make this much more hotter is if you put your teeth in. <laughs> no, <I'm not. laughs> he said no. I've got standards. I'm keeping my teeth out. Yeah, he doesn't. Have... He That's does, gross. He, I, don't, I, I really don't think. Wow. The pair of teeth, because we can never convince him to put it in. Oh, oh. He, he ate them. Oh my he god. He ate them. He's... <laughs> That's Play for you, with... David. I took my shirt off just for you. For the people Play who can't see, he's god. playing with his nipples. Can you can you squeeze your tits together and like? Push the nipples together and make oh, them like. No. And lick what them. the fuck is wrong with you guys? Is this being broadcasted? Yeah, a little. <laughs> some of oh, it yes, is. It better be. No, no, you get that motherfucker. I want your tongue touching nipple. If you gotta stop, not. you gotta let him talk though. Otherwise, it's gonna keep on Jesse. Say something, Bullfrog. I did. Well, <laughs> I can't touch my nipple. I can barely lick my, my own chin. <laughs> what? <laughs> what? <laughs> no. I I lick my own chin. Please. Oh, no. <laughs> oh my god, what is going on? <laughs> lick your chin. Come on. Lick your own chin. Go ahead. Oh. <laughs> oh god. Oh, what is oh, it? Uh, you. What is oh, what? 
the fuck? I'd rather watch you lick another man's testicles than what you just did right <laughs> no, there. I yeah, talk about thick. Just not because, in the right way. Like I can do you smell. shave your chest hair? <laughs> <laughs> do you shave can your you chest even, hair? like, wash all them crevices you got going on? Yeah. Uh, I shave my chest every now and then. Every no, now and then. What? Wash. Uh, I took a shower this morning. But do but you get to all the Can you get in like, everywhere? Yeah, when I was that big, little, I had to use a rag on a stick. You know, areas, or do you have to use like a white stick? Kind of like, like. I wash I, myself with a rag on hey, a hey, stick. Hey, I use those sticks, you fuck. I can't reach that fucking well. I hey, I'm there with you. Spot, That's right. Well, Bullfrog, I was Jamie, eating. take your off. I want to see that sexy uh, bullfrog. It'd be, be too dangerous for bullfrog to use a stick. He'd be looking for a place to put it in his ass. Jamie, let's see that hairy chest here. What? This what? Take your shirt off, baby. I want to see that chest here, Jamie. Come on. No, Come on, baby. Oh my goodness. Oh. Yeah, you think you Come need on, to send him He's bisexual, gotta... JB. Remember that? Yeah, yeah. me and JB used to get it on. What? <laughs> I do have to say, no, JB didn't. is looking, he's looking way more swole, or oh, he started dude, chopping big that it. Titty is. Yeah, it's huge. Awandi, I mean, Nerdy, <laughs> yeah, you just called can't... another man's man swole. Yeah. Dude, JB's you looking know, swole. You got one of those chins, you can muscle. suck your own titty. Dude, J JB's looking swole, but it a... could be that he started chopping at Baby Gap. I can't tell, really, because he's kind of small. Bullfrog, wait, Bullfrog just did a fucking amazing... Okay, Bullfrog, do what you just did, but do it with both of them at the same oh, time. Oh. And just squeeze them up as high Duh. as you can and try and lick them, and somebody screenshot that shit. Somebody locally now, record him. Oh, I've already got this. Somebody please. arrested. Please locally record right him, there. somebody. Wait, you're not... You know, stand further back. We want to see the... Bullfrog. Bullfrog. Horrible. Is that what... Is yeah, that, that there need? you are. There you go. Oh. Is that what you need oh, to when you go down on her? <laughs> oh. Oh. Jesus, I don't know, know but this is on. uh this is gonna go on onlyrape.com. <laughs> yeah, you know they, they well, that's how, that's how I'm playing your grundle, uh, only uh, fans is okay now. They went back to you're okay because they were lose they're gonna lose the money. Ooh, we want uh, nerdy. <laughs> nerdy <laughs> do it. Me and Ernie. What, it's not what is that? Holy shit, God is here. Oh. He is as white oh, and pinky as you can get. Breast. Lord JB. I mean, please me shut AJ Adams and stuff in his side of deal. Since JB is here, below par host Scar Guts, Nikki J and Jacob RP can piss. Wow, Colonel Santos, I'll sponsor JB. So glad he's here. He's happy about JB being here, me too. Colonel Santos. Thank you. Amen to that. God yeah. Damn right. It's great tonight to be able to hear Joe. I miss fucking chemistry. It's been years. <laughs> Jamie, if you, uh, yes, I'll forgive you, if you for leaving me high and dry. I'll forgive well, for, you. You're not going to forgive me because I never did that. <laughs> yeah, well, he took off my shirt for you. I don't give a shit. No, now he thinks, no, JB, JB, here's the problem. Now he okay. thinks. I took off my shirt for you, not right. like, not like a, yeah, yeah not a see, show no, thing. Honey, now you you this is some take sexual. For your own nasty ass body. So now he has that as currency. Like, remember that time I took my shirt off for you? Like, now you owe me. It's like, no, yeah, that's exactly how it works. So I remember that time we didn't call the cops because you fucked your niece. Yeah, well, hey, we. Owe you. Oh no! <laughs> what? Jesus. That's getting old, dude. That's getting old. <laughs> dude, you no, it, 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 that's why they make the jokes new. Yeah, no, he, what's getting old is your tits being To be out. fair, you were worried about her health. You told me you were trying to give her the vaccine, right? He yeah. misplaced his thermometer, and he thought he <laughs> would just work with what he had. <laughs> they should seriously cast Bullfrog as the penguin. No, they should cast, <laughs> they should cast him as, as the Tardo. Like, and do a, or like, the blob. No, keep Bullfrog, going. I say, I say niece jokes and love and, and oh. happiness. I don't No, it. you don't. You hate his niece. You told me off the air she's a stupid bitch, and you said it to me. All I right? heard it. And, yeah, and, and Nerdy happens. heard it. Yeah, I'm the one that started that. I'm drinking rum right now, for Christ's sake, Bullfrog. Later on, I'm going to tell you. you. I'm drinking wine. What? Really? What kind of wine? Uh, I love my apothic, man, and I'm drinking apothic dark because I like the darkies. What? And so. <laughs> what? Oh. <laughs> Hold on. Can we back up a second? Can here? we back up to you doing Power Ranger moves while we were talking? <laughs> what the fuck was that about? 
I, I thought you were a Ninja Turtle. Who was doing was it, Nerdy? Thinking, nerdy. He was doing guessing. some guy. He was like, he was like doing Wait, this. He's like, <laughs> Nerdy, do I got to see this. Replay like, this. Go back. Go <laughs> watch. Just watch the stream right now. You'll see it. While Chuck we were talking, Taylor he was. That's a lot of work. He was at. <laughs> I'm Tom. <laughs> He was I'm acting like a, a Power Ranger. Here, You're a fuck. You were a <laughs> seven year old. Like, no wonder was Nerdy likes your niece, bro. <laughs> that room, dude. He was She's doing like, a fucking ninja move. Go look at. It's weird. It's like, dude, what are you, Tommy? Like playing with toys in the background <laughs> while everybody else talks. <laughs> you can't no. fucking sit and have a no. Go watch it. You'll see. It's on the. It's on you video. You donated fifty bucks. Oh, I take my dick out because you donated wow. fifty bucks. <laughs> You donated hey. 50 bucks, motherfucker, boy. I'm a Boom. rich motherfucker. And steadyrecords.com yeah, for merchandise and new music. New video is at 11k. Album drops October 1st. Oh, here we go. Love, guys. Fuck you, JB. Just kidding. Welcome back. But nah, fuck you, LOL. Cook. <laughs> Gook, he says at the end. Undelay peasy, is. man. <laughs> You better check out his music video. His last music video was fire. He's got another one coming out. I'm going to buy the album, old school style. Then I'm going to come in the disc, and then I'm going to sell it on Patreon. Um, thank you, Andale Peasy. That's $50. So you know what that means. you ever tried to put a disc in a CD player with cum on it? It doesn't really play the whole thing. I don't care, but whatever JCS... Don't ask me how I know that. I... Whatever JCS fan gets it is going to be very happy. They're going to be like, I'm going to smell yeah. the cum. 50 points is uh, 100 and uh, it's a 100. No, it's a 20 spin. Joe and Telly, oh. I got my card off for. Oh. You say oh, you're yeah. fertile? I don't think he's good. What? You said he's fertile. 20 points, 20 <laughs> times to Andale Peasy. I'm, I'm, I'm fertile for, for you, Leah. Oh, my God. Shout out to the fertiles. Dude, he landed on bankrupt. <laughs> oh, the dildo asses. <laughs> 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 that was a good one, dude. <laughs> we never found out what well, that was. Like, you know, JB, you sexy beast. Be, you better be careful. Danny's hey, keeping a now, mental you'll note. You'll probably hate him in 30 minutes, and then 30 minutes later, you'll love him. And then Tommy you know, fucking you know, crazy fuck. What's that? <laughs> kiss her. What's that? I want to see your uh, chest as you take it off. Come on, baby. What? I can't stop Everybody laughing at how offended Joe off. was <laughs> that like he was doing like Power Ranger moves. All right, go ahead, Bullfrog. You just but, fucking talk. It's Jesus. just weird, man. He was doing these weird moves, and you want him here, JV. I'm just saying. <laughs> I, I was just wanting him here for the beef, oh. you know. I accidentally muted you, Jesse. Hold on, let me figure out how to fix that in about an hour. Uh oh. No, I'm just <laughs> no. I'm, I'm sorry. I fucked up. I'll get I'll get over there in one second. Hold on a second. Let me figure Look out. at your messages on Discord, Joe. I sent you fucking the the pink rangers moves from right here. <laughs> That's exactly it. Oh my god. I love the end when it fucking the echo. Oh, oh, like, <laughs> oh, my goodness, my butts. <laughs> I'm sorry. Oh my bones. Yeah, I don't know where that where that clip is, but I'm sure I can find it eventually. Oh my god, JB, that is exactly what I was talking about. Like he's like, what is he doing? What is that? That is the most, like that is what Tommy NC twenty ten was notorious for. Yeah. Just doing if he wasn't the so Oh my god, a Wandy. And how about uh, about Danny MT's just dead stare as he's doing it too? Like he's mesmerized. <laughs> like look at this. <laughs> like hey, hey, nice moves. No, no, I think Danny's thinking, man, I would break his arms in three seconds. <laughs> like he's thinking about all the. <laughs> look at this fucking loser. <laughs> <laughs> it's like look at look at this little fruitcake trying to do a karate chop. 
fucking dunk cake, motherfucker. Danny's probably thinking he kind of looks like Tommy when he's like ranting, like, and his arms are flailing everywhere. Look at the, look at the... <laughs> those pictures are so fucking disturbing. <laughs> oh yeah, Wandy's gross, man. I this... get, those are really, really unflattering. <laughs> that is fake. Oh, Whoever made that. Yeah, that... Whoever made that's really talented. Like, that is just some great CGI. Yeah. What? The posing. That wasn't me. If I really wanted to, if I really wanted to, with the amount of subscribers that I have, I would. I could cancel real. Joe. Easily, I could jump on my channel, and I could I could play all these clips that are sent to me on my show. I'm like, hear what this guy says about me. <laughs> oh, that's Tommy saying he's gonna cancel me. Okay, um, that was the wrong clip. Um, Can't he's gonna cancel you? Well, yeah, wait, wait, listen. If, if I wanted to, if I really wanted to, with the amount of subscribers that I have, I would, I could cancel Joe. <laughs> oh, when well, did somebody cancel Tommy? He's riding somebody else's dick. When was that? Um, I don't know, like five months ago, four, five months ago, something like that. I don't know. Yeah, it's more recent. Holy shit. Man, you guys had a real Wani falling is, out. Uh, I've been is, uh, right, go ahead, Listen, I, I don't want to speak bad about him because he's not here and his friends here. So I don't. I, I actually get along with him. We talk on Instagram now. So well, I wasn't gonna talk shit. I was just gonna say a lot's yeah. happened since I've been gone. I didn't know yeah. you and Tommy had that much of a falling no, out. No, it's just you know how Tom. You can't. You know he. If you're not his <laughs> best. If you're not his best. Not friend, as much as him and his dad. Wait, no, no. Honestly, oh, that's like, he's, not. He's not around not people cool. that are good for him, and that's not Tommy's fault. He well, listen, I'm just. I'll it. just say, if you're not, if you're not, not fault for the beginning issues with me arguing with Joe, part of it I take fucking accountability for. I was, I was a fucking dick, but Wait, now that's old shit. It's stuff, the other sh area where it's like that's that's what's mm -hmm. the, this could have yeah. been fixed, but now now he's. Mm -hmm. Gone a not so good path, and I fucking yeah. Suck. Yeah, it's it's one. It's just one of those things. If you're not, what his, do you mean? I, yeah, if, I'm if, I'm probably going down a path you don't want me to, Joe. But okay, so the, um, I don't really. No, yeah, I, I honestly here, don't. There is no right answer. We don't really know the answer, honestly. We really don't. But I just know that uh, you know I speak to him. I speak to him on Instagram, and uh, yeah, he just I speak to him on Instagram. That's all. And listen, if you're not his best friend mm -hmm. out of everybody, you, it's hard to, you know, it's hard to especially. Yes. But it's weird because you are. That's the weird. Well, thing not really. I don't think so. He wants no, to. Well, I thought are. Danny you was. You don't even realize it. No, you are. Listen. Um, the thing we... about it is, like, he doesn't know. He's like following the wrong people. He should be following. Well, the that's that your care word. I'm like you, like well, Danny, like myself. Yeah, listen. I mean, we care about the dude. Yep. Danny does he love cares him. About I do. Him more than the people he's kicking it with. I always said Jesus that about Christ. Danny. Is like, listen, Danny. At least Danny, even though he got, I think he got overly mad at us, which he admits. Um, that he was looking out for Tommy though. He really, cause we used to look out for Tommy Dude, too. That's what um, he liked about you too. Like you yeah. both fucking, I think understood that about each other was like, we, you both had Tommy's best interest in my, in your yeah. heart, you know? He did say that, you know, so. he did say that he missed, he, he, he did say that he, he wanted to get me, uh, JB's wife and my wife on a show together. That was his dream a couple, about eight months ago. So JB just, you know, he I don't know. He also wanted to give yeah. Leah a cleaning out, but. Oh no! He, no, he didn't really. You know, I don't think he really said. Joe, but. Leah's pussy needs a cleaning uh, out. I thought, JBR, I thought JBR gave her a cleaning out. Who? Whoa, oh, buddy. Yeah, he cleaned out a fucking wow. battleground somewhere, but that's about it. Um, hey, let me see what else. Away. I'm still trying to find that sound clip because you wanted it, the girdles <laughs> one. I, I don't. Shout out to the. Girdles. Now that's that's uncomfortable, but that's not the girls clip. <laughs> Hey, back there, JB. <laughs> what is that, Mike Kell trying to laugh? <laughs> no, that's Mike Kell trying to rape his mom. Uh, all right, let's go uh -huh. to the... Hey, it's all the same thing. He laughs yeah. while he fucks her. It's great. Oh, oh my... Dude, Did anyone hear that? Oh, my God. What if they played us? Oh, it's turkey time! What if they killed us? Whoa. Oh, give me your fucking hey, turkeys. Children. One is Gargut's his intro. What JB, give us, a, give us a, a gobble, JB. He doesn't have to, but see if he does. Remember when JB barked? Gobble, 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 gobble. Take off that shirt. What the fuck, Bullfrog? He's not taking his shirt off, you idiot. He's not gay like you. You're gonna have to pay it. said the turkeys ate us. They gobbled us apart. But first they'd eat our nuts. 
Oh, now Nerdy's been air drumming. I like it. No, keep going. I like that. The turkeys ate us. Go. What if, what if, what if the turkeys ate us? How is Steven Crowder still in the hospital for his heart, but Bullfrog's okay? I don't understand this. Because I'm immortal. Yeah, you're immortal. Oh, it's yeah. the immortal legend. What if the turkeys ate us instead of mashed potatoes? <laughs> All right, whose don't know is this? Points to the goat, JB. JB says that when Leo was talking about Ganon from Zelda was gold lol. Oh, that was um, that was that was <laughs> filthy mouth. He she said he goes. Okay, it was a long so, time ago. He goes. I don't know. Uh, the galaxy far far away. He she goes. Oh my god, die. That's right. That's, <laughs> oh my god, die. Oh my god, bro. That was. I sorry. One of the I, sorry. I was like kind of off game here because I was reading it in the chat. Topher Gutch. Uh-huh. He said that it's been 282 episodes since I debuted. Wow. Yeah, he's an OG, uh, uh, that guy. That, that is an embarrassingly old stat. No, <laughs> like, hey, yeah. I fucking started uh, the first day. What the fuck? That's, is, that's that true. That you you are yeah, like the number. old man of the group. I am. Uh, Jesse, you're, you're, you're upside, Jesse, you're upside down. I don't give a fuck, dude. I just rescued this goddamn phone from a fucking stove. I had to move myself. There you go. Up. Now I can see you. Now I can see you. Hey, All Bullfrog, right. can you do me a favor, God. buddy? Can God. you put your shirt back on? Yeah, now it's getting yeah. weird. Yeah, do us all wait, a favor. Wait, wait. Oh, gonna, here he goes. Who wants to hear Harry? The, the Guys, I... I, I no. Cut that nipple. I'll put my shirt on back for Davey. I uh, I pulled up pepperoni nipples on a pizza. I pulled up every <laughs> clip. I pulled up every clip with dye in it for you guys, and so here it is. Oh my God, dye. There's also one other clip. Oh my God, dye. Here's the other clip with dye in it. I hope okay. I, I hope Justin dies in a campfire accident. How about that? <laughs> oh, what the fuck? <laughs> <laughs> Wait a minute. There should be like 72 clips with my fucking voice in it. I know, but I didn't. You know, you're, well, I you're not important enough. Okay. Uh, oh. No, I'm I'm just kidding. No. Oh. Join the kidding. club. No, I'm kidding. I just don't. That I, oh, that God was <laughs> that was um from years ago. It was like a four years ago clip. And <laughs> look at poor Gargut. Oh yeah, his Gargut's still what on mute. Gar-Gut? He's no, just no, sitting he's there. Fine. He's just sitting there coddling his bottle. Yeah, what a poor okay. pussy. He's like, hey dude, what when, I, when no, am I gonna be able to talk? <laughs> oh, I'm chilling. Listen, he's a sad pussy. Let me go get some rum. I'll be right back. It's uh. <laughs> Hey, we should be putting over the fucking belt. So what How'd you know I was sad? How Look, about that I'm, new out of nowhere belt? Did you show it off, Jake? Yeah, that's a... That's Maybe a JB can burn it. I know, we yeah, can set this one on fire, too. What, what, what's going on? I figured we need to know about the monetize we're, this we're belt. We're due for a good belt burning. Yeah. Indeed we are. Funny you say that. <laughs> I knew it would be. JB, I remember when you did that with Tommy, where you acted like you right. set the belt on fire. Yeah, you remember that? That was awesome. Yeah, I remember that. I was so <laughs> cool. Do we act the same way to everything right, that's said up. to you? I remember that. Yeah. All right. All right. We, yeah, we heard you the first time. Yeah, first cool. dozen times. When's the last time? When's the last time you had sex? Uh, <laughs> fuck. Huh. Don't you fucking How with your niece? don't talk about your niece. Dude, shut up. Hey, sh- hey, I can say these things. I love you, you stupid No, fuck. dude, it's getting old, bro. It's getting old. Hate your guts. I don't. I love you, you stupid idiot. So was your I niece. Well, your, well, that's how <laughs> D. Welch was in the beginning. He, he just kept constantly talking about my niece. Well, he hates you, though. He, like, hates your mm. fucking entire... Like, he would... Dude, he'd stab your fucking blood. He hates well, you. He's more envious of your chin. Bullfrog. <laughs> Which vagina? Um, was the last time that you got laid when you told me about when you're with your man partner and he got you to drink your urine? Ugh, what uh. the? What? I mean, it's been tell a us more about that. You did anything. You, you, you're, Bullfrog. wait, hold on. No, everybody stop. Hold on. Hey, hold on, anyone. You, your last encounter with sex was with a man and he was drinking yeah. your piss? Yeah. No. Wait, uh, why was no. he drinking your Bullfrog. Sipping on his own urine because the dude had 
told him, I dare you to do it. The bullfrog commenced to drink. Um, you drink. really drink your own urine? On his no. sheets? That's disgusting. Bullfrog, don't say What are you, not Jake the Snake? Drinking without it, you know. What are you, Bear Grylls? Remember, Joe would have to be doing a lot of digging. He said, <laughs> oh. Gargut, Man versus whatever. I know you did it. Nobody saw it, but I did. Good for you. Before we Son heard about bitch. Bullfrog talking about drinking Gargut's his own piss. Is funny. I don't care what you say. Gargutz, what were you saying about the bell? What were you saying about Wibbles? My, 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 all I know is that I can't hear half the people here. <laughs> yeah, Bullfrog. What else is new? It's Discord. What do you expect? Fuck. I hear, I hear Bullfrog is a fat embarrassment. You oh. oh no! <laughs> I heard that. Well, I mean, he's got fat. I mean, I don't know. For a fat guy, he's kind of not the. Hey, worst you got to you got to wait till he's you got to wait till he's here, bro. He's not Leah here. said she'll be on if we release uh, Bullfrog's nudes. So Ooh. Bullfrog, we gotta Ooh. we gotta leak your Nobody nudes. Hope he doesn't come back. No. The only thing that needs to be leaking from Bullfrog is liposuction. You know what I mean? <laughs> yeah. Like, dude, his tits are the size they should be lactating. They might leak. Oh, my oh. God. Could you imagine <sighs> drinking Bullfrog's milk? <laughs> no! God. Why would you even say that? I can't dude, imagine God. drinking drinking Bullfrog's piss, let alone his milk. Never mind piss. A Bullfrog smoothie, all of his lipo fat put in a blender. Serve that imagine up. That's got to be a lot of protein. You are a fucking weirdo since you lost weight. I, I'm telling you, that's that got to be uh Hey, Gargutz, let me ask you a question. I got Gargutz, would, yeah. you, would you rather have to suck on Bullfrog's nipple for 30 yeah. seconds or suck Tommy's cock? <laughs> Tommy's for five cock all seconds. Day, I'm just answering for myself. Um... <laughs> I'd pick C. No, don't, don't, no, we don't do that here. You got to pick one. You know, is not I guess, answer. you know what? I guess I'd have to. Suck on my nipple. <laughs> Suck on my nipple. <laughs> I'm going for the nipple. That's clean. Tommy's not yeah, clean. Tommy doesn't Yeah, clean. I'd have to go with the nipple because there is nothing clean about Bullfrog. Yeah. Uh, Bullfrog wait, wait, showers. Yeah, I shower okay, well, let's let 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 guard. Let's let answer. Let him answer. No, I'm, go I'm gonna have to. I'm gonna have to go with the nipple because fuck it. Why not? Hey, yeah. uh, oh, make sure. God. Make sure you shave it because I ain't going for that JB. extra hair. Dude, JB, we've seen Tommy wear a mask. Imagine him wiping his ass. Dude, There's probably wait, wait, wait. All over JB. His JB goes. goes oh good God. Point. God. Wolfrog, God. Wolfrog, I got a question. Do you <laughs> Not shave your nipples? <laughs> yeah, you shave your nipples, Wolfrog. It's part of my chest hair. You, you do. To. You shave yeah. it, don't you? Yes. Yeah, yes. you probably got some hairy-ass motherfucking hairy pepperonis, don't you? Heck yeah. Ooh. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. I do. I mean, so, oh my God, you fucking, why did you have to say that? Who I got, said I got it? a hairy Now I have like, to envision it. Wait a minute, so Ugh. Bullfrog, let me ask, is that a real story? You were sipping on your own urine? It's a real no, story. No, this is nasty. I don't go that far. Not Danny, Danny you, MT said you did. Right? Uh, I don't make uh, up. I, I, I got hair like DeMarco. Yeah. Me and DeMarco's hair looks the same. Don't change the subject. I would rather send I, Bullfrog to Afghanistan. It's all very fucking beautiful and saggy. Hey, oh, uh, baby. Oh, 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 oh. Damn right, Jake. You better. Take it off. <laughs> Damn. He's got hairy yeah. ones. <laughs> Yeah, Dude, I'm, he's I'm got some Italian. Meat to that shit. You you fucking... right. Those are at least bees right there. Oh, they were Bullfrog. bees. Now oh, I'm down yeah. to a, a low B or a high B or a low A. Those around my dick like nice. a fucking tortilla. Yeah, what's up, JB? I know it. How, how does uh, how does Sean's views cock taste? Oh, it tastes uh, very bustony. It tastes fine to me, Brian. It tastes fine to me. It, it tastes very <laughs> bustony. <laughs> Does it taste like unpaid child support? <laughs> and fake giveaways. Don't forget about that. Oh. You know, I know Bullfrog's a guy, Don't. but he still has a fupa. Don't make me lose a bull dyke. Pat upper pussy area. I mean, he's still got the pussy area, even if he's got a cock. I don't care. He's got that and the pussy. area. Fupa. Fupa. Got like a Bullfrog. fucking. Oh, God. He's, like, he's got like a gordita in there. It's horrible. Where the hell did Joe go? 
Yeah. Winter will get more. He rum. leaves his show for about two hours in the middle that's, of it. That's so. great. Yeah, usually yeah. he's 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 like, "Fuck, I hate all of you," and then he just leaves. Well, I mean, he he come back. He'll come back. He's snapping he one off. Back. That's all it is. JB, usually he yells at me. He's like, "You're not Justin," and then he leaves. <laughs> <laughs> you, need, you need to stop harassing people in the community. How about Wait you go a eat a dick? Don't make me contact my lawyer. Go but eat a dick. Fly a plane plane you contact your, your airport. Don't uh, make me contact my lawyer, bro. He's going to go fucking fly an airplane in your ass, dude. You, okay, from one the same fucking five years ago. Bro, I got well, I got your nudes, friends. bro. Don't make me leak. I got your nudes. We can pretty much visualize it. It's not that hard. It literally is not that hard. That's the problem. It's all. I want to use a pair of holidays at 9-11. Remember, remember when you sent me your notes told me to to deliver you something? <gasps> oh, oh, no. no. Oh, you know what? I, I believe that. Got, I believe it. I've got proof, bro. I didn't send no to you lying fucking... I've got the screenshot. <gasps> Yeah, you got shit. another fucking fat Joe, ass what? nudes. Oh. You ain't got shit, yeah, like, you fucking... Did you just hit your finger? To prove it, I will, leak, I will send them on Twitter. I, I want each shot before I call you the wow, one word. Wow, you know he's got him. You, I can up. hear it in your Wait. voice. Damn. What he ain't word? got shit. What he word, got bro? He does, and you I will know show it. you, bitch. Wait, let me, let me... I will show you. I will send it... I will send hey, you right wait, now. Wait, wait, wait. Did I delete them? Fuck. Hey, while we yeah. have Wandy on here, let hey, Wandy talk. Let him, let him, let these two guys talk for a second, please. Just let it happen. He goes, he goes oh, and harasses. I want your full of shit. shit. I'm full of shit. I'll, I'll show you who's full of shit right now, bitch. Uh oh. Oh no. All right. Oh, he just sent me a screenshot. Leah sent me a picture of her tickets. Oh my God, JB, bullfrog. What happened? Please show that? it if who's you can. Tell me what's that, JB. Oh my God! Can I, I show this? Show it if you can. Y'all better. What happened? Fill me in. What happened? I want to hear bullshit. You can't because it's. What happened? Uh, what did I, I miss? I, like I'll be that stupid and send those kind of pictures. I'm like I'll be that kind of yes, stupid. Yes, you I would be. Yes. Do believe that. I love you, but yes, you. I'm would. not gonna show this picture oh, on I camera because I don't feel like going and testifying. Where can we all go <laughs> oh. and see this picture that nobody wants to testify? Yeah. On? Why is it around? JC in the Discord chat. Put it in that. the chat. You can, uh, oh, you can, that easy. You can find the picture at fbi.statistics.gov. <laughs> <laughs> oh, my God. Wait, who's the other FBI Leah, guy? I forgot. I, I went upstairs. Oh, honey, I can't fucking sue you for harassing blowing up my Skype years ago. Yeah, I don't think so, what? Bullfrog. With the, the the Bullfrog, animal, are you really <laughs> stupid? <laughs> <laughs> Bullfrog, yeah. you've sent me a I thousand messages. I'm blowing up my Skype, and he's already... You threatened Joe's life. Sense. You threatened me in, on Skype in a hundred messages, Bullfrog. What are you talking you about? The morning, blowing up my That's Skype nice like he's on You blow Hitler. up my Skype. You, can't you sue anybody for you one incident. You love Hitler. It's been proven. Yeah. You've literally oh, yeah, said, I'm, I'm going to kill you, Joe, if you don't stop them from trying to talk to me. Can you shoot me? Oh, yeah, I'm over here trying to do a debate with Dave Rose and fucking the one he's over harassing Jeez. the shit out of my oh, fucking Oh, my fight. God. No, go. I swear to God, if you don't stop <laughs> it, that like I will year ago? you, Joe Cronin. What? Yeah. The debate Dave Rose wants to have with what? you is where he feeds you cyanide. Oh. Because... You know, I'm really trying to debate Dave, and uh, Awandi's over here blowing up my mm -hmm. damn Skype like it's a fucking telethon. Awandi's recording I'm everything you, you do for me. I've got him documenting you tonight, Bullfrog. Yeah, he's just Ooh. taking notes. Good. I hope he uh, reports me to a Taliban. Oh, okay. Duncanino? Don't oh mind God. if I, I never, do. You just lost. What's my name? Duncanino. It's a whole new game. You want I, I still got a spin for Fernando 408 too. Fernando, thank you. Shame on Tony Khan and Ayu. You have to be vaccinated to attend oh, Arthur Ashe. No warning on ticket have to sell. Not paid till seven days after event WTF. Wow. Raised eyebrow. Well, that you, really sucks. That does suck. Oh no. <laughs> oh no. Well, if you're what? not vaccinated, you know, do you have enough time at this point and ticket. stuff like that? Yeah, I think you can now, but. Yeah, how do you get your money back? Like, hey, I'm uh, vaccinated. I, you have to wait till seven days after the, the event. Uh, I guess, Joe, you should project. probably see this. I'm going to send it to you. 100. Uh, oh, boy. I, I might be going to the, Jake, no, I might be going to the uh, Extreme Rose pay-per-view. Do I have to be vaccinated for the Columbus one? Ooh. Yes. 
Sure. Jesus. Joe, you should probably so, check your DMs. It's the bullfrog wait, screenshot. Wait. Okay, I'm going to check those what? right now. Let's see. Bullfrog, bullfrog you, you can't be around now. kids. Oh, my God. Bullshit, man. I don't oh. do shit. Don't tell me there's a niece in it. Yes. I'll see you, bro. <laughs> oh, oh no. Lonnie, you're a fucking... You can't... Bro, your mom oh, abandoned no. you. Your mom uh, abandoned you. How <laughs> your mom mm -hmm. abandoned you? Mm -hmm. Oh, look at that. Oh, Lonnie, you're an idiot. What are you gonna What are you gonna call him, Bullfrog? What are you gonna call him? Well, Arab. Uh, Bullfrog. Ahead, Leah. Ahead, did, Bullfrog. Leah has said. Gonna... Leah said she I'm may come you on. Bullfrog. I want to hear your green card. I want him. He's a fucking you want, your green card. you want him to finger his green card? He's a no, citizen he in his own country. Card. Bro, he's he's a no, a right. greatest country there isn't. Wow. No. The Emirates. Dude, what Bullfrog, the you do know he wrong. doesn't you live in America, right? right? What? Bro, Bullfrog, you would, you would be the mate. Here. You would be my slave here. <laughs> yeah, I don't think, yeah, I don't think so. Tech slave. Yeah, apparently. I'll tell your sister Dude, to... Uh, uh, the elephants. I'll tell your sister to, to do your apartment the right way. What? What? Your, what? your, your apartment that? looks like a fucking lady's place. Well, she's over 18, so you probably wouldn't even talk to her. I mean, it looks very classy. I've seen this place. Bro, on my is this my fucking spaces? Who the fuck are you to give anyone advice on this shit? Yeah, it's weird. Well, bro, there, this house, place looks like a, like a princess lives there. <laughs> I mean, it looks like a bad fuck lives there. I love how he put his own joke over. Princess Jasmine lives there. Did you get that Princess Jasmine? Do you think he laughed because he thought it was funny, or do you think he laughed because he's like, I'm retarded? Man, you Why do you I don't think? know. Because he thought... We'll never know. Oh, Lonnie, are you thinking Princess Jasmine? <laughs> Bullfrog, I got good Why, news. Why, you want to finger her too? Bullfrog doesn't think. I think oh. the better question is, yeah, is your doesn't. family planning another 9-11? That's a better question. People. The whole new world. Why do you... <laughs> what? <laughs> <laughs> what was that? Aladdin. Well, he's planning seven fucking thing on the shelf. Me and you. Sing it, Bullfrog. Yeah, go ahead. Nick. Sing it. I take you to a wonderful place. Oh my no god, PTSD. this is. <laughs> hey, Joe, put the music on. Let him Here sing you go, it. Bullfrog. Yeah, Dude, I need, I need the, the jam. Go ahead, Bullfrog. Here it comes. Well, I'll be quiet. Go ahead. I can't hear the music. All right, I'll, I'll, lead, I'll lead it in. Ready? Right, ready? I can show you the world. I can show you the world. I want to. You already said that. I said that part. No, let me go back. Ready? Ready? Watch. I can show you the world. I can show you no, everything. No, you, know, you sing the next part. You don't even know the song, but you love it? I don't understand this. Go, all right, go ahead. I'll let you go. Go ahead. I'm just watching it, man. I don't know, like, the whole song. All right, start the song over and let him do it. Go ahead. Go ahead. Here comes Sh the Shotgun to your face. I want to, I can show you the world. Me and I want to ride on a magic carpet ride. <laughs> <laughs> I want to, where's my genie? This call sucks. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it does. I'm oh, done. God. That's it? No, go on. Come on. You can like, I'll help you. Oh, dude, I saw this song. Shining, I, shimmering I, I, splendor. Play the lyrics. I'm like a genie in a bottle. Criticism and you're out. I can open your eyes. God, I can open your eyes and warn me. by wonder over sideways and under on a magic carpet. There's a big part. There it is. Stick point of view. Go ahead. No one to tell us no. But where to go? You can do it. Sing it to me. There's no. Yeah, hey, why do you sing it? Now, Wandy, I'm singing to you. It's crystal clear. A whole new world with you. It's like a whole new world trade center. Unbelievable. You know, he's going to be singing that when he's in the hospital for like three years, like while they pump fucking IVs into him. Robin Williams 
It's a whole new world. A whole new world. This is Bullfrog will be like this. World be like this, right? Yeah, there we go. World, a new dialysis machine. Every night at 3 a.m., it beeps at me. I change the dialysis bag. Like, that's going to be your new world at some point soon. New insulin bag. Hey, hey, no jokes. I'm going to be using dialysis soon. No that's way. true. No suicide and jokes either. Dialysis live soon. Don't you dare, oh, don't you dare or die. Nobody likes that, Joe, when you make the suicide jokes. But I'll kill you with my AR-15! <laughs> the sons of bitches. <laughs> Sound like Elon Musk's <laughs> fucking new Tesla robot. God, I think that maybe is oh. my favorite line I've ever heard. <laughs> well. <laughs> No, Queefy sons of bitches. <laughs> Queefy sons of bitches. <laughs> J JB, what did you make of Dr. Earl being upset that I made Queefy suicide jokes, <laughs> but that uh, he also, th but that he threatens to kill people with an AR-15? Oh, he's a fucking... Did you like that? Did you see Wait, the clip? what? Oh, you didn't hear about this? Hilarious. Wait, no, no, I, I, yeah, he I, don't, get, I don't hear everything. So okay, so... Because, he, he basically... Yeah, he yeah. Doctor, so he's Doctor... Doctor the biggest hypocrite card you've ever heard. Dr. Yeah. Earl was doing a was uh, someone sent me clips of him ranting about how like I'm bad person because or like he didn't basically he just didn't like my jokes he said like it's not funny that I made a suicide joke that I said oh I'd rather be dead than watch this or something and he was like it's not funny uh, when he does that and like it's not funny a gay does. man with an AR15 is okay yeah so I was basically like well I mean listen I'm not going to buy into that too much and then people were still ragging on me like yeah, you always make jokes about killing yourself, and it's whatever. And I'm like, okay, well, this guy makes jokes about shooting people, but it's not a joke. He actually makes uh, whatever. So, like, Didn't I don't really he, care. He literally threatened to go and kill YR, if I remember correctly. That is true, yeah. Quite a few people. <laughs> yeah, that's true. It's like, I'm with an I'm going to kill YR with an AR. Uh -huh. He was like, I'm going to go kill that queefy sons of bitch. <laughs> oh, apparently he, they're all doing don't their you own make, thing. Don't you make fun of me. I don't know. It was just funny. It's just, you know, it's another brainwash. Hello there, officer. I'm just on the Joe Cronin show. It's easy oh, to yeah. it's easy to brainwash a fucking <laughs> Dude, dildo. Did he talk to the cops that time? Yeah, I remember that. That was a good yeah, time. He was, I mean, yelling, he was yeah. yelling at Tommy so loud out in his oh, vehicle. He, he got the cops called on him. We <laughs> he had to no, some bitches. <laughs> There like, you go. I'm pretty sure it was his family who called. When I love we him, he sucks like the bitches. Like, I'm, I'm on a podcast here. Yeah, could you imagine the police are like, so what happened? He's like, I was just trying to give some advice to Tommy and C2010. No, man, he's done that. Remember the cop? He goes, oh, I'm on the Joel Cronin show. It's a show. And the cop was like, yeah, we'll check it out. And I'm like, no, don't. Like, he yeah, was... yeah, yeah. I have, I have to say one of the meanest things I ever did to Dr. Earl. Oh, I remember that when they said that. Oh, fuck. I forgot. Uh -oh. Who's that? Wait, you friend requested him? Who's that? What was that? What did I just hear? I don't know what just happened. Who the fuck is this? I only wore one headphone on, so I didn't know was... When he, like, shouted you out while fucking talking to the police and, like, giving the yeah. lowdown on what your channel name was and shit, I'm like, oh, fuck. Yeah, he's <laughs> like, it's a program. At this. I tell you, the, the shittiest thing I ever did to Dr. Earl was he was in an Uber ride one time. Mm -hmm. I, don't know, I don't know if you remember this, but on the show, yeah. on my show one time, he called in. <laughs> And he was getting a drive from an Uber driver, and I said, "Hey, put it on speakerphone." <laughs> and he puts it on speakerphone, and I was like, oh "Hey, how you?" Oh my god! Like, yeah, he did it. He was like, "I was like, hey, how you doing?" And the driver. Well, first of all, Earl goes, "Hey, uh, do you watch JB Sports Radio?" Uh -huh. <laughs> you know, to the guy, the driver, or whatever. And the guy was all like, "I don't, I don't know JB Sports Radio." <laughs> oh my god! I think I got it. I got it. I got it, JB. Look. Listen to this. I got it. I don't know what I'm doing. I'll look it up. Yeah, it's on. Right this every Friday you night. You will never be the same, sir. Discuss uh, daily topics, what's going on, and stuff like that. You know. Uh, I, do you remember the one time that was him talking to the cops? Do you remember the one time we made a video of him where like somebody drove by and like I made it sound like someone yelled at him? Do you remember that? What the fuck? I don't remember what that was. It was like he was like standing on the corner and a car drove by and he looked Not backwards. Sure. I'd have to hear it. He I'd goes, what? The, oh, he goes, oh, and he turns around and the car drives by. And so then I inserted <laughs> my voice yelling, hey, fuck you. 
<laughs> and it looked like it was part of the video or whatever. And then he like pulled the phone in and like muffled it. I think I do yeah. remember that. I don't, I don't know. remember. Yeah, I don't know where I it is, but I don't know that that got played as much as the other stuff. So yeah, he was bless his heart, but yeah, he was up. He was basically <laughs> other stuff got played a lot. Where, where he was just yeah, saying, bless his stupid heart. He was saying that like he didn't like well, that bless. I. He was saying that he didn't like my joke because I it's made a joke. Well. Here is I think I got it. here it is. <laughs> you can't get a word in joke. <laughs> I know Jesse just bulldozes. He's in bulldozes. Gotta remember, he's only a couple dials or turns away from. Oh, I'm sorry. What? I didn't even hear the punchline of that. It just went blank. Did he say something? He interrupted you. Didn't even give you the punchline. Yeah. He's lagging. All right, that's it, Jesse. You're getting muted for a minute. All right, there we go. And Jesse got <laughs> Baby, muted. Baby, what uh, headphones are you using? Oh, are my you, God. Shut up, Bullfrog. Just kill Shut yourself. Up, All right, listen to this, right? To make themselves better. Joe Cronin says he has whatever. But that doesn't make his actions okay. Like, I don't know what he says. I want to commit suicide. That's supposed to be that man. He's definitely right. It, whether I have ADD or whether someone has autism, it doesn't make the actions right. He is correct. Suicide. That's supposed to be that makes me joke. mad when he does that. I mean, and the lawyers says- called him out massively because of that. Because there was a shooting in uh, some mall in Colorado. There, and Larry on that, that evening on this raw review, you know, Joe Cronin said, you know, it's kind of a joke. Said I'd rather be in a mall. In the mall in Colorado, then watch Monday Night Raw. He was like furiated that he. So remember, make, making jokes about shoot about being in a shooting yourself like is not a good thing. Remember that. Said that. Mm-hmm. You know, it was supposed to be a joke, but uh, it wasn't really that. It was it really wasn't funny. And I also need to say this, you know. I yes, said because that Joe all has a wife, he has been a family, and that. Uh, if he is bipolar, whichever, he needs to seek treatment for it. But You're right. I should seek treatment for saying, like, oh, man, uh, Rob made me want to kill myself. So do you do you agree, uh, JB? I mean, sometimes I do overuse the, the de- oh, shoot me joke or whatever, I guess, you know. Yeah. You do that- overuse the kill thing because you still fucking slip up with me on that shit and tell everybody that I was saying I wanted to kill you. That's true, <laughs> yeah. I like uh, I know that that the shit never bothered me when when you would like be like raw maybe want to kill myself. What used to annoy me is your stupid suicidal tweets all the time was annoying. Yeah. Like but that, that, as far as like the entertainment on air type of thing where like oh my god the show sucks so I just want somebody kill me or you know this right. show makes me want to kill like that yeah. that's stu- Is this Dr. Earl's channel that he uploaded this video? Uh, I I heard it on a Twitter thing but I don't know where it was but I heard it on yeah, a Twitter. Yeah, okay. did it on his channel. Oh, okay, of there you go. You did. I, I watched it. Yeah, he, he is oh, such Daniel a bumbling Warner. idiot. He really is. I mean, yeah, well, did you hear Goldberg? Did you hear what did you hear what he said though in another video that wasn't a joke? Did you hear that part? No. All right, Let's listen, hear it. listen to this. You're gonna love JB, you're gonna love Yeah, this. you're gonna love hearing this. I would like to find out where these bitches reside in, go in there and uh, <laughs> slash the fuck out of their uh tires. <laughs> or better yet, beat the snot out of them. <laughs> Otherwise, it'd be over there with a fucking sledgehammer up to skulls. <laughs> fix straight up. Straight up? Is that what fixed. he said? <laughs> yeah. I'm gonna go down there and raise No, I think he said ass. straight hey, up. Fuck you. Damn, I do yours. That's then straight you up. Move the fuck Meet out him. of our block. So I can go where did that person lives? Find out where they really live, actually. Jesus. Give me a lightsaber. I wonder if it's in dark. It's to the point now where I just want to take the AR-15 and start shooting people. That's it. That's the, that's the bad one, right? Like, Pop your heads off. Wait, yeah, that's the, the real bad one. Yeah, listen to this one. That's what I thought you were going for. Where I just want to take the AR-15 and start shooting people. Oh, <laughs> my God. <laughs> When was this? These are all clips I found in the last year and a half from him. Like, I just found, I go, okay, you're going to criticize me that I shouldn't make suicide jokes about being in a shooting? How about you saying you're going to shoot people? Yeah, that? he should probably. Have you not, Joe, have you not come across the fucking clip where he oh. was going off about women? And he's like, you bitch, you want to be in a relationship with me? With well, then me? you're going to bow down, suck my cock. <laughs> <laughs> all of it. It's, it's in it. Yeah, dude, I've heard What's that. Yeah. I clipped it a long What's time ago. 
Yeah, that, I'm like, what yeah. the fuck? Yeah, like, by the way, in here, pay bills. You're gonna bow down and suck my. Gut. <laughs> I think he what might. A, he probably what was an kidding. Old man, Doctor Earl is though. I want to beat the snot out of him. <laughs> right. yeah. What an old <laughs> man's <laughs> name. Right? Beat the snot out. Of beat him. the snot. I will out of take you. that young whipper snapper and I'll yeah. break his neck. I want to beat those little rascals to death. <laughs> <laughs> but God forbid I make I'm a joke. I'm gonna to fetch a switch and so, give him a. Then, yeah. then, then, if these guys keep it up, I'm gonna have to take them out to the tool shed. <laughs> <laughs> well, then, then be quite the the oh, it's a it's a wonderful this world. Is this is joke enough. Oh, he is. Oh, I just clicked on Hillary. <laughs> <laughs> Hold on, a minute. I gotta unmute her. <laughs> yeah, laughable. <laughs> Dude, she kind of looks like my mom there. I hate to say it, my, my poor mom, but she makes... my mom's seventy. That's old, dude. My mom bought a house, too, so she's in a different house. She's, like, 15 minutes away. Leah's dad bought a house. He's, like, 15 minutes away. I'm here. JB, you're buying a house. Are you going to stay in the state, though? You're not moving far, are you? You're just moving. Oh, no. We're, yeah, we're moving literally, like... Up the road or something. Yeah, I, I mean, I won't say too much, but yeah, you just never know nowadays. <laughs> I'll find you. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, I, I, I'm we'll moving away out. from here. Yeah, someone will be imagine, like, I don't know where they're living, whoever they if, are, you know, whoever. Imagine me and Leah. You just had have moved to know in. what kind of car somebody has. You can Google Maps it. Yeah, it's real easy. Tell everybody. Yeah. Tell everybody the other. Tell everybody. Tell everything to everybody, Jesse. Go ahead. To give out the other secrets. Yeah. <laughs> Look, I mean, one hundred dollars. Oh, it's uh, Patreon, donation pay time, on a couple websites. You can get, uh, boy. Anyway. All right, there goes Jesse again. Jesse got the guns, baby. Hey, Jesse, you got me blocked on this for you, faggot. There goes Bullfrog now. Almost like old times. So good to hear your voice, Woo! JB. You were so missed, my friend. Spin Shut for the up. king, JB. Thank you, Shell. The big. Thank you, Shelly. Shoo, 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 shoo. Yeah, show. Shell, the wifey. Thank God for Shell, or she leaks everything about JB where he is to me, so I know. No, I'm just kidding. No, I'm just joking. No, she doesn't do that. Um, thank you, Shell, so much, man. A hundred dollars, Shell. You're awesome, and they've they've funded you, JB, tonight. Really, this has really been a. Awesome. Is it true? The last time I was on the it show wasn't. was two hundred. I. It was a year ago, right? Or a year and a half ago. So no, that's not true. Two hundred? No, okay. that's not true. No way. I, I saw somebody in the chat say the last time JB no. was here was episode two hundred. That can't be right. I mean, that can't. It yeah, doesn't true. sound right. Because you were with me, me and you and Leah and Moon and like Drew yeah. and a couple people were really like we. That was when we were having our I, kind. I of, made I made another run in like like two thirty to like two fifty somewhere around there. I think. Yeah, they're thinking of a think another time. Like before that, because you left around the time right after you, f right before you fought Bullfrog the last time when when I brought you in with those fake. I mean, dude, two oh eight is when you burnt the belt. Like you were. Okay. Oh my Monetize. God, Shell! Monetize oh, that's that. not Shell. This I'm is. Kind of fat. Monetize that. Monetize that. I'm kind of fat. Tommy and C. Holy Find shit. Me a mask. Tommy and C. I'm kind of fat. Monetize that. Buy me a mask. Buy me a mask. Buy me a mask. I got a what? Buy me a mask. Would you please buy me a mask? Buy me a mask. I can ask. I can ask. Buy me a mask from Tommy and C, and I'm gonna buy you a mask. Monetize that. Buy me a mask. 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 Some pyroplastic flow. I don't like blacks. Pyroplastic flow. I don't like blacks. Ask me that. Ask me this. Monetize that. Monetize that. Can I get a mask from Tommy and C? I'm fat. I'm fat. Can I get a mask? Welcome back, dear fucker. Spin all points or whatever to JB. <laughs> oh shit! Welcome back, dear fucker. How about that, well, a <laughs> Russian chew. I'm not sure if he's back. Make but... sure I get surgery Monday. Jesus. <laughs> okay. Everybody chiming in. A Russian chew. Thank you, man, for one hundred and fifty dollars. That is the giving all his points to JB too. Thanks, JB, Arun, you cross-eyed loser. I appreciate it. Oh. You're going on the board. <laughs> All right, we're going to spin for JB first, and then I'll go back to Shells. Um, thank you, Aru. What's Holy up, shit. Shell? You sexy beast. Aru, want to have sex with you? What's up, Shell? Are, are you supposed to be talking to her? Yeah, quit talking to her. Yeah, we have our ups and downs. No, you don't. 
Oh, JB five hundred. <laughs> we me and Tell have our ups and downs. Uh, we know like you a, have downs. We're, we're like, uh, you know, we're like Angelina and Jolie, Brad Pitt style. Oh my God, is that fifty thousand points? That's fifty thousand points for JB. Boom, Mr. Pico. We have our ups and downs. What's up, Shell? Are you gonna say it seven times? I mean, like, what yeah, the fuck? He, he, no, no, he says it three I'm times saying, every time. No, I'm gonna say it seventeen times. Jesus, yeah, seventeen. The age you like. Okay, shut up. Uh, JB, fifty hey, though. JB, it's okay. That's true, yeah. I mean, seventeen's a good age, right? That's a legal age. No, well, in, no, in no, not well, really. that depends on. Jeez, no, it's uh, legal with. I think consent or whatever, but Jesus yeah. Christ, no seventeen. Yeah, you gotta get yeah. consent. Yeah, I'm all it doesn't like matter to bullfrog. It's like a glade lamp. Plug, plug it in, plug it in. Every year I get we older, like them younger. that last age moves up one. Moves well, up Danny, you have to understand, I met my wife when she was 12. That's true. That's totally different. I mean, that's... I can get that. <laughs> Whatever. Yeah, he was, he was only crazy. 19. Yeah, I was and only 17. That's why I had to stand up. Corey Matthews Short. over here. Oh, oh no. Okay. Well, he, he went like, to town. Kids, I don't know. I see it differently. It's not like you were like 29 and you were trying mm -hmm. to smack. 12 year old then you got problems you know you, you yeah, a 29 and a 12 year old yeah that's a that's a that's real problem fucking weird yeah like you were a kid still like fucking 17 well that, that was no i wasn't really 17 i was 14 he was like yeah he was 14 oh, okay. <laughs> this is shell is Come on. hey shell you know what though JB. props to danny because he was sticking up for he was me defending even if i had been 17 I he was defending the, the pedophile jb <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, you I just, love no, it. I mean, because I had a lot of then friends you know, that were younger girls like that when we were in school, so I didn't see any Don't tell me to like them. that. Well, it's like, uh, what's his name, Woodard from uh, Days to Confuse. Hey, man, I get older, chicks here stay the same. I <laughs> mean, mate. Yeah. Yeah. Now that guy's a professor at UT in Austin. So. Really? What? That's where he graduated from. Um, he's fucking all those girls now. You know, Bullfrog, I saw a clip of you screaming that you called seven goddamn times. <laughs> <laughs> oh, you called seven goddamn times. Nerdy, what? why are you fingering a bowl? Like, can we talk about what what is that? Fingering pull, a bowl? Let me pull yeah, this dude, up. What is he doing? He had his finger, and he was, like, fingering a bowl for the last like, I didn't want to bring this minute. up. Fingers a bowl. It's close enough. He's just used to fingering. I... Didn't know what is needed to get JB back for next week. So I had my girlfriend collect some of my cat's shit. And I was getting him ready in a bowl. <laughs> I was not eat. expecting that. Yeah, <laughs> me neither, dude. What? That He's was not <laughs> JB. <laughs> but I was waiting to throw that out last. But thanks for ruining it, Joe. Just wait, so just for the record, you thought I would show up next week if you sent me cat shit? <laughs> No, if I ate Eat it. it. <laughs> oh. <laughs> oh. I mean, what you're telling happening? me you wouldn't? Uh, I tell you what, if you eat some legit cat shit right now, I will be here next week. Give me 30 seconds. And then punch yourself no. in the dick. Is he really going to eat cat shit? I mean, like... <clears throat> I, I would yes. if, hold on. If if this is gonna happen, I'd prefer the cat to shit it out on camera. Uh, he's really trying to make up with you after saying that shit about you to me. That's what this it wasn't is. even that bad. I know, but he's but he's guilty. He's, he's scared. He's Maybe guilty. if I do some crazy uh, for you next oh, week, would you course. come back? What the there, go, fuck, there goes Bullfrog. Did you put barbecue sauce mm. on it? Oh my! It God. looks like it. I don't know, fucking JB, if I, so I, if I it still has some up. litter on it. I got off as much as I could. Hmm. I'm not JB, touching. If I, <gasps> JB, shut up, if Bullfrog. I'm not touching it with my fingers. Bullfrog, shut up. You have a fork face. and knife to eat cat shit? What is wrong with you? <laughs> yeah, it's proper. You know Use this. chopsticks. JB, if I did some longer crazy, what do you come back? Uh, 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 could you just mute for a minute? Bullfrog, shut up. Nobody cares. Okay, I'll say something crazy. Yeah. I'm not uncivilized. I'm going to use a fork. I'm not going to touch it with my hands. But I will we'll eat it if JB fork. promises. How, hold on. How do we know this is fucking cat shit? <laughs> I'll show the you the cat. cat. I'll show you where I got it from. Can, is there any chance you can get the cat to shit it out on camera so we can see it? Mm, yeah. Hey, let's see you go ahead and really dig it out of the litter box. Because I got to be honest with you, nerdy. I really not don't think it's cat shit. Yeah, we don't think it is. It's poison. Like it, 
Like, do well, I really? Do you really expect me to believe your, wanna, your, your girlfriend is, is just walking there, around the I'll apartment collecting cat shit? He said he'll do it. Why, Why don't, don't you go ahead? Eat, eat some fucking cat shit. Go, I want him to. Eat, I want him to eat his girlfriend's period. That's what I want to see. Ooh, yeah. He does that anyways, thanks to gravity. Little Red Wing action. Like I have a piece over here. It's still got the litter on it. I don't know. Well, how about you show I us? I brushed off his. Yeah, why don't you show us? Why don't you sh go dig another one out of the fucking litter box to really show that you got cat shit? <laughs> okay. That's oh. Like, oh, I hope he doesn't. Oh my god, I want to puke. <laughs> I want to oh, cat shit. Look at it. What is the glaze? Sorry, kid. It's That's... still got the the no. sand or whatever. Sand. The sand. That's a one. <laughs> that's a one. Sorry, that's, that's a one. shampoo. Don't no talk way, like that. Okay, can you fucking show us the shit, please? Yeah, show us the shit, Junior. I can't. <laughs> I can't show. Give me the shit. I want the shit. <laughs> That's a clip. Damn it! Give me your fucking shit. <laughs> it's in the shit. It just looks like pulled pork. Right. Or some look. Oh, man, that was like fucking meatloaf. That it looks, like meatloaf. It looks like fucking. It's meatloaf. That looks like Gargut's family. It's it does, meatloaf. It does kind of look like. What kind of cat do you, do you own? A panther? Like, that's huge. <laughs> yeah, I was gonna say. If that's what your cat is shitting out, my cat was huge. <laughs> And it was tiny shits. If that's what your cat is shitting, that's bigger than what I shit currently. It's like yeah, apple that is a big fucking cat. Right, look how big the fork is. Look how big the fork is. It's just really up close. That's why. No. <laughs> look at the plate. It's, it's, it's that is huge it's, shit. It's only this big. If no, I go upstairs in my big. litter box right now, it's going to be this big. <laughs> I'm, I'm clipping that part. All right. Take a bite. Just eat it. <laughs> All right. Take, take a All bite. Right. Is that, that, is that car? Wait, wait, wait. Hold hold on. Before you eat this joke, can we get some shit eating music? <laughs> Maybe a nice little like, little jazz yeah, hop in the background. Oh, fart jazz. Mush mush. Where I cut into it, the wow, juices are coming out of it. Look. What, what are you feeding your cat? Yeah. yeah Episode you can see 252 the Bailey, was the last one oh, you were oh. here. <laughs> it looks like it looks like. What's wrong, buddy? You act like you're about to eat a piece of cat shit. I have it. JB, are you coming next week? Just get, get going here, already. Come on. If you, I need a promise. Yes, I, I will. Verbal if, promise. If you eat this real cat shit, <laughs> I'll be here. I'll I'll sprinkle some more litter on it if you no, promise. There you go. The music's playing. Start eating. Enjoy your meal. You go, buy up. I want to look away. There's no way oh, that's real. No! No! I don't want to play. Bullfrog, shut up, please. Fight me. It's still got the juices there. What is this song? <laughs> oh, what my juices? God. Oh, my God. Oh. <laughs> Mr. Park Jazz. <laughs> oh, my God. I'm going to puke. <laughs> oh, my God. I'm going to puke. <laughs> Oh my god. Pick it up and put it in. Come on, swallow it. This is what the show's coming down to. What is this music? How bad has this show got when someone has to eat cat shit? <laughs> well, you haven't been here in 100 episodes. You can't blame us. We're trying to hold this place together. Okay, hold on. He just. Let's see it again. <laughs> oh my god. Oh. Oh. It looks pretty gross. So but... <laughs> it's not bad. It's it's like like bar. He's not ready to die. Well, how would you feel eating cat shit? He said, it's so bad. I would never eat that shit. No, you just Bullfrog drink your piss. Two about eating shit. <laughs> oh my god, what the fuck? Just spit the food out and make Joe some love. Kidding. What the fuck, dude? Well, if you really want to get Joe, I'll throw up on camera. That's how you get Dirty. Joe. Dirty spit. Oh my god. I, oh. Nerdy. Oh no, 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 you can break kayfabe now, Nerdy. Was that really right, cat shit? Right, I want to get sick while yeah, I'm on here. Yeah, litter sprinkled on top and everything. Okay, I have a little Look, crunch. crunch and all I want to do, all I wanted to do is bring JB back next week. Okay. Well, if that not that badly. You didn't shit, eat the shit. I'll do what I need to do. God, you made. I'm gonna make a T-shirt out of your face a few minutes ago. 
Remember right, when Jamie now, I believe I just saw a little glimpse of that. Oh. All right, Bullfrog, you go. said you were going to do some crazy shit. What are you going to do for me? Eat an, on uh, eat an onion. Oh, oh my God, JB, I, I, JB, do you remember when you ate an onion and shit on that? Oh, yeah, that was bad. Please tell me you I love you those COVID that. videos, though. That, that was the funny. last food challenge I ever did, by the way. The <laughs> onion fucked up my taste buds for like a month. I believe <laughs> yeah. it. You were just practicing for COVID. You were like, let me practice. Yeah. yeah. Anybody with COVID eating all that crap is hilarious. That's I'm how sorry, I kicked COVID I in last December. It was the onion immunity. I yeah. this and so. You're still eating that cat shit, huh, Nerdy? It's good. Oh, oh, weird, did, he go back, did he go back to it? He's he had weird. seconds. He's weird. He he likes the way it tastes. Whether that me. really is cat shit or not, it's weird that he's still doing this. Yeah, that he's going for seconds. <laughs> like, no matter yeah, what. like this is just an interesting move. Like, hey, I'll eat cat shit. Like, okay, I never even asked you to do that. Yeah. yeah. JB, would... I don't know if you heard me before, but it was episode JB. 252 that you, was your last appearance. Sith 252? Said. Yeah, that almost 100 episodes. Ago. Wow. Please be sons I, I just, of bitches. Just, just, years, just about. I just got a DM saying that it was April 2019 was my last appearance. <clears throat> Over two years. Yeah. Uh, I can't was, find what, that. What episode. was the last uh, JV show? Shut I was up. 600 f- pounds still then. That's how you know how long ago it was. Shut up, fatty. Not you, Jake. You're not fat well, anymore. Yeah. Uh, I can't even make fat jokes at you anymore. Now yeah, it's just. Oh, no, it's dead and gone. You can't fuck stretchy. Jake anymore. All right, Bullfrog. You said you were going to do some crazy I'll shit. Straight. What's it going to be? Uh, I don't know. I'm, I'm already with a half an eyebrow here, so... Any chance you'll eat some cat shit? <laughs> no. Yeah, I mean... I don't uh, think so. JB, JB, D, D, I mean, I already got my one of my Twitters banned. <laughs> one we, of your Twitters? We yeah. stand yeah. with you, N-words. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, don't make me get my Twitter banned. He saw it. No, JB said he no, saw it. No, we didn't make you do anything. You decided to go for the he Wheel of Punishment. Did you hear the you wording of that? He said, Joe made me get my Twitter. Yes. Oh, yeah. See? He's, he's, he's just like Tommy. He, he's just like Tommy. He's probably DMing people like, this guy made me get banned. And then people like get mad at me. Like, just like you're just like Tommy. Yeah. Asshole. You maybe I'll a pawn. Maybe I can hop in my pawn. What the fuck like, does that mean? That froggy pond. What does that mean? J, let me, JD, did you? I mean, oh my God, JB. Whoa, I'm easy sorry. there, buddy. All right, I'm killing myself now. But Leo, Slob. I'm going to go. Well, kill. Dildo well, ass. Nerdy's been saying the wrong name all, all night. Well, Nerdy, listen, Nerdy is retarded, but what is your excuse, cholesterol man? Um, JB, did you see, uh, did you happen to see me and Leah's video uh, at all <laughs> where, where uh, she watched me watching CM Punk? And uh, she hit me with a cookie sheet. I didn't hear that. There was a lot of feedback. Someone had some really bad feedback. Did you see the video where Leah hit me with a cookie sheet? Oh, she whacked you with it. Oh, okay. I didn't know if you saw it. Joe was excited that CM Punk was making his return. And yeah, the cat shit is too healthy for Bullfrog. I just thought JB probably would have laughed at it. So I was like, I bet if he saw that, he probably laughed at that maybe. She goes, I don't know. Watch it later. I think you'll laugh at it. Well, where is it? Like, what's it apart? Like, is it in one of your? Is it like your raw review or something? No, it's like I did a single video before the CM Punk debut the other day of a guy who was so hyped he was watching CM Punk videos before the show, and <laughs> so I'm screaming in the house like, "Oh, I can't wait to fucking jerk off!" And Leah comes in like, "Can you keep it down? The whole house can hear you." And then she comes in and I'm like, "Oh, I'm so hard!" And she's like, "Did you say you're hard for a guy?" And uh, the whole video is just something I think you think was funny. Which channel is on this one or corrupted? Yeah, JCS. So it's called Lo- the Lo- corrupted channel is dead. He doesn't even use it no more. I just upload. <laughs> yeah, really, it's true. I upload kind of past things on there. I don't do a lot on it. Too much on it. Rest in peace, corrupted channel. Well, rest in peace, corrupted. <laughs> I'm gonna find. Uh, oh, it used to be fun for the whole family. JB comment. You don't do corrupted oh. anymore. I haven't done it. No, but he let it. He let it on the back burner. I let it on the back. Well, I mean, <laughs> let it on the back burner. Well, how many times can people hear me talk yeah. anymore? <laughs> yeah, I, I'm working. I, I am working on getting people to be on it and to redo it. But yeah, right now it has, is on the. It's on hold right now. Who was your last like crew? Who was the last crew? Drew, me, Jesse, and me. Oh, there's a problem. <laughs> You've never been there. Cut that. <laughs> <laughs> so corrupted was you, Jesse, and Drew. Me. 
<laughs> never bowl for. Oh my god. Oh. oh. Was that a Wandy? That did not. That did not. That describes the comedic level. I want to of course. Eat. Fart. I think Wandy shit himself. I think he just shit himself. So why did Drew leave the I show? Wandy probably did. Wandy's always b- backed up. Um, he said, uh, you know, he's uh, he's busy. So he what? That he wanted to spend time with his family. <laughs> yeah, but he was busy. He was busy. Yeah, he gave some bullshit excuse, you know, like where he wanted to spend time with his family. Yeah. You know that, right, JB? Yeah, I've never heard of having to use that to walk away. Yeah. 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 That's a mixed of cheese. He got the, you know. I had to make up a family to walk away. Yeah. <laughs> At least That's actually pretty one. funny. That's actually pretty good. No, yeah, he just, um, he sailed away. It's okay, though. Oh, JB comment. <laughs> well, that's just one. no. Dirty misses the glory days. He really maybe, does. Uh, you know you're uh, JB. Uh, yes. Ever since, uh, uh, no, hang on. Wait, wait, wait. Ever since JB's left the community, his co-host has like you, been on a like a like. They, he's left their train and like I see Gallo and other people's chat rooms, and I see Nerdy sometimes in the other people's chat rooms. Like, what the like, fuck? JB, like, point of the your, story. You, like, you, like, no, I'm just saying, JB, you left your crew like on a like in a stranded island. <laughs> can you oh, can you talk? Trust me, like, I, I have a crew, buddy. All right. Yeah, your crew is like all over the place. They're all trolls. You didn't know this. <laughs> I have well, an I army know, of I trolls. Know, I know Gal is a, a troll. Gal is the Oreo. What the white man say? <laughs> what? What? Gallo the Oreo? <laughs> yeah, Gal the Oreo. Oh, okay. I see what you're oh Oreo. my god, I haven't heard that in forever. I used to say Gallo de Oro because it was so white. Gal the Oreo. <laughs> yeah, Gallo. yeah, Jason, your your crew's all over the damn community. You gave him that name, god damn it. I can't even get my crew know. to play a fucking. I don't know what his point is. game. I have no crew. I think what crew you got nerdy. Oh, by the way, uh, Joe Guzzy really wanted to shout out Guzzy. Why? What do you mean? Guzzy, no, that's a cat that keeps uh, messaging me. Just every now he loves you. Just he a wanted, random shout out. Yeah, sure I know. Yeah, he had forgotten him or anything. He, okay, you go ahead and fucking yeah, talk, Bullfrog. Jesus. Bullfrog. All right, Bullfrog, you're getting muted. You fucking goddamn idiot. <laughs> fucking shit that goes nowhere. Points that go nowhere. <laughs> it just <laughs> it goes. I mean, look at him. He's smiling. He's not even mad. Yeah, because he don't know. He just fucking talks. He's he's like he t- he talks like he eats. He just keeps going down the gullet. <laughs> just keeps shoveling <laughs> shit. Yeah. I mean, I mean Jesse. His thoughts get blocked yeah. like his arteries. Right. Mm-hmm. Listen. Anyways, I was saying Guzzy really wanted a shout out because he didn't want you to like you know. Hope you don't like forget him and shit. Oh no, he said he was here the other day. What the fuck did he do the other day? He was. Um, and he was talking to Leah about hanging out somewhere or something, and and he's gonna fuck. No, I'm just, uh, and uh, like, I mean, like we were. Yeah, ta- I was talking to Guzzy the other day. Like, what did Gu- Guzzy? What did you do? Did you? D- he tweeted me or something, and then we were. I don't know. We just did something like two days ago. Me, me and Guzzy, and I don't know what. I forget what it was now. What the fuck? I can't remember. I don't know. I don't know. But before I came on here today, he said he was like, "Hey, please, you know, get Joe to like give me a shout out because I like." Don't want him to like forget me, or you know, like I, I feel like he like completely forgot that I was ever a part of his community. I don't think Shout so. Out no. to it's probably fucking jerking off. I think Leah. this work. It's probably jerking off Leah right now. <laughs> what? Mm-hmm. Well, Leah's got a dick. You didn't know about that? No, I didn't know about that. I don't talk to her anymore. <laughs> yeah, we gotta fix that problem. What the hell? Yeah, you, you guys had more fights than maybe me and you do. Like every fucking. We had a lot of our fights because you. because of me. Yeah, actually, yeah. Think about it. <laughs> That's the truth. That's true. Yeah. He went from he hating you, Joe, to hating me. I don't. Your wife. I don't think the last. But one at least was he's 100%. back on the show. No, the last one was from the Among Us thing. Right, which I which I don't even understand. Like I I actually yelled at her for that because I said, "Why did you?" tell anybody about that like it was just some stupid thing that happened like it was who gives a shit you're gonna make them upset and then she told me that it wasn't my fault at all it was had to do with you and her and i'm like oh okay so i better not have done anything this time what the fuck did i do this time i did some I, the other times are my fault but not this time i'm not fucking taking the rap for this one and she goes yeah it's not your fault it's just me and him it's not you and then you said that earlier on twitter and i was like wait a minute now you're saying it's me what the fuck's going on i yelled at her 
I don't know. I guess we have uh, mixed opinions on that. Either way, it's all gay. Because everybody's yeah, just so good. stupid. It really it is. It doesn't make We're any our, sense. We all get along. We're in 30s having these little pessimistic battles and shit. It's so annoying. I, that's what drives me nuts is how much, I like, just, she likes... I just don't have time for it, man. Yeah, but how much she likes, like, you and how much I like you and how much you like everybody... It's, like, it's so weird, like, because we all really, like, it's stupid how much we get along and when we get along. So right. it's she loves you know she loves those guys and she loves you playing with you and sexually, uh, no but I mean like all that stuff so I felt really bad man like I I was like I hope I didn't do anything again to make you guys get into so uh, and real quick before I forget so the, the real reason I didn't know if I was allowed to say anything about Guz but Guz is actually having a really <laughs> what is he? Has he got COVID again? I mean, like, what's going on? Yeah, he, his diabetes has taken a turn for the worse. Really? Oh, oh no. Yeah. Oh, so shit. Send him some sugar. So he's, you know, just asking for, you know, a little shout This has got to be like a that. joke. This is, up. I don't believe this. This has got to be a work or something, right? It's People not a work. Are you working work. us right now? Uh, dude, not this guy serious. got diabetes. He used to drink two gallons of Mott's Ott's apple juice a day. Bro, he, he, well, bro. he survived COVID with Look. diabetes. JB did, would yeah. never kid about this. JB would never kid about but this kind of thing. I would joke all day about does. his COVID, but not his diabetes. Mm. Right, I, right. That's what I'm saying. Guz, he loves you, Joe. So I think this. No, I love I think Guz. It's true. I love Guz. So Guz, does he have type 1 diabetes or what? Or type type two. two diabetes. Okay, so it's like type t type one is like God fucked you. Type two is like you're a pig. So yeah, type, right. type one is apple like I'm, I'm just you. some bad luck, and then type two is I like apple juice so much I'm gonna drink it. You know. <laughs> there he is. He's in the chat. Diabetes. Guz, what's up? Um, what's up, Guz? Uh, we were well. Me and Leah were thinking about going out there and raping him. Uh, one night because he's out there in uh, Boston, right next to. Mr. Rear over there in the East Boston area. So, oh, Mr. No. Mr. Wow. Rear, nice area. Revere. Yeah. So, uh, so I have a question. Yeah. Speaking Rear of Mr. Area. Rear, is he not a, is he not on the show anymore? Well, he threatened oh. to, he threatened to hurt me the other day in an email. He threatened to hurt you in an email? Yeah, on Skype. What is he? Fucking fifty years old? I don't know, man. He's. I'm no. gonna send him a dirty, rotten fruit. email. Better than a telegram. Oh yeah, I know. I don't know. No, yeah, he you know he um. Yeah, he, he sort of, like, dipped out and then talked shit about me for five months, then came back like he didn't do it. Then he dipped out again, and, and I don't know. He, now he's whatever. He he left, man. He went to go do his own... Uh, well, no, no, no. So I knew that you guys had, like, some issues and shit, but I knew he, like, came back. Yeah, then he you just then he just kind of was like, you know what? I actually like bashing people. I don't want to really be here. Tony seems like the type of guy that if he, like, ate some bad Campbell soup, he would email the company to get free coupons. Like, he just seems... <laughs> <laughs> he just seems that pessimistic. You know what I mean? Yeah, so maybe. true, though. So With this too many windshields. That might be true. I have no comment. I don't want to be killed by him. I've already been threatened on Skype and email. I don't need to be. I told him I'm cool, is man. If he is, good luck. Good luck in life. Hey, Joe, I heard that Guzzy's going to your house for dinner. Yeah, he's. what's he going to eat? Leah's pussy? Oh, no. <laughs> oh, my God. Next. We, she she did she was uh, last week she did say to me like you know Guz Guz I was thinking we could go out to eat and we could go hang out with Guz and I'm like great yeah you know, you're playing video games now you're gonna take you for real this is how it starts <laughs> it do, you know what that does sound sus it does just start with dinner then it ends with penis you know right. yeah exactly well no what it is is that she invites you and then makes you feel weird and you're like no let's not go now she has to do it undercover and secretly. Yeah. Becomes an affair. You and should take a camera and go out to dinner, and it should be Joe, Leah, Guz, and Tony from the rear. <laughs> <laughs> oh, God. And video Did that? You, it's some, like, really expensive steakhouse? I'd invite No, him. just go to, like, a fucking Applebee's. Yeah. Some oh, light no, trash. you're going to have him go to I would invite like him. McDonald's, really, bro. Yeah, elite. TGI you know? Fridays. I'd invite or Tony. Served a la carte. I'll invite Can't Tony. dinner at White Castle. I, 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 <laughs> I envision being shot at the dinner. By Tony, though. If he was, like, What's he gonna do? Wacky with his cane, like the old farty is. No, I mean, right. He's wily, bro. He's got that wily Revere thing. He's gonna chase him down in his fucking little scooter. Yeah, all them royalties from his big band he was in. Yeah, I forgot how tough he is. He used to sing in a rock band. Yeah. So, <laughs> you know, you're gonna have to go to that place where they do. The they weren't rock. They were pussy. Uh, 
Yeah. He's sung in a rock band. Nobody knows. <laughs> Jesse goes, who's going to pay the tip? <laughs> Obviously. Yeah. yeah not, well, not I'll go live on the that. phone and we'll, I'll pay the tip because I'll go live on the I phone. I think Gus should pay the tip considering how much we pay to take care of his diabetes. Yeah, that's a good point. You know, we pay for that insulin. You it's know been a saying? while since he's donated to a <laughs> Twitch stream. It's not insulin, it's heroin. <laughs> it is to him. Such a random thing. Compliment is a tip. <laughs> Jesus. You know, okay, Tommy. I will say the worst thing, it's one of the worst things I've ever done as far as tipping goes, but the service was so bad one night at a Buffalo Wild Wings <clears throat> that for the tip, I left a Wendy's coupon for a dollar off a purchase over $10. <laughs> That's badass. Oh, it's because over there, they don't give a fuck. Wow. Dude, I when I say the service was bad, I mean, it was so bad. It was like I wanted to like punch people. Like it yeah. was Dude, very you got two bad. in the area I know what you mean. JB. Two of them, and they both fucking suck. And I've tried. Your service kind of was so food. bad. Can you explain to me? My service was so bad, I left a Wendy's coupon, and it was such a shit coupon, you had to spend $10 to get a dollar off. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> they probably got your blazing you rewards points after spend. that. <laughs> Jesus. Does they ended fuck up it. fucking typing in a $20 tip. You better check your credit card. Yeah. Yeah, no kidding. I'd pay for Guzzy. I'd pay for Guzzy because this he, this was years ago. I probably paid cash back then. I, I used to always do cash. Guzz has donated over the years a lot, so like I would just pay for Guzzy. That's probably what would really happened because you know I just paid for me a long time, so I pay for him now. You know, if I look up, Guzzy, dude, Guzz is a weird dude, man. He's a, he's a fucking really weird guy. Oh, really? So man, I shouldn't go out and, and hang out. No, it's he. No, he just does weird shit. Oh, okay. Like what? Like, 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 he, like, like he, won't eat, he won't eat pizza unless he has French fries. That's yeah. That's uh, he's a serial hey, killer. Yeah. Hey, that's a that's a good combination. Like pizza this may not fries. seem weird to some people, but like he eats chicken wings and instead of dipping it in ranch or blue cheese, which by the way, blue cheese is fucking disgusting. Mm -hmm. But Agreed. instead of doing one of those, he dips his wings. He dips his buffalo wings in more buffalo sauce. Yeah. See, that's like, fun. it's a little weird. See, that's Wait. what I, I start wondering what he does to animals when no one's looking. At that point, isn't that extra sodium for him? Yeah, if you dip Probably it dips. in more buffalo sauce, like wouldn't you just then ask to go to like the next heat level? Like, why would you use more of the same shit? See, I don't, I don't know. Is the fucking loser lactose intolerant too? Like, why, like, like, why would you not use like ranch, man? On right. a wing well, I like, is the I, way to go. Guys, maybe it's a diabetes thing. Maybe I it's like a diabetes thing. Let's I don't even think, but him. dude, I don't even think ranch has sugar in it though. Yeah, like no, I, I don't see ranch being something ranch. that's gonna fuck with someone that's got diabetes. What's like, that other shit? Chipotle not, no, ranch. A, that shit is good too. Thoughts yeah, cool, cool cool story, Gargus. Fucking loser. I'm just saying. <laughs> oh, dude. Bullfuck, you, so you don't like you like ranch, but you don't like Southwest ranch. I'm goddamn sorry. <laughs> yeah, Bullfuck, you should how do you be. not have diabetes? Oh, Google, huh? Google that Google guys pulling out some Mexican. <laughs> Google no, we ain't talking about no Southwest fucking ranch. Google guys. I like, uh, I like ranch. It's a fucking hot ranch. sauce in my ranch. I like ranch. In the nerdy I, fuck not have I like ranch nerdy and bull and blue off. cheese. Yeah, both of them. Nerdy Jack and Wolf. I gotta go see if Jeff Lee is coming on. I'll be right back. I gotta figure out what you just said to me. Yeah, our, uh, I'll uh. take my shirt off for her, Joe. Oh god. Oh, oh, for dude, Leah? No more. Yeah, maybe then she won't. I'll make her not come on. <laughs> Bullfrog, how do you I'll how do you not have you, Leah. I'll strip. <laughs> uh, Bullfrog? Uh, what? How do you not have diabetes? Uh good question. I ask myself that every day. Why are you not in jail? Uh that's a good question too. Oh. Name your price for the donation if you will get down on your knees for us right now and just deep sniff the fuck out of your chair. No, no, no. Just break that lat behind you already, dude. It's fucking done. No, dude. Do you tip Bullfrog? Can you imagine what that plug uh, is? Yeah. Hey, Bullfrog, right can you now. do me a favor? Can you, like, lay on your back and fling your legs up and just fucking lay your <laughs> asshole flat? Yeah, yeah. You, you didn't watch my dance uh, that, that one day? So what's that position called where they fucking, like, yeah, hey, get on their hey, shoulders? Yeah, Bullfrog, go... Yeah. Bullfrog, go ahead and demonstrate childbirth for us. Show us what that. Oh, here we go. Show us your downward dog, Bullfrog. I don't probably get up. 
Mm. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> well, Frog, do the splits for us. Why don't you do the split? No, I want Ooh. you to do the splits. Gargas, he you called know, you me. out, dude. You better do this. I'm not. My John Claude Van Damme, I'm good. Yeah, I'm, hey, I'm JB needs to do the downward, downward D. Yo, don't be doing splits on the show here, and just give him a couple months. Nerdy, if I had the car crash sound effect right now, oh my god. <laughs> what are you it drinking? Was, you lost water? Your... The, the downward deer? Are you shitting on that joke? Yeah, that was a horrible joke. It fucking stunk. <laughs> Are you drinking Maybe water, because... by the way? Don't try to don't try to recover joke. It's not gonna land. Just stop. I just ate cat shit. Of course I'm drinking water. I got sand all down my throat. <laughs> you didn't eat cat shit. Are you really gonna die on that hill? <laughs> I need you to be here next week. Otherwise, I don't know if I can make it, JB. Any chance all for nothing. Why don't you do something to make JB come for like a whole month? Something to make Shut me up, come for a month? Yeah, tantric <laughs> sex he's talking about. Hey, nerdy, if I show up next week, would would you be willing to eat a piece of cat shit out of Bullfrog's asshole in order for me to be on here? Yeah, how do we up the ante from cat shit, JB? Like, that's... Well, you can always eat Bullfrog shit. <laughs> <laughs> we're going to ship that to we're nerdy. Quite the upgrade. That, or you can open-mouth kiss Gargots. <laughs> Ooh. <laughs> You know, it's I always thought Gargus ran from the, the 90s was attractive. I'll that that tongue, baby. Did you see Gargus's face? Come on, Gargi, me and you, Gargi, old Ew. school style. No, you know that that's no. that's Bullfrog's favorite, the Chewbacca, where you you know he's getting deep throated and he comes and makes her sound Hello? like she's gurgling. And he's never had it, but he talks about it all the time. Gargus, he'd have to be the he's, Ewok because he's only like like three feet tall. Thank you. There we go. Yep, yeah. <laughs> Jesus, Bullfrog. Oh, check it out. 500 yep. million. That's okay. You get it under the table. You don't have to tell any about, anybody about that you did it. 500 mil, would you what let you Bullfrog go off the face and just blast a fucking nut in the back of your throat? You don't have to yeah. tell a fool. Yeah, but I need, a, I need to give you a, a, I need to give me a hooker. <laughs> It's getting hot and heavy. Maybe you order me a hooker. I guess everybody's silence. I just, I just got a very <laughs> unkind message from Gus. <laughs> no. I can't, what uh, uh, I can't read what it. You <laughs> can yeah, say in good conscience. Yeah. Just make it a people, would, people would be all upsetty spaghetti Guzzy. if I said it. I'm sure you he's You need to uh, be more sweet pleased. to people. You get a riddle. Hey nerdy, do you miss doing do you miss doing shows with uh, Gallo? Well, bring your <laughs> um, uh, bring your no. tail back and oh, you know, would you shut up, up, please? Bring your. I, I do miss doing shows with you though. I will say that and uh, dummy, I miss the dummy. Nobody uh, misses dummy. And, I, it, it's well, a weird. Don't... It's like a a Stockholm. You know, you miss your rapist. He rapes your ears. So I kind of miss that. I missed the Monday uh, Night Retro. Monday Night that Retro? Monday, yeah, that Raw thing you did. I haven't done that in five fucking years. I know, Bull but that was, a good, that was a good show. Was you even was, was he even around back he, then? He wasn't around he, then. You offered me a spot on him one day because I was late. He always <laughs> says that he was around back then, but... He's no, talking. Like he's I've been around for ages. I remember, I remember he's JB talking about when I rebooted Raw as Retro. I, remember, I think so. I remember JB getting mad at me because I, I think I was asleep or something, and he got pissed. I, I don't want to make this. I don't want to make this much about Bullfrog, but I want you guys to just think about his day. Do you guys realize how little he does just in like? his daily life all he literally does is fucking eat sleep and watch wrestling that's all he does in that same fucking position on the couch it's like and he's proud might as well put me in prison i mean like missionary all like, day just every think day about it. He, he goes to bed every night or every morning with no like repercussions like oh i what if i want to sleep in every day Nothing happens. Or if anything accomplished that he can say at the end of the day, like, hey, I fucking got this done. Like, Yeah, he has yeah, no accountability. Happening. And he doesn't clean because I light. guarantee you that fucking, that, that light behind him is dusty as fuck. He's I want to have light. you clean it. I want to have you clean it for me. He probably me. has some fucking border jumper clean his place. 
<laughs> no, I have maintenance no. that do it. <laughs> like maintenance? Maintenance. Maintenance. Yeah, maintenance. Yeah, maintenance. Yeah, maintenance. Yeah, maintenance. I would never clean this place. I'd be like, fuck <laughs> this. I walk out. Yeah, dude. Or jumpers would never step foot in that thing. Are you? Kidding? Yeah, you're probably yeah. right. They'd sleep in the desert. God. They just come by and oh, take my place. We'd use it for a crack house. I mean, what? I don't know. For, I guess it's just a weird fascination that it's just like this guy. He has nothing. Yeah, no, it's a legit. It's a legit thing to bring up to ponder for a second. And you know, it, like he has like this like level of like, I don't have fucking anything I have to worry about. But yet he gives not one fuck about his health. Yeah, so nothing. carefree. Yeah, that's. I guess that's my point. Is like he has that life where he can carefree. just sit at home, and he doesn't even try to be healthy. We asked he him what his favorite drink. fruit or vegetable is. He says, "I don't eat vegetables." He doesn't mm-hmm. even drink water. JV, I'll yeah. make this simple for you. Wait, you don't okay. drink water. <laughs> There's a gym like 20 minutes away from me, and that costs money to drive to the gym every day. Or I could ask my brother to go to the gym with him, and he would probably want gas money off for me. So, well, fuck outside Dude, is you, you don't need a gym. Home. Is health and outside. nutrition not worth paying for, Bullfrog? And I have oh, water here. Good. I want it. Do you but drink water? You don't drink it. I drink it when I get dehydrated. <laughs> What the Which is f- often because you're drinking three cases of soda a day. Like, what do you do to get dehydrated? Drink soda. Like, I get, like I take get a like shower. Out. Like, yeah, I, I showered this morning. I didn't ask if you showered. I'm saying, like, do you get dehydrated from taking a shower? I would imagine that's your exercise. No, I get dehydrated if it's like too hot outside. But you're in. Uh, see, this is the, the the infuriating part. Like, you I, just... I try to go out. I try to get exercise when I can. Hey Bullfrog, oh. do me a favor. Hold on, right. let me. I got this. Can you give us a tour of the kitchen one more time? Ooh. Get off your fat ass and go show us. Oh man, there's a walkthrough. Right. Hold on, get your walker out. All right. Is that his ass Dan- crack? Hey Danny, on. you ready for this, Danny? We're gonna see how good his nutrition is. Right. I'm ready to. I'm, there I'm he goes. Here the Let's Update. Let's see if Start it's with changed. the fridge. Start with the fridge. Open the fridge. Whoa, I just bought some material, so whoa, 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 whoa. Go back. Go back. Go lower counter. Go down. It's got uh, Lucky Charms and fucking peanut butter crunch. Okay. Uh, Hold on. Right. Go down, Bullfrog. Honey go down. Cheerios. Okay. Honey nut Cheerios. You have wow, 40 boxes that is of, a cereal. Lot of cereal. Frosted Dude, flakes, fruit. You frosted. don't even drink milk. What are you pouring that shit? Okay, stop. Stop. There was a chocolate. Oh, no. Stop What's there, there, I see. I see. Bullfrog, on, go back. Bullfrog. Yeah, go back go to the back, counter. Go back. Go back. Counter. Ba- back to the counter. Oh, oh, my God. Go, go back to the counter. Soda is almost empty. Oh, we've got Reese's. Yeah, okay. he's got all the candy. Of course, of course he's, he's got, got the like soda. A yard of Reese's are tasty. We'll tell him to go back. He can't hear us. So three yards. I can't hate him on Reese's. Reese's are delicious. Oh my God. That's I hope a nobody falls. Monster. Monster. That's a twenty-four pack. I hope you fall. When you drink that shit, do you have a fucking pain in your left arm or your right arm? Wait, what is uh, that? Oh, what is that weird? Is that lemonade in there? Yeah, yes, that's, that's is, his own that urine. That is. What the fuck but is that? Notice, borax? Where is your water, bro? The Clorox. Put the camera back on the lemonade and all that. All right, Bullfrog, right. stop. What's there? What's what's all the junk food there? I see Doritos. Doritos. Oh my god! What he's just such an idiot. Yes. DiGiorno, 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 stuffed, stuffed, yeah, stuffed. Yeah, fuck right there in DiGiorno. You don't Look have one piece of real meat in there. He steak, likes pizzas steak, like he likes hamburger, stuffed. stuffed. We got Red Baron. We got fucking DiGiorno. DiGiorno again. I don't know. Where got I got to be honest. I'll give him 10 points for consistency. We did this tour like a year ago, and it was yep. the exact fucking same. Yep. Mm-hmm. He's got it down to yeah. auto order at this point, I think. That's so that is not good there, so, Bullfrog. Bullfrog, can you hear me? Yeah. Stay. I can hear you. Go back to the counter right there where the Doritos bag is. Where's your gun? Yeah, that's my snack. <laughs> okay, let's take a look at those snacks that you got there. So we got, oh my God, he's got like four four different Eight. mixed Aww. chip bags. Doritos. I don't even know what the fuck that one is. Oh, gold. Hell yeah. Like Doritos, please. It's like those old planet packs gold, or whatever. Pretzels. Mini dicks. I got, whatever. Two, I, got, <laughs> I got two boxes. But no, for real, if you notice in the refrigerator, which Here's is my, very uh, disturbing and uh, uncomfortable for me, is the fact that he's got a full gallon of milk 
mm. and a full fucking gallon of that lemonade stuff, untouched. But the two fucking twelve yeah, packs are perfect. almost yeah. gone. And the yep. monster. Mm-hmm. Like, right. that's your bread. I, I, I would almost, I would that's almost give Bullfrog points for as the as drinks as in the sweet. fridge because, like, he he may not be right. drinking the lemonade or the milk, milk. right? Uh, brownie bites. But those are ridiculously more healthy than the fucking soda he's drinking. Correct, yeah. yeah. and that's basically how I'm saying that. Like, it's way it's more. Bullfrog, how old mm-hmm. is that fucking bread right there? Is it expired? Mm-hmm. I just got it. It's brand new. What do you use it for? Like, like bologna sandwiches? Uh, yeah. Like I didn't see sandwiches. anything in there that was meat. Yeah. What do you put on the bread? Is everyone Doritos? here noticing, by the way? Fucking Reese's Pieces? Water. What the hell? Water. Look at that. All Makes... frozen meat, vegetables. Oh, shit. He makes peanut butter jelly sandwiches with Reese's Pieces. Well, I mean, at least you got a good fucking stock of meat. You got a Wandy stock yeah. to the hills, oh, look, too. Look no, at that. got a fucking watermelon. Oh, yeah. Okay. Watermelon and eggs. That's I good. see. I think I see eggs, too. Watermelon Damn, and look at that shit. Eggs. Wow. Okay. And Awani's in the fucking desert. Jesus Christ. You got you got more food than I have, and I have five people in my house. Joe's fridge looks pretty good. Whose fridge is that? It's Awandi's. Yeah. Oh, I thought the, oh, I thought this was Awandi. I thought this was Bullfrog. I thought that was Bullfrogs. I'm like, oh, he's eating good. Like, I, oh my no, God. Oh, I see frogs. I see no mushrooms. I'm like, wait. Damn. Yeah, Bullfrogs. Yeah. I, that stuff in his that's, that's I see a, I see a heart. You put your potatoes in the fridge? Put yeah. everything inside my asshole. <laughs> <laughs> Bullfrog, what do you put I on put the bread? I put everything inside asshole. Mm. <laughs> Jeremiah. Yeah. What do you put on the bread? Uh, PB and J. Go ahead and say it. Because there's no meat. Uh, lunch meat. Do, do you have any lunch meat, though? What are you going to do with the bread? I have to buy some. I just used up my last one. Oh, Damn liar. No. Oh, what is he eating? What is that? What the fuck, frog? Hey, Wandy does live in fucking with fucking princesses. Are you eating cold pizza, shit. man? Oh, Wandy's no, Wandy's straight closet. No, Wandy's straight closet. Rich, he's, he's closet rich. Yeah, he's, he's what do you mean it's not cold? It, it's warm. He is Aladdin. It's Dude, not warm. Have you ever seen his fucking balcony him. when he walks outside? He's probably sitting on it. Balcony? See, I would call that cold pizza, pizza too. But Wandy's to him, it's not cold. <laughs> Wandy, uh, Wandy, is that your like living room? Yeah, that's yeah, like bro, the house that you don't want to walk into. Joe, I'm not gonna lie, you do not want to watch a house tour of a Wandy. You want to kill yourself. I know, I've seen it before. Oh, it's dude. like it's like a weird, rich, like person from Greece in America. Is how? Yeah, it's a palace, but from 35 years ago. Exactly. Just yeah. Yeah. Last time he showed it to me yeah, in no. the, in like the opening room, there was a bowl with like fruit that literally looked like it had just been picked. Yeah, like yeah. I, I picture you <laughs> like by, by his slaves. Where's the skin? Yeah. From his servants. I feel like he would spill the white man's blood in the. In that house. Out, baby. Here's my water. Bullfrog, shut the fuck Here's up. My We're water. Done with you. I've got pallets of that shit, bro. I got like, fucking eat right. those. Well, I will give him credits. Ice Mountain. That's good stuff. That's Midwest water. Yeah, I think he they wouldn't got, know. I think He's the. Never oh my God, Awandi! Let me see that. To- <laughs> Wait a minute. Let me see that square yeah. toilet you have. Square toilet. What is that? That is square. How do you it's shit on that? Look it's at that fucking eighteen hundreds bathtub. Look at the bathtub, bro. That's a bathtub. And I can't I'd... really feel like a man if I were to uh, bathe in that bathtub. Too mm. rosy. Awandi, yeah. it looks like the tub Superman fucked Lois in. Then is like, I need a fucking guard outside my bathtub. <laughs> yeah, I need some fucking. It's gonna make me feel a little more masculine, like uh. Hey, Wandy, I don't want to slap her. Yeah, I, I, I feel like I feel like mo- the the mother like Mary Magdalene got raped in this house. Like I'm, I don't know why. <laughs> like, <laughs> I just. Jesus <laughs> It's very strange, man. Like, I feel like Mary Magdalene got raped. <laughs> this is, these weird religious overtones in there, or something. It's, Imagine all the dust that could flex on that bullshit. Fuck that. Hey, man, you got we're watching like all day. Fucking make sure this shit is prim and proper. No, I bet you that house you can eat up the fucking floor. 
Yeah. Well, you know, we got to get the clock up, and, you know, we can't be up forever. Look at JB's. Look, at, Are you working out, JB? You look like you got a little rip there. You look like you're building up here. I'm not ripped, yeah, but I, like I've been trying it. to take care of myself, if I must say. Hey, he great. has been like wearing Muppet smaller shirts. shirts. Now he's hey. looking like iffy. Yeah, you're looking a little oh. solid, JB, because you've gone through Which everything. Muppet? You've looked, you've looked pip squeakish. Then you've looked chunky. Then you've looked ripped. <clears throat> then I would say somewhere in the middle, and now it's, you're kind of looking solid. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I put some like the uh, picture yeah. that you had up of him earlier on fucking YouTube. That's put, back when he was like Beaker. About four <laughs> months ago, I added like ten pounds to oh. to kind of bulk. I went through a bulk cycle. So yeah, I mean, because so yeah, you're right. There was I would look very pip squeakish, and then when you when you when you look pip squeakish, and then you work out, you just look like a skinny. Like in shape, pip squeak. <laughs> you know, so yeah. you have right. to like do a bulk bulk cycle. Hold on. Add a little on. Hold on. What about like Bruce Lee? Did you like? Do you think the same thing with him? Bruce Lee's a cocksucker. Yeah. Didn't Jesus you, Christ. Didn't you see Whoa. him in that movie? Did you not? Did you watch the Quentin Tarantino movie with him in it? Where you? Because I died. Do you believe Quentin Tarantino? No. Yeah. I okay. Know. I don't. I don't hundred percent either. But I thought that scene in that movie was fucking hilarious. I almost lost it. I mean, I like. I like a few of Tarantino's things. Like, obviously, Pulp Fiction is up there and Reservoir Dogs, but oh, yeah. uh, I don't go that crazy about Tarantino. Hmm. I really like him. I don't know what it is. I like, I just, it cracks me up, man. He's like, got the N word pass. Like, I, I don't like uh -huh. Tarantino interviews and shit. Like, I don't like that he, he yeah. annoys me. He's, he's too, like, he, you know what I mean? <laughs> like, he's way yeah. too fucking energetic. He's always like, on just, Coke, is what it's like. He hung out with Harvey Weinstein. What do you expect? Yeah. Yeah, he's like, he, he, really he, his worst regret, did you hear? He was like, oh, I wish I could go back, you know, just so I could say to him, you know, I could have said to him, you know, this is really going to hurt you in the future. <laughs> That's he's what you're so going to go full back. of shit. Him and Weinstein were sucking on toes for two decades. Probably, yeah. I don't believe mm. it either. Dude, but, Tarantino is such a disgusting fucking pig. Every one of his mm. movies, he has women with their feet all... Every movie you watch, every movie yeah. he's made, there's always at least one scene where a, a, it's a close-up of women's feet. Don't you remember? And then in Death Proof, he really went for it. Every second, they were legs out the window, feet out the window, rubbing their feet all over that movie. But I'll tell you what, man, that Kurt Russell scene at the end murders me. Like I died laughing in the theater. I was dying. Dude, I loved it. Kurt Russell killed me in... Uh... What was it? The Hateful Eight? Man, yep. that was so goddamn good. I love Kurt Russell, man. I would. I fell in love with Kurt Russell years ago when I saw Escape from New York, and I was like, okay, this guy's right up Fuck there. Yeah. yeah, Captain Ron, Escape Thank from New York. Fuck yeah. What about Escape uh, from New York? There, there, was a, there was a movie in the late 90s called Soldier. It, didn't, it wasn't yeah. real big, but it was called Soldier, and it was fucking awesome. He, oh, she was good in Stargate, too. Yeah. He let his kid yeah. die. I really like... <laughs> Dude, his Footloose, oh, the best movie ever. Footloose? He doesn't have problem. Yeah, it's a good one. It's a good one. I like it. I like it. Not as much. Oh, shit, it's Biden. Biden's here. He might be creeping. His ass might be leaking. He's wearing the pants. Forgetting his pen. Forgetting his Fuck you, Biden. <laughs> Look at that face right there. Imagine him going down on your wife. Oh. Goat is returned. Please come back full time with your show. Oh, you don't have to be live just an hour under Patreon, and I'll be right on it. Haven't donated in a while, but whatever points to JB. Uh, Shy God, thank you so much. I have offered a big JB contract to my Patreon account where he creates a show. Uh, we lost uh, JB. <clears throat> JB on Joe's uh, Patreon. I've offered him a contract. Uh, Shy God, thank you. Uh, yeah, I don't know what happened. I heard him. He sounded like he was talking to somebody. And he bailed. Uh, so he might have bailed because he had to go, or he might have bailed because... Oh, man. 
I'm not sure. Well, we're wrapping up here anyway. You know, Shy God, thanks for the $10 spinning for JB right now. Uh, let's see here. <laughs> see JB, come back, you fuck. <clears throat> All right, get over it. You know, he's not, he's not going to blow you. Yeah, get over it. He's not going to blow you. Yeah, Th he will. 3,000 points to JB. Uh, Holy shit. So that's going to be, that's going to put JB at 6,000, 63,000. So not bad. JB's up. He's hanging in there, but I don't know, man. Nerdy and Jake are tied. So someone's going to resolve that man. shit. I mean, how about it's people thought that we weren't going to deliver tonight, man? JB, came I, I'm actually quite happy because <clears throat> I said I wanted the wheel as a joke, but I, 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 we've never had co wheel winners before. So Nerdy and I would share the title for the week. I think that would be uh, yeah. interesting if, if that is, if the points aren't broken before then. It might happen. We might have co co uh, co kings. That has happened. I thought maybe not. I don't. I, know. I don't remember there ever being COVID. <laughs> COVID. Look, I just COVID. want to say something here. Leah is in the chat saying, "Who the fuck voted for Nerdy?" Okay, Leah. I know you haven't been here in six months, but there are a few people that like me. Okay. <laughs> now, if you want to come on the show yeah. and talk shit, we'll see. Yeah, and I'll get naked Damn. for you, Leah. I'll take off my shirt. Yeah. I don't see Leah in the chat. Are you serious? She's Leah, there. I see it coming through right baby. there with her wrench, so we know it's her. I see what? You, Leah. Oh, I do see her. Trying now. To okay. I'll take off my shirt for you, Leah. It's like Cena. Joe can't see her. You know. Well, Leah, Leah showed up right as JB left. Conspiracy. <laughs> At least he's not calling Leah a dragon like you know GTS it's over there. Just you, Leah. Me and you, baby doll. Ugh. Oh. Oh. There he goes. Adultery. Uh oh. I did enjoy that though. Um, shout out, man! You did. I'm tired. What up, Johnny Impact? You're um, tired. Yeah, we're all tired. I've been up for two days. I got. I got to be at the hospital two hours. Yeah, they're gonna stick. They're, sti <laughs> they're sticking a tube. Days, they're putting a tube up uh, Jake's ass Shit, tomorrow. Shit bomb! Well, that's no, not an awesome. No, that, that's for fun. That'd be funny. Uh, what's up to who is this? Uh, furry <laughs> balls balls. plop menacingly on the table. Thanks for the dollar, man. What's up? No, the tube is a high colonic. I like to keep myself cleaned out. But, uh, yeah, no, I just got to go for more fluids and all that fun shit. Mm. Oh, how's your uh, your vein doing? Oh, They're, my God. I'm going to cut a bunch of them out. Leah goes, the big vein's you, good now. Leah goes, you went from toddler to old man since I've been gone. I know. <laughs> I read oh that, dude. God. Credit to you. That was funny. ADTR. I guess it's not the kind of world because today's one year since Welcome Chad back, Bozeman King died. JB points to JB oh. and F Bullfrog Corpse. F Bullfrog's Corpse, ADTR. What's up, ADTR? Long time OG. What's up, ADTR? Mwah. Spin for Bullfrog. Oh, wait a minute. No, he's spin for JB. Points to JB. Here we go. Points to JB. I think I think JB did have to run because I heard him getting talked to. Someone was yelling to him and he was like, what? Oh, and then he bailed. So something was going yeah, on. Yeah, he was looking to the side talking. Yeah, not sure what happened, but I'm sure he had to go. And around here, you don't got to say bye-bye. You can just take off. 500, uh, amazing. Great stuff from JB tonight. 500 awesome points. Awesome to have him back. He's not. Even if it's just I, for the I, night. Yeah, I'm not sure he's back. I was he's, very thrilled. I think he's back for, like, tonight. I really don't. Although he's yeah, well, hey, even just for tonight, I was happy to have mm -hmm. him here. I haven't seen him in so long. I was very excited. Well, he's not going to fuck yeah. you. Not going to fuck you. Sorry. I don't need to fuck me again. I've got the memories. Jake Forever. Yeah, hey, I ain't cat shit for that guy. Yeah. Okay. Oh, Jake Forever. Thank you. Jake Forever gets points. Good to see Jake Forever so getting points. Co-champ bankrupt now. Yep, here it is. 1,000 points. Boom. There oh. goes the co-champ. Fucking Jake Forever, you cocksucker. Take that, nerdy. Not for much longer. Boom. Look, I don't <laughs> ask for much, chat. I love you. I will do whatever it takes. All he catches for you, shit. Like JB. Yeah, didn't I you? I will do oh, it. With gravy Just on please. it. Please. Just a, spe a spin is okay. If not, I'll come points and find nerdy. you. Uh, but if you do, thank you. Uh -huh. Oh, look at that. Points nerdy. Oh, wait. Can we get it? All right, here we go. Can we get, can we get uh, a one of these Twitter ban? Can we get his Twitter ban? Who do you want Twitter's ban? Uh, 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 nerdy. Uh, Why did you time <laughs> out? What? Jesse, why? You, I don't know why he timed him why out. That was true. I don't know what they're going to do with Black Panther 2 either because he's They're dead. Quit playing with the damn nipples. Um, Boseman's dead. 1,000 so. points. <laughs> he messed up. 1,000 oh, points to, to We're nerdy. tied again. Unbelievable. Mm -hmm. Wow. Crazy. This is weird. 
Oh, and I fucked We're up yours. We're getting hard tonight. I bet you are. We're getting fucked. You know, I was going to send Garguts my address as well. Well, I was going to, so he could send me the belt. And then he actually sent me my address. So I didn't have to send it to him. He already knew it. Uh, 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 Fucking D. Welsh, thank you. Thank you, D. Welsh. Nope, D. Welsh. <laughs> oh, points to Nerdy from well. Queer Nerdy. This guy has everybody's address. This guy's name is Queer, yeah. queer Nerdy. Uh, nerdy. Look at that. Oh, I thought it was Queef Queen Nerdy. nerdy. I can't see oh. it. Queer Nerdy. Queer Nerdy. I'm blind. I thought it said Queen. <laughs> well, you should be a queen. That's no doubt about that. Looks like a lesbian queen. But My princess. Lesbian Jeez. seagull. Uh, one one hundred <laughs> points to uh, nerdy. Wow, uh, one million one thousand one hundred for nerdy there points, it is. Jake. So, so oh, Joe, uh, uh, hey, ask me something. Jake forever so, uh, donated you know, again. No. You know, Joe, you don't consider me as a co-host. <laughs> I'm a little busy right now. Oh no, well, now, well, actually, Bullfrog, you're you're <laughs> you were only allowed on tonight because of JB. No, you're, I yeah. mean, before I quit, you never considered me as a co-host back then? You yeah, didn't well, quit, you were fired. Well, it, you know, it depends on the show oh, you're no. on. 5,000. Depends on the show you're on. Mm, okay, you, I you certainly other. co-hosted points at Jake. some points, I would say. 1,006,000 for Jake. This is crazy. Damn, y'all are... So Jake is in the lead now. I'm I'm up by 900 points. Jake could be the king. He could be the out of nowhere champion and monetize this champion. This JB, is do you know stupid. who I am? I am AJ Adams' enemy. I'm the savior of America. I will get rid of the spooky vinegars like oh. AJ Adams by tying, oh. taking JB's schlong oh, and driving on. it up their nostrils until it punctures their brains. Stupid knee girdles. Oh which die, my AJ god! Die. Oh. Wow! Why does he have to keep nagging us too? All these niggers. <laughs> uh, Colonel Santos, thank you. Jesus, Jake's trying to ruin the whole show and yeah. everything. Yeah, bad Jake. Um, Not saying anything bad. There, you are though. Uh, their brains. Uh, I can't even say what Colonel Santos wrote. Um, That's right. I think he gave <laughs> points to. I don't even know who he gave points to. So what? I'm I'm banned for a whole year to, again. I guess. Yeah, it's he didn't give uh, points, points to anyone. It's he just his said, own. Die AJ, die. So die AJ. Okay. <laughs> I think that's points for. So Colonel go on man for a whole year. Well, he's gonna get three thousand points to Colonel Santos. You can't be banned. You're just fired. Yeah, oh. you're actually muted. Yeah. yeah, for the rest of the year, you only get to come on because Sith Negan was like, "Yeah, I want to see the interaction of JB and Bullfrog." Go ahead. That's why. I have to get permission from Seth to be back on the show. Well, uh, yeah, um, I mean that's actually what happened. I got to be on. Uh, yeah, I have I, to, so I have to talk to the real god of JCS. I, uh, yes, apparently so. I mean that's. Come right. you fucking crazy! All right, Seth, I'm gonna blow up your DMs later. Dildo asses. <laughs> Seth, I'm gonna blow up your DMs later. Good thing Seth's not on Twitter. I don't even. Huh? Do you even know his Christ. DMs? He doesn't have DMs. That's the good thing He's about Seth. He's not on Twitter. Fine. I know my you want to get a hold of him, you got to use the Sith scenes, though, that's way up in the sky. Call to the Dark Lords. All right, I'm going to go ahead and put the countdown clock timer of five minutes up so we can finish this bitch off. JB did join us tonight. What a fun night. Thanks to JB, man. I, we had a lot of fun. He was funny as shit. It was really good to see him back again and uh, see what he looks like. And he, and he does. He looks very big and buff, and he turned us all on. It was very sexy. Oh, the sexy yeah, fox call. Yeah. And then something I hope he's okay here. though, because he did he someone yelled to him, he held his headphones up and then he ran he took off. So I hope everything's okay at his house. You know, it could be there could be a burglar Shit bomb. killing him right now for all. DeMarco, you fuck. You're still alive and lost weight. Eat shit. <laughs> LOL point to the gangster Jake. Wow. Oh. Look at oh that Danny, yeah, MT. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Danny MT, who's here? Who's here? Oh, he's donated. Oh, well, you also got somebody else here. What's up, Leah? What's up? What's up, baby? Yeah, Leah, co- Leah conveniently yeah. shows up after JB's gone. Look at that. I'm just hey, kidding. Leah, Have we ever seen them in the same room to together? Huh? <laughs> Ooh. 
Could you tell us what happened between you and JB? <clears throat> JB wouldn't tell us. Oh, well, I guess I better not either. <laughs> oh, no. I'm just wondering if Leah and JB are the same Don't person. Don't say anything, Leah. No. That, yeah, you're right. We never see them in the same place at one, like Batman exactly. and Superman. I mean, it's really starting are to add serious? up. Are you serious? They're both 5'2". <laughs> Somebody, Mrs. Excuse Gal me. Well, Jay- Whoa. I'm 5'4". Exactly. Hey, so hey, is JB. Hey, hi, hi. Leah, you're my height. <laughs> Leah, you're my height. Leah's and is, white. Leah's as tall as JB. Yeah, but I'm a quarter of your size. Yeah, but you're still my height, though. Actually, even that, I think, is probably an overestimate. Yeah. <laughs> No, he only weighs uh, 210 pounds, remember? I'm 5'4", though. He doesn't weigh anything in excess of 180 pounds. So what no, if, I'm 240. Bullfrog, what did you want to say to Leah, Leah earlier? Remember what you were saying? Uh-huh. Remember, oh, uh, Leah, you want me to take off my shirt for you? No, I was already treated to that eyeful. Thank you very much. Yeah, she wants did to see the whole thing. Take those pants off. <laughs> you like it? No! Did you like it? <laughs> Jake, I was advocating for you. Why would you do that to me? <laughs> it's more to torture everybody. We're all in on this one. Leah, did you enjoy that? No. Oh, come on. You know you did. No, I definitely did. Oh, my God. <laughs> yeah, no, not at all. You know you did. You know you did. That's not rapey at all. Like, no. <sighs> Excuse me. Wow. That oh, does shit. not look like a hurricane. I'm sorry. I just saw that. Looks like a... Pile of spilled coke. Leah, look, I got uh, Leah, look, I got missing eyebrows. <laughs> <laughs> it does. It just looks like a pile Leah, of coke. Look, I got missing eyebrows. Well, it's not like you go outside. Points to nerdy. What? Yeah, this Twitter. isn't a bankrupt. No, no, if it is, blame Steve Callan. Uh, uh, Bullfrog, no. you told me you weren't gonna call in. Anyways, Joe, Jesse, Gargi, Bullfrog, my friend China RK okay, wants a wet steamy orgy. Does Leah approve? She's. Oh my God, Jesus, Randy Viper! Uh, thank you, man. Points to Nerdy. Let's spin the wheel. There's one minute left, guys. There's only one minute and forty-five seconds left. One minute and forty-five seconds left. And right now, the bankrupt. Blame Jake. Steve. Oh, he Steve. almost got it. Oof. He almost did <sighs> the bankrupt. Thank you for trying, Randy. I appreciate it, man. Oh man, one minute and thirty seconds left, guys. For the king of the wheel. It's been a crazy week. Sith Negan, seventy-five hundred dollars. Points to Queen Leah, who was far superior to nerdy in every way. Oh. Wow. Oh. Queer nerdy. <laughs> oh, God. Queer nerdy. Queer nerdy. I thought we had something special, and you go and give points to Leah? Oh. I'm He's more a queen, special Leah. than you. <laughs> That's how this works. Wow. Tell That's a thousand queen. points. That's all. Leah Leah's a queen. <laughs> But Bullfrog, earlier, earlier you were talking about how she was like obsessing over your sexy froggy ass and stuff like that. She was. I don't she think, was. I don't remember. Oh, yeah, when was this? <laughs> <laughs> Points to the market. Spin the wheel now. Oh my god. <laughs> I'm gonna die. Oh. I'm sorry. That was. I'm gonna 57 die. seconds left. <laughs> I had to pause it because these are coming in. Mm-hmm. <laughs> Leah, did you just mock his frog thing that he does? <laughs> yes. You mean his horse thing? <laughs> yeah, the horse thing. I laughed at Bullfrog doing it, and then I heard Leah repeat it, and I really lost it. Oh, my God, Leah. Can you do it again, Leah? At the, the laugh? The horse thing he does. <laughs> Is this so you can record me? No, I'm not recording. I just want to compare what? it to his. I can record right. it on a daily basis. Very good. Wait. What? I can't do it as good as the first time. <laughs> yeah, that first that time was really good. Yeah. It was like on I the fly. Now I'm trying and I can't. All right, bankrupt yeah. DeMarco. Oh, another spin. Another spin. The clock is frozen because they keep coming in. Uh, 500 points to DeMarco. That's pretty good, though, that, <laughs> that weird, creepy thing, like rapey thing you do. Like that's <laughs> that very the thing Mary Magdalene rapey type of thing. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. Well, that thing that your oh, niece yeah. is afraid of. I think oh, Leah dude. would understand if you oh. saw Wandy's house. What it looks like? It looks like just me. Yeah, it, it's just. I've it, seen a Wandy's house. Yeah, doesn't it look like Mary Magdalene got raped in it or something? 
It looks like, hmm. I don't know, it's crazy looking. That's yeah, what I mean, kind of though. 1800s British Parliament. It's Did he weird. show you the yard? But, like, it actually reminds me, like, what the Vatican would look like. Uh, someone's house the in the yard. Vatican. Yeah. Yeah, it's a compound. It's like a courtyard, right? You've seen the yard, right, Leo? Is that what you're talking about? It's like a courtyard. That's what I said. Yeah, did you see the yard? Yeah. He he showed us the yard, and it was, like, insane. It's awesome, yeah. I'd get rid of that bathtub, though. The bathtub? You want to see my uh, my fridge, Leo? I've seen your fridge. It has Cokes and, like, I don't know, takeout in it. (laughs) Funny, so does his ass. Ding dongs. I want Leo's best friend, Nerdy, to win. <laughs> oh, Randy Viper bankrupt DeMarco. Uh oh, he wants to bankrupt me. Hey, 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 don't skip over my fucking donation. DeMarco's got a spin for me. Oh, that's right. Yeah, so it's that's we got oh. two spins coming up for me. So oh. 100 there. Right. And I still got one from Danny. So there's 100. How do we skip Danny? Is when he's right here. Like, I'm fucking retarded. Oh. Yeah. Well, because Randy donated. He's on the Danny. screen for 30 fucking seconds, man. I know. <laughs> Well, listen, Thank you, Randy. I you're dealing with a guy who still says you said you'd kill me every day. I mean, like, what? Yes, oh, yes. I can't even remember to get that. Murderous right. one. Who? One hundred more points to Jake. Jake is. Well, I got my gun. Don't forget. You got a gun. I thought you said you didn't have a gun. And then I whipped out my gun. Wait, who got the spin for Jake for a hundred points? Good lord. Yours was the last one, Danny. Okay. okay. All right, yeah, yours was yeah the last one. Okay, so now we're we're even. I'm gonna start the clock again. Right now, Jake Demarco looks like he could be taking home that crown from Steve Callan, and we can get this bit. Leah, of- I still want to save my bill. Huh? What? <laughs> <laughs> I still want to save my bill. Remember we talked about that last oh, time. Oh, saved by the bell. I thought you said. Yeah. I thought you said I still want to say bye to Bill. I'm like. <laughs> No, I, I still want to say bye to Bill. Fuck his bill. I want to say bye to Bill. I still watch that. Really? I hate that show. Oh, oh it's a good show. Mm. Sing me the never song. Used. Sing me the intro. Never Bullfrog. got into it. Sing me the intro. Have you, have you seen the, the, the new one? The brand the, the brand new one? They they made it like a new TV Point series. Snoopy, I love the bulldogs. No, no, I didn't watch the old one. I'm not going to watch the new one. Oh, I, I watched the old one when I was a kid. I liked Say by the Bell a little bit. It wasn't oh, crazy. I don't, I don't even. I don't even watch reboots of shows that I do like. Mm. They're never as good. Saints Row is getting rebooted. The video game over and over, like a thousand times. Fuck that game. And it looks so SJW. It's crazy. Of course it is. Fuck that. Did game. you see the cowboy? Five hundred points. You see the. You see the cowboy bebop stuff? That shit was fucking dope. What's that? No, I didn't see that yet. What is uh, that? Cowboy bebop. Uh, it was an anime back in like what 2000? Yeah, Steve Blum yeah, was... a long time ago. Yeah, and you like, lost me an anime. anime. You lost me an anime. <laughs> Dude, it's pretty great though. It's it's kind of like a noir. I don't, I don't mind if they bring back old sh- like when they brought back like Futurama, you know, and stuff like that. When they bring back old shows and start doing them again, but yeah, it's it like when they cast. right, but it's like when they try to recapture. What was already Points done, but change like they'll change Let's like one little thing. Let's go and all blacks. Mm-hmm. Oh man! Oh, my bad. Points to Demarco. Yes, F you, Randy. Let's go, New Zealand all blacks. What does that mean? Yes, sir. That's the, he that's wants the all rugby. black. He wants the, all blacks. The Aussies. Oh, the Aussies. Yeah, but what does it do with black? I don't get it. Joe, um, uh, can I ask you a question, Joe? Bullfrog, can I ask no. fucking Danny a question and you without you interrupting, you cunt? Like, no, what is no, wrong this with you? Is important. We got, no, no. We got to talk about this. You need to shut the fuck up right now because I'm legit in the middle of asking Danny a question. He's in the middle of answering it. I'm going to cut you. So to answer your question, Joe, my favorite fucking team in the world when it comes to rugby is New Zealand All oh, Blacks. That's I, the name of it. I get so it Randy's now. Randy's ass is in New Zealand, and he loves the Aussies. He likes to fucking Bankrupt the to Marco. So I get it. Back of his FK Pacquiao loser. Oh. Uh, thank oh. you. Joe, what do you think about uh, Nirvana uh, being sued? That's some bullshit, too. That's The guy's not going to win. He's an idiot. He should have sued them a long time ago. And it's yeah. not even yeah, their fault. Plus, I mean, me oh, my God. Oh, my God. It's bankrupt. But wait a minute. But who, who was it? It was Danny's. That was for DeMarco. Was, oh, my yeah, God. Was for me. They I'm were bankrupted. Both for, no, no. no. Oh, my God. God. God damn it. Oh, my God. 
He did it right before mine. It's not DeMarco. They're both for DeMarco. That's he the problem. They're both for me. They're both for him. That's me. They're for DeMarco. Oh, no. Yep. Maybe. Motherfucker. Wow, you guys ruined his trifecta hey, championship. Motherfucker. Randy got me down. Wow. And Dude, Randy, you were the man. At the end Nerdy. Was things but wow there's only two seconds left i gotta resume wow. the clock and there are no donations coming in it looks like nerdy's gonna take this guys so we're gonna resume the clock here and i don't think another donos come in but we do have to spin um, one more time we'll see what happens but i'm happy for nerdy well, I, wanted, I wanted to win this selfishly but i'm happy for nerdy if he gets it because let's see if jake can get back on the board from sith negan well jake you are gonna get back on the board you're gonna boot nebit the jew off and you're gonna be able to get back on there at least i'm tied with leah i'm happy with that that's right. You can come come over to the house some night with the belt, and we'll have a three way. Ooh! Oh. All right, resuming yeah, the clock. You me the belt, right? You me the belt and the bed. <laughs> Leah, what uh, yep. what um, what what happened with the wine? Did that work out? Is that the the horse head one you like or whatever? Uh, is it fourteen hands? Oh, Why? that's got the picture of the horse on it. Though. Wait, hey, do you remember the old one you used to like back where we used to live, and there was a horse on it? It was like white horse or something. Yeah, I think that was it. They don't have that oh, out here. We haven't had that I since. Did. Yeah, it was something like I can't remember the name of it now, but I gotta resume the clock. Here we're gonna resume the clock. It looks like two seconds. Nerdy's gonna take it. Cat shit eaters. That's it. Got it. Nerdy oh, takes oh, it home. Go. Oh my god, yeah. Nerdy has got it. Nerdy, you're so white. I love it. Oh, he's so yeah. happy. I love it. <laughs> Me and Randy Viper, and I don't even watch rugby, but the Wallabies, we're here to fuck shit up, okay? Oh, and this you're, is just you're rooting start. against the yeah, All Blacks, yeah, yeah. Nerdy? You're rooting oh. against the All Blacks? For once yeah, in my life, against I'm against the All Blacks. All Blacks. I thought I'm so. rooting against <laughs> them. Uh, it uh, is the Aussies so all the way. That's fucked up. All the Blacks can go die. Uh, or all blacks can Flip go it. Oh, Here we go. Clip it. And, uh, oh. All right, I'm clipping that. <laughs> Somebody clip that of him saying that. Thank right. you. This is but I can't talk about people yeah. annoying each How other. How dare you with the fucking blasphemy. That is crazy. So, was this, Whoa, so wait a minute. Wait, uh, this team is a New Zealand football team. They're called the All Blacks? Rugby, Rug yes. Rugby. The all Blacks. Oh, Everybody all blacks. knows worldwide that New Zealand fucking All Blacks are the best. Why are they yeah, called the, the All Blacks? Rugby Union team, the New Zealand All Blacks. Why are they called the All Blacks? Like, what does that mean? Because they wear all black, Joe. Is that? But they're all white. But they're all white guys. Well, no, they're all like Maori. Sure True. There's some white in there. Yeah. Oh, is and this? Is, do they do like that Samoan like type of yes. dance? That yeah, they do the fucking oh, uh, so they do the fucking haka and all that shit before games. It's so sick. I played rugby for fucking years over here, and a couple guys were from New Zealand on my team. Mm. Uh, they're the best, dude. I'm going to be it's honest. Listen, match. I'm not bashing this at all. These guys are probably really tough, probably beat the shit out of me maybe, but this is homoerotic. <laughs> I'm just I'm Wait. just going to say. What Wait, can you did that, I that mean, stuff in um, Mandalorian? Like, that's what his whole fight move sequence was because yes. he is uh, – that guy who plays it is from New Zealand. Leah, are totally. you looking at – look can you see this photo? Yeah. Does this not – are these guys going to fuck after the game? I mean, what's going on here? They might. I mean, yeah. isn't I it just the Usos doing. entrance? Yeah. It's, this it's, is it's also something The Rock knows how to do. So if you want to fuck around yeah. with The Rock. Yeah. His is, but his is different. His Bro, is we different. saw that's the, that's the whole culture that The Rock is like these from. are the these are the natives in New Zealand, but Samoa is different, but it's similar, right? It's not. But the they same. do like the same thing. But yeah. I don't like, think you understand. A lot of those cultures are like sort of like intertwined because yeah. that was like one of the only cultures that were like super good at like boats and yes. going far. Yes. Correct. Yeah, and they're closer the than they're the closer same. than you think. Like so, when you look at a map, it's like wow, New Zealand's over there. Yeah. And you know Hawaii's over here on the you know the left and everything like that. But it's like yeah, but the Earth's not flat. It's so like these the are the closer than you think. These guys are the, like the surviving southern version of Vikings. Kind of. Kinda, yeah. yeah. Asian oh. style, yeah. Yeah. And they just got in boats, like Leah said. Maoris yeah. are very well known for their sailing skills mm -hmm. and boat making, and they moved north in Polynesia, started hitting the fucking small places like Samoa, Nauru eventually up to Hawaii. 
uh, Tonga, all that shit. That's yeah. the same people. Man. Uh, okay. Vikings were like, Vikings know. are really like, so like these guys were like good at sailing over like open oceans. Vikings, that their whole sailing thing and being good at sailing was the fact that they had these super like shallow boats. They could go up rivers yeah. and stuff, yeah. something that other people couldn't do. So they could go like inland and they had a removable mast from the boat so they could go under bridges and all this stuff. Cool. So they both did crazy sailing stuff, but sort of different. And also different timeline. Uh, the the you know Viking came way True. after. Yeah. Now, um, Sith Negan. Uh, I want to say thank you to Sith Negan, man, for the week. He's been an insane beast. And Absolutely. uh Leah, he bought Leah's tampons. Leah, thank you. Uh, you want to say it? Thank you. She feels nice and dry. She appreciates it. Yep. I don't use tampons. Keep it more. Uh, Wait, what? Are, Leah are needs a cleaning now? out. Like, women are using the cup. I don't need a. I don't the need a cleaning out. Actually, that's the whole point. Is those things are disgusting. Oh yeah, that's not, true. They're not healthy. Yeah, she's all about the free bleed. Yeah. No, I, like, I mean I'm clean. I'm clean, oh, but I don't. I don't go like you know. Shoving stuff up there. Put yeah. Wait a you minute. don't collect it in a glass I, and then that drink stuff it can. Later. No, that who does that? I shove, does that. I shove yeah, stuff yeah. up there. They, they do do that. that. They make pancakes. Just bleeds on Joe. Thing in Germany now, women are cupping and they're pouring their menstruation into plants and shit. And it's like their way to give back to the fucking earth. And, and they're eating it. They turn it into pancake batter and eat it together. What? It's like oh, a big celebration. Did you ever eat placenta? Oh, they're people do. People, it's crazy. people do. Gross. That's Yeah, fine. I've heard of the placenta thing. I've heard of the placenta thing. Not it's anybody gross. eating from menstruation. No, it's really Isn't healthy. that cannibalism? I mean, you're eating something No, from... because... Well, no, that's healthy. No, though. I mean... The placenta is it, good. The menstruation it's is just egg. Yeah, it it's says right here. Disgusting. I mean, <laughs> free it's bleeding is to the us. practice of intentionally menstruating in public without blocking or collecting right. the period flow, and then they have it where they actually collect it and then they use it for baking recipes and mm. things like that. Sign me yeah. up. Yeah, oh, really every disgusting thing. Every yeah, time I've heard of the whole line. free bleeding thing, it's like late. You're literally doing nothing to yeah. prevent it, and that's gross and unsanitary in my yeah. opinion because there's the bare minimum you can take without having to be like super invasive about it um i don't use tampons because they put all sorts of chemicals and shit in that and i'm not going to put that in my body to be absorbed if you leave it Even, in too long, and you really then can get sick yeah, yeah it. I mean, that's right in itself. um <laughs> yeah so um you know not doing that that's gross yeah. Yeah. jb strikes me as a free bleeder to be honest <laughs> that I believe. You just imagine Gordon Ramsay like saying, "Uh, come try my new placenta cakes," and it's like him. Like, oh, <laughs> back to that. Grabbing. Yeah. So it's disgusting to us because we're like you know civilized society, smarter and stuff like that. But you know, animals do that. It's sort of like a recuperative thing. But I don't even think people a long time ago. I mean, even if you go back like a thousand, two thousand, ten thousand years ago, I don't even think they were doing that. Yeah, probably not. An old script and like, hey, we should try that. Yeah, it's people no. just losing their minds and needing something to it, have it was some weirdo out. that came up with it and somehow it stuck. Yeah, exactly. They they have one little kernel of truth for people to hook on to. Theoretically, it probably isn't bad for you because it is massively packed with iron and iron's always a good thing, especially after you've just given birth. But tell Courtney. It's gross. I would I know. heard of celebrities like doing like this ritual and eating it afterwards i'm just like that is ridiculous. Well, you said placenta you know with cakes. gavin gavin i couldn't have even done that if i wanted to because they like scooped it up and took it away for like testing and stuff i think mm. you can request it oh yeah, yeah. i yeah. couldn't with gavin because he had two he had a um gavin yeah, had that two vessel there. cord so they, had, oh, okay. they wanted to do all that mm. testing and blood work and whatever they wanted to Sort of like, you know, look, they asked me for permission, obviously, since it's like, you know, out of my body. Yeah. But I was like, yeah, I don't want the thing. You can do whatever the hell you want with it. You don't want to frame it? Are you sure? Yeah. A two vessel got... cord is sort of like a rare, a rarity. So they were like, can we study this? Could I have like, yeah, cooked it? Could it. I cook oh. it on the grill and eat it? Is that what? Or like, whoa. They usually I, do. It's I, not I, like, you know, like people are, I, I mean, at least like what I've heard of. Boiled. Hmm. I heard it's just it. raw. I wonder if they use a cast iron pan. Right. Like iron on iron. 
<laughs> Imagine George that Foreman you're rest- iron, iron. A George Foreman grill. Yeah. Imagine that oh. someone comes over to when see you the eat baby. It, it's placenta phagy, and it's practiced hey, by most mammals in the uh, animal world, including many it's primates. Bad with the air right. fryers. How about that? I think placenta would be air nice for one of those, yeah. huh? Put it in the know, toaster. Think- it'll be fine. I think part of the reason that animals do it too is to not attract predators. It's sort of like you know, clean up, like cover their tracks from having. Right, because if you've got like all this blood there, you're gonna attract stuff. Yeah, they say it's to keep predators yeah. away. Uh, yeah, 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 around. Yeah, yeah, bullfrog. They ban the. There's crazy. health benefits too, and then oh, they say God, it's God. chewy and tastes like liver. Like if you're gonna eat liver <laughs> yeah, and use liver. Yeah, oh. all right. I don't eat right. liver either, so encourage yeah, your women no. to eat them. Bullfrogs are loose. <laughs> Ugh, livers Gargots. are gross looking. You said placenta yeah. cakes. Do you think uh, Gordon Ramsay's wife gets nervous every time she, you know, he goes down on her? Does he judge the taste or? Oh God, I just thought uh, of something. Uh, yeah, you know what? His, his <laughs> daughters are probably getting nervous too. So the cakes thing. <laughs> Have you ever heard the of cake- Pete? If, ever heard of women making bread and stuff from you know their own uh, the yeast? yeast? Oh, yeah, that is gross. Somebody's yeah. baking bread. Yeah, I've heard of that too. Yo, too much, that right too much. Right Nothing like pulling out a pretzel on a. Hey, first I'm date, making I'm a peanut you. butter and vegetal fucking sandwich. You, you, you. What does he say on me peanut myself? Peanut butter and vegetal. <laughs> says uh, too God. much cheese on the taco. Oh, yeah. He I mean, thought she was gonna I orgasm. Mean. She just popped out a sour that grilled cheese. It's not a good thing. I, 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 I don't know if that yeast is fucking great or not, but uh, put it in a beer and maybe it'll taste the same. A little extra. Oh, maybe you can make beer from it. Yeah. Yeah, that yeah. Dark, you can you technically off of women yeast. You technically could. I mean, it's technically good yeast, not you know like the bad yeast, but gross. I mean, you know. Did it? Back, isn't it? Source. Isn't it like all smelly and fucking horrible? Like if you have it, yeah, it came from a vagina. Pot. No, that's I mean. that's the bad yeast. So vaginas have good yeast. All cool. of them do, and that stuff's fine. It's yeah. when it's bad yeast or an overgrowth that's when you get like an infection, and that's <clears throat> the bad stuff that smells. Oh, okay. Well, that's probably if, if you're fucked by like you know like uh, John Holmes or you know the other the fucking dude that looks oh, like Mario, but. They- Somebody that's a slut. That is. Gargas, yeah. are you saying you're a slut? No. He said somebody that is one. Somebody that's a this, slut. Uh, this He's is going to be the be- the most. Rem- sex are you slut. implying he has a vagina? This. <laughs> this yeah. <laughs> Let's monetize this. We'll go down. Remember at the end after JB left when they talked about yeast and fucking pussy? Like, I don't know. Well, they have vagina fluid that you can pick out from strippers and stuff that they turn into beer. What the fuck? Yeah, you can get girls, you know, like actual fluids. They'll they'll masturbate for you and you can get that turned into (laughs) beverages and stuff. Oh, yeah, there's a whole market. I almost guarantee that. It was on one of these, like, top British videos and it was was ridiculous. I mean, I don't doubt that that's a real thing. What I'm doubting is the content of that actually yeah. being from any girl. Um, I, just Im- I just imagine me yeah. going to the fucking uh, the bartender and be like, "Yeah, let me get an IPA. Uh, the one with the STD in it." Yeah, Please. some of them are. You'd be surprised. <laughs> well, that way you have cheese and bread. Twenty dollars? You crazy? You want to make sure you get a full meal? Gross. Back in my day, smegma was uh, thirty cents. <laughs> Who would uh, know, you old man? I know, Leah. Did you mm-hmm. see all my gray hairs? Oh, I Leah, tell him. Oh, Leah, yeah. tell him why you think his hair grow got that gray. Yes, brought to you by Vagisil. That's right, Jeff. Ooh. You know, you know what Leah said to me about your hair. She goes, "You know why his hair's gray?" And she goes, "Did his hair go gray from uh, f- realizing Trump did lose the election?" <laughs> like, oh, <laughs> dude, that's it. You know, I was there, January sixth. <laughs> You know, you do. You were, you were home. You do look a little bit like Owen Schroyer. They arrested Owen Schroyer. They arrested him for being with Alex Jones at the Capitol, even though he didn't do he didn't do anything. They arrested Owen Schroyer. You know, surprise you? I mean, a, I mean a little bit because he he's on camera not doing anything wrong. <laughs> like so, it's a little weird. So they just they arrested him, bro. He what got, are his charges? 
Um, okay, so I know why he got arrested. That's what my next point was going to be. But it's a stretch, in my opinion. So he, it, it, at a separate event months before, or a year, or whatever, months before, he did one of those things where he started yelling at during a congressional meeting or some kind of meeting where he was like, the American government's doing this, and they're doing that, blah, blah, blah. and then they kicked him out, and then they arrested him for disorderly conduct. And he, and he, part of his plea was he got community service and also would never disrupt something about the government again. And so mm-hmm. they, so somehow they got him on that for well, this. Well, he broke probation then. I get, but he wasn't like, it, I don't think it was, I don't know if it was probation, but he was instructed that he couldn't interfere in government, you know, th- whatever. It's some, but I don't know if the six really okay, counts so if, as that. If the government is in session trying to pass, you know, the election, and they were doing something there that day, mm-hmm. and were. he's part of the crowd there right, that's but, disrupting and trying to disrupt it and whatever well, else. He, no, he, but he w- didn't go in he, the building. It sounds, but. Like, he was just I, in the streets of Washington. He wasn't even on the, you know what I mean? He wasn't like. He's going to need a real good lawyer to argue that then because that would be a violation of probation. Yeah. I don't, I, I, I'm going to I'm, I'm gonna guess that his probation officer said to him, don't do this stuff. You know, like, uh, don't go to these things. Well, just I, so, I think, you know, so he, I, I can't imagine that his probation was that long or that severe. I, so it's like, you know, just lay low until your probation is off and then you can go back to doing these things. I, I it sounds the, like a probation violation. I think the point is that he was in the street. And like, they really, really, really don't like those. Well, I think because he was in the street, it was like it, that's what's confusing me. Like I, now if I could see if he went in the building, that's a whole different thing. <laughs> But, but you said that part of his probation was to not disrupt the government. But he didn't disrupt the government. But he was part of a crowd of people that it was, was like a disrupting million people, the government. But, a, but like a million people didn't disrupt the government. They were just outside. And even more than a million people didn't go there. Right. But, but so you're both right. I think you're both right right here. Let me step in before you start arguing with each other because I think you're both right. Like Leah's saying, like, if he was told not to go interfere... But mm. Joe's saying, well, he was protesting outside. So I think you're both right. And that's where the gray area comes in. That's what I'm saying. It's and, like uh, a weird well, what gray. Was the it's weird. For? Like, like, w- let's say, like, what was the protest for? It was protesting a government action. The, True. Um, I but, can't think of the but word. His probation- but, you know, the validating of the elect, the, va- the validate, whatever they do, whatever. I can't think of the word right now. I, I don't think, uh, I, 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 see, we don't know the facts 100%. I don't think that, like, it's illegal for him to protest. It's illegal for him to actually disrupt, though. So, like, if he was outside of a building with a sign that said, I disagree with this, that's okay, but it's not okay for him to, like, stand in front of the doors and lay down or something like that. Like, that would be... You're interfering, like, but being, I feel like though it was stupid of him. It was probably yeah, not the we, right. Let's all agree there. That's true. And that's yeah. it. Let's yeah. all agree it was stupid. Of yeah, him. that was the dumb part, you know. But that, that but that's Doesn't the. But, Alex Jones had Alex Jones has other people working for him. Like, right. why not send somebody well, but, else instead of the dude on probation? That's the for point. This sort of thing. People are like, why didn't Alex you know? Jones? Well, when people said, why didn't Alex Jones get arrested? Why'd they arrest this guy and not? A, you know, it's because Alex Jones. It's a loophole thing with him in a weird sort of probation well, thing. Well, I think he got arrested because of the probation violation. Is Alex Jones on probation for this? No, but did it's... he break probation? Well, I think that's what they're going to try and get him on. Well, that's the thing is now, did he step on the steps or on, did he step anywhere? But, okay, so that could be considered stepping on government. Where, right. So he got arrested for this <coughs> probation violation, and we're arguing the merit of it, and that's exactly what's going to happen in court for him. That's why I'm saying, like, mm, I hope he has, right. you know, like, yeah. hope he has a good lawyer to argue True. this point. It doesn't mean he's guilty of anything. Well, luckily it's he's just, on tape. He's I'm on... just saying it's probably that's probably what they could, you know, like it probably was like, you know, like um, a legitimate arrest. It mm. doesn't mean well, it, just being arrested doesn't make you guilty. True. Yeah, he's True. already out. He's already yeah. out. He got bailed out and whatever. Hey. All right. And they did this with uh, uh, the Proud Boys. What I think is weird is that they did this retroactively for something that happened, at at least with the Proud Boys member. He burned a flag, and then they, two days before the January 6th thing, they went and arrested him because they knew he was at the Capitol and that he was gathering people there. And it wasn't about that specific protest, but they went back retroactively and charged him with something right. so he couldn't be there. And so some conspiracy theorists, whether they're right or wrong, think that it was kind of a 
coup to circumvent conservatives from getting to this event. I think that's what Joe's saying might yeah. be the case here. But well, what's weird wrong. is that, that he got in trouble for six months for burning a BLM flag, but you can burn any other flag and nobody does anything, but he burned a BLM. And he is black. Isn't the guy black? Yeah, so it's weird, but I see... The I black man who burned the BLM flag is charged with a hate crime. It doesn't make any sense. Yeah, but right. Leah's point is right. Let's not let's not <laughs> overshadow that. that. Leah's right. It was dumb of them for she, it, right. to go there. Wow, he, you are the cowardice. No wonder your hair turned gray. Listen to you. Um, no, yeah, but <laughs> well, when you get shit on. Yeah, right. What happened? Oh, I think he just killed himself. He just no, he didn't leave. He was in the middle of a sentence. Something must have happened. I don't know. He just totally disappeared. Yeah, he must have sucks. Anyways. Well, we're wrapping up anyway. We're just kind of laughing at his gray hair, and I was explaining the political climate has ruined his hair. So, you know, yeah, that it has. Between oh, the oh, beyond turned him gray. Oh shit! Melly's barking. She finally found her way to the back door. I'll be right back. Oh, okay. Are you ending? In a minute, yeah. We'll, we'll... She's. I'm gonna let the dog in. She wouldn't come in. I you... literally walked all the way out to the back of the yard, which, by the way, the grass needs to be cut, and that was super scary. I got the rubber thing for the lawnmower <laughs> on the way, and as soon as I get right. it, I can mow the lawn. Yeah. No, I walked all the way back out there, and I'm like, come on, Melly, let's go. And she, like, kind of looked at me and then was like, nah, I'm just going to keep wandering around the yard. Yeah, that's typical. Poor old she's, thing. I think she's blind, not only blind, but senile. Yes, I think she's. She like looked at me and was like, "No, I'm just gonna." Keep. She walked into the fence the other day, and you ever notice? I don't know if you notice this because I know I let her out more than you. Mm -hmm. Like I, I'm pretty much the one that always does that. Yeah. She, I have to open the door, and she won't walk through until I say, "Come on, Melly," because I think she thinks she can't see the doors open. Yep. She's I think nice. she's afraid oh. of walking into it, and I have to be like, "Come on, Melly, come on," and she'll be like, "Oh, okay, the door's open." <laughs> yeah. Blind. I'm gonna go let her in though. Yeah, she's a mess, and she's really getting older and older. It's like she's rapidly aging every week or something. It's crazy. Hit me up when you get attacked by a groundhog and a skunk. Oh, yeah, Jake got attacked by a groundhog the other day. Which We, we, <laughs> we feed these things. They eat better than I ever do, and Christ, the thing was Leah, did you see that? Fed it? Leave, have it you went seen ahead, and I went out back to smoke, and then next thing I know, something was biting on my slipper and my foot, so I start freaking out and calling Danny, and she thought I was, like, afraid of a spider or something. Finally, she comes over, she turns the light on, and the <laughs> freaking groundhog is on my slipper, stuck on my big toe. I'm trying to get it off. Finally, Groundhog? It yeah. I, I, I don't Does know it if it could rabies? Like, why the hell was it? Was it was late at night. It was right before the show. But I know, right? That's I don't, like usually, they because we feed them action. right by the back of the house. <laughs> so they oh, eat you're food. feeding them? This idiot feeds them. them. I said this to him. Years and Why? They because there's a whole family of them. They have all these little babies. Yeah, no, and, they're badass. Yeah. I mean, I don't no, know. Oh, fuck them! Big, Did, when I was up in usually the world, they're very sweet. I can sit outside yeah, of them and they're fine. But yeah, I, I'm not like afraid of them. I, although they are like deceptively huge. If you ever see one, you're like, oh, yes. groundhog. Yeah, yeah okay. No, and then you see one in real life, and you're like, wow, that's huge. Well, this one was on my top. Up of the porch, biting my foot, had my big toe in its mouth with the slipper, and then finally ripped the slipper off. And then Danny opened the door and almost ran in the house. I'm like, no, keep it out there. And finally, I got the slipper out of its mouth and it ran into the trash can and then took off back into the woods, you know, where it lives <laughs> under the shed. But yeah, they'll they'll ruin the foundation and oh, yeah. your garden and everything else. Actually, well, that's why we gave up gardening yeah, and just started feeding it because but, they were eating they, everything. They was it was it doing the gopher dance? Everywhere. I don't know if it was yeah. looking for food and just got didn't see me and got nervous or what because I was out there Wait. for like forty five seconds or a minute. Was it a gopher or a groundhog? Groundhog. Was it a ground? Oh. oh, groundhog. Okay, I thought it was a. Gopher. Okay, I was gonna say I thought yeah, gophers. Groundhog. I think gophers are smaller. The groundhogs are yeah, like actually they are. Yeah. huge. They are. Yeah, yeah. it's a good They're size thing, but kind of like mini sized. I told Joe to get the because we have one here. And I told him to get the have a heart traps because you just trap it and I'll take it way out to the woods, you know, in another town. And just let them go there. My neighbor I tried to do that. Kill and he the thing, a skunk but like, in it, and then yeah. the yeah, skunk not... was stuck oh. in there in a hundred degree heat and sprang in my backyard. Yeah. So all I heard was screeching the entire time. I go out You'll back be... and then had to save it. It was ridiculous. You'll be okay with a skunk. I mean, as long as you don't have a weak stomach, you just have to throw a um, a big blanket that you don't care about, obviously, over the cage and pick it up and put it somewhere else. Just move it somewhere else, and they'll take off. Yeah. They mostly won't spray if you throw a blanket over because they can't see. They'll just, you know, like, that's why they, like, cover cages when they move animals and stuff like that. If you don't, if you cover their eyes and you make it pitch dark, it actually calms them down. Well, that would have helped weeks ago. 
There you go, <laughs> Bullfrog. Now you know. <laughs> now so I know funny. for future reference. Varmint. No, I just went and stood in front of it and I was like, if you spray me, I'm going to leave you out here and you're going to oh die God. in the heat. And finally, I got in its face and I gave it water. And I'm like, if you spray me, I'm just, I'm going to leave you here. And I opened the gate and it rubbed against my leg and it ran in the woods. So yeah, they're mostly it. nice. Did Joe tell you the story the other night when I went out? People and what happened? No. Oh, all right. So I went, up for, I went out the other night and I'm driving around. I saw a deer, um, a rabbit, <laughs> a skunk, and a possum. So you and have I a total didn't hit... animal sanctuary going on. Yeah, I was like, this is awesome. And I was seriously bumming that i didn't have the dash i want a dash cam and i was like really bummed out because i swear to god i saw a bobcat i know that nobody believes me but i saw one <laughs> and i know what I they look like oh yeah England. but um yeah. so anyway i'm driving to like so you know like i don't know if like i, I think everybody's like experiencing this where it's like places that used to be open 24 hours aren't open 24 hours of anymore like lack of workers or whatever yep. walmart and all that so stuff, yeah. It was late at night, and I was, like, looking for somewhere to get, a like, you know, just a soda or something like that, a drink. Yeah. And so I went to the one town that's, like, right off the highway. I was like, they have all these 24 hours places, or at least they always have. And I was like, I'll go there. So I'm driving over, and then there's, like, one road that goes there. So I'm driving over the road, and I'm like, I had the window, like, open, and I hear, like, this popping noise. And I'm like, what is there, like, acorns on the road? It sounded like when you drive over acorns. I was like, acorns, whatever, I'm driving. And I drive down there. All the stores are closed. So I'm like, sure. oh, like, you know, like, fuck that. So I turn around, and I start driving back. And I don't know if the street sure. lights were on better on that side. And as I'm driving, I notice, like, probably 10 million frogs. Oh, oh wow. <laughs> Yeah, Frogs. I so I'm driving and I'm driving and I'm like, oh no, I've been driving over frogs. All the popping was frogs. <laughs> oh my god! And I had the window. Take over that bullfrog, you piece of I shit! Had, I had the window open and you hear the croaking and stuff, and I'm like, no. So I roll up the window. I was like, I can't no. listen to that. <laughs> you Hold on. Yeah, I'm gonna go run exactly them over again. Exactly what so you're talking about. It yeah, gets one. Good. It gets. <laughs> it gets a little bit worse. So I'm driving back home anyway, and I roll up the window because I was like, I can't listen. There was nothing you could do to avoid it. I was right no, in the middle nothing. of it. So there's I'm like, way too many. Yeah. So I was like, them. yeah, I was like, they're dead. I'm just going to roll up the window so at least I don't have to hear it. And I look behind me and there's an 18 wheeler. Oh, <laughs> <laughs> they had no chance. The job. <laughs> so, and then that was what the point too, when I realized the road parts of it looked wet. Uh. That had been happening all night. Oh, because they just flooded the road when it rained. Yeah, like no, it's yeah. a horrible feeling. So a buddy of mine is very sensitive like that. Mass so I so was my wife for a few years, and then they transferred me to New York. But initially, I was at one spot of our corporation that's in West New York before the new one opened up in New York City. So I was out there with like all the wildlife, and dude. That would happen exactly what Leah said. Like the roads would become covered like during the season. These fuckers are millions to be seen, and there's oh. nothing you can do when you drive down the road to miss them. Yeah, it's impossible. Yeah, it's once impossible. I realized it, I was in the middle of it. There was nothing I could do. Yeah, but, and it sounded like if you've ever run over acorns and you hear that like popping of the tire, oh. you know. That's what oh, it sounds oh, like. Yeah, the crazy I thing is, I have to share the day my before, pain no? with everyone. No, but you're right because no, my buddy, yeah, he's very horns, sensitive. Sound of yeah. acorns. And no, he, you're, she's exactly right though because when it, I avoided when one frog it flooded the here, before. and we get tons of frogs on the road too. Like they would come up, and it would look like leaves on the road. We thought. Never mind. Mm -hmm. So you feel like you're running over dry leaves and it sounds like that crunching noise. But mm -hmm. my buddy finally figured out what it, it was. And he's, like I said, he's really sensitive and he can never hurt an animal. If he sees an animal get hurt, he freaks out. So he was, when he finally figured out, he was bawling his eyes out. He had to pull over and he was crying because he ran over all these frogs. I would have been like, yeah, he I, cried I, for like, I didn't feel that bad. The only time no. I ever came close <laughs> to tears was. Turtle I, make I, I so Joe, like, I know Joe I didn't come this... one night. Yeah, that's why. Um, <laughs> I'm sorry. Um, I don't know. <laughs> so <laughs> the only the only what? time I came close to tears, I used to. I mean, I this was way before I got like my job delivering parts. At which point, I I've run over stuff. I drove all day long. <laughs> the fuck did Casey? It's come gonna on? happen. But 
before that, I hit one of those groundhogs. And I was oh, on this God. little tiny back road, and I hit one. There's nothing I could do. It was, like, right at the edge of the road. It came out of nowhere, and I hit it, and I was like, oh, my God. And I looked in the rearview mirror, and he was just laying in the road. So I kept going. I'm like, well, there's nothing I can do. We're like, what am I going to do? Get out and help the groundhog? Like, he's dead. I ran yeah. over his head. Like, there's no way he's alive. So oh. I kept going. And I went to pick up a friend of mine, and then we were driving back to my house. So I drove back down that road, and he wasn't there. So I was like, oh, maybe I just knocked him unconscious, and he got up and, like, went home. And they looked at me, and they were like, a coyote probably picked it up and carried it off and ate it. <laughs> it's like, oh, and I was like, it's so good, it's so like, good. You, still could, good. <laughs> you couldn't let me have this one thing. I couldn't give it to you. Do you remember my cat? Well, that's my, what I was going to say before. My buddy was I, so sensitive and he hit a squirrel one time and he's like, maybe it's still alive. He gets out to check on it. And I, <laughs> I swear to God, he goes, I blew its dick off. <laughs> and he ran it over in the <laughs> What yeah. the fuck? He hit his garage. He split this thing straight up the middle, but oh he actually came out of the car to see if it's okay. And I see him with tears. He's like, I blew its dick <laughs> off. Somebody clip Just him lose. saying, I blew its dick <laughs> off. Oh, okay. my oh, God. Joe, had a that had... <sighs> do you remember Cara being here the other day? No, I tried to pretend she wasn't. With the feathers? <laughs> What do you mean the feathers? So she told me a few weeks ago that she had like almost run into a bird or something oh like that. Oh my god, you're right oh, on the car. <laughs> yeah. So she was parked in front of my house the other day and I walk out there and I'm like, what's that? Something sticking out of her headlight. And I walk over there. There was literally like half a fucking bird in there. Half a Rogue bird feathers. was in her, yeah. was in She's her light. She's been driving around with half a bird. In the grill. Like in the fucking grill. Like it's a whole I was like, and it was like a week or it was like a while before that she had told me about almost hitting a bird. And I was like, Carrie, you've been driving around with this thing stuck in your grip. I believe what? it. I we, we did virtually the same. I had my license not even 10 hours. My father's like, oh, good. Mine's suspended again. Let's go. And he had me drive him to Ithaca from here to go get a motorcycle engine. Oh, long God. Story. God. I've been there. And on That's the way really, back. Yeah. yeah, it's a long drive. Yeah. My first, like, real road trip disaster. And on the way back, I had hit a bird while he was sleeping with my buddy. And he was actually driving at this point, And the thing exploded everywhere. Oh. But we found feathers for weeks it looked yeah. like a goose exploded, but it was just a pigeon. This thing blew up everywhere. Ridiculous. I got another. I don't. I wish I could remember the stories I've told here or not. And I don't know if I've told this one, but my mom was up Maine, up in Maine with my dad. They were like on an anniversary vacation or whatever camping. And my mom had left the campground to go get cigarettes or something else. I don't know oh, what. Shit. She was driving back, and as she's driving back, a bird flew into the windshield and got stuck oh, underneath God. the windshield wiper. And she drove all the way back to the campground. The thing was dead. I mean, dead. But yeah, it was that stopped. Force. Yeah, it was stuck there. And she drove all the way back to the campground to make my dad pull the thing out from under the windshield wiper. <laughs> so you know she was <laughs> staring at it the whole trip. You know the shit yeah. by the. You know the shit by the brake. Look at all uh, uncomfortable. You're, you're, I would have turned them on. You know your shit by the when you when you have like a trailer and it's got like these little. The hitch? Uh, uh, yeah, the hitch, and then you have like the. The electrical stuff. Oh yeah, that, uh, that hooks onto that. Well, we were on tour. If you've got like a camper, I think they do that. We uh we hit an armad armadillo, oh. like probably like two hours ago. We got home, we checked underneath the shit, and there was just like a carcass cooked, <laughs> like like carne guisada hanging up that goddamn <laughs> oh, that shit. The engine was just like, oh just my god. The engine like, my, warmed it up and cooked it for it. Yeah, it's, it was it's so raw, hot. It was summer. Rare, not raw. So it was getting cooked off the fucking the heat of the of the fucking road. We were teaching yeah, my buddy's cousin uh, how to drive in his car. And where I lived at the time in Northford, that's where I told you about the house that had like the turkeys and the coyotes, all that stuff around. So it was more in the woods. And we took him over towards the lake to practice. And we were having him work on parallel parking. And he thought he was still in reverse, but he was back in drive. And he gunned it forward, got nervous. And instead of going to hit the brake, hit the gas, goes up on the curb a little bit. But the lake is not far in there. So we all thought he was going to go into the lake. We're freaking out. <laughs> then he slams on the brakes as hard as he could, but he slides. As he's going forward, he hit a turtle. <laughs> So oh. He sent it to it was like something out of a comic oh. book, but he <laughs> sent the turtle just completely Skipping. flying forward into the water. Like so did it skip? So maybe it oh lived. God. I'm gonna say I yes. Hope that it lived. It was like a hockey puck ride. skipping over yes. the water. We have um say yes. We've we got have the giant snappers. 
We got mm. like the snappers around here. You get two choices. My mom's got a giant snapper. Are we talking about the same thing? It's a pussy. No, snappers. snappers. Oh. <laughs> Are you talking Sorry. about like not pussy, Jake? Snapper like, like, uh, But you yeah. can get rid of them either one of two. I mean, it, unless you want to just drive around them, but the like the gigantic ones, you can either pick them up behind the head and the tail and you can move them, or you take a gigantic branch and stick it in its like it'll bite it and you just drag I it. I have some photos somewhere on Facebook. Have them up there. They're There's dangerous. They're violent. Huge down here. I, I thought it was a southern thing. Oh no, we got them up here. They get huge up here too, and they're super dangerous. Yeah, I remember Courtney running looking. out in the street. I have pictures on Facebook. She jumped out of the car and booked up the road to go and save a turtle that was in the middle of the road. This thing was massive. <laughs> was it a snap? Oh, it was probably a snapper then. It was a big yeah, one. I it was. A, I, I believe because so. the little ones you can just the little ones you can just pick up like the sliders and stuff like that. You can just pick them up and toss. The, you actually wherever the direction they're headed is the way you're supposed to put them. So if they're like headed like you know left across the road, you're supposed to move them over to the left. Yeah. Otherwise, yeah. they're just going to turn around and do the same thing. But, Basically, yeah, because we brought it to the water, and someone's like, "No, you're not supposed to bring it there. That's, you're not supposed to bring it down to the." And I was like, "Eh, whatever." I mean, so if it's better it's than headed, being in the highway, if, <laughs> if it's, it's headed, headed towards it, though, I mean, water, like, you're fine. Yeah, yeah. whatever. Because they're usually the only reason they're up there is because they're either going to lay eggs or they're coming back from laying eggs. Well, then there a, we go. You know this guy that would um, say that he'd go down the highway across or by the beach, and uh, he'd hear like, the you know, what I'm saying it's like the the highway. He thought it was the highway bumps. No, it was uh, turtles. Oh no! Oh yeah, that Speed was bumps. terrible. Don't do that. Don't do that. I was like, oh god, <laughs> you just killed all these. Tell me one oh, turtle accident that I swim, was yeah. okay with. Some truck was driving the opposite way of me, and he clipped one that was almost out of the road. Didn't have time to do anything, but he clipped it and it spun in the air like, <laughs> like someone flicked a coin and it landed, and then it just started running. Like, what the fuck just happened? I was like, yes, he made it. Mm -hmm. Oh another, shit! Another time where I was almost fucking balling, dude. Like I was ready to kill this fucking guy. I don't know what it is, but I love fucking turtles. Um, same. Yeah. One like coming turtles. across the way as I was on my way to my ex fiance's uh, place, which was like way out in the middle of the fucking sticks. It's like random, secluded, fucking like mansion area. Um, driving yeah. out there, and I was in a fucking yeah. rental. Because yeah. some drunk ass bitch hit me in the back of my Chrysler, so I was driving a nice fucking truck. But this how old was this? Stuck. How old was the turtle? Well, <laughs> I don't know. Does it have rings like a tree stump? Yes, like on the shell. Them, if you chop them in half, yeah. No, on the shell, no, you can count them. them. This is a good size, though. I mean, this was a good fucking. He was a nice size fella. He was a nice fucking yeah. turtle, and he's making it across five twenty nine. And I see him, and I'm like, man, you're going kind of slow, homie. This is a fucking fast-paced road. So I stop the truck, and right as I get out, a fucking car is coming and nails him and just, like, obliterates him. And I'm like, oh, oh, my God. I was God. like, you motherfuckers, come back, you must. Standing in the fucking middle of the street like a fucking weirdo going psycho over a turtle. But I felt fucking bad, dude. It looked like a horror movie. Like when when this person hit it, like blood shot in the air everywhere, and the fucking thing's flipping around. It's got a hole in his back now. I'm like, I, uh, I, I used to live handle. next to a turtle that would go into my yard all the time, and these this motherfucker would get outside all the damn time. It made it 15 miles across, or not 15 miles, uh, like 35 miles across the goddamn town, and they found him. Uh, yeah. But it had a it had a fucking tire mark on the shell when it came back, and I was like, "Damn, this motherfucker didn't give a shit." So, uh, yeah, guys, yeah, alive. So. he's still alive. So yeah, I bet. Yeah, reptiles live a scary long time. Mm -hmm. Yeah, How old was that turtle that just died? For like two hundred and fifty years and shit. Oh, yeah, you mean like the Galapagos ones? Yeah, the yeah. Way he thought it was a rock and sat on it and killed it. Oh, like hundred years old they or something. Can be yeah. born when your great 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 grandparents were, and then they can still be running around hanging out when you're alive. <laughs> like, yeah, they live an insane forever. Yeah, five hundred like... pound woman kills world's oldest tortoise by accidentally sitting on it. Oh, that was an oh. accident. <laughs> Wait, uh, that's not real. Yeah, um, real. It yeah, was well. Like, it was reported a while back. Death. So I, at least I remember the story being heavily talked about. Uh, right. It was on the plantation house, uh, and the island's governor said that St. Helena had been on the island since 1882. 
And 47-year-old Margaret Sanders was visiting the plantation house when her family, her legs began to hurt. She needed a rest. The 520-pound woman began looking for a place to sit down, and she confused the animal with a decorative bench and sat on it. Her weight was too important <laughs> to the, tortoise, the no. tortoise's uh, carpus, and it was immediately began cracking, crushing the animal underneath. The site There's veterinarian no way. arrived less than a minute later, but Jonathan had already died of suffocation. Jonathan, they named him. God damn. <laughs> well, named you know what? Jonathan. She fell down. She was they wasn't getting shit. up quick. Like the thing suffocated. To sit on a fucking sea turtle. It was confirmed the by the Saint Helena Police Jonathan. Service. Oh my god! Know. How do you not? It's it's a turtle. It doesn't it doesn't floor. look like a rock. Was she like a also bench. blind? Oh God! A decorative, a, a decorative turtle shell bench. Okay. It's like when it had a fucking handle on it. Lady's a <laughs> turtle murderer. Yeah, it was uh, home to I mean, a hundred and eighty-three kind of year old turtle. Bench? It, would that be a bench with a gigantic lump in the middle? Yeah, it was called Jonathan the tortoise, the world's oldest land resident. I don't know she if likes it, I, I remember the story being Jonathan. reported, so I'm trying to find it confirmed. But it was who named that turtle? The world's he was fucking the why Jonathan. Jonathan. It says that uh, was nameless for the most part of his residence in St. Helena, and it was only named by Governor Spencer Davis in 1932. Boring no one knows why he changed the name Jonathan. Huh? Yeah. Oh. A tortoise we have. Let's name it Jonathan. Name it Jonathan. was the only thing he ever considered. <laughs> like we couldn't name that turtle a uh, dildo. Fuck. It was the only name he considered. I'm taking no other names. Jonathan is the only name. I like, like turtles. Right. Like Jonathan. Everything is out of the question except for Jonathan for the big <laughs> tortoise. I mean, I could understand if he had a family member or something like that, but like, you know. Why? No, Donatello. Yeah, it was super weird. What have year was this? I'm, Do I we don't... even have Ninja Turtles? Yeah. <laughs> right? <laughs> and yeah, now we've got... Shut up, Target, you fucking weirdo. They have other ones there that are 53, Ooh. 80, and almost 100 years old. Are so. these Galapagos turtles? Or, like, what are they? Do you know? Uh, this one's from the Galapagos Islands, but oh, they're like rare too. Yeah. It's usually the ones that travel from Galapagos up to like Hawaii or maybe even Southern California and then go back. I don't those think those are Galapagos. Are old, like old, old. I thought the Galapagos turtles they're like tortoises. They stay on land. The Galapagos well, ones they don't go two. in the it water. Depends on if we're talking about a sea turtle or fucking tortoise. And like, Okay, so the Galapagos. Thought, that's what you said about, like, I don't know, some lady crushing one. Maybe I misheard you. I thought we went on to, like, sea turtles, but. Uh, Wouldn't that be in the ocean, though? They only come on to yeah. the land to lay eggs. Well, I mean, yeah, I mean, sea turtles lay them there, too. I mean, they come up on shore and they bury them, fuckers. And... But I don't think anybody's keeping a sea turtle on land. Yeah, the last confirmation I have is in 2019. Well, yeah, true. You couldn't do that. It's impossible. From Guinness. Guinness said that but in the, 2019 he was 187 years old. Jonathan. That's got to be a Galapagos, and they yeah. are only on the land. Yes. They're actually and, they they call them Galapagos turtles, but they're actually a tortoise. Yeah, uh, yeah. actually a turtle. Yes, yeah. you're right about that. Randy, Randy Viper Rachel. says I'm wrong, but I think I'm right. <laughs> No, Randy there are turtles. Down. There are turtles right. that don't survive underneath water. So yeah, I think. Ah, you're wrong. I looked it up. It's a tortoise. I'm right. Ha ha. Hey, he I he still mates true. at that age at that time in 2019 at 100 and something years fast. old, 187 years old. He was mating with Emma and Fred. So they're not gender sensitive. Wait. He was well, banging guys he and girls. Was, he was mating at 187 Emma. years old. No, that's not the issue I have. Emma. Emma. And, and Fred. Fred. And Fred. Yeah, two <laughs> different yeah. yeah, who is naming? Who's Fred? Things? No, nobody has an issue with the fact that Jonathan was mating with Fred. Frank. <laughs> oh, that's yeah, what that I'm saying. Like... Is this not a female? Yeah, well, no, that, that's what they said. Uh, Fred, Emma and Fred. Fred. They don't have gender sensitivity, Fredrica? so they, they just, just mate Fred with whoever they want. This, this is they why bullfrogs are bullfrogs. Yeah. Animals are not particularly gender sensitive. So. I didn't know that. I mean, I... 
thought I think a lot of animals are like driven on hormones and stuff. I didn't know tortoises did that though. That's interesting. Yeah, it's I've seen, called I've seen sex. gay cats and gay dogs. That I mean, is. I know that there's some out, the, out there. I know that there's like gay penguin couples because like zoos there love to have them. The LGBTQ animal community. Yeah. <laughs> If they yeah. had that, the leaders of it would be those penguins. You ever see that? The penguins, like, they'll have, like, a couple of gay penguins, and they steal an egg from somebody yeah. else. They basically yeah. are, are, you know, adopted gay own. parents. A single gay dad raising someone else's stolen-ass egg. Yep. Uh, Fox News has a, has a thing about Jonathan's sex life. It says the fascinating sex life of Jonathan, the 185-year-old tortoise. This was back in 2017. Know. But he was talking about how he would mate with everything on the island, with from forty-nine-year-old Emily to fifty-year-old Frank. Turtle. Yeah, Jesus Christ! What a beast! He what was if, fighting like, a first, kangaroo. Like, what he if fought the first... and killed a kangaroo? That's awesome. When he died, he was wow, just like, "Oh, really? this is it." And a lady actually... shot on him. That's really true. That he, he died. That's actually impressive. If he fought he died... a kangaroo, mm. he died by a fucking girl sitting on his fucking. If that's Body. true, that's hilarious. If it's a if it's a troll, it's still just funny. But I've seen this reported so many a times. Girl. I don't know if it was true or legitimate. Oh, uh, a beast! Sorry, you're being very no, gentle. Yeah, no. mm. it, yeah. If he fought a kangaroo, I'm mad at this lady. I don't feel bad. He killed a turtle. His kangaroo straight box. And I don't see what a tortoise is going to do. So if he stood with a kangaroo, he deserves to mate with Frank. <laughs> kangaroos have those long ass claws i mean they're super strong and they have those long but i guess if it was a tortoise it's pretty low to the ground that we guess it would be hard for a kangaroo to mess it up right they're low to the ground but you gotta understand uh leah their fucking necks come out of their shell like they're not like regular fucking turtles that can just tuck it in real quick no i'm you not know, got like three foot necks like emus i'm like, not even thinking I'm not even thinking about offense. I'm thinking more about defense because I know that a kangaroo can absolutely destroy a human if it wanted to. Because yeah. they've got yeah. those crazy claws and they can lean back on their tail and just like, bam, they're kicking you with not only the power of like their crazy ass legs, but they've got these crazy huge claws on the end of their feet, too. So I'm like, I'm thinking defense wise because <laughs> turtles aren't exactly fast. No. Right. But he's got Especially the huge shell and they're low to the ground. So I don't know. That's I mean, it's a valid point because they definitely are fucking strong. My sibling's ex is from Australia and has uh, bought the license to have kangaroos on the property. That's awesome. And those motherfuckers have punched me, kicked me, yeah. acted fucking crazy. And it's like, whoa. like Yeah, they're nuts. They're tough Snuffing and they're nuts. Have yeah. you ever seen those pictures of like the super like ripped beefy ones like the oh, yeah. red kangaroos oh, yeah. they've got like crazy muscles they're jacked as all hell oh yeah God. they're massively everything massive. out of australia yeah, is like, scary you're like whoa oh. hold up homie the everything over there wants to kill you homie. yep it's like a country full of danny mts everything wants you dead yeah you got super Basically. kangaroos and super goddamn spiders and also every insect is the size of your head at least <laughs> Seriously. Everything That's there is scary. Island, mate. Don't you know what I hate? Know. So I like out of all the animal kingdom, you know, besides insects, I don't really count them and a whole different thing. I hate mm -hmm. birds. And Australia has the scariest birds. You're not wrong. Oh, you know, besides sharks, sharks are the ultimate yeah, scary thing to me. After that, it's birds. There's beautiful birds wow. there. Sharks oh, are really yeah. scary if you're in the water. Right, and which is why I don't go in it. Yeah, see, so you can avoid that scenario pretty yeah. much altogether. Well, no, it's not like you're going to be in the shower and a, a shark's going to come through the toilet. Yeah. That little fucking sea anemone that's uh, in their little fucking snail that can poke you in the fucking foot when you step inside. And oh, there's you like mean no like anti fucking. Like a rock fish? It, you're pretty much dead. I know rock. Fish is pretty. I don't know about rock venom, but a rock too. fish is kind of a That's scary a thing here. Yeah, they've got some crazy you're stuff. Correct. Too. Those are very dangerous there as well. They are. But this isn't like a fucking snail in a big shell. You get a rock I, shot for it. Not I think I that, know what you're talking about, but I don't know the name of it. There's it, one too. Like you, you've yeah, seen spiders like, that have venom and like they can go ahead and damage it with their web. Snail, ocean, Australia. It's going to come right up and give you everything about it. 
the, the other thing you got to watch out for in fucking Aussie is the box jellyfish, the tiny ones. If you run into a pocket of those motherfuckers, you're dead. There is no saving you. You're just bye. Sorry, you swam that way. Like it's I don't real bad. Know what that is? The most toxic but, jellyfish in the world, and I believe they don't have anti venom for that either. What about the dog? Uh, it's a cone snail, if that's right. Yes, cone snail. Yeah, and yes. the barrier reef from Australia, and that's they're very dirt. dangerous. It. it hunts its prey using the four tubes protruding from the front of the cone. It stalks and it inhales water to detect the prey. And then it has oh. a mobile appendage that has a harpoon loaded with at least 100 different neurotoxins. Yeah. That's the one that shoots out where they'll be like, yeah, oh, and you it, it me? paralyzes That's you instantly. Out. And then it uses its gigantic teeth arranged in a ribbon to shred their, their prey apart, all in a little tiny cone snail. So that's how all those people disappeared when that airplane crashed in the ocean. Yeah, they got eight fucking box snails and fucking, or I'm sorry, uh, box jellyfish and fucking cone snails. They're not aggressive to humans. The stings usually occur when divers oh, handle yes, them. Oh, yes, they are. They're not aggressive. They don't go after you, but people pick them up and touch them. Oh, there, yeah. No, no. And that, okay. then they get attacked. Or you're not near them. aggressive. Like they try to search for you. Yes. No. They're not like, like you if know, you're in their shark. area. You step near them, step on them, whatever. He's going to get pissed and he's going to attack. Yeah. It says leave the shell alone and leave them alone. And if you have, if you do get stung, mm-hmm. um, you experience double vision, fainting, respiratory paralysis. Yep. And it says call zero, zero, zero immediately. Sense. There's and no they, anti-venom uh, the available. Venom also coagulates your blood, so you can go to cardiac arrest because you basically like got fucking. What's that shit y'all eat at fucking Thanksgiving? You fucking Americans. Um, Penis. The weird fucking cranberry yes. shit that comes out the can. Yams. No, not yams, bro. It's uh, the cranberry shit that comes yeah, out of the can. Cranberry sauce, like you're talking about, like the cranberry, the, yeah, jelly, like cranberry jelly, jelly, like the jelly version at Thanksgiving. What that looks like when it comes out the can. Yeah, I see that here. And it says, literally, if you get stung by them, there's no anti-venom available. The only thing oh. you can do is stay calm and wait for medical attention. Oh, shit. Yep. Fuck. Wait to die? Yeah, pretty much. <laughs> you, pretty <laughs> nice there is, you can immerse the infected area in hot water to try and draw them out. For like a month, rolling around in their bed out. in extreme pain. <laughs> you just fucked for like three months of your life. Would would you fuck a dolphin? Just suck it out. No, dolphins fuck you. What are you talking about? Yeah, would you fuck a dolphin? Oh, the dolphins come and they fucking want to fuck you. Yeah, they so have they hypodermic like needles and they're they're basically like teeth and the venom gland attacks and paralyzes you. So that's yep. crazy. No. They're called killer cone snails. That's nuts. Yep. No. You gotta be real careful Gross. when you're inching out into the water. Sounds like John Holmes. There's rocks around and stuff. Killer Holmes. Very careful. Never mind. No, that's that sounds fucking ridiculous. They're gonna kill you like that? Yep. I mean Australia is like the most dangerous place in the world when it comes to um what's it called uh venomous uh animals whatever yeah i mean look at all the pussy they have around the 20 <laughs> the 20 top most dangerous snakes in the world the 20 most venomous snakes australia has 17 of <laughs> the 20 that's nuts and all of them are um chicks and dudes right different kinds <laughs> Chicks and dudes. That's yeah, you know, they, what you're talking about. All they, they're, they're called, they're called snakes. Twenty there. Not to mention, you got to deal with the funnel spider. Enjoy that when that fucker gets in your home. Yeah, um, I mean, oh, dude. One of the people I used to talk to from Australia, they would send me photos every now and again of stuff that would get into the house. I mean, they had spiders as big as a broom. It was nuts. Yeah. Did you no, see like, you the, mice, the mice? The mice invasion like, that possible. happened this year. Put on the wall to catch the motherfucker and get it outside. Because... Look for that mice invasion that happened this year, uh, or yeah, earlier this year. It was like, like billions of mice just coming into invading everybody's home, and they had to like defend it every fucking night. Where it was on the outskirt of Sydney, 
Hey, no, okay. I'll that shit was fucking crazy. I, well, there's a, I, would have been, uh, I would have had a fucking blowtorch. Like, if I'm not mistaken, there's an island that's right goddamn grenade. Of Tasmania from Australia. That is the island is literally overrun by rats and fucking snakes. So it could have been something that was brought over, like boat, like maybe someone being a dick, like being an asshole, and like letting a million fucking rats out and run. Because there is an island outside of Australia right there in between fucking Tasmania and fucking New Zealand and all that. Uh, I forget what it's called. But yeah, no, it's ran by super island. And rats. You don't go there for fucking nothing. Yeah, they said that there is where they find the redback spider. And that's the most venomous spider believed to originate in South Australia. Or the Western Australian that, deserts. Is that worse than a Black Widow? Yes, Red it's Black. the Australian Black Red. Widow because the uh, brown crew, r- 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 brown recluse. recluse. Yeah. yeah, those are dope. fucking deadly as fuck too. Yeah, they rarely leave their webs though. So, oh, uh, shit. it causes severe pain. Yeah, and, they and make a big mess. You can die within hours to days. Up. But there's anti venom for it. It's just extremely painful. Well, I'm still in Texas before I uh, move. It's like I catch kind of... them all the time. Brown recluse and black widow, and I let them walk on my hands. If they're actually really docile fucking spiders, you just really you gotta think... like really fuck with them from the bite you. I think it's that all I... the time just for the adrenaline rush. I want to know why the fuck are they that toxic if they're fucking killing a goddamn thing I can smash with my fucking fingers. That they're using That's that much God, venom just to fucking kill a goddamn cockroach? Yeah. Eat and it? The Brazilian wandering Six. spider is actually the most poisonous spider in the world. But now they've actually branched out further. If you get bit by that spider... It said that uh, it's it, one of the most excruciating, painful because it boosts nitric oxide, uh, so it increases blood flow. So it actually pumps through you faster. And they That's actually use crazy. some of the drug for erectile dysfunction medications. Well, I'm back, and I don't know what I walked into. Yeah, spider venom. Spider venom. You know. <sighs> Never not be hard. Scary about the Brazilian thing, but yeah, the way it started, Leah, was because I was talking about, um, I don't know, we got on the subject of uh, basically what the same thing as a Black Widow, but on Australia. I uh, Everything on Australia is 10 times worse. Yep, yes. that was our point. Yes, Everything's going to kill you. Said, the top 20 most fucking deadly snakes in the world, the most venomous, the most. The top Not a python. Are gonna fucking kill you. Seventeen of them are on Australia. Yeah, we've got two of them here, though. At least in New England, we've got the black widow, which I guess they didn't think was Isn't here at first. Far north. Yeah, we. I mean, I don't know if they're being brought here by like on fruits they're and stuff, you know. Here. But they've been found a lot here but the one thing that we do have that's absolutely here is the brown recluse oh yeah and those things are awful that's crazy those Mm -hmm. are such southern fucking um spider because i was telling them that we have those everywhere i said i'll send video i catch them all the time like you can be nice and swaddle them in your hand and it's like a nice little adrenaline rush because, you know, like you're holding something that could fuck your world. But they're not like... Um, yeah, I don't hold any of those. Out like, here, you'll see like a five-inch spider. It's like a web yeah. j- just Down goes here, between yeah, two no, trees. Man, sometimes through my Ridiculous. Front yard, I mean... I can be outside drinking a fucking beer and, and just do a double Oh, yeah, and they, they fucking drop down out of nowhere. Oh, yeah. shit. I've, I've told yeah, you about I've that. Got... The fucking wolf ones that we have now, the big old uh, fucking yep. wolf spider. Like, yeah. I brought that up on the yeah. show a few times before, like but I had fucking... one go down my back in the shower when I was in my no. step-grandfather's what? basement. What the hell, bro? It, it actually went down my back. I know I've told this on the show Fuck a while you. ago. and. Uh, I screamed like a girl, and my step grandfather came downstairs. He's like, "I know you got girls down here." I torched the thing with a can of, la- of axe and a lighter, but it had 
eggs all over its back and had babies literally yeah. oh, God, yeah. I've got that's, that's, that's why i'm so deathly afraid of spiders because when i lived in northford with all the friggin' woodland critters that would try and kill you there were spiders wolf spiders i mean you'd wake up and you'd see them and they're the size of your fist no yeah. exaggeration they're out here all the time i see them they're about the size of my fucking palm in the so, fucking grass and i'm like is- okay i'm gonna leave it alone because those motherfuckers actually do really good at fucking keeping shit out of here keeping the other but bugs away one yeah I- its back is white mm-hmm. that means it's covered in fucking babies and yep. like, oh what no, the I fuck like oh that. great let me tell you something yeah, real quick like- let me let me interrupt this real quick just to sign off because my computer is about two minutes away from freezing i can feel it it keeps logging up and everything <laughs> You guys can you guys can keep talking, keep doing everything and whatever. Uh, I'm sure Gargutz is going to be on, so we'll keep this conversation oh, going. Back. I got to go jump in the shower so I can get to the hospital anyways. Yeah. But, uh, well, no, I'll let you I guys will... finish your stories here, but I am just going to uh, end the stream. want to say thank you, everybody. Thanks to JB coming back. Everybody in the chat, love you all. Thanks so much. Um, thank you, everybody. And uh, I just didn't want to interrupt the conversation as we went off the air. Um, yeah. So, yeah, go back to the, to the spiders, man. And everybody else, love you, and I'm sure Gargutz will – probably continue or something like that i don't know what's going on tonight but uh thank you guys so much thank shout out to the king uh nerdy Bailey sucks what Bailey sucks Bailey sucks yeah. we got spoiled tonight wow wandy so stopped by we had leah on the call for quite a while which was nice we haven't had her on forever we had yeah jesse yeah. was here danny was Leah's here fine ass jumps on because no spoiling what kind of show is this and JB was here. I know so. it was a big, huge sausage fest. I had to hop in. That's it. You had to break well, up that ratio. For, like what alleviating you... a little bit of that because yeah, I was getting kind of pissed. But yeah, <laughs> I was just getting everybody. Yes, Sam. You're getting you mowed too. over. Well, hey, have you seen um Bullfrog in a while? I haven't seen him since Leah got here. He's I shut seen his that mouth. Until you started letting him in back, creeping in. Uh, I'm here. Wow. He was just being polite, letting other people talk. I can't believe the Bullfrog was quiet that whole time. Bullfrog. Mm-hmm. Lee, have you seen this picture that he's obsessed with of you, where he's staring at you in it? Why does he have a picture of me? Look, this picture he of you. He's out. been staring. Look at is him staring a full at you. Body shot? Because if it is, you know he's staring at her crotch. Oh <laughs> no! See this, Leah? He's looking at you. Oh, it's only a headshot. Okay, so Leah's safe. Yeah, he wanted. He's- that- I took that picture before I even met you. He said he That's wanted the he- old picture. He said he Damn. wanted. The- he said he wanted the youngest Great photo. Girl. The youngest photo of Leah that he could get. That's what he said. He's creepy. That was his request. Oh, yeah. yeah, I'm he probably... Did, didn't, he? didn't he say that he wanted something roughly in the range of like 13, 14? No, she's 19. No, no, no. no, no. I'm, I'm, e- so. I'm 18 or 19 there. That's right. Oh, no. I know. Well, uh, I'm sorry, Leah, but like Bullfrog was requesting like, you know, you just breaking into puberty and learning about your womanhood. Yeah. Oh, I was weird. not... Hmm. Yeah. It was very weird. I'm yeah. gonna be honest. I was, not. I was a late bloomer. Aw, what? Like awful what that looking. I was an awkward looking teenager. Bloomer. Oh. She became an adult in real fucking adult years when she started having her period and grew her boobs. Sorry, <laughs> bullfrog. Just Leah, look you know. at this. Leah, this is the first one of the first pics I ever took of you. I think, or you took it in my room. That's you know. in your room, yeah. So I knew you, yeah. Wow. So you were damn man. Up. Leah, I think I was... you're hot. <laughs> See, yeah, you're hot. Uh, hey, but I, don't worry, I'm not being trifling. No, I that's okay. No, I like. No, that's good. Cool. I even showed Joe who my girlfriend is. No, that's okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh yeah, dude. I, I actually Leah's uh, one of Leah's exes Leah, looks like Danny. Um, where are you leaving for for Joe? <laughs> Your fucking psycho ex looks like Danny MD kind of. What? Oh, my <laughs> psych, my yeah. psycho ex. Yeah, no, a, a little bit, not really, but you know what I mean. Not but really. Yeah, we just no. like like me for me. My psycho ex couldn't grow a beard like that. <laughs> well, neither can your current husband. <laughs> <laughs> right. That's also true. Uh, Joe, I got some well, vials of testosterone around here somewhere. Leah, I am Scandinavian and Slavic. We grow the beard. Yeah. Yeah. No, he wasn't. He was. Um, if he's the one I think that Joe's talking about, uh, Jewish, and he still couldn't grow a beard. Ew, mm, that's different. He couldn't grow a beard. Aren't they supposed to be able to like grow right. the beard and like get the twirl? He, I, yeah. I mean, you'd think. I mean, he wasn't like any sort of like hardcore like religious Jew, but there you know, go. he. I don't know. Well, he never I really went, grew a beard. He was uncut. He was CM Punk over the weekend. Yeah, 
All I got to do is pop over Joe's house, start hitting him with all this testosterone. No, Jews are cut. You're wrong. His, his face is starting to <laughs> No, I thought you said he was an un-Jew or something. There he was, wasn't there religious. Is no stigma. <laughs> oh, yeah. No, this is Garguts has gone into insanity mode at this point. He's on another cloud. <laughs> Garguts, oh weirdo, yeah. But, but no, um, Leah. I'm no. Insane. Last week I came and I visited my mom, and uh, we were gonna have dinner. And I said I hadn't seen her in a while, so I was like, "Hey, look, check it out." I mean, compliments from the ladies. You like the beard? My mom. Oh, told you was like showing her dick. Oh my god. She tells me in fucking Russian. You look like a fucking rabbi. It's like, oh. Okay. <laughs> Thanks, Mom. Okay. I did feel cool about my beard, but now you say that. Okay, it's like, well, should I go by? She's like, yeah, you should. It's yeah, weak. moms don't hold back. Gavin said to me, he's like, I got a mustache. She's like, what do I do about that? And I was like, I don't know. I'll go ask your dad. Like, what are you asking me He for? won't know either. He'll be and like, Joe called that? me. He's like, what do I do? And I'm yeah, like, yeah. I know. He's calling him back up. I grew, I grew, you can tell Gavin that mine came in, whatever I have well, now came you know in when I was I 21. I was 21 when I got this. Well, I told Gavin, you know what I told him though, as I was like, I was like, you know, like, look at your grandfather, look at all your uncles, you know, like, and stuff like that. All, Cause everyone, every male on my fa side of the family has a full mustache beard. They grow these crazy huge beards. I think it's cause they don't have chins. So they grow the beards to like oh. hide that some weird Irish genetics. Yep. So they like grow the Makes beards sense. to like hide yeah. that. Because the total Boston is coming out of you right now. The oh accident. yeah, I mean, I was born and raised. Everyone around me, I can't help it. Everyone, uh, the people that taught me to speak are all from Boston. That's right. You say what accent? Yeah, yeah. I didn't know. Yeah, it, no, it's but, like I. No, it's I've, true because it's coming out of right now. Because she's like talking like a a uh, normal generic white woman but now she's like and these motherfuckers over here and these motherfuckers over <laughs> she's, there I, i'm telling you she's like, she's a little bit like i am i think lee is a little bit like i am where sometimes when she's talking she is talking like regular but then it comes out it's the same thing i think my my and accent i hear it with you too joe yeah my i Even think my accent so, sometimes is, you talk normal and then all of a sudden like here comes the fucking bostonian out of you yeah, if we I were all at a bar, if we were all at a but bar, I, I think it would my happen. accent's only stronger than his because of the fact, it, like you know, like you didn't move here until you were like eight or nine, or whatever. But yeah, came here at nine and then left again. I at was then came back again. Yeah, see, you know, my like, but my all accent of my was family stronger. is from here. The people that taught me to speak. Yeah, from here. My yeah, accent was stronger from. When I was about, uh, probably about 10 years old, 11 years old to about 25 years old, my accent was very strong, Boston. But before that, it wasn't. And after that, now it's whittled down a bit. But if I we think were, I've said it before, too. I didn't even know there was an accent until I, I moved away from Boston. Yeah. Cause and it's just, just 45 yeah. minutes away from Boston. And the Nobody has that accent. And they all say they're from Boston. Like, I'm from, oh, I live in Boston. You're like, yeah. no, you're right. from two hours outside of Boston. What well, that's what's done? always funny when, like, you know, John Cena says, like, from, like, Newberry or whatever. Well, no, he is from West Newberry, but it's just. No, no, I know he is, but he acts like he's from the mean streets. And it's like, dude. Yeah, you're from like one of the richest. Parts no, they of Massachusetts. from the project. He lived in his car, you, didn't he? Yeah. All re <laughs> listen, all wrestlers from Massachusetts almost get booked out of Boston. It was a lie. Yeah, no, look at look, nobody, I mean, look nobody at Carmelo. Knows, though. Carmelo's on Even, NXT. They're booking him out of Boston. He's not from he's from fucking North Andover. Yeah, right, because nobody really knows. They usually do Even that. if you so like even like the eastern part of Massachusetts, which like we're from. Yeah. It's like western Massachusetts may as well be another state. Shit, it's like a foreign whoa. land. You become Whoa, Jamie Phillips, shit, man. Shit. I was just chiming in. It's been a long time. Much love. Jamie, Much thank love, you, man. Dude. JB came back tonight. Leah came back tonight. And then Jamie Phillips is back, man. Holy shit. He is an yeah, OG. Really and Nerdy's really the champ of the wheel. Yeah, that's hey, unfortunate. Love to your family, man, and your daughter. Yeah. I hope. Let let us know how everything is, man. He took a year yeah, off. Please. His kid was in the hospital. So, like, we love you, brother. And I'm sorry they that I forgot. better now? I'm just sorry that I forgot. I remember when it first happened and we were worried. And then, like, yeah. he basically just left to take care of that. 
and I must have just completely forgot like that that was going on, obviously, with everything, whatever. And he just came in and blew my mind by telling me, and I went, oh, my God, I do remember that. I forgot. I'm just going to choose to believe that they got better. No, they're fine. Yeah, he says. They're yes. okay now. Oh, oh, all right, good. Happy ending. Yeah. That's what we want. All right, everybody. All right. Stay sexy. Have a great night, and I will see you all soon enough. Bye, guys. Th- thank you, guys. Shout out to yeah. Jamie. He's hey, guys. everybody over in Europe. Everybody's waking up. They're probably like, don't go, but we're you can go back and watch the show. Big show. JB return. Good night. Europe waking up. Uh going yeah. 